Zhang Ming rolled his eyes and sneered, Brother Li, you deliberately shame me, who still smokes less than twenty cigarettes these days. Listen to you, do you usually smoke more than twenty? Li Feng took out a cigarette and spit out a cigarette ring and asked. Of course, men who smoke cigarettes below twenty are useless men. Zhang Ming said contemptuously. I have a question, you have no job now, who gave you the money for smoking? Li Feng asked. Of course it's my parents, do you have to ask? Zhang Ming said naturally. How old are you? Twenty-three. A twenty-three-year-old man, he has to ask his parents for the money to buy cigarettes. Do you think you are very useful? As soon as he said this, Zhang Ming's face became gloomy. After a long while, he sneered and said, I just don't want to live a life of dying, I just want to do meaningful things. Then what is meaningful? Li Feng asked. Of course it is to become a rich man, smoke the most expensive cigarettes, drink the hottest wine, drive the best car, make the most beautiful girls, and live in the best house. Zhang Ming's eyes burst with longing. Li Feng sighed, is the life of an ordinary person meaningless? Hey, it's strange to live like a dog, it's meaningful. Zhang Ming said disdainfully. Li Feng raised his eyebrows and sighed, then your parents are like two dogs in your eyes. It's really unfortunate that they have a son like you. Do you dare to scold my parents? Zhang Ming stood up suddenly and asked angrily. Do you think your parents' lives are ordinary? If the answer is yes, then it's not that I scold them, but you scold them. Li Feng spread his hands together, playing with the taste. Zhang Ming's face changed several times, and finally he sneered, I can't tell you, but I know you are not good. Li Feng smiled, then tell me, why do I lose my character? Hey, do you have to tell me? Zhang Ming spit out a smoke ring and said mockingly. Li Feng's eyes were cold, and he sneered, aren't you just trying to threaten me by calling me over? Although he did not use mind reading on Zhang Ming, he could still guess what Zhang Ming wanted to say. It seems you know what you have done in your heart. Okay, then I won't go around in circles. Zhang Ming threw away his cigarette and sneered, You have a fiancé named Wei Bingqing. Sister Wan Jun is your junior, right? When he recognized Li Feng, he thought of this. At that time, he didn't dismantle Li Feng, naturally, to seek greater benefits. Li Feng raised his eyebrows, then what? Then? Still use me to continue speaking. Zhang Ming continued to sneer. Talk about it, I'm curious what you will say. Li Feng shrugged and smiled. Okay, then I'll give you a hypothesis. Zhang Mingqing cleared his throat, shook his fingers and said, You are a Weibo fan with over 100 million fans, right? Li Feng nodded, What then? Zhang Ming sneered and said, If you are looking for a mistress and are exposed, what kind of impact will it have on the internet? I'm really a little scared when you say that. Li Feng said so, but there was no fear on his face. Zhang Ming became proud, not only that, do you think Asvili and Shengtang Entertainment will be boycotted? It should be, after all, people don't like scumbags. Li Feng sighed and said sadly. You can be saved, at least you know that people don't like scumbags. Zhang Ming sneered, and then played with it, but as a man, I understand you very well. If I were as rich as you, I would definitely play more than you. Big. Really? Li Feng nodded, let's talk about it, what do you want? Brother Li is really happy, then I'll just talk about it. Zhang Ming cleared his throat, breaking his fingers and said, First, you must fulfill all the requirements my mother mentioned before. Second, I want you to introduce Murong Shui to me and try to bring us together. Third, you first give me one billion Chinese coins, I will spend it first and then I will ask you for it when I finish spending it. Li Feng nodded, and asked with a smile, is there any more? Zhang Ming certified for a while and said, that's it for the time being, I will tell you when I think about it later. 
Oh. Li Feng nodded again, with a mocking smile at the corner of his mouth, and asked, Have you heard a word? What? Zhang Ming puzzled. Li Feng's face became cold, If you are not greedy enough to swallow an elephant, you will be crushed if you want to eat so many things without having such a big appetite. Zhang Ming seriously pondered the meaning of this sentence, and then furiously said, Li Feng, don't think I call you brother Li, you can be awesome in front of me. If you really want to push me, I will. Snapped. Li Feng raised his hand and slapped Zhang Ming's face. Zhang Ming flew out directly from the chair, flying two or three meters away before Bai Aji fell to the ground with a sound. Do you dare to hit me? Zhang Ming held his cheek in disbelief. Li Feng set up an infuriating barrier and sneered, Not only do I dare to beat you, I dare to kill you. When the voice fell to the ground, Li Feng rushed to Zhang Ming in a flash, and hit Zhang Ming's face with his bow from left and right. Threaten me! Snapped! Cash it all! Snapped! Match you and Mirong Shuet! Snapped! Give you one billion first! Snapped! Smoking more than twenty cigarettes! Snapped! Li Feng slapped every word he said, and soon Zhang Ming's face swelled into a pig's head. No don't fight, I was wrong, brother Li, I was really wrong. Zhang Ming was completely scared, and Li Feng was too ruthless. He was beaten up like this and kept playing, really wanting to kill him? Wrong? Wait until I kill you and tell me you are wrong. When the voice fell, Li Feng continued to fight. After a few minutes, Li Feng finally stopped. Looking at Zhang Ming again, he was dying after being beaten by Li Feng, and he felt almost out of breath. Are you convinced Zhang Ming? Li Feng squatted on the ground, patted Zhang Ming's face and asked. Buddha, Buddha, Qi. Zhang Ming was beaten up and talked out of anger, can you not be convinced? If he is not convinced, he can really be beaten to death by Li Feng. Do you know why I beat you? Li Feng asked. Z, Z knife, hiss. Zhang Ming nodded quickly, but this movement involved injuries, and he grinned hoarsely in pain. Then tell me why I beat you. Li Feng pulled a chair and asked carelessly after sitting down. Whoa, whoa, I should thank you for making up, brother, Nyinan Bunan thinks I can call a wine cart for whoa. Zhang Ming was almost crying, he said that he was uncomfortable and he also talked about why he was hit, and he was going to kill him. What do you call Jifuke? You, Brother Li, I am a doctor. Li Feng smiled playfully, took out a rejuvenating powder and said, This medicine is the holy medicine for healing. After you eat it, you will soon restore the injury to its original state. Make up, make up. How dare Zhang Ming believe Li Feng, if this medicine is poison? Where would he go to reason? Li Feng glared, No? Do you want your family to see your injuries so that they can blame me? Replenishment, replenishment, nest. What are you doing? Give me something to eat. With a sneer, Li Feng sent Huishan San into Zhang Ming's mouth. The pill melted in the mouth, and soon Zhang Ming felt that the swelling on his face had subsided a little, and the pain was not so painful. For a moment, he was pleasantly surprised, this is really the holy medicine for healing. Li Feng sighed, when did I lie to you? Although you are an annoying person, you are still a child after all. How can I, my brother, have the heart to let you die? Zhang Ming. Shent is still a child, and you are only one year older than me, okay? If I were a child, what would you be? By the way, you just said you want to break the news about me, now you can break the news online. Li Feng sat back on the chair, and said with Erlang's legs tilted up. Sister, brother-in-law, I was joking with you, we are a family, how could I trouble you? Zhang Ming smiled on his face, MMP in his heart. Fuck, I just said that you beat me like this, if you really broke the news, you can't beat me to death? Don't say that. I don't want to threaten my family. Li Feng sneered, 
helped Zhang Ming take out his cell phone, and said with a smile, Come on, you try to see if you can send out my affairs. Zhang Ming's face changed slightly, What do you mean? Just as you said before, post the matter between me and your cousin on the internet. You can write whatever you want. You can see if you can post it. Don't dare, if you don't post, I will beat you again. Li Feng said half instigated and half threatening. Zhang Ming. Isn't it? Is there such a thing? Forcing him to reveal his own scandal? Snapped. Li Feng raised his hand and slapped Zhang Ming's face, I will let you send it. Okay, I will post, I will post. Zhang Ming was almost crying. He was beaten before to prevent him from posting this. Now he is not posting. Li Feng beats him again. He is wrong on both sides. Suppressed, Zhang Ming still picked up his phone to open Weibo and edited a Weibo, brother-in-law, did I really post it? If you don't send it, I'll hit you. Li Feng sneered. Zhang Minji gritted his teeth, okay, I'll send it. When the voice fell to the ground, Zhang Ming sent it. What surprised him was that this Weibo could not be posted at all, and it went directly into the manuscript box. What's happening here? Zhang Ming was stunned for a while, and tried several times to send it, but still couldn't succeed. You try to send another message, whatever you want. Li Feng smiled beside him. Zhang Ming's face changed several times, he edited an ordinary Weibo, and clicked send. This time it finally succeeded. A playful smile appeared at the corner of Li Feng's mouth, did you notice something? What? Zhang Ming vaguely thought of something, but he was not sure, and even thought it was extremely absurd. It seems that you haven't found it yet. Then you can try other software, WeChat, Zhihu, Daoban, SMS, you can even call others, say on the phone, and see if others can hear you. Broke the news. Li Feng said playfully. Zhang Ming's face changed slightly, you mean? I thought of it. Then try. Anyway, you called me up. It won't be doubtful how long you stay. Li Feng took out another cigarette and lit it. Zhang Ming didn't hesitate anymore, and directly tried to call his friend, Hey, let me tell you a very hot news. Having said that, he also gave Li Feng a special look. Li Feng shrugged and motioned for him to speak boldly. Zhang Ming then plucked up the courage to say, Did you build it, Li Feng, is Asphil's boss. He has two boats on his feet. Why am I not talking? I said. I fuck, I really set up. I didn't hear it, did you? Then I'll say it again, Li Feng, as Phil's boss, he. Fuck, you really can't hear what I said. Zhang Ming was really dazed at this time. Fuck, he can understand blocking the cell phone signal, and he can understand it by setting keywords on the internet to block, but he can directly mute what he said during the call. Then he just said anything. Can't understand it. Ha, ha ha ha, I just made a joke with you, so what? Happy New Year, I'll hang up first. Zhang Ming hung up the phone in a serene manner, then looked at Li Feng like a ghost. Do you know what I'm talking about? Li Feng spit out a cigarette ring, playing with the taste. No. I know. It's just, why did this happen? Zhang Ming realized that he couldn't understand Li Feng at all, which was completely beyond his scope of understanding. Li Feng flicked the soot and smiled, because I am a member of a special department, my information is top secret, unless I personally disclose it, otherwise no one can disclose it. So. Zhang Ming believed it directly, without any hesitation, because only such an explanation could explain why that happened just now. Are you still going to threaten me now? Li Feng asked, pinching out the cigarette butt. Zhang Ming wanted to cry without tears, don't dare, I won't dare anymore. Threats are called threats if they have the ability to cause harm to others. They can't hurt others. He still threatens him. Li Feng nodded in satisfaction, 
the previous requirements. Don't mention it, don't mention it again, you just pretend to be a fart. Zhang Ming said with a bitter face. Okay, let's go down. When the voice fell, Li Feng got up and got out of the bedroom. After hearing the movement, Chen Qian and others in the living room immediately turned to look at him. Li Feng walked down as usual and smiled, Uncle and Aunt, I have something to tell you. As soon as this remark came out, Song Wanjun suddenly became nervous. Hey, wait, what did my Xiaoming tell you just now? Chen Li glanced at Zhang Ming who was following and asked. This, you have to ask Xiao Ming. Li Feng said playfully. Chen Li looked at Zhang Ming suspiciously. Mom, don't ask, this is my secret with brother Li. Zhang Ming said impatiently. No, why are you so red on your face, what are you two doing in the room? Chen Li saw something was wrong. Zhang Ming's face was quite white, but it turned red when he entered the room. What did the two of them do in the room just now? Ah, the room is too hot, it will be fine in a while. Zhang Ming said with a guilty conscience. The medicine Li Ji gave worked really well, and the swelling disappeared in such a short time, but the skin was still a bit congested. Really? Chen Li rolled her eyes and said excitedly, aren't you excited about doing the job of your brother Li? Zhang Hong was also a little excited when he said this. What do you think, of course not. We are all grown UPS. We must learn to be self-reliant. Besides, Brother Li doesn't owe us anything. Okay, we've been to Mingzi for a long time, and it's time to go back. After Zhang Minji finished speaking, he was about to pull Chen Li and Zhang Hong away. He has been cast a psychological shadow by Li Feng and just wants to leave here as soon as possible. Chen Li. Zhang Hong. Other people. No. Why went to the bedroom, Zhang Ming seemed to be a different person, and he was so sensible to speak. Song Wanjun gave Li Feng a playful look. Li Feng nodded and smiled back. Hey. Song Wanjun sighed, and quietly gave Li Feng a thumbs up. Li Feng pointed to his cheek, causing Song Wanjun's face to flush, and gave him a fierce look. Xiao Li, what did you do to our Xiao Ming? Chen Li shook her arm and asked angrily. Hey. Li Feng sighed without saying a word. Mom, don't ask, brother Li didn't do anything to me. He made me realize the importance of self-reliance. We were all wrong before, and we were too wrong. From now on, I will work hard and strive to become a person like Li Ji. So I have to go home to find a job, and rely on my own ability to create a world. Zhang Ming made a fist with his right hand and said loudly. Chen Li's eyes immediately turned red, ER, do you know how long I have been waiting for you? Okay, if you have this ambition, it means that mother has not raised you so much. Go, let's go home. When the voice fell, Chen Li walked out holding Zhang Ming in one arm and Zhang Hong in the other. Sister, stay and have lunch before leaving. No it's important to go home and help Xiao Ming find a job. Then, let's give it to you. No, from now on our family must be self-reliant. Seeing Chen Li's family heading out of the villa, Song Wen and his wife were dumbfounded. They actually left, did not take anything with them? This is too inconsistent with their character. Song Wan Jun turned to look at Li Feng, with a look of doubt. Li Feng shrugged and said that he really didn't do anything. It seems that Xiao Ming has really changed. This is a good thing, a good thing. Chen Li said with emotion. Yeah, it has been more than a year since Xiao Ming graduated from a prestigious university, and he has stayed at home and is not motivated. It is fine now. Once he wakes up, I hope he will have a good future in the future. Song Wen sighed. Those who are elders will not really be angry with the juniors, and all hope that the juniors are good. It's just that sometimes they hate iron but not steel. Now seeing Zhang Ming wake up, they are naturally very happy. Uncle and aunt, please rest assured, as long as Xiao Ming is down to earth, I will let him have a great future. 
Li Feng smiled beside him. Song Wen raised his eyebrows and sighed, Thank you, Xiao Li, for showing you a joke just now, hey? It's okay uncle. Li Feng waved his hand again and again. By the way, Xiao Li, you just said you have something to tell us, what is it? Chen Qian asked curiously. Well, that, Li Feng, you go to the kitchen with me first. Song Wan Jun was a little nervous. You kid, why did Xiao Li go to the kitchen with you? Chen Qian glared at Song Wan Jun and said dissatisfied. Song Wan Jun curled her lips and said nothing. Li Feng smiled, and then he reduced his smile, and said in a deep voice, Uncles and aunts, this is the case, in fact, I have ST nationality. What? Song Wen and his wife were stunned on the spot. What does Xiao Li mean? How can he say that he has ST nationality? It is that Li Feng's face is much thicker than ordinary people, and he doesn't know what to say at this time. At this moment, Song Wan Jun sat next to Li Feng and said, Parents, Li Feng actually has a fiancé. I am only a third party. What? The Song Wen and his wife stood up with a choking sound. Before the two went crazy, Song Wan Jun said, Don't worry, ST is polygamous, and if Li Feng has ST nationality, he can marry us all in. Song Wen Chen Qian So this is why Li Feng said he has ST nationality? And I was married once, and it's so much older than Li Feng. Li Feng is still so good. It's perfect enough to be married by his mediator. You can also object, I will leave Li Feng, but I will never marry forever. Song Wan Jun said firmly. Song Wen and his wife looked at each other and sighed after a long while, since Li Feng can give you a legal status, then we have nothing to say. As long as Li Feng treats you sincerely, we, no objection. They made this decision after careful consideration. Just like Song Wan Jun said, since Li Feng can marry her as a matchmaker, it means that he can give Song Wan Jun the title. And Li Feng is indeed very good, so good that a small group of the best in the world, Wan Jun is indeed married once. Coupled with the decisiveness in Song Wan Jun's tone, the two were also afraid that bad things would happen if they refused. Song Wan Jun was overjoyed and rushed over and hugged them. Opposite, Li Feng also breathed a sigh of relief, a smile spreading across his face. The next time, Li Feng took Song Wen's family of three to a nearby hotel for dinner. In order not to attract the attention of others, Li Feng naturally dressed up in disguise, otherwise he would have to use the system to intervene. During the meal, Li Feng suddenly received a call from Shen Zixuan. Hey, Li Feng, there is an urgent task that needs your help. Shen Zixuan's tone on the phone was very quick. Li Feng raised his eyebrows, what task? Shen Zixuan said anxiously, it's not convenient to say on the phone, you come to me. Well, don't worry, I'll go over immediately. After hanging up the phone, Li Feng briefly introduced the situation and apologized to Song Wen and his wife. Then he got up and drove to the airport and booked a ticket to Beijing. Five hours later, Li Feng came to Shen Zixuan's residence. After meeting, Shen Zixuan said, the Azure Dragon Envoy was caught by the Super Bureau. Li Feng Li Feng was just stunned. Azure Dragon Envoy, the Supreme Late Powerhouse, why was he caught by the Super Power Bureau? Did he go to America to do things? That's awesome. Hey. Ah, Xiao Xian Xian, don't worry, you tell me how the Azure Dragon Envoy was arrested. Li Feng took a deep breath and asked. Because of the destruction of the Tridely Biological Laboratory, the Super Bureau went crazy looking for Dragon Souls all over the world. Although the Dragon Soul members have always acted cautiously, ten members were captured alive. The Dragon Head was furious and asked us to rescue the ten members who were arrested as soon as possible, so Ching Long made his own way to the United States. Then, he was captured alive. At this point, Shen Zixuan was a little bit dumbfounded. Originally, the four dragon envoys wanted to act together, 
but I didn't know what was wrong in Emma Wenchen's mind. After leaving a note, he went to the United States alone. Then he lost contact the next day. If it weren't for the Dragon Soul to be placed in the Super Bureau and should risk death to send a message, they didn't know that the Azure Dragon Envoy was captured alive. Li Feng also thought it was funny, but fortunately, he received professional training and would not laugh no matter how funny. Ah, did the Azure Dragon Envoy want to show the limelight? Li Feng said with a strong smile. Shen Zixuan rolled her eyes, I think so too. Okay, this is a typical case of pretending X is not an ante, enough to be written into a textbook. Li Feng shook his head and sighed. Okay, don't talk coldly, no matter how much, the Azure Dragon Envoy also took you. Shen Zixuan gave him a white look and said in a deep voice, Now you are the only one who can bring back the Azure Dragon Envoy and the other ten captured Dragon Soul members without any pressure. You will definitely not let me down, right? The corner of Li Feng's mouth twitched, rubbing his teeth and said, Who said there is no pressure, it is very pressure. If it is nine people, then this matter really doesn't have any pressure for him, just find them directly and then send them back to the group space. But the number of problems exceeds 9, and the upper limit of the group space teleportation technique is 10 people, and he must give up 2 of them. Is it just that you can give up if you give up? As long as there is 1% hope, all people must be rescued. Don't you want to go? Shen Zixuan scowled and said coldly, I don't care, these people who were arrested are the elites of the Dragon Soul so they are all lost in the United States, and the loss of the Dragon Soul is too great. You are a demigod in the late stage. If you play hard, Demigod Peak will not be your opponent. Besides you, I really can't think of anyone who can go to the United States to rescue them. Li Feng pondered for a while, gritted his teeth and said, Don't worry, you have spoken, I am definitely going, but I have to plan carefully. In this way, you give me all the information of those ten people, I will study for one night, and I can almost think of a way by tomorrow morning. In fact, he already had a general plan in his mind, but it was not yet mature for the time being, and needed to be carefully crafted. Shen Zixuan stared at him for a while, then said after a long while, Okay, what you say is what you say. You have to say something, then do you have to reward me? Li Feng said with a smile. Death. Shen Zixuan rolled her eyes, got up, twisted her waist and walked to the bedroom. Li Feng smiled, and quickly followed. Early the next morning, after a night of practice, Shen Zixuan prepared breakfast radiantly and called Li Feng to the restaurant. The time is up, have you figured out a way? When eating, Shen Zixuan asked straight into the subject. Li Feng nodded. I figured it out. I'm going to make a trick to bring them back to China from the United States. Fish eyes mixed with beads? Tell me more carefully, I want to hear. Shen Zixuan came interested. You'll know soon. Li Feng smiled playfully and stood up and said, Tell the dragon head, when I rescue the person, he has to fight for me some good rewards, after all, I am not a member of the dragon soul, just for help. Reward. Shen Zixuan raised her eyebrows and joked, Then I will let the leader accompany you for one night? Three nights are fine. Li Feng had a bitter chill, Forget it, let's not let it go. Small, can't heal you. Shen Zixuan was very proud. Hey, it's against the sky, right? Li Feng stared at him, hugged Shen Zixuan directly, and strode towards the bedroom. At 6 p.m., Li Feng posted a Weibo online. Shengtang Entertainment will cooperate with HN Pictures to shoot a large-scale production film. The male lead has been determined to be the new star Beethoven. As for the female lead, he is the world's top-tier superstar. Who will be the specific? A close. Tomorrow I will lead a professional team to New York, USA, to have further discussions with HN Pictures. Once this Weibo was published, it immediately caused quite a stir on the internet. Listening to President Lee, the investment in this movie is not small, 
can you tell me more about it? What kind of big production, science fiction? Action? It can't be a romance, right? According to past experience, all the movies CO produced by Huimai are not much better. It is also based on past experience that anyone who is not optimistic about President Lee will end up being beaten in the face. Fuck, what you said makes sense, but I can't refute. There are different opinions on the internet, and Li Feng is also making final preparations for his trip to the United States. This is your plan. Shen Zixuan looked at the eleven strangers with different looks in front of her, and said with a weird expression. Yes, this is my plan. Li Feng smiled slightly and pointed at them and said, When the time comes, I will let them all disappear, and then let Qing Long make them replace them, and sway back to China with me. How is it possible? Shen Zixuan's first reaction was impossible, which sounds incredible, right? What if I did it? Li Feng asked with a playful smile at the corner of his mouth. If you did it, you did it. It only shows that you are awesome. Shen Zixuan rolled her eyes. At that moment, she wanted to understand, Li Feng, this guy can't use common sense, he can even master the space transmission, what else can he not do? Okay, since you believe it, I won't say anything. You can do it again as soon as possible with the personal information and passports of eleven of them, so as not to reveal any flaws. These eleven people, like Beethoven, were made by Li Feng using primary biochemical machine compression pills. One person has 10,000 system points, and eleven people are 110,000. Based on the principle of saving one point, Li Feng handed over the task of forging the passport to Shen Zixuan, anyway. Dragon Soul is also very good at doing this kind of thing. Okay, leave it to me. Without delay, Shen Zixuan immediately began to prepare the information and passports of the eleven people. Just when Shen Zixuan started to forge information, Luo Tianzheng and others also came to Beijing. Everything is ready, only O Dong Feng. Early the next morning, a 21-person professional team led by Feng Li took a bus to the Beijing International Airport and boarded an A380 private jet. I'm going, the boss's private jet is too frantic, like a palace. Look at this interior, it's a bunker, I won't get tired of staying in this place for a month. It's over, I'm in love with this private jet, and I will go to the whole one when I look back. As soon as Luo Tianzheng and the others got on the plane, it was as if Grand Malu entered the Grand View Garden. After a round of visits, he went to the recreation room to rest and began to sigh. Look back? You can't make it even if you look back twice. Do you know how much the plane is? Wei Bin sneered again and again. Fuck, look down on me, don't you? Chu Biao struck his neck with an unhappy expression. I'm not aiming at you, I mean everyone in this room is poor. Wei Bin glanced at Luo Tianzheng and the others and continued to sneer. Luo Tianzheng and the others looked at each other, then. Fuck, he dare to humiliate us. Fuck it, turned him upside down. Brothers are still stunned, hit him. With Luo Tianzhen's roar, the eight elders were about to slap Wei Bin all over. At this moment, Li Feng suddenly walked into the entertainment room, I heard you bluffing outside, why? You want to take down my plane, right? No, no, how is it possible? That is, it is too late for us to take care of it, and we will never take down the plane. While speaking, Luo Tianzheng and the others took out a rag from their pockets and began to wipe them everywhere. The corner of Li Feng's mouth twitched, Okay, this time I'm going to the US to keep a low profile. I have big things to do. If anyone delays the business, you will think about the consequences. We understand we understand, we definitely help the boss to make things beautiful. Luo Tianzheng and the others promised to pat their chests continuously. Just ring the bell if you need it, and the flight attendants on the plane will come over, but let me remind you that these flight attendants are good girls, and you are not allowed to think about them. Of course, if you have the ability to chase them down and marry them home as wives, I won't object. 
After saying this, Li Feng left the entertainment room. Li Feng had already said this, Luo Tianzheng and others naturally did not dare to do anything to those flight attendants. As for marrying home to be a wife. Hehe, <laughs> how cool are they themselves, why do they find someone to take care of themselves and go home? Isn't that cheap? After 12 hours of sailing, the A380 landed at LSJ International Airport. The reason why the first stop was set at LSJ, Li Feng also said to the outside world, because mysterious woman is being filmed at LSJ, he has to lead a professional team to observe and learn. After landing, the HN film-related personnel who received the notice picked up Li Feng's 21-person professional team in a special car, and the crew members took other vehicles to check in at a nearby hotel. Along the way, Luo Tianzheng and others looked at the scenery outside the window and sighed, it is said that the United States is so much better, how come I feel that it is not as good as our China? Yeah, let's just talk about LSJ Airport. Compared with Beijing Airport, it is almost a sky and an underground. This road is also uneven. The high-rise buildings next to it are not as elegant as Beijing and Mingzhou. No wonder people often say that they will be more patriotic after going abroad. Now I am deeply proud that I am a Chinese. Fortunately, they all use Huaxia when they speak, otherwise the HN film staff in the car will definitely not feel happy after listening. The 11 biochemical robots posing as professional negotiators of Shengtang Entertainment were silent along the way. It was not that they could not speak, but the less they said now, the lower the chance of revealing flaws when they dropped the package. After an hour of driving, the dedicated car fleet came to the filming location of Mysterious Woman. After everyone got off the car, they walked into the studio under the leadership of the staff. Landuo, you need to be a little bit more succinct just now, and you must have a sense of strength while showing beauty. Okay, let's take another one. Jack, you were not brave enough just now, yes, that's it, very good. Upon entering the set, Li Feng and others heard the director's instruction. Fuck, this is where the film was made. What is this big green cloth, it's too ugly to use this as a background. Hey, the white girl here looks good. I'll go, this outfit is okay, just look at it. Luo Tianzheng and others were once again incarnate as Grand Malu who entered the Grand View Garden, and were so interested in everything on the set. Of course, in the end they all focused on Al Landor. As I said before, Al Landor's figure is comparable to a supermodel, and then wearing the mysterious woman's battle clothes, the visual impact is not to mention, it directly made Luo Tianzheng and the others look straight. When everyone talked, they came behind the director. The director was a little angry when he heard the whispers behind him, and he would reprimand him when he turned around. But when he saw that the leader was Li Feng, he was shocked, and quickly stood up and said, Boss, why are you here? At the beginning, he felt that Al Landor was not suitable for the heroine of Mysterious Woman, which caused Li Feng's dissatisfaction. He still remembers this. Fortunately, he didn't directly speak out the reprimand just now, otherwise he would be embarrassed. Li Feng smiled and said, Well, I'll come and have a look, you continue to work. Good boss. The director did not dare to ask more, and continued to devote himself to work. At the same time, Al Landor also saw Li Feng, and she was pleased to say hello to Li Feng, but then she thought that she was still filming so she could only smile and nod to Li Feng. With Li Feng backing up, Luo Tianzheng and the others just went back to their own home. It was a great time to have fun. Just as the filming was about to end, a young white man walked into the set with flowers in hand. After seeing Li Feng, the white man was taken aback for a moment, and then surprised, Oh hey, man, you are Li Feng, right? Li Feng raised his eyebrows, Yes, are you? This is Hunter Bray, hello. Hunter walked to Li Feng and stretched out his right hand. Li Feng smiled and shook hands with him, looked at the flowers in his hand and asked, Let me guess, this bouquet of flowers is for Al Landor, right? Yes, buddy, 
you are so smart. Hunter shrugged, and then he wondered, are you here to visit the class too? Right. Li Feng nodded. Henry nodded his head and suddenly reacted, don't tell me you are also looking for Al Landor. Li Feng raised his eyebrows and just about to deny it, Al Landor, who had finished filming, rushed to Li Feng and took his arm, honey, I'm so happy that you can come to visit the class. Li Feng. Hunter. Luo Tianzheng and others. Damn it, the boss is crazy. It's a private jet and a professional team. Whatever you say is for business, it is business for emotional pickup. No wonder I set the first stop at LSJ, and what I said to the outside world to study and study, quant is a routine. At this moment, what Luo Tianzheng and others admired Li Feng was the five-body cast. Aside, the director of Mysterious Woman kept wiping cold sweat. Fuck, it's no wonder that the boss wants Al Landor to be the hostess. The feeling is his girl. Fortunately, he didn't have much conflict with Al Landor. Fortunately. Looking at Hunter Bray again, a fairly handsome face has become a little distorted. Fortunately, he likes watching Li Feng play. He never thought it was his rival. Then he shouted come on and beautiful to Li Feng before. Didn't he feed the dog? At this moment, Li Feng was also quite dazed. Did the young master look like a shield, and was pulled out again? It is not Li Feng's character not to fight back after suffering a loss. He laughed at the moment and said, Honey, I don't think everyone believes that we are lovers, or you, Qin, and I will prove it to them. Al Landor Since she started filming Mysterious Woman, Hunter Bray has come to visit the class every day with flowers and gifts. Even if she refused politely at the beginning, it couldn't stop Hunter Bray's enthusiasm, which annoyed her. So she grabbed Li Feng's arm just now when her brain was hot, but who would have thought that Li Shen Gang would come out like this? Now that the question is coming, Qin Bie, her first question is gone, not Qin, will let people know that she is lying, and simply put her on the fire. Just as Al Landor was in a dilemma, Li Feng smiled and said, just kidding, we Chinese are more conservative and we are not used to being in the crowd. I was just thinking about why you suddenly changed sex. You didn't agree with me doing this before, and it shocked me. Al Landor reacted super fast, first hit Li Feng with a pink punch, and then acted like a baby. Li Feng raised his eyebrows and turned to look at Hunter Bray, Mr. Hunter, I'm sorry, Al is already a famous flower but your flowers are beautiful. I will accept your kindness for her. He stretched out his right hand while speaking. Hunter Bray's face changed several times, and after a long while he smiled, Mr. Lee, I investigated you. You have a fiancé in China, and Al Landor doesn't contact you very often. At least in the past week, she has never sent you a message or called. As soon as he said this, Al Landor's complexion changed drastically. Even Li Feng couldn't help his face slightly changed, can I ask how you know these things? Humph, I naturally have my way. Hunter Bray said with a mysterious smile. Although you are not telling the truth, I have legitimate reasons to suspect that you are investigating me privately. Al Landor let out a sigh of relief, and said in a deep voice, wait for my lawyer's letter. You want to sue me? Hunter Bray said with a mocking smile at the corner of his mouth, Do you know what I do? Anyway, El Landor even did things like pulling a shield, and obviously didn't want to give him a chance, so what face would he leave El Landor? So now he is a little bit going to tear his face with El Landor. I'm curious, what do you do? Li Feng asked with a smile. IVB. When the voice fell to the ground, Hunter Bray took out a certificate from his arms, with three English letters on it IVB. Everyone's complexion changed slightly, and their breathing became quicker. IVB's reputation is deeply rooted in the hearts of the people. Once IVB's eyes are on him, it means he is in serious trouble. In the casino, who can guarantee that there is no stain on his body? As long as there is a stain on the body, 
I am afraid of being investigated by Ivy by AI. Can you investigate a US citizen at will if you are 4 by A? Al Landor almost laughed angrily. Hunter Bray sneered and said, You are right. I do have the right to investigate anyone suspected of breaking the law. Then you tell me what is suspected of breaking the law. Al Landor said coldly. I suspect he is a spy. Hunter Bray pointed at Li Feng and sneered, Now do you know what you are suspected of breaking the law? Li Feng. Strictly speaking, he is really a spy, so Hunter Bray is the one who hit a dead mouse. You're bloody. Al Landor was anxious. Although Li Feng is the largest shareholder of HN Entertainment, he is also the small owner of the tornado, and he is still making a big splash in the NBA. But in the final analysis, he is a Chinese. In today's US, it is a right thing to pour dirty water on a Chinese. In the unlikely event that 4 by a investigates Li Feng, even if Li Feng has not done anything, he may be framed and framed. Isn't her zealous behavior harming Li Feng? At this moment, Al Landor regretted his impulsive behavior. Fuck, this kid dare to say that the boss is a spy. I, Nima, can't bear it, boss, give an order, let us go and destroy him. Boss, give an order. Luo Tianzheng and others were angry. Ten demigod pinnacle powerhouses gathered here. If they were threatened by a small member of the US if by AI, would it be worth it? Stay steady with whatever you are excited about. Li Feng glared at them, then looked at Hunter Bray, playing with the taste, since you suspect that I am a spy, what do you want to do next? You'll know soon. Hunter Bray sneered, took out his cell phone and dialed out. Hey, I found a spy suspect at the Hollywood Stray building, and immediately led people to surround it. Upon hearing this, everyone present changed their faces. Pop pop pop! Li Feng applauded. Luo Tianzheng and the others, who were unclear about the situation, certainly couldn't watch the boss applaud alone, so they also began to applaud. Luo Tianzheng and the others applauded, and other unexplained people also began to applaud. Psychologically speaking, this is called herd mentality. Soon, there was thunderous applause. Hunter Brett is dumbfounded, okay? Whatever happens, start applauding. Wonderful, really wonderful, you finally let me see with my own eyes what is Minja from the United States. Li Feng shook his head, then turned to Wei Bin and said, Is it all taken? Just now he transmitted the voice to Wei Bin and asked Wei Bin to take a cell phone to take this scene. Wei Bin nodded, it's all filmed. This video will definitely cause a sensation when it goes back to China. Until then everyone discovered that Wei Bin had an extra mobile phone in his hand. Hunter Bray was taken aback for a moment, and then sneered, do you think I will let you pass it back to China? Naive. When the voice fell to the ground. Hunter Bray took out a pistol and aimed it at Wei Bin, delete the video, I will only say it once. The crew on the set exclaimed. Hey buddy, one thief, one thief. Li Feng waved his hand, this matter can actually be solved in a better way. Why don't we talk about it alone? Hunter Bray was taken aback for a moment, then he put away his gun proudly and said, of course, I don't want to make the relationship with you but I have a request, and Al Landor must follow. Ding, host, you have a new task, do you want to check it now? Li Feng frowned slightly, is the mission here at this time related to Al Landor? Check. Task, save the goddess Al Landor, 2. Task goal, help the goddess Al Landor get rid of Hunter Bray's entanglement. If the task fails, 4 million system points will be deducted from the host as punishment. Task reward, 1 million experience points 2 million system points 20 conquest points. After reading the task introduction, Li Feng smiled and said, it's not good to let a woman follow when two men talk about things. Maybe he will use force on Hunter Bray later, which is a bit inconvenient for Al Landor to follow. There is nothing wrong with it. This is my request. If you don't agree, then I won't talk to you. 
Hunter Bray said with a calm expression on Li Feng. Hey, fucking. Luo Tianzheng waited for people to look down, and rolled up his sleeves to prepare to clean up this arrogant American. One thief, one thief. Li Feng pressed his palm down and said with a smile, You said you guys are all too old, so you can't be less temperamental. Luo Tianzheng smirked while waiting for someone to touch the back of his head. Everyone. No. Didn't Li Feng bring a group of fools over? Okay, since you have to let El Landor follow, let her follow. Al, you won't be scared, will you? Li Feng turned to look at Al Landor and asked. Al Landor looked down, of course I won't be afraid. She had caused this incident, and she would definitely not flinch at this time. Very good. Li Feng nodded and said to Hunter Bray, lead the way. Hunter Bray shook his head and pointed at Wei Bin and said, he hasn't deleted the video yet. Wei Bin curled his lips and put the phone directly into his arms. Fake, are you kidding me? Hunter Bray took out his pistol again and aimed at Wei Bin. Old Wei, don't be so clever at this time, why don't you delete the video soon? Li Feng said without looking back. Yes, boss. Wei Bin stopped playing tricks, took out his cell phone and deleted the video in front of Hunter Bray. Count you acquaintances. Hunter Bray put away his pistol, but had no intention of leaving here. Li Feng raised his eyebrows, why, Mr. Hunter doesn't plan to talk to me. No, no, of course I want to talk to you, but I have to wait a while. Hunter Bray raised his wrist and looked at his watch, playing with the taste, wait another five minutes, let's go out in five minutes. Li Feng's eyes flashed and he gestured and said, O oh Baron K. In less than five minutes, a group of heavily armed 4 by a arrived here and surrounded it. The crew on the set was pale in fright and silenced. I want to go out for a while and leave it to you here. Before I come back, no one is allowed to go out, understand? Hunter Bray glanced at them and said. Sir? Yes sir. The Avbis answered in unison, vigorously, shaking the roof. Well. Hunter Bray nodded in satisfaction, then hooked his finger at Li Feng, we can go out. When the voice fell, he should step out of the set first. Stray building is a multifunctional building. The first to third floors are shopping malls, 4 to 32 are office rooms, and 33 to 38 is a five-star hotel. The scene of Mysterious Woman was filmed in a writing room on the eighth floor. After coming out, Hunter Bray took Li Feng and Al Landor onto the elevator to the 33rd floor and opened a suite. After entering the room, Hunter Bray locked the room, turned his head and looked at Al Landor with a smile, and said, Al, how is the environment here, are you satisfied? Al Landuo frowned slightly, holding Li Feng's arm in a little fear and said, It doesn't matter whether the environment here is good or bad, it's just a place for temporary conversation anyway. Is that really the case? Hunter Bray hooked his mouth and took out his pistol to play. Al Landor became more afraid, you, what are you going to do? Do you think I would threaten you with a gun? No, you are wrong. The gun is not very useful to me. It is only used to scare ordinary people. When the voice fell, Hunter Bray put the pistol on the coffee table. Li Feng raised his eyebrows. What if the other party is not an ordinary person? Well, he he. Hunter Bray smiled mysteriously and changed the subject, what do you want to drink? While talking, Hunter Bray walked to the wine cabinet. El Landor's complexion changed slightly, turning his head to look at the pistol on the coffee table, breathing slightly. If she takes the gun in her hand at this time, will the negotiation have an advantage later? Just as Al Landor thought about the feasibility of it, Li Feng secretly squeezed her waist. After the filming, El Landor did not take off the costume, so she still wore the extremely exaggerated suit, which was exposed to the waist. Li Feng's pinch was directly on her skin, making her look at Li Feng immediately like an electric shock. A beer, Al, what would you like to drink? Li Feng winked at Al Landuo. 
Only then did Al Landor react and said quickly, I have a beer too, thank you. Alcohol can soothe the mood and calm the mood, and beer will not make people drunk so easily, so drinking beer is a good choice at this time. Okay, wait. Hunter Bray bent down and opened the wine cabinet. Lee, shall we? Al Landor pointed to the pistol on the coffee table and whispered. Li Feng rolled his eyes and whispered, Are you stupid? He put it here on purpose, just to let us take it. Then we will become unreasonable even if it is reasonable. Besides, the gun can't threaten him. The gun can't threaten him? What does that mean? Al Landor was puzzled. You'll know it then. Li Feng smiled, without further explanation. At this moment, Hunter Bray, with three bottles of beer in his hand, walked back. After seeing the pistol on the coffee table still lying there quietly, Hunter Bray was visibly stunned, and then a playful smile appeared at the corner of his mouth, you are smart and didn't hold a gun. Despite Li Feng's reminder, Al Landor's expression changed slightly and said, what if we take it? Then I have reason to arrest you on the spot. Hunter Bray smiled slightly, opened the beer, and handed it to the two of them, for this meeting, Chai Asai. Chai Asai. Li Feng raised the wine bottle and drank with one mouthful. Good drink. Hunter Bray's eyes flashed, and he also raised his head to drink a bottle of wine. El Landor twitched the corner of her mouth, just picked up the bottle and took a sip. She had a moderate amount of alcohol, but she didn't want to drink too much. It can be seen that Mr. Lee is very bold, so I will speak straightforwardly. Hunter Bray put down the bottle and played with the taste, I know you and Al Landor are not true lovers, you are just being pulled out to block the gun. As long as Mr. Lee admits this, I immediately ask my people to evacuate and ensure that mysterious woman can be filmed normally in the follow-up. Li Feng raised his eyebrows, what if I say no? Hunter Bray looked cold and sneered, if you say no. Then I have a hundred ways to stop mysterious woman from continuing to film, and even bankrupt HN Pictures. Al Landuo's complexion changed slightly, and the hands holding Li Feng's arm were shaking. Of course, this is not scary, but angry. Why did Hunter Bray not let Wonder Woman continue filming, and why did HN Pictures go bankrupt? Can Forbaye do whatever he wants? Even Li Feng was taken aback, so hanging. What did you say? Li Feng spoke Chinese English, and Hunter Bray couldn't understand the meaning for a while. I mean, Ivy by AI from the United States is so powerful, can HN Pictures go bankrupt? Li Feng repeated it patiently. Of course, Ivy Bia is so good. Hunter Bray sneered. Li Feng shrugged, but Ivy Bia is an organization. Why do you let Ivy Bia listen to you? Don't tell me that you are the head of Ivy Bia. He's definitely not, I've seen Ivy Bia's head. Al Landor shook his head and denied. It's not a secret who Forbaye's head is, the official website has his information. You are right, I am indeed not the head of Ivy by AI, but Ivy by AI's head wants to listen to my opinion. Hunter Bray laughed and picked up the pistol again. You should all know the power of modern weapons. Well, I have played a few times. Li Feng nodded. What do you want to do? Al Landor became nervous again. Nothing, I just want to show you for yourself what is a modern weapon. Hunter Bray raised a playful smile at the corner of his mouth, then pointed the gun at his jaw. Ah! Al Landor exclaimed, You, what are you going to do, are you crazy? Although Hunter Bray disgusted her, she didn't want to see Hunter Bray die in front of her like this. It was too bloody. And Hunter Bray is dead, she and Li Feng will also have trouble, after all, there are only two of them present, it is difficult for others not to doubt them. At this moment, Hunter Bray pulled the trigger. With a bang, the frightened Al Landor closed his eyes, his face turned pale and his eyelashes trembled. Hey Al! You embarrass me like this. Just when Al Landor thought Hunter Bray was dead, Hunter Bray's voice rang in her ears. Al Landor suddenly opened his eyes, 
only to see Hunter Bray standing unscathed, but there was a bullet on his chin. If you look closely, you will find that the bullet did not hurt Hunter Bray's skin, but was clamped by Hunter Bray with skill. My God, why is this? El Landor couldn't believe his eyes. Shooting at such close range, the bullet can't hurt him at all. Is this making a movie? Her reaction made Hunter Bray very satisfied, why is this? Because you closed your eyes just now, you don't know why this is happening. Then you open your eyes and watch how I did it. When the voice fell to the ground, Hunter Bray again slammed the gun on his chin, and then pulled the trigger. Boom! With a sound, the bullet hit Hunter Bray's jaw directly, and then he couldn't get in, as if hitting a copper wall. This scene stunned El Landor, this, this is unscientific. Yes, this is really unscientific, because it is not in the category of science. Hunter Bray put down his pistol triumphantly and said, Have you heard of Super Game? Super Power Game? Al Landor's face changed slightly, isn't that a science fiction drama? It was a science fiction drama, but it was based on a true story. Hunter Bray smiled triumphantly, and my dad is one of the four deputy chiefs of the Super Bureau. Li Feng finally changed his face this time. The Super Power Bureau has one chief, four deputy chiefs, and five chiefs, of which there is indeed one deputy chief named Bray Kevin Bray. So Hunter Bray is the son of Kevin Bray? No wonder Hunter Bray is so arrogant. It turns out that there is someone behind him. My God! Al Landor covered his mouth with his hand, his face in disbelief. When the storyline on TV is actually staged in reality, few people can calmly accept it. Now you know what kind of existence you are facing. Hunter Bray smiled triumphantly, holding a pistol and pointing at Li Feng and said, Guess if I shoot him, can he stop the bullet like me? Don't. Al Landuo was startled, and quickly blocked Li Feng. This trouble was caused by her, and she must stand up and take responsibility. If Li Feng was hurt by this, she would be in self-blame all her life. Don't be so excited, Mr. Hunter is just scaring me, he won't actually shoot. Li Feng pushed Al Landor aside and smiled. How can you be sure that I just scared you, in case I actually shoot? Hunter Bray sneered. Then you shoot. Li Feng said calmly. Hunter Bray stared at him for a while, and then laughed after a long while, Haha, you deserve to be the Li Feng who killed all sides in the NBA arena, you really have the courage. After speaking, he put away the gun. El Landor finally let go of his throat when she mentioned that she was really afraid of Hunter Bray shooting. Going back to the topic just now, because my dad is the deputy chief of the Super Bureau, if by A I must listen to my opinion. If he dares not listen, I can get him to roll off his position. Hunter Bray said domineeringly. This is not because he is bragging. The authority level of the Super Power Bureau is higher than that of Ivy by AI. In some things, Ivy by AI must obey the orders of the Super Power Bureau. Li Feng nodded and sighed, in other words, either Al Landor will be your girlfriend, or a mysterious woman cannot continue filming and HN Pictures will also face the risk of bankruptcy, right? No. Hunter Bray shook his head, playing with the taste, anyway, Al Landor will be my woman, because the initiative is in my hands. Only if she takes the initiative, HN Pictures can continue to operate normally. Al Landor's heart sank, and a sense of despair spontaneously emerged. In the face of a man who is extremely persistent and wants her, this man is both a superpower and powerful, and she has no possibility of resistance at all. Just when Al Landor was desperate, Li Feng let out a laugh, that's it. Then you shoot yourself once, I suspect that is a magic. Hunter Bray was taken aback for a moment, and then laughed, magic? It seems that you still don't recognize reality. Okay, then I will do it again and let you know what a superpower is. When the voice fell to the ground, Hunter Bray took out his pistol, pointed it at his chin, and pulled the trigger. Boom! Gunshot! Splashing blood! 
Oh my god! El Landor couldn't believe his eyes. Isn't Hunter Bray a superpower? The first two shots were unscathed. Why did the third shot hurt him? Oh fake! Oh good cheetah! Oh karma! Hunter Bray only felt a sharp pain in his jaw. When he touched his chin, he found that the bullet had penetrated the jaw about one centimeter away, and his hands were full of blood. After the scream, Hunter Bray knew that something was wrong. He was an S-class powerhouse, let alone a pistol, even a normal sniper rifle would not hurt him. Unless it's a heavy sniper rifle like Barrett and matched with armor-piercing bullets. There must be something wrong. Either the power of the pistol suddenly increased, or someone had tampered with the ejected bullet. From just now to the present, the pistol has been in his hands, and the first possibility can be directly ruled out, then only the second possibility remains. You did it. Hunter Bray clutched his chin, looked at Li Feng in horror and asked. If you think it's me, it's me. Li Feng smiled. Hunter Bray's face changed several times, and finally he gritted his teeth and asked, Are you also a martial artist? In addition to martial arts powerhouses who can use their own energy to apply extra kinetic energy to bullets, Hunter Bray can't think of anyone else who can do this. Only then did Al Landor react, looking at Li Feng with shock. Li Feng shrugged, Don't you already know it in your heart? Hunter Bray's face changed again, then what level of martial arts are you? In fact, he already had the corresponding judgment in his heart, and the realm of those who could control the bullet wounding him was definitely above him. Combined with Li Feng's age. Li Feng should be a strong SS. Li Feng mocked, you still don't want to know my realm, because you will be desperate when you know it. Desperate. Hunter Bray sneered and said, do you know what you are talking about? This is LSJ, it is the United States, and I am the son of Kevin Bray. Everyone knows that I will come out to negotiate privately with you. If I die, guess what will happen? Li Feng raised his eyebrows and said with a smile, I really don't know what the consequences will be. Why don't you tell me? Hunter Bray smiled up to the sky, you will be wanted, and HN Pictures and the tornado will also be destroyed because of your relationship. Don't doubt what I said, because my dad is an SSS level strong, you should be very clear about what an SSS level strong represents. What's more, behind my dad is the entire superpower bureau. So you can kill me now, as long as you can afford the consequences. Having said this, Hunter Bray sat back on the sofa and raised his legs. Although he was still bleeding from his jaw, Hunter Bray was squeezing his momentum at the moment, and the blood stains on his jaw added a bit of blood to him. Li Feng shook his head and smiled, and also sat on the sofa with Erlang's legs raised, then have you thought about another possibility? What's possible? Hunter Bray frowned slightly. Ha ha. Li Feng smiled took a cigar from his jacket pocket and put it in his mouth, then snapped his fingers at Al Landor who was standing by. Al Landor? No. Is he asking this lady to light him a cigar? But this lady does not have. Hey. Al Landor suddenly felt that there was something in his hand, and when he took a closer look, he found that there was an extra Zippo lighter in his hand. Snapped. Al Landor stabilized his mind and helped Li Feng light his cigar after lighting up. As she was about to straighten up, Li Feng suddenly grabbed her waist and pulled it along. Al Landor exclaimed and sat on his lap. Opposite, Hunter Bray's pupils shrank and he almost screamed fake. Fuck, he had been chasing the woman for so long, but he was treated like this by Li Feng, and he was angry with him. This is your price for using me as a shield. Li Feng turned his head to look at Al Landor, playing with the taste. Al Landor's face changed slightly, then he lowered his head and said in a low voice, I'm sorry. Li Feng shook his head and smiled, it's useless to apologize. After you go back, you will renew your contract with HN Pictures for another five years. Okay. Al Landor knew that he was wrong, so naturally he dared not bargain with Li Feng. Moreover, 
HN Pictures is a top film company, and there are still prospects for renewing the contract with HN Pictures, provided that, HN Pictures will not go bankrupt. Enough. Hunter Bray slapped the coffee table and said angrily, What the do you want to say, I am waiting for your answer. Oh, I almost forgot about you. Li Feng turned his head and played with the taste, it's very simple. My realm is far beyond your imagination. Don't say that your dad is an SSS level, deputy chief, even if Leighton Baines comes over, he has to kneel down and call grandpa for me. Do you know who the superpower bureau chief is? Hunter Bray was surprised. The superpower bureau is not like Ivy by AI. The information is all confidential. There are not many people who know the existence of this organization, let alone who knows the head of the Superpower Bureau. Li Feng not only called Leighton Baines by name, but he also said without shame that Leighton Baines would kneel in front of him and call Grandpa? Where is Li Feng's confidence? Forget it, it's been a long time since I came out with you, they should be anxious if they don't go back. Li Feng was too lazy to explain to Hunter Bray, he came to Hunter Bray in a flash, and then before Hunter Bray could react, he touched his hand on his forehead. During this process, Li Feng still maintained the posture of crossing his legs, and Al Landor was still sitting on his lap, as smooth as sitting in a galloping Rolls Royce. Except for the instant acceleration, there is no other feeling. It's amazing. Just when Al Landor was surprised, Hunter Bray suddenly got up then knelt on one knee at Li Feng, and said in a respectful voice, Hunter Bray, I have seen the master. Al Landor. No. Why is it the master, Hunter Bray's brain is short-circuited. Get up. Li Feng nodded, and without seeing any movement from him, he took Al Landor and sat back to his original position. Al Landor, it's amazing. At this moment, she has a strong interest in becoming a martial artist. You know what you should say after you go out. Li Feng said. Hey. El Landor pointed to his nose and asked, Me. Li Feng rolled his eyes, It's not you, it's you too. Forget it, I'll do it myself. When the voice fell, Li Feng first helped Hunter Bray to repair the injury of his jaw, and then used the system to modify El Landor's memory. At the same time, the system prompt sounded, ding, congratulations to the host, saving the goddess Al Landor mission completed, mission rewards are being issued. Ding, congratulations to the host, gain 1 million experience points 2 million system points and 20 conquest points as rewards. Host, Li Feng. Level, Demigod. Experience value. 93.02 million slash 100 million. System points, 216 million. Conquer points, 3249. Skills, Shenwei, Void God, 7 Steps to the Sky, Swordsmanship of the Sky, Void Flash, Between Square Inches, Guardian of Qing Shan, 36 Forms of Tian Gang, Rage, Cloud Explorer. Task to be completed. The birth of Titanic. After looking at his personal attributes, Li Feng took the two back to the set. The chemical plant in front of me is not a display, it is really in production. It is a brightly lit factory building, many pipes, and the staff on duty. No one who sees it will doubt the authenticity of this factory, and naturally will not doubt that there are other institutions hidden in this factory. Superpower Bureau really can play. Li Feng sighed, opened the fluoroscopy and checked it carefully, and soon discovered that there was a cave under the chemical plant. The surface of the ground looks like cement, but it is only a thin layer. Below this layer of cement is reinforced concrete nearly two meters thick. Below this layer of reinforced concrete is another world brightly lit. Originally, Li Feng wanted to find the entrance and then go in but he did not find it after using the invisibility to find a circle in the factory. He simply transported the wall-piercing technique directly and passed through the nearly 2-meter reinforced concrete layer to super energy. Inside the bureau. With white walls, wide corridors, and bright lighting, 
Li Feng didn't feel too depressed even if it was underground. Perhaps it was a relationship at night. After entering the interior, Li Feng didn't meet many staff members. From a perspective, many offices were empty. Where did Qing Long keep them locked up? Li Feng searched this floor, but found no trace of Emma Wenchen and others, so he could only go to the next floor through the elevator shaft. After some searching, Li Feng finally found Emma Wenchen on the fifth floor. In a room made of alloy, Emma Wenchen was sitting on the interrogation chair, his hand scuffed to the back of the chair, his body was by five flowers. Sitting on the chair opposite him was a white man with Erlang's legs tilted and a cigar dangling from his mouth, and he was talking to Emma Wenchen. Seen from behind, the white man's left arm is obviously thicker than his right arm. This person should be one of the two deputy chiefs of the Super Power Bureau whose left arm was cut off. Li Feng whispered to himself, carried the wall penetration technique into the room, walked to the white man and took a look. This person seems to be called Donald Silas. Li Feng pondered for a while, and recognized the person. At that time, the Super Power Bureau and the Shadow joined forces to make the game, trying to complete their efforts and destroy Xiang Tianya and the Four Dragon Envoys. Never thought that Li Feng would appear and rescue Shen Zixuan. The two entered a different dimension space together, and then Shen Zixuan got a breakthrough in the realm of strange encounters, and after he came out, he helped Xiang Tianya break the game. At that time, Donald Silas and Norman Michael had their left arms beheaded and fled. Emma Wenchen, you Chinese people have an old saying, a person who knows the current affairs is a brilliant man. You have fallen into our hands. What is the point of struggling? It's better to tell us what you know, and then swear allegiance to the Super Power Bureau, you can still live a prosperous life in the United States. I promise you that. Donald Silas let out a puff of smoke, and said sensibly. Pooh. Emma Wenchen opened his mouth and spit out and sneered, Know the times and do what you are doing. I have been fighting for many years, and I will never be a traitor. If there is a kind, you will kill me. Donald Silas' eyes cold, he patted the table and said, Emma Wenchen, you are already a waste person now, even if you return to the dragon soul you will only be regarded as an abandoned child. On the contrary, if you are willing to surrender and stay in the Super Bureau, based on your understanding of the Dragon Soul, you will definitely be reused. You should be very clear about this. Rejection Li Feng's expression changed slightly, and he quickly observed Emma Wenchen for a while, only to discover that Emma Wenchen's dantian had been destroyed. At this moment, the anger in Li Feng's heart suddenly rose. Although Emma Wenchen was not authentic sometimes, what Li Feng couldn't deny was that Emma Wenchen had also helped him. The grace of the dripping water was reported by the spring, Emma Wenchen was so miserable, Li Feng had already put Donald Silas on the death list in his heart. Ha ha ha, ha 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 ha. Emma Wenchen suddenly looked up to the sky and laughed, tears of laughter almost streaming out. Donald Silas frowned slightly, what are you laughing at? I laugh at you an idiot. Emma Wenchen stopped laughing and said with a cold look, do you think you still care about life and death when you are in the position of you and me? No one has died since ancient times, and keep the loyalty and history. I want to stand upright, and die upright, don't ask the god, never be a slave. Well said. Li Feng clenched his fist fiercely cheering for Emma Wenchen in his heart. A good sentence stands upright, and a good sentence will never be a slave. Nowadays, many people are kneeling, kneeling to make money, kneeling to live, even when they die. It's not that these are born like this. A large part of them are forced by life. Who doesn't want to stand and make money? Conditions do not allow. So Li Feng admires those who stand to make money and stand to live. In the life and death crisis, it is even more worthy of Li Feng's admiration to be able to tell the people who died standing up. Fuck, don't you toast and drink fine wine, right? Okay, I'll just let me stand and die. But before you die, you have to be tortured again. 
Donald Silas sneered and flicked his left hand. The palm that looked like a normal person suddenly turned into an electric drill. The electric drill started, making a horrible clang sound, and then Donald Silas got up and walked to Emma Wenchen, assaulting the electric drill on Emma Wenchen. Fuck, Nima. You are so wicked. I won't let you go if I be a ghost, you wait for me. Emma Wenchen yelled, but there was no fear in his eyes. He has experienced any painful things, afraid of this? Lao Tzu is a man, pure. You dare to be tough at this kind of time. Donald Silas sneered, and took the electric drill to Emma Wenchen. Just as the electric drill was about to hit Emma Wenchen, a finger suddenly hit the electric drill bit. The next moment. Ka ka zi zi bang. Donald Silas's bionic machine sparked from the left arm, and then it exploded. The broken parts fell to the ground. Damn it, who are you and how did you get in? Donald Silas retreated three meters, looking at Li Feng who suddenly appeared next to Emma Wenchen, asked in horror. Emma Wenchen turned his head and looked at Li Feng, and said in doubt, Brother, you are from the Dragon Soul? Why haven't I met you? I am not from the Dragon Soul. Li Feng said in a changed voice. You are not from the Dragon Soul, then who are you? Emma Wenchen became more confused. Li Feng rolled his eyes and said through the voice transmission, Emissary Ching Long, I am Li Feng, here to save you. Ah! Emma Wenchen was overjoyed. Opposite, Donald Silas roared, then turned his head and ran. Fake, his left arm was abolished as soon as he shot, such a strong man is simply not something he can resist. Want to run? Did you run? Li Feng sneered and peeked with his right hand, a white dragon claw came behind Donald Silas in an instant, and he caught him in one room. Donald Silas was shocked and struggling immediately. However, he is only an SSS rank, but Li Feng is a demigod late stage. His struggle has no effect at all. In order to punish him, dragon claw clenched a bit. You, who are you? Donald Silas looked at Li Feng and asked in horror. A cold smile appeared at the corner of Li Feng's mouth, Avenger. Emma Wenchen. Nima, if you save someone, you will save someone. What are you pretending to be an Avenger? Xiao Xian Xian has a crush on Li Feng? Avengers. Alliance. Donald Silas looked dazed. Isn't this an American anime? What kind of Avenger are you a Chinese? Although I am not a member of Dragon Soul, I am a Chinese with a sense of responsibility and justice. Dragon Soul is the pillar of the country. Your Super Power Bureau arrested the Dragon Soul members here and tortured them severely. This is a provocation to all of us in China. So. I want to destroy you on behalf of justice. Li Feng pointed at Donald Silas and said quietly. Donald Silas. Emma Wenchen. Yes. I just finished talking about the comics of the United States, and then started talking about the lines of the revised Dongying comics. Why can't you promote the comics of China? But before it is eliminated, you tell me where the other ten Dragon Soul members are being held. Li Feng pulled Donald Silas to him and asked coldly. Donald Silas's complexion changed slightly, and then he snarled his neck and said, do you think you still care about life and death when you are in my position? No one has died since ancient times, and keep his loyalty and history. I want to stand upright and die upright, Donald Silas, never a slave. Emma Wenchen. No. Isn't this his line, Donald Silas is not ashamed to say it. So. Li Feng smiled slightly, raised his hand and nodded on Donald Silas. With a sound of poof, Donald Silas let out a scream, and instantly felt the power in his body flow quickly. It's as if a bucket has been pierced and the water flows out quickly. This feeling made Donald Silas extremely desperate, and the eyes that looked at Li Feng were extremely resentful. You abolished him. Emma Wenchen was taken aback for a while, and then exulted, you abolished him. Okay, great. Donald Silas you have today. 
After he was captured, it was Donald Silas who crushed his pubic area. Li Feng's blow was tantamount to revenge for him. Fake fake fake. My ability is gone, all gone, I will kill you. Donald Silas, who was still shouting not to be afraid of life and death, was like crazy at the moment, twisting his body to beat Li Feng. It's just that he couldn't break free when he was still an SSS level powerhouse. At this moment, he became a useless person and there was no possibility of breaking free. Now you can always tell me where they are locked up. Li Feng said with a smile. I. Donald Silas felt Li Feng's powerful killing intent, and he temporarily hesitated whether to kneel down. Why don't you ask me? At this moment, Emma Wenchen said from the side. The corner of Li Feng's mouth twitched, you know. Of course I know, I was locked up with them. Emma Wenchen smiled. Li Feng, then why didn't you say it earlier? I don't want to see your ability to torture a confession. Now, you are still too tender. Emma Wenchen finally found a spot where he could bis Li Feng and couldn't help but proudly said. Three black lines appeared on Li Feng's forehead, if you say that to me. You are not afraid that I will not rescue you. Of course I am not afraid, you are not the kind of silver, I know you. Emma Wenchen smiled, confident. Li Feng rolled his eyes, then looked at Donald Silas, have you heard it all? You are worthless now, you can go and die by standing. Wait. Donald Silas quickly put on a begging expression and said, the Superpower Bureau headquarters is heavily guarded. You can't escape without my help. Li Feng raised his eyebrows, really? Are you planning to help us? Yes, as long as you are willing to give me a way out, I will help you escape. Donald Silas said in a deep voice. So you are begging me? Li Feng said playfully. Donald Silas's complexion changed several times, and finally gritted his teeth and said, Yes, I beg you to let me go. I know many secrets of the Super Bureau. As long as you bring me to China, I promise to know everything. Exhausted. To betray the Superpower Bureau, you must be mentally prepared to be endlessly chased by the Superpower Bureau. Except for Dragon Soul in this world, no other organization can provide him with protection. It is also ironic. He used this to persuade Emma Wenchen before, but he turned around and arranged it for himself. The big ups and downs in life are so exciting. It's not impossible, but can you perform that again? Li Feng smiled. What? Donald Silas looked puzzled. It's the one I want to stand. Li Feng played with taste. Do you want to come? Donald Silas's mouth was slightly bitter. Yes, that's it, hurry up. Li Feng said impatiently. Donald Silas adjusted his emotions, took a deep breath, and said, Do you think you still care about life and death when you are in my position? No one has died since ancient times, and you have a history of loyalty. I want to stand upright and die upright, Donald Silas, never a slave. Puff, ha 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 ha. Li Feng smiled directly. Emma Wenchen couldn't help it, and started to laugh. The anger in Donald Silas's heart, thinking about him, Tang Tang Chao was the deputy chief of the bureau, but he became a puppet to please others by acting mentally retarded. What a bully. Okay, for the sake of you being so familiar, then I will take you back to China, you can go. When the voice fell, Li Feng waved his hand, and Donald Silas disappeared from the place. Emma Wenchen. Isn't it? Spicy. The big man just disappeared? Didn't Li Feng gasify Donald Silas with a punch? Don't guess, this is space teleportation. Li Feng shrugged and untied the ropes and handcuffs from Emma Wenchen. Before he came, he didn't expect to take Donald Silas back to China. If he brought Donald Silas back to LSJ, it would be easy to show up. However, the value of Donald Silas is indeed great. So Li Feng used the mass space teleportation technique to teleport Donald Silas back to the Dragon Soul headquarters. As for Emma Wenchen and others, 
Li Feng is still planning to use the original plan to take them back to LSJ first, and then take the A380 private jet back to Beijing in a swaggering manner. At this moment, Huaxia went to Beijing at 8 o'clock in the morning. At the Dragon Soul headquarters, Xiang Tianya came to the office early and started a new day of work. Just as he was looking at a confidential document, a black crack suddenly appeared in the room. This, this is. Xiang Tianya stood up suddenly and looked at the black crack in front of him suspiciously. After a while, Donald Silas walked out of the black crack. After facing each other, the air in the room instantly solidified. Fuck. Donald Silas. Xiang, Xiang 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 Tianye. After a while, the two called out each other's name at the same time. Why are you here? The two spoke in unison again. Fuck, this is my office, why do you say I am here? Xiang Tianya was irritated. This Donald Silas was arrogant enough to break into his office and dare to ask why he was here. The key is that this guy is not wearing any clothes. What? Donald Silas was stunned again. After carefully observing the surrounding environment, he looked weird and said, No, I was in HSD a second ago. What? Xiang Tianya was also stunned. He was still in HSD one second, and came to Beijing the next second? Then he was angrily laughed, Donald Silas, are you so stupid, HSD is 20,000 miles away from here, how can you cross 20,000 miles in one second? No. I really didn't lie. Donald Silas was almost crying, then his expression changed slightly, ah, I remember it, it's Emma Wenchen. Xiang Tianya raised his eyebrows, Wen Tian. Donald Silas shook his head quickly, ah, it's not Emma Wenchen, but the Chinese man who went to save Emma Wenchen. Xiang Tianya. No. For a while, Emma Wenchen, and for a while, to save Emma Wenchen, so who is Donald Silas talking about? Just a handsome young man. He is very strong. He is the strongest guy I have ever seen. Now Donald Silas introduced the story. After I surrendered, he said he wanted to bring me to China, and then said, you go, and I came here. Hearing this, Xiang Tianya's expression became even more weird, so you were sent here by him. It must be him. There is nothing wrong with it. Donald Silas said with a stern look on his face, it made me cross 20,000 miles with a wave of hands. I didn't expect that he was already so strong. It's a great misfortune to be able to match him. Xiang Tianya let out a sigh of air, I know who you are talking about. I didn't expect this kid to be so strong. Shen Zixuan's visit to Li Feng was instructed by Tianya. Since he knew that Li Feng had gone to the United States, combined with Donald Silas' introduction, it was not difficult to guess that Li Feng did it. U.S., HSD, Super Energy Bureau Headquarters. Empty, empty space teleportation technique. Emma Wenchen was shocked. Damn it, can Li Feng have such a skill? What a monster. Okay, now is not the time to be shocked. I will take you out first, and then save the other members. Li Feng smiled slightly and was about to take Emma Wenchen out of the interrogation room. After arriving at the door, Li Feng discovered that the door was locked. That, the key seems to be on Donald Silas. This room is made of a one meter thick alloy. Even if an SSS level expert wants to break it through, it will take a lot of time. According to Donald Silas, when this wall is attacked, the alarm will sound all over the Super Bureau headquarters. Emma Wenchen said strangely. The corner of Li Feng's mouth twitched, why didn't you say it earlier? Emma Wenchen rolled his eyes, you didn't give me a chance to speak either, I won't have time to speak. Li Feng raised his eyebrows, are you blaming me? No, no, how could it be, you are my savior. Emma Wenchen sneered. Although he is not afraid of death, why should he choose not to have the opportunity to stand and live? There is no such iron method for head iron. You still have a conscience. Li Feng nodded, then looked at the wall in front of him, 
touched his chin, and said, It's so tight that I can't even see where the door is. I can go out at any time by myself, but I have to open the door if I bring an oil bottle. Ro. Um. It's too much to say that I dragged the oil bottle, no matter what, I was your boss before. Emma Wenchen reminded in a low voice. Only then did Li Feng react, uh. I'm quick to speak, I will pay attention next time. Emma Wenchen. Yes, he understood, Li Feng was deliberately disgusting him. System, can you open this door? Li Feng didn't want to be discovered by the Super Bureau now, so he gave up the option of blasting the wall with violence. 10,000 system points. The system's answer was very simple. Yes. Li Feng nodded, deducting 10,000 system points. The next moment. With a beep, a door opened on the white wall. Emma Wenchen? Someone came in. No one, I opened it with my mind. Li Feng said with a funny smile. Emma Wenchen, although I don't have much culture, you can't lie to me like that. God opens the door with his mind, and the mind can also interfere with the security system of the Super Bureau. Believe it or not. Li Feng shrugged and took Emma Wenchen out of the interrogation room. After coming out of the interrogation room, Emma Wenchen discovered that Li Feng's face had become Donald Silas, and even his hairstyle and thick arms were as good as Donald Silas. Just at this time, two patrol officers from the Super Power Bureau came on coming. The moment they saw Li Feng, the two immediately stopped and saluted, Mr. Deputy Chief. Well, you work very hard and continue to patrol. Li Feng nodded and said in the voice of Donald Silas. Yes, Mr. Deputy Chief. The two patrols were full of energy and continued to patrol. Emma Wenchen secretly gave Li Feng a thumbs up. This disguise ability is so strong, the Dragon Soul's trump card is not at this level. Li Feng turned his head and glanced at Emma Wenchen, then sneered, Be honest, don't slow down. Cut. Emma Wenchen rolled his eyes, still looking slow. Li Feng raised his eyebrows, walked behind Emma Wenchen and kicked with his foot, and kicked Emma Wenchen directly. What am I? Emma Wenchen turned his head and glared at Li Feng. Staring at me? You are not convinced, right? You too, bring me the Dragon Soul people. Li Feng suddenly stopped the two patrol officers and gave an order. What are you going to do, I warn you not to mess around? Emma Wenchen said anxiously. Upon hearing this, the patrol officers understood that the deputy chief must threaten Emma Wenchen with the lives of other members of the Dragon Soul. The two immediately took their orders and soon took the other ten members of the Dragon Soul here. At this moment, Emma Wenchen was completely convinced by Li Feng. Originally, the plan of the two was that Emma Wenchen led Li Feng to find the ten Dragon Soul members who were being held, but they did not expect to encounter two patrol officers as soon as they left the interrogation room. Li Feng Ji Zong Shenzi staged such a good show with Emma Wenchen. There are two benefits to this. One is that it reduces the link to find and save people. The other is that Li Feng can use Donald Silas' identity to sway them out of the Super Bureau headquarters. From Emma Wenchen's point of view, Li Feng is a special talent, and he can think of such a method. Awesome! Soon, the two patrol officers who went to the Ten Dragon Soul members came back and reported, Mr. Deputy Chief, Steve already knows and will them over soon. Li Feng nodded, Okay, I see, you can continue patrolling. Yes, Mr. Deputy Chief. The two patrol officers stepped back respectfully, and then left here with neat steps. Soon after the two left, a middle-aged white man in a black suit and gold wire glasses walked out of the corner of the corridor, behind him, followed by a string of Chinese in prison uniforms. The reason why it is a string is because their feet are handcuffed with anklets. These anklets are connected together, and they will make a rattling sound when they step. Not only that, they were all barefoot, and they didn't wear socks on their feet, and the skin was wiped off after the ankle chain rubbed against the ankle. Anyone who wears shoes and wears their feet knows how painful it is, 
and they find that they put on band-aids or the like as soon as they wear their feet. But they don't have band-aids available, and the iron chain has been rubbing against the wound. This pain. Among these people, seven men and three women, both men and women have disheveled hair, yellow and thin faces, a look of malnutrition, and many injuries from torture. Seeing this scene, the killing intent in Li Feng's heart rose uncontrollably. Deputy Chief Donald, I brought all the people you wanted. Steve said with a smile after dragging people here with the iron chain in his hand. Very well, you did very well. Li Feng nodded, and then said coldly, open all their ankle chains and handcuffs. Steve was taken aback for a moment, and then he wondered, I don't quite understand what you mean. You don't need to understand, you just need to do what I said, understand you stupid pig. Li Feng was suddenly furious, pointing to Steve's nose and cursing. Steve was taken aback and didn't dare to ask any more, he quickly took out the key and opened all the anklets and handcuffs. Very good, this is decent. Li Feng nodded, and then said, you can go back to Steve. Yes, Donald Deputy Commander. Although Steve is puzzled by what Donald Silas is going to do, he is the deputy commander and all he has to do is to obey, obey, or obey. Otherwise he is a stupid pig, a big stupid pig. As soon as Steve left, Li Feng said to the ten dragon soul members who were expressionless, your azure dragon envoy has been recruited, and you have lost value, so. Next, I will send you a ride. What? The ten dragon soul members were taken aback for a moment, and then looked at M.O. Wenchen in disbelief. M.O. Wenchen. God, why did I recruit? Don't be so innocent. Emissary Ching Long, you, did you really recruit? No, you are one of the four dragon envoys and are extremely loyal to the dragon soul. How can you be a traitor? Donald Silas. You can't even think of separating us from the relationship with Sir Azure Dragon. I don't know how long it took, and the Ten Dragon Soul members recovered. Emma Wenchen lowered his head and said nothing. Obviously Li Feng has his own plan. If he denies Li Feng's statement now, wouldn't he undermine Li Feng's plan? I can only temporarily carry the black pot, and I will explain it later. It seems to be true. I really didn't expect Ching Long Envoy to be such a spineless person, I am ashamed to be with you. Mo Wenchen, you traitor and scum of dragon soul. Shameless, mean, cowardly. Mo Wenchen, dog traitor. Ten dragon soul members yelled. Mo Wenchen is almost exploded with anger, okay? Thinking of him as one of the four dragons, he said nothing in front of his subordinates, what a majestic man but now he was cursed by his subordinates. Traitors and scumbags, all the dog traitors have come out, suffocated and not suffocated. Okay, stop scolding. You should thank him. If he didn't say everything he knew, I wouldn't agree to exchange hostages with Dragon Soul. Time is limited. Come with me. Don't miss the time to exchange hostages. When the voice fell, Li Feng turned his head and left. What he didn't expect was that all the ten Dragon Soul members stood in place, and none of them followed. Li Feng turned around, his expression playing with taste, why, you don't want to go out alive. Hey, we are not so cowardly. We are useless now, and there is no value in going back. It's better to leave a few Super Bureau members for Dragon Soul. Yes, this is our final value. The voices of the Ten Dragon Soul members were firm. Very well, worthy of being a member of my Dragon Soul. Li Feng placed a Zhen Qi barrier around and said in his own voice. What? The Ten Dragon Soul members looked at Li Feng in dismay, not understanding what he meant. I am a former Dragon Soul member. I came here to save you this time. A and D. Mo Wenchen did not betray the Dragon Soul. I just want him to embarrass you in front of you. Li Feng blinked and said with a smile. Mo Wenchen rolled his eyes, I was really suffocated just now. You are avenging private revenge. No, no, I'm private revenge. 
Li Feng said with a narrow smile. The Ten Dragon Soul members looked at Li Feng from the left and then at Emma Wenchen. They didn't recover for a long time. Who is this disguised as Donald Silas, and why dare you to play tricks on the Azure Dragon? Having said that, those who can sneak into the Super Bureau headquarters should not be worse than Azure Dragon Envoy, right? Okay, you are not out of danger now, don't talk nonsense later, and do everything according to my instructions. After speaking, Li Feng removed the infuriating barrier, turned and led them to the elevator entrance. When he came to the elevator entrance, Li Feng found that the elevator was going down, his complexion changed slightly, and he turned his head and gave Emma Wenchen and the others a careful look. Then Li Feng put on a majestic appearance. When the elevator door opened, a middle-aged white man standing in the elevator was taken aback when he saw the situation outside, and then walked out quickly and said, Deputy Chief Donald, you where is this to take them? Don't ask if you shouldn't ask. Li Feng snorted and led people into the elevator. Unexpectedly, the man stepped sideways to block Li Feng, looked up and down Li Feng and said, Deputy Chief Donald, don't you know me? Li Feng looked at him for a while, then snorted coldly after a while, I'm doing business, get out of the way. Okay, Deputy Chief Donald, please go slowly. The man stepped aside and respectfully watched Li Feng lead people into the elevator. When the elevator door closed, the man picked up the walkie-talkie and said, Someone has invaded, sound the alarm. Dua dua dua. With this person's order, an alarm sounded in the Super Energy Bureau headquarters. All staff members immediately entered the fighting state, each took up their weapons to guard their posts, and the patrol personnel rushed to each checkpoint as soon as possible. Then, the man picked up his mobile phone and dialed the Commander Layton Baines's phone, Commander Layton, Deputy Commander Donald seems to have been impersonated. He is taking the eleven prisoners of Dragon Soul to leave Superpower. Game. What? Carlyle, are you sure? Layton Baines asked urgently. Carlyle nodded, yes, every time Deputy Chief Donald sees me, he smiles and greets me, but this time he didn't do that. And I also asked him, don't you recognize me, he didn't call my name either. He is the first confidant of Leighton Baines, and even if the four Deputy Chiefs meet him, they will give three points of face. It was the first time that he was so indifferent to him like Donald Silas just now. I see. You stop him first, I'll go over. After talking about Leighton Baines, he hung up. When Carlyle was on the phone with Leighton Baines, the elevator had stopped and the alarm in the elevator went off. Emma Wenchen's expression changed slightly, it's over, I was discovered. It seems that I just exposed a flaw in front of that person. Li Feng sighed, raised his hand and knocked out the monitoring equipment in the elevator. The man was named Carlyle, and he was very close to Leighton Baines. Every time Donald Silas met him, he would greet him. You obviously didn't know him just now, he must be suspicious. Emma Wenchen sighed. Li Feng's mouth twitched, why don't you remind me? Emma Wenchen spread his hands together, I'm a useless person now, and I can't transmit sound. Isn't it a reminder that you will be exposed faster? What you said seems to make sense. Li Feng touched his chin and considered it for a while before accepting Emma Wenchen's explanation. The other people looked at each other, watching Ching Long make this expression still sound, he seemed a little afraid of Li Feng. No matter what, we have already exposed, what should we do now? Emma Wenchen asked. What else can I do? Cold. Li Feng shook his head and smiled. With a move with his right hand, he took a golden sword in his hand. Wow, what a handsome sword. Is this taken out of the space storage equipment? It's amazing. Not to mention these ten ordinary Dragon Soul members, even Emma Wenchen's face showed envy. You lean to the side. Li Feng reminded him, then raised his sword and stabbed it up. With a sniff, the Shen Yu sword sank into the edge of the elevator ceiling. So sharp. This elevator is also made of alloy, 
so it's so easy to get in. While everyone was amazed, they did not forget to stand aside in accordance with Li Feng's request. Then, Li Feng drew a circle with the Shen Yu sword, and with a bang, a cylindrical alloy with a thickness of about 20 centimeters fell to the ground, and the smashed elevator shook violently. This thing should be heavy. While talking, Emma Wenchen had to try his weight with his hands. He stretched out his hand halfway and remembered that he was dead, and his face was somber that he withdrew his hand. Li Feng saw Emma Wenchen's loss, and immediately persuaded him, OK, now is not the time to be sad and disappointed. I will help you up first, and when we leave the Super Bureau, let's talk about other things. When the voice fell, Li Feng would fly up the elevator shaft to see what was going on. But at this moment, the elevator door was suddenly opened from outside. Donald Deputy Chief, let's meet again. Because the elevator went up for a while before, the elevator was stuck between the two floors at this moment and Carlyle did not know when he had already reached the upper floor, so he looked at Li Feng and others condescendingly. Behind Carlyle, there were also more than a dozen fully armed members of the Super Power Bureau. Carlyle, what are you doing? The moment the elevator door opened, Li Feng put the Shen Yu sword into the system backpack. Shen Yu sword and Shen Yu armor are both equipment that allows him to reveal his identity, and he will not use it in front of people in the Super Power Bureau without a last resort. Hey, did you recognize me? They told you. Carlyle wasn't stupid either, he thought of the key in an instant. Li Feng was furious, Carlyle, you idiot, you treat me as a traitor, right? Carlyle was also not angry, Deputy Chief Donald, what is your situation, you will know when Chief Layton arrives. If you don't have a ghost in your heart, just wait for Director Layton to arrive here. If you dare to resist, then don't blame us for being rude. Li Feng raised his eyebrows, you threatened me with Chief Layton. Carlyle smiled slightly, no, no, you misunderstood, Deputy Chief Donald. I didn't mean to threaten you. If Deputy Chief Donald has no problem, then you are still our respected Deputy Chief. If facing the real Donald Silas, then Carlyle would naturally not dare to speak to him in this tone. But since he has concluded that the other party is someone else's fake, then he has no psychological burden. In a word, it means to hold him back and wait until Director Layton arrives. Carlyle, you actually had a chance to leave here alive. Li Feng sighed. Originally, he wanted to leave here with a low profile but his strength was not allowed, he was exposed so soon. Carlyle couldn't help but sneered, why, you want to kill me? He is not as strong as the real Donald Silas, but he is also an SSS level powerhouse. Maybe he doesn't have the strength to subdue Li Feng, but he should still be able to drag Li Feng for a while. Ming stubborn. Li Feng shook his head, raised his hand and blasted Carlyle. One punch. The moment his energy erupted, Carlyle sensed a life and death crisis, and was about to dodge aside. But how could Li Feng give him a chance to dodge? Qun confisted to face a person whose realm was lower than himself, and it was a punch in seconds. Boom! Carlyle only dodged less than 10 centimeters away, and Li Feng's punch fell on him. After a loud explosion, Carlyle exploded in place. The members of the Super Power Bureau at the rear were immediately confused. Fuck, SSS class Carlyle was hit by the opponent's punch? It's so scary. After a brief period of confusion, the group turned their heads and ran away. Li Feng shook his head and smiled, then punched out again. Unmatched energy rushed forward, and in a flash, the dozen or so members of the Super Bureau were blasted to pieces. Okay so strong. The Dragon Soul members were all shocked, punching Carlyle to death, and then punching Carlyle's more than a dozen men to death, just like cutting melons and vegetables. Carlyle is an SSS level powerhouse, second only to the four Dragon Envoys and Dragon Soul. Don't be surprised, this is a demigod powerhouse in front of you. Emma went inside and said with some envy. 
10 Dragon Soul Members For these ordinary members, demigod-level powerhouses only exist in legends, and they have never even seen them. Today, I saw a demigod-level powerhouse make a move, shocked. Emissary Ching Long, are you flattering me in disguise? Hmm. I feel pretty good. Li Feng turned his head and glanced at Emma Wenchen, then flew to the top of the elevator shaft with a slight leap. Emma Wenchen couldn't help but shook his head and smiled bitterly. Thinking that when Li Feng was just a master level powerhouse, he didn't put Li Feng in his eyes at all, but regarded Li Feng as a chess piece. It's all right now, Li Feng is free to take him off at will, he still has no temper. The big ups and downs in life are so exciting. There is a two meter thick alloy layer on it. It takes a while to make a hole in it. Look at the situation and tell me when someone comes. Li Feng hung in the air and took out the Shen Yu sword. Emma Wenchen and others are already useless, let alone a martial arts expert, even a person with a submachine gun could kill them. Understand? Emma Wenchen and others responded in unison. Perhaps the process of Li Feng killing Carlisle with a punch was seen from the surveillance. When Li Feng took the Shen Yu sword to make a hole, no one came over and asked Emma Wenchen and others to trouble him. The Shen Yu sword was extremely sharp, coupled with Li Feng's true energy blessing, and soon a large hole was made in the two meter thick alloy layer. After putting the extracted alloy block into the system backpack, Li Feng used the Cloud Explorer to pull Emma Wenchen and the others up. Here is. After arriving on the ground, Emma Wenchen and others looked at the complicated pipeline in front of them and fell into a daze. They were blindfolded all the way when they were brought here, and they didn't know how they entered the Superpower Bureau headquarters. So they never expected that the headquarters of the Super Energy Bureau turned out to be a chemical plant. Dragon Soul is not so frantic. You are not mistaken, this is indeed a chemical plant. I think we Dragon Soul should learn this. Li Feng smiled. You have to mention this to the leader, it's useless to mention it to me. Emma Wenchen couldn't help rolling his eyes, and then he changed his words, where are we going next, can anyone answer it? Don't tell me you want it to be like this. Take us back to China. Even if Li Feng was a demigod level powerhouse, he couldn't drag eleven of them all the way back to China. It's not that Li Feng doesn't have this ability, but that the eleven of them can't hold it, and they can be blown half-life by the wind. Li Feng shook his head and smiled, I came here by myself, how can anyone answer it? But I have a plane. Aircraft. Emma Wenchen and the others looked at each other. The plane that can accommodate twelve people is not small. How did Li Feng drive it to the United States? The problem is that if you fly across the ocean, the endurance of a small plane will definitely not work, you must get a large passenger plane. Did Li Feng drive his A380 over? Isn't it a living target? Li Feng smiled mysteriously, well, you will know in a while. Before that, I have to do something first. What's the matter? For some reason, Emma Wenchen suddenly had a bad feeling in his heart. Raise this place to the ground. Li Feng smiled slightly and took out a bomb from his jacket pocket. Fuck, so big. This is, the mother of bombs. Damn, if it is really the mother of bombs, it would be so crazy. Emma Wenchen and others were immediately shocked. The mother of bombs, the largest non-nuclear bomb ever used by the United States in military operations, this bomb is about 9.1 meters long. 103 centimeters in diameter, 9.8 tons in weight, and 11 tons in TNT equivalent. This kind of bomb can form a powerful overpressure and violent shock wave when it explodes, and it can also produce a high temperature of 1000 degrees Celsius 2000 degrees Celsius, and the duration is 5 to 8 times higher than that of conventional explosives. At the same time, it will quickly eat the oxygen in the surrounding space producing a large amount of carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide. The oxygen content at the explosion site is only one-third of the normal content, but the carbon monoxide concentration greatly exceeds the allowable value, causing severe local hypoxia, 
the air is very toxic. Without the use of nuclear bombs, the mother of bombs is almost the strongest. Yes, it's the mother of the bomb. Li Feng nodded, holding the mother of the bomb with one hand, and smiled, you don't think it is a very fulfilling thing to wipe out the superpower bureau headquarters with a bomb. Brother, stay steady and don't fall to the ground. Although ordinary impacts won't make it explode, you are not afraid of 10,000 just in case. Emma Wenchen and the others couldn't help but back up a few steps, and distanced themselves from Li Feng. If this thing falls to the ground and explodes, they will have to gasify instantly. Look at what scared you. Li Feng sneered, then walked to the elevator shaft, and forced the mother of the bomb into the elevator shaft. Fuck. Emma Wenchen and the others were taken aback, turned around and ran away. Only after they ran a few steps, they found themselves in the air, and when they looked down, they found that they were pinched by a huge dragon claw. Boom! Not long after Li Feng grabbed Emma Wenchen and the others into the air, a deafening explosion came from below. Even though they had reached the sky above 100 meters, they still felt a terrible energy attacking from below. Li Feng frowned slightly, it is indeed a bit troublesome to carry so many oil bottles. When the voice fell, Li Feng raised his hand and threw a punch downward. Boom! With a loud noise, the explosive shock wave of the mother of the bomb was knocked back by Li Feng's fist. Boom boom boom! The mother of the bomb exploded to produce fire and high temperature, ignite the oil storage tank of the chemical plant, and then exploded in series. Suddenly, the chemical plant turned into a sea of flames. Boom! Perhaps the high temperature of 2000 degrees melted the alloy structure that built the headquarters of the Super Energy Bureau, the ground suddenly collapsed, and the refining equipment fell one after another. This time the Super Bureau people should die, right? Under such high temperatures, only strong people above the S rank can survive. It is true if only calculating the high temperature conditions but the explosive power of the mother of the bomb is enough to blow up the S-class powerhouse. It's off work now. There are not many strong people staying at the Superpower Bureau headquarters, at least not many above the S-level, but no matter what, this is a huge blow to the Superpower Bureau. Emma Wenchen and the others are as refreshing as they ate a piece of ice cream in the dog days, and the resentment these days has been evacuated a lot. At this moment, they only felt that their eyes were dark, and after a closer look, they found that the dragon's claws had grown a lot, blocking their sight. When they landed on the ground and the dragon's claws dissipated, they found a large plane parked in front of them. Fuck, this is the plane you are talking about. This, this is the B-2 bomber of the United States. Fuck, did I read it right? It's really a B-2 bomber. It's exactly the same as the photos on the internet. Emma Wenchen and the others were directly shocked. They thought of countless possibilities, but they didn't expect that the plane Li Feng said would be a B-2 ghost bomber. Using a B-2 bomber as a car is really crazy. Cool or not? Li Feng flew to the B-2 bomber, patted the fuselage and asked. Cool, it's so cool. Emma Wenchen said with a halazi. The B-2 bomber is the only stealth strategic bomber in the world and the most advanced bomber. One time refueling, the combat radius can reach 12,000 kilometers, and one air refueling time, the combat radius can reach 18,000 kilometers. The United States claims that this bomber is global arrival and global destruction, and its power is evident. Where did you get this B-2, don't tell me you robbed a military base. It's normal for the strength of the predecessors to rob a military base. Yes, the headquarters of the Superpower Bureau was blown up by the seniors. Can the military base be more difficult to attack than the headquarters of the Superpower Bureau? After regaining consciousness, other Dragon Soul members started to talk. Ah, this is a secret, so don't ask, let's get on the plane first, and wait until we return to China to talk about other things. Li Feng gave a dry cough and skipped the topic. This aircraft was purchased from the system mall with 5 million system points. At first glance, 
5 million system points are a lot, and if converted into Chinese currency, it is 5 billion Chinese currency. Looking at the cost of the B-2 bomber, the United States claimed that it was 2.4 billion US dollars per aircraft, and it was very cost-effective for Li Feng to buy it for only 5 billion Chinese currency. After he goes back, he can also hand over the aircraft to the country to allow the country to conduct reverse research and development on the B-2 bomber. Its value is not measurable by 5 billion Chinese currency. Besides, apart from the B-2 bomber, Li Feng couldn't think of any other aircraft that would allow them to fly to LSJ safely. There is a distance of 4,300 kilometers between HSD and LSJ. It is necessary to meet the range of more than 4,300 kilometers and to avoid radar monitoring. Only the B-2 bomber is the only one. Mo Wenchen nodded, and just about to climb on the plane, he suddenly thought of a question, the B-2 bomber seems to have only three cockpits, right? The twelve of us, can't you ride? Under normal circumstances, the B-2 bomber is only equipped with two pilots, but there is a seat behind the cockpit, and then there is a magazine. We don't use it to carry out bombing missions. We just use it to escape. If you can't sit in front, you can squeeze in the magazine. Li Feng said with a smile. The B-2 bomber's magazine can hold 80 Mk-82 bombs, with a maximum load of 18 tons, let alone 10 people and it can be loaded even if it doubles. What you said seems to make sense. Mo Wenchen nodded, and then climbed onto the plane first. Li Feng shook his head and smiled, grabbed all the remaining ten Dragon Soul members with the Cloud Explorer, and then put them into the magazine. After doing this, Li Feng will fly a plane to flash people. Because the chemical plant needs to run trucks when importing raw materials, there is a straight road at the entrance of the chemical plant, and the B-2 bomber can take off on this road. Can you fly a plane? Emma Wenchen asked solemnly in the driving seat on the right. The right driving position of B-2 is the seat of the mission commander, responsible for the bombing mission, and the pilot on the left. This is a big guy. In case Li Feng can't drive and falls off in the middle of the flight, everyone except Li Feng can save his life. In the left driving position, Li Feng looked at the control panel in front of him and said with a smile, I haven't driven B-2, but the problem is not big. He has never flew a plane, but there is a skill book for flying a plane in the system mall, and a 1000 system point is a drizzle to him. Fuck, don't scare me. Mo Wenchen had the urge to untie the seat belt and get off the plane. What are you afraid of? Even if the plane falls. I can rescue you. It's really impossible. I will fly with the plane. Li Feng smiled and pressed the ignition button, B2 jittered for a while, the engine started, and a roar sounded. Li Feng had already talked about this. If Emma Wenchen wanted to worry any more, he seemed too hypocritical. He could only shut his mouth and let his fate. After Li Feng's work, B2 began to slide and the process was very smooth, which made Emma Wenchen relieved. Just after B2 began to taxi, a person flew into the sky in the distance, it was Leighton Baines who hurriedly rushed here after receiving Carlyle's report. Damn it, that's the Super Bureau. Seeing the fire at the location of the Super Bureau, Leighton Baines was going crazy. Right now, Leighton Baines speeded up his flight and came here, hoping to use his own ability to extinguish the fire. At the same time, the taxiing B-2 bomber left the runway and began to climb quickly. That's, the B-2 bomber. Leighton Baines discovered the B-2 bomber, and for a while, he was stunned on the spot. A total of 21 B-2 bombers were produced, all of which were in service in the United States, so Leighton Baines's first reaction was which Air Force Department was performing the mission here. Thinking of this, Leighton Baines took out his cell phone and dialed out a call, Hey, this is Leighton Baines, help me check if you have sent a B-2 bomber to the HSD Bezos chemical plant. Okay, I'll wait for your call. After talking about Leighton Baines, he hung up the phone, and then flew over the Super Energy Bureau headquarters, looking at the fire below with an ugly expression, frowning for a while. 
although he is a strong SSS and level, facing the raging flames, there is no good way to extinguish it. If it is an ordinary fire, such as a fire in an open area or a house, Leighton Baines can completely blow the fire out with his strength. Firefighters have a kind of wind fire extinguisher, which can spray out the airflow similar to the 12th Typhoon to blow out the fire. The principle is to reduce the temperature of the fire site below the ignition point. It's just that the headquarters of the Super Energy Bureau is underground, and there is a chemical plant above it. They are all flammable and explosive materials. The ignition points of these materials are very low and they cannot be blown out by wind. Just as Leighton Baines frowned, several figures rushed out of the fire. Varen, Carl. Leighton Baines recognized the two after a closer look, and rushed over. Director Leighton. Varen and Carl only saw Leighton Baines, and they cried with joy. The two of them are the two SS-level powerhouses who stayed on duty tonight, so they could survive such a violent explosion. What the is going on, how could the Super Power Bureau headquarters become like this? There was no joy on Leighton Baines's face, and there was a burst of inquiries. It's someone who pretended to be Donald's deputy commander. He saved the Dragon Soul people and stuffed a mother of bombs into the elevator. Varen and Carl didn't dare to conceal the slightest, so they told the story right now. Mother of Bombs Leighton Baines's complexion changed drastically, and the Tridely Biological Laboratory was also destroyed by the mother of a bomb. Is it the same person? After a while, Leighton Baines asked, Apart from the two of you, do anyone else survive? It should be gone. The two lowered their heads, and said in frustration. In such a violent explosion, even they were injured, and there was no possibility for people below SS level to survive. Damn it! Leighton Bane slapped his fist and asked angrily, Where are the people who pretend to be Donald? Varen and Carl looked at each other and bowed their heads in shame. At this moment, the cell phone rang, and Leighton Baines quickly connected, Hey, what, none of the B-2 bombers were dispatched, they are all in the hangar? What about the B-2 I just saw? Who is the bomber? Damn, I got it. Let me know right away. An unknown B-2 bomber is flying over the HSD. Stop it anyway. Come on. Although he couldn't figure out how Dragon Soul got the B-2 bomber, since the Air Force said that all the B-2s were not dispatched in the hangar, the B-2 he saw just now must be driven by someone pretending to be Donald. Now Leighton Baines regrets it very much, why didn't he fly over to see the situation just now? This is especially a B-2 bomber. If there are a few nuclear bombs hanging on it, wouldn't it be possible to grow mushrooms over the HSD? Then his responsibility is great. At the U.S. Air Force headquarters, one of the superiors who answered the phone was taken aback, no. Director Leighton, what did you just say? I said there is an unknown B-2 bomber flying over the HSD. I'm not kidding, if you don't send someone to intercept it immediately, you will be responsible for any consequences. After talking about Leighton Baines, he hung up. Baron, Carl, you two immediately notify the four deputy chiefs and ask them to immediately. Forget it, let me do it. Leighton Baines was afraid that the two of them could not say clearly, so he picked up the phone and dialed out. Director Leighton must be crazy. There are only 21 B-2 bombers in the world. They are all in our hangar. How can there be unknown B-2 bombers flying over the HSD? The Shang Xiao who answered the phone couldn't decide himself, so he called his immediate boss to report. Immediately send someone to check the hangar to see if any B-2 is not in the hangar. Yes sir. After receiving the order, the effect made people check the hangar again, and it took 10 minutes to get the message that all B-2s were indeed in the hangar. Then the Shang Xia reported the situation to his immediate boss. The immediate boss considered it for a while, and decided to talk to Leighton Baines himself. Morrison Sizing, have you found that B-2? Leighton Baines answered the phone and asked anxiously. Leighton Commander, I just asked someone to confirm again that the B-2 bombers in the hangar are all there, so are you making a mistake? 
Morrison said in a deep voice. Fake, you didn't do what I said? Damn it. Leighton Baines broke out a foul language directly. Although one of them is based on the length and the other is sizing, they are strictly speaking the same status. What's more, Leighton Baines is still a strong SSS+. Plus. Facing Morrison as an ordinary person, he has a great psychological advantage. Even if he confronts Morrison directly, he dares to scold him. Director Leighton, please pay attention to your own words. Morrison was a little unhappy. I saw this B2 bomber with my own eyes. Do you think I was wrong? Leighton Baines almost roared. But I don't understand. The B2 can only be produced in the US, so where did this B2 bomber come from? Morrison said slowly. Shit, I don't know where it came from, but it exists. Leighton Baines is going crazy. If Morrison is in front of him, he can't guarantee that he can control the killing. Meaning? One thief, one thief, Leighton, I think you are very irrational now. There must be a misunderstanding about this matter. Well, I will send someone to patrol over the HSD. If I find something, I will notify you as soon as possible. Leighton Baines said with a smile. Damn it, almost twenty minutes have passed. Do you think at the speed of a B-2 bomber, will you still be over HSD at this moment? Radars, satellites, early warning patrol aircraft, fighter jets, send out everything that can be sent, and find it for me anyway. If something goes wrong, I promise to kill you first. After talking about Leighton Baines, he hung up. The maximum speed of the B-2 bomber is 0.95 Mach, which is 1,014 km per hour, and 20 minutes is enough time for it to fly out of HSD. Leighton Baines felt a little crazy when he thought of a big killer flying over the United States. Morrison Sizing also understood the seriousness of the matter at this time, and Leighton Baines always said that if there was a problem, Leighton Baines might really kill him. Thinking of this, Morrison immediately picked up the phone and issued an order, all units enter a first-level alert state, and those who are on vacation immediately return to their posts. All fighter jets and early warning patrol aircraft took off, looking for an unknown B-2 bomber. All radar powers were turned on. Find it for me anyway. Once Morrison's order was issued, the U.S. Air Force took action, countless fighters flew into the sky, radars everywhere turned on at full power, and Li Feng's B-2 bomber was searched for. Li Feng, is there a nuclear bomb on this? In the driving seat of the mission commander, Emma Wenchen was excited about this, CNC, and it took a lot of effort to resist the idea of getting started. The corner of Li Feng's mouth twitched, what do you want to do? Ah, find a Mi army base and throw one for fun. Emma Wenchen said with a smile. Three black lines appeared on Li Feng's forehead, I said Ching Long. You think it's too simple to grow mushrooms, right? Let's not say that there is no such thing on my plane. Even if there is, I dare not throw it. When is the nuclear bomb most deterrent? When there is no launch. Once launched, it will be torn apart, unless you destroy all the other parties' nuclear strike facilities in the first round of attack, otherwise you must be prepared to be washed by the other parties' nuclear bomb. In terms of nuclear bomb reserves, no other country in the world has that strength except that Mao can dominate Laomi. What if this B-2 bomber is full of nuclear bombs? The sky has raised a state, and then there is a nuclear war, and then the world enters a nuclear winter. Emma Wenchen smiled awkwardly, Hey, I just said casually, don't take it seriously. Then what if I take it seriously? Li Feng asked rhetorically. Then you are not Li Feng, I have confidence in you. Emma Wenchen patted Li Feng on the shoulder and smiled. Yes, let you say anything. Li Feng shook his head and smiled, then concentrated on flying the plane. After another ten minutes or so, several red dots flashed on the airborne radar. Li Feng's expression changed slightly, no, it's Lao Mi's fighter. We have been found. Stealth bombers are not completely invisible, 
but will not be detected by radar at long distances. For example, ordinary fighters can be detected by radar 200 km away, but stealth fighters can only be detected within 30 km. It was too late to discover the fighter at this distance, because before it found it, it had already completed a round of attacks. So Li Feng had long expected the B-2 bombing opportunity to be discovered by Lao Mi, but he did not expect that the opponent would send a fighter to intercept it. Now the question is, does he kill those fighters directly, or try to trick them? The B-2 bomber ahead, I am Captain James, the captain of the U.S. Air Force Falcon Squadron, please land immediately for inspection, repeat, please land immediately for inspection. Over. Just as Li Feng was pondering, the other party's warning sounded in B-2's radio talker. What to do, fight or not? Mo Wenchen asked happily. Li Feng rolled his eyes, how to fight? Flying over them and throwing bombs. This is a bomber, and it is a stealth bomber with no air combat capability. However, his pilot still has a strong air combat ability. Mo Wenchen chuckled, and didn't say another word. Li Feng pondered for a while, picked up the intercom and said, Hello Captain James, I am Garfield Webster of God's Paradise. I am performing a secret mission. Please do not interfere with my voyage. Repeat it again. Please do not interfere with me. Voyage. Over. Paradise of the Gods? What is that? Captain James asked blankly. Even Emma Wenchen was stunned. God's Paradise, isn't this a mysterious organization in North America in the legend? How could Li Feng know about this organization and still name the members? It seems that Li Feng has gained a lot during this time in the United States. Li Feng couldn't help but sneered, you don't even know the heaven of the gods? Okay, well, it seems that I overestimated you. You can ask your boss and ask what is the heaven of the gods. During this time period, I allow you to fly by my side. Over. In an F-22 fighter plane, Captain James hesitated to talk to the other team members, have you heard of the heavens of the gods? No, what's the captain? Captain, did the pilot of the B-2 bomber answer? Captain, since we are sure that our B-2 bombers are all lying in the hangar, then let's talk nonsense with him, just set the fire and send it to the sky. James' face changed slightly, fool. What if this plane is full of nuclear bombs? F-22 can crush B-2 in air combat, which is no suspense, but they are afraid of mushroom bombs in B-2. If the other dog jumps the wall and throws a few mushroom bombs directly below, wouldn't they become sinners in the United States? Then are we going to watch him run away? The other team members said helplessly. Wait a minute. Let me ask the gods what is going on in heaven. After the voice fell, James connected to the base and reported the situation. After receiving the report, the base reported the news directly to Morrison for sizing. At Morrison's level, he was already qualified to know God's paradise, so he had a stunned heart after hearing that the pilot of the B-2 bomber was a member of the God's paradise. Quickly ordered, the order goes on. Without my order, all fighters should not fire on the B-2 bomber. Who dares to violate it, kill it. After giving the order, Morrison made another call quickly. Perhaps because it was too late, the phone rang for a long time before connecting, and then there came a slightly older voice, Hey, this is Raphael. Morrison couldn't help standing up, as if the other person was right in front of him, arched his body and said respectfully, Elder Raphael. I am Morrison. I'm sorry to disturb you so late, but I, I have a very important question to ask you. You speak. Raphael said quietly in German. Yes, when we were performing a task, we met a person who claimed to be a member of the God's Paradise, his name was Garfield Webster. Is there such a member in the God's Paradise? Mori Sengong asked. Raphael said hey, then said in a weird tone, did Garfield Webster show up? What? Morrison didn't understand what Raphael said. Raphael shook his head, it's nothing, 
Garfield Webster is a peripheral member of God's paradise. There has been no news of him in the past few days. It seems that he is performing a secret mission. Ah, is he really a member of God's paradise? Morrison was a little surprised. Why, are you questioning me? Raphael's tone suddenly turned cold. Don't dare. Morrison quickly denied, that's right. He drove a B-2 bomber, but a total of 21 B-2 bombers were produced. Except for one that was decommissioned and destroyed because of an accident, the others were in our hangar. God heaven does not need to explain to anyone. Raphael sneered. In fact, he didn't know much about the B-2 bomber. In other words, he didn't care about other thermal weapons except for nuclear bombs. In addition, in his eyes, the shadow group is omnipotent. It's just a plane. What is the difficulty? Okay, I see, I'll disturb you Elder Raphael. After Morrison hung up the phone, he immediately called Layton again, Chief Layton, you almost killed me, do you know? What? Layton was confused. Do you know who is driving that B-2 bomber? Morrison asked with anger. Layton was overjoyed, you know. It's a member of God's Paradise. Damn, you know better than me what the God's Paradise means. Morrison roared. What? Layton was completely dumbfounded this time. He never thought that the B-2 bomber turned out to be driven by a member of the Heavens of the Gods, this, this is simply too unexpected. Now do you want us to intercept it? Morrison was very satisfied with Layton's reaction, and asked narrowly. Damn it, how could it be that the gods are driving? This is impossible, this is absolutely impossible. Layton couldn't accept this. You don't believe me? Yes, you can call Elder Raphael yourself. I have already called to confirm anyway. By the way, our Air Force is not involved in this matter. If you want to continue to follow up, please go. Morrison hung up after speaking. Layton. Who didn't know that Elder Raphael most hated others to question him? If he called to confirm, he would be able to expose the corpse the next day. Elder Raphael is a demigod pinnacle powerhouse. Damn it, why do the people of God's paradise appear near the Super Bureau headquarters, how can they have B-2 bombers? Layton couldn't figure it out even if he tried to break his head, but no matter what, since Elder Raphael had already determined, he couldn't pursue this matter anymore. After pondering for a while, Layton picked up the phone and issued a new order, after the notification, all members of the Super Bureau will look for suspicious people on the spot, and carry out a carpet investigation. Once found, report it immediately. At the same time, on the B-2 bomber. Mr. Garfield Webster, this is Captain James. We have confirmed your identity. I wish you a pleasant journey. Goodbye. Li Feng clicked the corner of his mouth and said with a smile, Thank you, I wish you a smooth return. Aside, Emma Wenchen's mouth opened into an O shape. If Emma Wenchen had only regarded Li Feng as a LV Bulletin like powerhouse before, then in his heart Li Feng was the enchanting evil of LV Bulletin and Zhuzhul Yang. Take a look at the tricks Li Feng rescued them. First, he sneaked into the Super Power Bureau headquarters without knowing it, and then pretended to be Donald and took them into the elevator. After that, they used their strong personal abilities to take them away from the Super Energy Bureau headquarters, and also bombed the Super Energy Bureau headquarters. Then came the B-2 bomber, who was the second player. Emma Wenchen was shocked when he saw the B-2 bomber. However, the most important thing is that Li Feng pretends to be a member of the God's Heaven, scaring the U.S. Air Force away without a single shot. What is this called? Unmatched force and wisdom against the sky. Niubi, too awesome, Emma Wenchen was convinced by Li Feng at the moment, and finally understood why Xiao Xian Xian would choose Li Feng, the brat boy. Hey, what Sheng Liang is Ji Shen Jiu? Emma Wenchen shook his head and sighed. Li Feng? No. What kind of play is this Emma Wenchen? Shen Timu is born with Yu He Sheng Liang, 
and Emma Wenchen regards himself as Zhou Yu? If Zhou Yu knew it, he would jump out of the coffin so angry? After more than four hours of sailing, the B-2 bomber came to the sky over LSJ. Li Feng is not familiar with LSJ. It is unrealistic to find a runway for landing temporarily, unless Li Feng spends system points and asks the system to find it. It's just that this is too low, and Li Feng has a better way. Qin Glongxi, watch it a little bit, I will play you a beautiful one. While speaking, Li Feng flew the plane to an uninhabited area. Emma Wenchen was a little nervous, what are you going to do? Li Feng smiled mysteriously, you will know when the time comes. A few minutes later, the B-2 bomber came to the sky over the no man's land, and then Li Feng controlled the B-2 bomber to make a dive. The huge inertia made Emma Wenchen jump forward abruptly. If it were not for the seat belt, Emma Wenchen's face would have to be stuck on the front windshield. Fuck, what are you doing, don't you want to crash? Emma Wenchen almost freaked out. Li Feng shook his head and smiled, of course not, I just lower the flying altitude first, and then take you away. Emma Wenchen. No. Why don't he understand it by lowering the flying height before taking them away? Just when the B-2 bomber landed to an altitude of 1,000 meters, Li Feng opened the bomb bay door and unfastened his seat belt. Emma Wenchen immediately exclaimed, Li Feng, this is a B-2 bomber, you can't just let it crash like this. He thought that Li Feng could not find the landing place, so he had no choice but to crash the B-2 bomber. Who said I was going to let it crash? If you are willing to let it go, I can't bear it. Quickly untie the seat belt, or it will be too late. While speaking, Li Feng used the Cloud Explorer to grab the ten Dragon Soul members in the magazine. Emma Wenchen didn't dare to delay, he quickly unfastened his seat belt, and then Li Feng grabbed Emma Wenchen with his left hand. In the next instant, Li Feng opened the hatch, got out of the cabin numbly, and then pulled out Emma Wenchen and others one by one. At this time, the B-2 bomber had landed at a distance of 100 meters above the ground. Fuck, the B-2 bomber is about to explode. No, this is B-2. Emma Wenchen and others were anxious. They knew the strategic significance of the B-2 bomber. If they could bring the B-2 bomber back to China, they would die here willingly. Just when they thought that the B-2 bomber was about to fall to the ground and explode, suddenly there was a flower in front of them, and the B-2 bomber disappeared. I wipe it. What happened, B-2? I'm dazzled, B-2 has disappeared. Emma Wenchen and the others were immediately stunned. Such a big guy disappeared directly from their eyes, which is too unscientific. Don't guess, the B-2 bomber was installed by me. Li Feng grabbed them and landed on the ground, smiling. Pretend. Pretend. Everyone was taken aback for a moment, then Emma Wenchen thought of something and exclaimed, Space storage equipment. Only the space storage equipment can load a behemoth in an instant. Now the question is, how big is Li Feng's space storage equipment, so that it can fit the entire B-2 bomber? This is 21 meters long, 52.4 meters wide, and 5.18 meters high. Yes, it is the space storage equipment. Otherwise, how did I bring the B-2 bomber to the Super Bureau headquarters? Li Feng plays with the taste. Upon hearing this, Emma Wenchen and others suddenly realized. They thought that Li Feng drove to the Super Energy Bureau headquarters in a B-2 bomber before, but now they know that Li Feng put it in the storage space and took it there. Thinking of this, Emma Wenchen felt even more sour. You say that Li Feng is handsome, his realm is still so high. Even if his realm is high, his equipment is still so good. Compared with Li Feng, he is like a beggar on the street. Is there any reason? Senior, what shall we do next? A Dragon Soul member asked. Li Feng scanned the crowd and said with a smile, Go back to the hotel and rest. Back, back to the hotel to rest. Everyone was stunned. Now the Super Bureau must be looking for them like crazy. Didn't they go to the hotel at this time to make a mistake? 
Mo Wenchen was a little anxious, I know that you are very strong. Even if the people from the Super Power Bureau come together, they are not your opponents, but this is the United States after all. What if the Super Power Bureau seeks the help of the gods? He felt that the current success made Li Feng a little bit fluttering, and he couldn't recognize the reality. As a person who came by, he had to wake up Li Feng. Emissary Ching Long, do you think too much? Since I said that I would go back to the hotel to rest, I have made a complete plan. Li Feng smiled slightly and took out a tablet and said, there is a video on it. I need you to learn the voices, facial expressions and body movements of these people on the road. This is a human skin mask. You are one of you. After you put it on, you will know who should learn which one. While talking, Li Feng took out eleven more human skin masks and handed them to Emma Wenchen and others in turn. Emma Wenchen and the others took the formed masks, and fell into a daze for a while. At this moment, Li Feng waved his right hand and a minibus appeared behind him. Brothers, get in the car, I'll tell you what to do later on the road. When the voice fell, Li Feng took the first step to the CMB. Emma Wenchen and the others looked at each other and followed the CMB together. When CMB started and drove into the city, Li Feng told his plan on the way. After listening, the worship of Li Feng by ten Dragon Soul members has reached its peak. Emma Wenchen didn't say anything, he admired Li Feng in his heart. He thought that Li Feng only saw the third layer, but he thought of the fourth layer on the basis of Li Feng. Who would have thought that Li Feng had already seen the sixth floor? This kid Li Feng is a monster. From the uninhabited area to the hotel, the journey went smoothly without any interrogation. Finding an unmanned place to get off the car, put the car away, Li Feng grabbed Emma Wenchen and the others flew into the air and entered the hotel suite from the balcony. In order to ensure that he was not discovered, Li Feng also initiated system intervention. After doing this, Li Feng waited for his clone to lead the professional team back. In the hotel, Li Feng waited for an hour and didn't see them back, feeling a little helpless. Aren't they playing high? It was 7 p.m. New York time when Li Feng left. The rescue operation lasted for nearly six hours. He waited another hour at the hotel, and it was already 2 a.m. The night owl should also be back at this point and the professional team is not back yet, it must be fun. It seems we have to look for them. Li Feng could directly send messages to Lao Luo and others, but this would leave flaws. As we all know, the surveillance methods of the United States are heinous, and even some leaders are monitored by them. In the unlikely event that Lao Mi notices any clues, it may be passed on to many people as soon as possible. If you want to use the system to eliminate the impact, it may cost a lot of points. You hide it, I'll go out. Li Feng confessed to Emma Wenchen and others, and then jumped off the balcony. He wasn't worried that the hotel would have problems while he was away. The early morning has passed, and the space teleportation technique has been reset. If there is a problem, he can come back as soon as possible. And time type skills can also be used, the big deal is going back in time. Ten minutes later, inside a nightclub. Lao Luo, I've been upset with you for a long time, don't think that you are older than us, you can call us five or six drinks. You have to drink this glass of wine, or you have to drink it, brothers, right? Wei Bin held a bundle of wine with complex and difficult colors and shouted at the people around him. Yes. Must have to drink, willing to bet. Drink, drink. Drink, drink. Just now, Luo Tianzheng and Wei Bin fisted and lost. The price was a bunch of super cocktails mixed with various wines. Of course, for a demigod pinnacle powerhouse, let alone such a tie, even if it is a big water tank. But before the drink was started, everyone had discussed it by means of sound transmission, and no one was allowed to mobilize the vitality in the body to dissolve alcohol, and could only resist. The physique of a demigod pinnacle powerhouse is naturally much higher than that of ordinary people, but without the support of true energy, he will be drunk if he drinks too much. Fuck, 
when did you fist so well? Luo Tianzheng took the wine glass angrily and asked with gritted teeth. He he he, I have been with the boss for a while longer than you, not for nothing. Wei Bin said triumphantly. Some time ago, he was called to Beijing by Li Feng and was responsible for monitoring Sun Xingbo and Chen Jun Mao. He was taken by them to bars and clubs for a period of time. Since it is drinking, it is inevitable to punch. Sun Xingbo and Chen Jun Mao are both masters in this class. It is reasonable for Wei Bin's skill to rise. Luo Tianzheng holding a wine glass and said bitterly, Fuck, it's so uncomfortable for you to look like a villain. Fuck, what can you do if you are so upset? Why can you still beat me? It's not the past, you can't stand alone anymore. Wei Bin laughed triumphantly. Before, he naturally didn't dare to talk to Luo Tianzheng like that, but now everyone is the pinnacle of a demigod, and there are all overlords, so I'm afraid of being an egg. Fuck, I really want to beat you. Luo Tianzheng scolded his glass and drank it. The crew on the set and 4xA's players were all very dumbfounded. Fuck, does this cup have two liters, two liters of various red, yellow and white mixed together, and then drink it all? This is really Dionysus living. The key point is that Luo Tianzheng had already drunk a lot of alcohol before that, and a good sentence was no longer enough to describe Luo Tianzhen's alcohol volume. Okay. As expected of Lao Luo. I'll take this drink. Wei Bin took the lead in applauding. Then came thunderous applause and applause. Although the nightclub is very noisy, the movement here still arouses other customers' attention. It's just that Hunter Bray and his team members are all five big and three rough, even if some people are dissatisfied, they dare not come up to find fault. Zayat, looking at their state, the battle will not be resolved for a while. Li Feng who came here invisible, watched Luo Tianzhen's quarrel with Wei Bin all the way, and couldn't help but laugh. I'm here, you go to the toilet cubicle. After sighing, Li Feng spoke to the clone. With a smile, Li Feng, who watched as everyone laughed, put down his glass, and after speaking to everyone, he got up and got out of the booth. When he came to the bathroom door, Li Feng saw several white guys standing there smoking and chatting. After seeing Li Feng, those people just glanced at him, then turned their heads back. Just as Li Feng was about to walk into the bathroom, a figure suddenly walked out of the door and almost collided with Li Feng. The two stopped to look at each other, and then Li Feng frowned slightly to go around each other. Li Feng, don't you want to see me so much? The other party smiled sadly and said sadly. Li Feng is just a biochemical robot. Without Li Feng's teaching, he would not know each other at all, so his brows tightened. She is Xiao Linjia, an old acquaintance of mine. At this moment, Li Feng's voice faintly passed into Li Feng's mind, just tell her that you really don't want to see her, and then get rid of her as soon as possible. He needs to let the clone enter the toilet cubicle, and replace the clone when no one finds it. You're right, I really don't want to see you. Please get out of the way, I'm going to the bathroom. Li Feng faithfully implemented Li Feng's instructions. Xiao Linjia's complexion changed slightly, and she bit her lip and said, I know I did something wrong, please forgive me. Xiao, do you know him? At this moment, several white men who smoked at the door came over and looked at Li Feng unkindly. Yes, he is my fiancé in China. Xiao Linjia showed a shy face, as if to take the arm of Li Feng. Li Feng hid away without a trace, and then said to the white men, Actually, I have nothing to do with this woman. You said you don't know Xiao. Shit, you said that because you were scared. Huaxia people are as timid as a mouse. Li Feng's answer not only didn't let these white men put away their hostility, but instead made them start mocking Li Feng unscrupulously. Li Feng frowned, please be respectful when you speak. What? I heard that right. Fake, this Chinese person is very twitchy. Hey, Huaxia boy, this is the United States, not China, you will be beaten if you speak so arrogantly. 
these white men said to Li Feng improperly. Moran. Li Feng sneered and was about to enter the bathroom. It's just that his behavior was regarded as a sign of weakness by these white people. The moment he turned around, they punched Li Feng. Time stands still, turn on. Li Feng whispered to himself, everything around his body entered a static state. Xiao Linjia, this woman is really a big trouble. After time stopped, Li Feng lifted the invisibility technique and walked to Xiao Linjia, muttering to himself somewhat angry and helpless. Originally, he planned well to let the clone enter the toilet cubicle, and then he went straight through the wall, and replaced it without knowing it. But who knows that I met Xiao Linjia here, and she was dragged by her. It was enough to be dragged by her, and it caused hostility from four white men. If it's just hostility, that's all, the other party has even shot the clone. If Li Feng didn't intervene, could others see it and put it aside? Xiao Linjia would definitely be able to see the flaw, and the identity of the clone would be exposed. If it is in normal times, the exposure will be exposed, but now is the critical moment when Li Feng tried his best to conceal the traces of his rescue of Emma Wenchen and others. In desperation, he can only use time to stand still. This is the fate of the top. Staring at Xiao Linjia for a while, Li Feng still felt uncomfortable so he raised his hand and hit Xiao Linjia for a while. After doing this, Li Feng put the clone into the system backpack, walked to the position where the clone was, and took a pose. After the time quiescence effect ended, the four white men's fists came over. Smack smack smack! Li Feng turned around and slapped four slaps on their fists. Suddenly, the four white men felt a sharp pain in their hands, and quickly retracted their hands and blew into their fists. On the other side, Xiao Linjia noticed the residual pain, frowned for a moment, and muttered to herself, Why do you feel this way? Is it Li Feng? Thinking of this, Xiao Linjia looked at Li Feng's back. Although she didn't see Li Feng making a move, with Li Feng's ability, she could hit her before she could react. There was just one thing Xiao Linjia couldn't understand and that was why she felt the residual pain instead of a sharp pain first and then slowly subsided? Could it be her psychological role? Just as Xiao Linjia was suspicious, Li Feng glanced at the four white men and shouted coldly, Get out! These four people didn't mean to be scared away, they just said uncertainly, Fake, you know how to use Charney Kung Fu. Damn, he moved so fast, I didn't even see how he did it. This is Charney Kung Fu, this must be Charney Kung Fu. Because Bruce Lee and other martial arts superstars, Charney's Kung Fu is popular all over the world, and some crooked nuts always think that Chinese people can know Kung Fu. Therefore, when Li Feng just showed up, the four white men felt that Li Feng was using Charney Kung Fu. Hey Jack, aren't you a boxer? Fuck him. Jack, it's up to you. Avenge us. Jack. Three white men, with one word and one word, asked the tallest and burly white man to take action. Hey, hey, I understand, I will do it, you guys get out first. Jack pressed his hands down and said. The three hurriedly stepped back and looked at Jack with expectant eyes, come on Jack, kill this Chinese guy. Jack, you are our hope. Ha Jack let out a foul breath, looked at Li Feng and said. Hey, man, you asked for this, do you understand? When the voice fell, Jack took a boxing posture, raising his hand to make a left uppercut. There was a mocking smile at the corner of Li Feng's mouth, and he avoided the punch when he moved his feet, and then hit with his right fist. Boom! There was a muffled sound. Jack didn't even react at all, and fell straight on his back. His three companions were taken aback and quickly caught him to prevent him from falling to the ground. Li Feng clicked the corner of his mouth and took a step forward. The three of them stepped back subconsciously, and Jack fell to the ground without support. Oh, your friendship is a little vulnerable. Looking at Jack lying on the ground, Li Feng mocked. You, don't mess around, we are all rich people. Yes, my father is Jackson, 
the real estate agent of LSJ. If you dare to mess around, you will go to jail tomorrow. My dad is the boss of a software company, he is a billionaire. The three white men swallowed nervously and said. Don't worry, I won't mess around, as long as your acquaintances immediately disappear from my eyes. Li Feng didn't bother to waste time on them. Okay, let's go. The voice fell to the ground, and the three picked up Jack and fled. Li Feng, your heart is still so soft. Xiao Linjia said in a complicated tone with lightly fluffing her hair. Be soft-hearted. A sneered sneered at the corner of Li Feng's mouth, are you saying that I didn't abolish your danshan? At the beginning, he asked Luo Tianzheng and the others to destroy the danshan of the Xiao family, but he didn't do anything to Xiao Linjia. There was indeed a soft heart in it. On the other hand, he also didn't want to push the Xiao family to a dead end, because he knew well what would happen to a big family without the slightest amount of force and without any foundation abroad. It wasn't that Li Feng had any thoughts about Xiao Linjia, nor did he have feelings for the Xiao family, but that he didn't want Chinese people to be bullied by foreigners outside. Everyone can be the enemy internally, and it doesn't matter if you fight or die, but you must be united when externally. Xiao Linjia's complexion changed slightly, and then she bit her red lip and said, so why didn't you abolish my danshan? Li Feng shook his head, I have something to do, so I won't be with me. When the voice fell, he was about to turn around and leave here. Xiao Linjia moved and stopped in front of Li Feng again, actually you are still interested in me, right? Li Feng raised his eyebrows, if I answered yes, what would you do? Xiao Linjia was silent for a long while, gritted her teeth and said, I will go back to the hotel with you. After arriving in the United States, Xiao Linjia missed her time in China all the time, but she wanted to go back again, it would be impossible without Li Feng's permission. When I met Li Feng this time, Xiao Linjia wanted to seize the opportunity and let Li Feng accept her no matter what, even if she gave herself to it. Li Feng froze for a moment, then shook his head and smiled, Sorry, I don't lack women. Xiao Linjia was indeed very beautiful and had a very good figure. She was too scheming. Li Feng didn't want a woman who was too scheming to stay by his side, as it would easily catch fire in the backyard. Xiao Linjia shook her body and said sadly, My requirements are not high, as long as you agree to our Xiao family's return to China. Li Feng didn't answer the conversation, and asked, Actually, you are friends with those people just now, right? Not friends, just acquaintances, they are not good to me. Xiao Linjia said lightly. Oh. Li Feng nodded, and then walked around Xiao Linjia in the direction of the deck. Xiao Linjia was taken aback for a moment, and then a flash of resentment flashed in his eyes, but soon the resentment disappeared, and it was replaced by depression. Finally, Xiao Linjia put away her sullen expression and chased after her eyes firmly. Boss. Why have you been there for so long? Isn't it a kidney problem? After Li Feng returned to the deck, Wei Bin couldn't help but teased. This shows that Wei Bin is really drunk, otherwise how dare he make such a joke with Li Feng. Old Wei, aren't you stupid, the boss is such a dangling man, can there be any kidney problems? There must be a beauty that I met on the road, and it took some time. Luo Tianzheng, who was also drunk was very clear-headed and gave Li Feng a flattery without a trace. The corner of Li Feng's mouth twitched, playing with the taste, Wei Bin, your bonus this month is halved. Wei Bin, who was still drunk and dim-eyed, woke up cleverly when he heard these words, Old, old boss, I, 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 I was just talking. I'm serious, please reflect on it. Li Feng sneered and walked back to his original position to sit down. The set staff who had already known Wei Bin and others couldn't help but smile, and Al Landor couldn't help covering his mouth and laughing. Just as the atmosphere in the room was cheerful, Xiao Linjia walked over from a distance. Hey, why do I look familiar with this girl? Wei Bin rubbed his chin and looked at Xiao Linjia, whispered. Luo Tianzheng raised his hand and hammered him, cursing, You are not stupid, 
this is the girl who wasted the boss's time. Aside, the studio staff and IVBs had already looked straight. Xiao Linja is the kind of woman who makes people feel amazing at first sight. She has a beautiful face, perfect figure, and unique temperament. Every bit will make a man's heart move. And her dress is also very scheming, with a short tee with exposed waist, blue denim shorts, and a pair of 15 centimeters tall on her feet, which perfectly shows her figure. Youthful fashion and seductiveness made the little hearts of these men who saw her start beating quickly. Did you follow the boss to the cottage? Wei Bin was also really drunk, and didn't care about his words. I'm going to the hut, this is my guess. Luo Tianzheng said cursingly. Fuck, you two are not stupid, this is not the one who puts a hat on the boss. When Chu Biao said this, Fang Dihei severely covered his mouth, wear your sister's hat, if you want to die, don't drag us. Because they spoke Huaxia, none of the crooked nuts present could understand them, so everyone was at a loss, but they watched them with gusto. In the whole night, they were used to Wei Bin and the others quarreling, so just body language was enough to make them look cool. Li Feng, I really know that I was wrong. Please don't drive me away, okay? Xiao Linja looked at Li Feng in the middle of the crowd, Chu Chu said in English pitifully. Al Landor. Other people. No. What is the relationship between this beauty and Li Feng? There is a story, this is. Li Feng raised his eyebrows, Xiao Linja, you should know that there is no point in acting with me. The reason why Xiao Linja spoke to him in English was to use these foreigners to put pressure on Li Feng and let Li Feng agree to take her in. Most people naturally don't think so much in such a short period of time, but Li Feng understands Xiao Linja, so that every time Xiao Linja says a word, Li Feng carefully considers whether she has any other intentions. Xiao Linja's face changed slightly, and she said in Huaxia, Sorry, I... I just can't think of any other better way. This method is worse, because doing so will only make me hate you more. Li Feng sneered, waved and said, You go, don't disturb us drinking. Xiao Linja's face changed slightly, and she stood stubbornly in place, without any plans to leave. Li Feng raised his eyebrows, and just as he was about to send Xiao Linja away, a group of people came straight here from a distance. Boy. You have a lot of friends. After this group of people came over, Jack, who was knocked down by Li Feng, stood up and said. Li Feng raised his eyebrows, Why, are you still not convinced? Jack sneered and said, Haha, I think I will be able to arrogantly stay here with some charny skills. Don't be funny, this is the United States. Li Feng shrugged, I know this is the United States, so what? It is legal for the U.S. to own guns, you idiot. Jack laughed and waved his right hand down. Kaka. The group of people following him all took out a pistol and aimed at Li Feng together. Did you see it? This is a pistol, do you understand the pistol? Jack said excitedly, pointing to these pistols. Damn Huaxia guy, now you know how good we are. Charnizi Kung Fu? Shit in front of the pistol. Come and kowtow to admit your mistake, or you will be killed. Jack's three companions were also very proud, pointing to Li Feng and beginning to make conditions. Fuck. Where did these silly people come from? I don't know what my last name is with a few fire sticks. It's a fire stick, it's obviously an iron two. Interesting. The Americans are really interesting. If they don't agree with each other, they will pay for it. The folk customs are simple. Are you particularly uneducated? This is called a sturdy folk style, and a godly folk style simple. Wei Bin and the others didn't put these pistols in your eyes. As for Hunter Bray and his men, there is also no tension. Nima, shooting in front of 4 by 8 these people think they have a long life. Although the crew on the set were nervous, they didn't feel so nervous when I thought of sitting next to Ivy by AI. It's a pity that these IVBs have already taken off their uniforms and weapons before coming to the nightclub. If they really want to fight, I don't know if they can be reliable. 
Jack, John, Kevin, David, I advise you not to do this. Xiao Linjia sighed and turned to speak to them. Jack raised his eyebrows, Xiao, haven't you been thinking of ways to integrate into our circle? Why, now you want to let all your previous efforts go to waste? I'm doing it for you, trust me. Xiao Linjia said with a complex expression. This group of idiots didn't even know how terrifying Li Feng was, and thought they could threaten Li Feng with a few pistols. As everyone knows, even if they drive over in a tank or airplane, Li Feng's brows will not be frowned. Don't worry, my dad is a congressman, he can handle this little thing. Jack sneered. My dad is a real estate agent, and spending money can shut everyone up. John also laughed. My dad is the boss of HSD. If something happens, someone will help us fight it. Kevin played with it. My dad is the boss of a software company, and some of them have money for lawyers. David also said indifferently. In the United States, rich people can do whatever they want, and spend money to settle everything. Of course, the premise is that the other party is an ordinary person. We are Ivybia, you better put down your guns. Hunter Bray put down his glass and said with a smile. Jack 4 The four of Jack were dumbfounded at the time, okay. This group of people is Ivy by AI? Damn it, just kidding. Regardless of whether they are the sons of real estate developers, software company bosses, or parliamentarians, they are really tired of daring to threaten 4 by A with a gun. As for the HSD boss, in front of Ivy Bia, it's like a mouse meeting a cat, too late to run. Nima, are they not so bad? After a while, Jack said calmly, You said you are Ivy by AI, what evidence do you have? This is my identification. Hunter Bray threw the ID directly on Jack's face, and then slid to the ground. Jack resisted his anger, bent down, picked up the ID and opened it for a while, then he was shocked, is it really IVB? We are all. Hunter's men spoke in unison, took out their documents neatly, and threw them all at Jack. Suddenly, the ID rained down on Jack, smashing Jack directly. John, Kevin, and David settled their minds, helped Jack pick up the documents, and opened them. Then the three of them changed their expressions drastically, it's really Ivy B, they are all Ivy B. Jack's face collapsed and he wanted to cry without tears, what should I do now? What to do? We didn't do anything. Besides, it is not certain whether the other party is a fake. What we have to do now is to call someone, Jack. You call your dad first and ask him to come over. He is a counselor. He can talk about this kind of thing best. Kevin is worthy of being the son of the HSD boss. It can be said that he is very experienced in doing such illegal things, at least he can do it in danger. The main reason is that this nightclub was opened by his father. He can make the surveillance video disappear. The other party has no definite evidence. It will naturally increase the difficulty of trying to cure them. It makes sense. Jack walked out of the panic all at once, took out his cell phone and called his dad. His father is a state legislator and has a wide network of contacts. Even 4 by a should give his father a bit of face. Sure enough, after listening to Jack's account, the state counselor's father was not very panicked. He just told Jack to stay where he was and not to make excessive actions. After he came over, he hung up the phone. Mr. Hunter, my father will be here soon. Jack put down the phone and said confidently. Do you think your dad can come and take you from here? Hunter Bray asked with a smile. It's just a state legislator, he really doesn't need to look at it. We just pulled out the pistols and didn't do anything extreme, did we? Jack shrugged, playing with taste. Hunter Bray couldn't help but sneered, so you think you can not be held legally responsible for pointing a gun at Ivy Bia, right? Jack's face changed slightly, we didn't point to you, we were referring to this Chinese. Pointing a gun at Ivy Bia is definitely a felony, let alone pointing at Ivy Bia, you can try to point the gun at the police in the United States, 
and you won't be sifted. The gun is in your hands. You can point your gun at us at any time. Hunter Bray snorted coldly, then looked at Li Feng, Mr. Li, how do you want to clean them up? You wait for me to ask. Li Feng turned his head and looked at Xiao Linjia, I think you need to introduce your relationship. In fact, it is easy for him to clean up these people, and he can directly order Hunter. It's just that he didn't want to be used as a gunman by Xiao Linjia. I, can you lay down a barrier of true energy? Xiao Linjia said hesitantly. Li Feng raised his eyebrows and sighed after a long while, you come with me. When the voice fell, he got up and walked to the bathroom. Xiao Linjia was overjoyed, and hurriedly followed. When he came to the door of the bathroom, Li Feng placed an infuriating barrier and said, Don't try to lie to me, because you can't lie to me at all. He has already used mind reading on Xiao Linjia. Xiao Linjia nodded, sorted out her thoughts and said, Actually, I have known them for a month. I won't talk about the specific process of getting to know them. I will just talk about the purpose of knowing them. Li Feng shook his head and laughed, and said with a mockery, If you don't tell me, I know, it's nothing more than developing them into spare tires and taking advantage of them. Xiao Linjia was taken aback for a moment, then said with a miserable expression, Am I such a woman in your heart? That's right, you are such a woman in my heart, am I wrong? Li Feng mocked. Xiao Linjia gritted her teeth and shook her head, No, you guessed it, but I just want to live a dignified life. You don't lack money in your family, and you are a master level expert, don't you live with dignity enough? Li Feng sneered. I. Xiao Linjia was speechless, and sighed after a long while, Yes, I was really trying to take advantage of them, but I didn't expect them to be gentlemen at all. Oh. Li Feng raised his eyebrows, and asked with some interest, Why not be gentlemanly, let's listen. Xiao Linjia looked resentful and said, They have only known me for two days, and they wanted to give me medicine. Fortunately, I kept a mindful eye and escaped. After that, they always take the opportunity to take advantage of me. Not only are they not gentlemen, they are also shameless. Originally I wanted to get rid of them, but they found out about my family's information. If I tear my face with them, my family will leave LSJ. With her green tea skills, she could easily play with men between applause in China, but when she arrived in the United States, her set just didn't work. Whatever is left and right is left, and what is left is what ends. These techniques that have been tried in China are completely unworkable on Jack, John, and others. They seem to have not seen a woman in a few years, take advantage of her whenever they have a chance, and always want to take her down by despicable means. Had it not been for Xiao Linjia's master cultivation base, she had been eaten and wiped out how many times? Li Feng saw her doubts, and immediately sneered. The reason why you can play men unscrupulously in China is because you have the Xiao family as your backer. If you leave the superpowers of the Xiao family, you will be caught in minutes. People eat it. There is a saying that without a country, there is no home, and without a strong motherland, there will be many uncertainties in the lives of ordinary people. Wasn't it like this in China a hundred years ago? Therefore, Sometimes it is not how awesome or powerful this person is, but the platform he is on is awesome and powerful. Without this platform, he might be nothing. Xiao Lingya Mao stopped. Then Li Feng said puzzledly, but then again, you are a great master. I really want to annoy you. You can solve them by force. Xiao Lingya said with a sad expression on her face, I also thought about this method, but... Jack and his dad is an S-rank powerhouse. S-rank strong. Li Feng raised his eyebrows, and finally understood why Xiao Linjia would collapse in the hands of Jack's four. The family background is not as good as theirs, and the individual force is not as good as theirs. They are crushed in all directions. Who will eat Xiao Linjia? That is to say, Xiao Linjia herself was a great master, and her scheming was very serious. When another woman came over, 
there was no more scum that had been eaten by the four jacks. Then what are you going to do next? Li Feng asked. I want to go back to China, I don't want to stay in this ghost place anymore. Xiao Linjia let out a sullen breath and said firmly. Li Feng raised his eyebrows and said with a faint smile, but you were driven out of China by me. Yes, so I want to get your forgiveness, no matter what the price is. Xiao Linjia was really fed up with the current life, although she did not worry about food or clothes, her material standard of living did not drop much. But things at the spiritual level are far from before. Before, wherever she went, she looked like a royal princess, eye-catching and dazzling, and she was greeted with flowers and praise. What now? She is a doll that pleases men with her looks. Compared with before, one is in the sky and the other is on the ground. With such a psychological gap, she must be unbalanced in her heart. So after she met Li Feng, she had the idea that she must be forgiven by Li Feng no matter what, not only that, she had to become Li Feng's woman and take back all her lost things. At any price, including going back to the hotel with me. Xiao Linjia had said this before, and Li Feng just confirmed it again. Yes, as long as you nod your head, I will be yours tonight. Xiao Linjia showed a shy look, but her tone was still firm. She has always been confident in her appearance, even if Li Feng has many women, she is also very competitive. Besides, what you can't get is the best. Just like a child, his father bought him Transformers toys worth hundreds of dollars, but he still had to grab other children's toys worth dozens of dollars to play with. Why? Because he has never played with that toy. This is something that all children understand, and Li Feng can't avoid it. Li Feng stared at her for a while, shook his head and smiled, I want you to be very simple, and you don't even need your consent so it is impossible for you to let me agree to your return to China based on this. But since we are all Chinese, I will help you get rid of the current troubles. Xiao Linjia's face changed slightly, what do you want? Li Feng stared at her for a while, then smiled after a long while, sincere, your scheming is too deep, I don't like it. If I bring you back to China, you will be a time bomb that will detonate at any time. If you really want to go back, then change yourself. When I feel that you are not threatening, I will seriously consider it. Xiao Linjia didn't expect Li Summit to give such an answer, and for a while, the whole person was stunned on the spot. After a long while, Xiao Linjia asked bitterly, So in your heart I am a scheming green tea watch, right? If you want my confirmation, then my answer is, Yes, that's right. That's how you evaluate it in my heart. If you want to change my impression of you, please change. Well, we have been out for a long time, so it's time to go back. When the voice fell, Li Feng removed the infuriating barrier and returned to the deck first, and Xiao Linjia came over after him. As soon as he came back, Hunter Bray asked for instructions, Mr. Li, what should I do next? Didn't they shake people? Wait until the person they shake arrives. Li Feng smiled. Understand. Hunter Bray nodded, glanced at Jack and the others, and said, You all heard, right? Don't say I won't give you a chance. When the people you call are here, let's talk about how to solve it. This matter. Jack nodded, Thank you Mr. Hunter for understanding. In the following time, Li Feng exchanged cups with Hunter Bray, talking and laughing with Al Landor next to him. On the opposite side, Jack and others waited patiently without being embarrassed. The most embarrassing thing was Xiao Linjia. She stood behind Li Feng, without a seat, and unable to speak, just like a slave servant who served his master in ancient times. However, Xiao Linjia didn't have any resentment on her face. She regarded this as Li Feng's test of herself, and she was full of patience. Ten minutes later, Jack's congressman father arrived here. Dad, you finally came. Jack almost cried with joy. Uncle Jack. John and others also hurried forward to say hello. Yet. Yeah. 
Old Jack nodded, and then asked, Who is Ivy B? Jack pointed to Hunter Bray, It's him, and all those around him are Ivy B. Old Jack raised his eyebrows and walked in front of Hunter Bray and said, Hello, this is Henry Jack, Congressman of State J. Hunter Bray raised his eyelids, Hello, Congressman Jack, this is Hunter Bray, the leader of the Ivy B Special Operations Team. Can you show me your credentials? I need to call to confirm. Old Jack said in a deep voice. Of course. Hunter Bray threw his credentials to Old Jack. Old Jack's face sank, he reached out to catch the ID, opened it and took a look, then took out his phone and dialed out a call, Hey, Brooke, hello. Yes, I do want to trouble you. That's it. There is a gentleman named Hunter Bray. He said he is the leader of the Ivy by AI Special Operations Group. Can you confirm it for me? What, he really is? Okay, I see, thank you Brooke, I will visit you someday, goodbye. On the side, the complexions of the four of Jack changed slightly, and it was okay. This Hunter Bray turned out to be Ivy B, which is a bit difficult to handle. After finishing the call, Old Jack let out a sigh of relief and walked up to Hunter Bray to return his ID. Then he said in a deep voice, Mr. Hunter, I think there must be some misunderstanding in this matter. What's the misunderstanding? Hunter Bray mocked. Old Jack was taken aback for a moment, then turned back and said to Jack, Jack, you come and tell Mr. Hunter what is the misunderstanding here. He has just arrived here and he has no time to understand what happened. Jack hurriedly said, it was this Chinese guy who beat me first, and I brought people back to find the place, and we didn't target Mr. Hunter and other IVB members during the whole process. Hearing this, the old Jack was relieved a lot, and smiled immediately, Mr. Hunter, if the story is really what Jack introduced, then this incident is indeed a misunderstanding. Jack is not aimed at Ivy by AI, but at a Chinese person. How big can things be? With his ability, it should be easy to settle. Hunter was taken aback for a moment, then looked at Li Feng, Mr. Li, what should I do? Li Feng rolled his eyes, what else can I do? Just take it back. After the interrogation, he should be sentenced and shot. Old Jack. Other people. Ever since they came to look for things, they have been suppressed by Li Feng's group. Until the old Kevin appeared, they finally straightened their waists again. How can this feeling be so cool? Luo Tianzheng and the others looked at each other. Damn it, an S-rank powerhouse would dare to speak out about them? Is this old boy floating, or are they unable to handle the knife? Although they wanted to kill the old Kevin immediately, the Lord did not speak and they were not easy to act without authorization. Al Landuo's heart sank, and he quickly took Li Feng's arm. Li Feng raised his eyebrows, turned his head and asked, You seem to be scared. He, he looks terrible. Al Landor nodded. Old Kevin was the one who killed many people, and although the fierce aura on his body was invisible, it was clearly felt. Women's instincts have always been accurate, and it's normal for Al Landor to perceive danger from old Kevin. A playful smile appeared at the corner of Li Feng's mouth, is it terrible, why didn't I see it? Al Landor nodded vigorously, I'm afraid, my heartbeat has increased. The joke on Li Feng's face grew stronger, really? I don't believe it. Al Landor. No. What do you mean by not believing, you still have to listen and confirm. Damn. The Lord is always so off guard when he drives the car. Isn't that nonsense? Regarding driving skills, I am not targeting anyone, I mean everyone here, including myself, is rubbish. If I had half of my suzerain's driving skills, I wouldn't have been single. Luo Tianzheng and others were talking through voice transmission, and they looked at Li Feng with both envy and admiration. Behind the deck, Xiao Linja's expression became a bit ugly again. Apart from being blessed by the star halo, is El Landor better than her? Regarding the body, the two are almost the same, El Landor wins a little taller than her, 
with the wildness of a Western woman. As for her face, Xiao Linjia thought she was more refined than Al Landor. Regarding her birth, she is the eldest of the Xiao family, she is very noble. In terms of temperament, knowledge, and conversation, Xiao Linjia also had incredible confidence. But Li Feng can leave her to flirt with Al Landor. I'm very upset. I thought you wanted me to listen. Seeing Al Landor not speaking, Li Feng laughed. Al Landor blushed, and whispered, How could it be? Li Feng doesn't have a stethoscope. If you want to listen to her heartbeat, don't you have to stick it to your body and listen? How can? Okay, okay, I don't think you are too nervous, so I am teasing you, are you still nervous now? Li Feng smiled. El Landor took a closer look, and found that he was indeed less nervous, and for a while, he didn't know whether to cry or laugh. The old Kevin and the others on the opposite side were so stunned. What is this, robbery, can you be more serious? Li Feng, you don't seem to be afraid at all. Old Kevin let out a suffocating breath and asked coldly. Li Feng shrugged, is it useful to be afraid? Old Kevin raised his eyebrows, indeed, fear is of no use. It can only make me think you can deal with it better. In the face of danger, if anger still has a positive effect, then fear and fear have all harms but no benefit. Fear and fear can make a person become unresponsive and suffer from gains and losses. In the face of danger, with such emotional blessings, it is even more difficult to think of ways to break the game. Or why is there such a saying don't panic when you encounter something, and post to a circle of friends first? It's just that everyone knows the truth. When facing dangers, few people can do it without fear or fear. This is human instinct, not something you can do without thinking. So, why should I be scared? Why don't you think about how to deal with you? When the voice fell, Li Feng picked up a cocktail and took a sip. The boss is right, you have to keep your breath at this time. Wei Bin flattered at the opportunity. How many times can a person encounter this situation in his life? I feel sorry for myself without posting a circle of friends. Chu Biao took out his mobile phone and wanted to make video clips. Old Jack quickly yelled, you put down the phone for me. What they did was to decapitate, and they must not leak out. Hey Jack. Don't be nervous, just let him post. Old Kevin suddenly turned around and said. Old Jack was taken aback for a moment, and then surprised, you already. Of course, I always strive not to leave any flaws in my work. Old Kevin shrugged and smiled. Old Jack breathed a sigh of relief and said with a thumbs up, as expected of Kevin. Hey, there is no signal. Chu Biao frowned into a word Chuan put down the phone in annoyance, and looked at the old Kevin, you got it. Old Kevin nodded, yes, I opened a military signal jammer. No matter what communication tools you have, you never want to tell the situation here. Chu Biao took a deep breath, wow. Wei Bin followed immediately, 4 Jie. Luo Tianzheng and the others looked at each other, and then said in unison after a long while, elegant butterfly. Li Feng. Old Kevin. Other people. Isn't it, WHHH, SIJE? That's all, it's a good time, but the phrase ya lily is too much? Are you acting in a Dongying movie? Daddy, I don't think they believe you will actually kill them. Even Kevin saw the mockery of Wei Bin and others, and said angrily. I can see it too. Old Kevin nodded and then pointed at Xiao Linjia, this is the Chinese woman you have been chasing after. Yes, her name is Xiao Linjia, she just came to the United States not long ago, how is she, pretty? Kevin said with a grin. Well, it looks pretty good. Old Kevin nodded and said with a smile, then I will keep her and let you ring her up, and kill her when she has enough. Daddy, you are so awesome. Kevin was very happy. Kevin, don't eat alone. Hey Kevin, remember what we said before? Blessed to share. Kevin, I know you know what I want to say. 
the three jacks winked at Kevin with obvious intentions. Kevin made an okay gesture and said proudly, Don't worry, we are brothers, of course we must be blessed to share. Kevin, I prefer Al Landor. Old Jack suddenly leaned over to old Kevin and whispered. Old Kevin raised his eyebrows and laughed, Jack, since you have spoken, I will naturally leave her behind, but I am also very interested in her. Old Jack showed an expression of I understand and laughed loudly, don't worry, good brothers are blessed to share. Al Landor's face changed drastically, and he subconsciously clasped Li Feng's arm. Hunter, can you be sentenced for this situation? Li Feng suddenly turned his head and said. Hunter Bray nodded, of course, one of these people can be sentenced. Very good. Li Feng nodded raising his hand to press down. Boom! A strong energy appeared, directly pressing the old Kevin and others to the ground. A group of people who were still standing in place before suddenly squatted on the ground. This scene directly stunned Al Landor and also stunned a group of Ivy by AI members. As for the old Kevin and others who were crushed on the ground, there was even more turbulent waves in their hearts. Damn, who are you? Old Kevin raised his head with all his strength and asked Li Feng in horror. He is an S and grade powerhouse, and Li Feng just waved his hand to squeeze him on the ground. What kind of realm does this need? SS level may not be able to do it, right? Daddy, I can't move anymore, save me. Damn it, why do I feel a mountain weighing on me? Oh shit, I can't move, I must be dreaming. It was the first time that Jack, Kevin, and others encountered this situation, and they almost cried in fright. Nima was too frightened. Me? The name of the storm team, don't you know? Li Feng joked. The corner of Al Landor's mouth twitched, the name of the storm team. Li Feng retired after playing one game and became the star of the Gale team? You can say that after a season. But having said that, Li Feng's performance in that section was already shocking enough, and it's not a big deal to say that the name of the Gale team is. Big brother, I was wrong, I shouldn't threaten you, please let us go, I am willing to pay any price. Why can't old Kevin hear that Li Feng is teasing them? Regardless of whether Li Feng is a member of the Storm team or not, just press him on the ground with a touch of his hand, and he has to admit it. Li Feng mocked. Any price, including death. Old Kevin's face changed slightly, Big brother, I don't want to die, I am willing to give money to women, as long as I have something, you can ask for it, as long as you let us go. While speaking, he kept winking at the old Jack on the side. At this time, the more people begging for mercy, the better, and he can't just pay the price. Yes, yes, sir. I still have some money, I am willing to give you all the money, please let us go. Old Jack is an old fox, and he knows the truth about leaving the green hills without worrying about firewood. Oh, but I am not short of money or women. Li Feng shook his head and smiled, and then said to Hunter Bray, you take someone out first. Now that he had agreed to help Xiao Linjia solve the trouble, he had to clean things up. Although Hunter Bray is his servant, the other Ivy Bees are uncontrollable, and what he will do next is definitely not convenient for them to see. Hunter Bray did not hesitate, and immediately took people out of the nightclub. Al, you go out first. Li Feng turned his head and said to Al Landor. Ah? Can't I stay here? Al Landor really wants to know what Li Feng is going to do next. You better not stay here. After saying that, Li Feng winked at Wei Bin. Wei Bin understood in a second, walked over and said, Miss Al, it's too boring here, I will take you out to blow the hair. They all talked about this, Al Landor definitely couldn't stay anymore, so he could only stand up reluctantly and walk out with Wei Bin. Xiao Linjia was as refreshing as she ate an ice cream in a dog daze. In the final analysis, Li Feng still doesn't trust Al Landor. From this point of view, she still has an advantage. After all unrelated people left here, Li Feng motioned to Xiao Linjia to sit next to him. 
Xiao Linjia smiled, shyly walked to Li Feng and sat down. How are you going to pack them? Li Feng put his arm around Xiao Linjia and asked playfully. Xiao Linjia was taken aback for a moment, and then whispered, It's fine for you to make a decision, I will listen to you. While speaking, she leaned closer to Li Feng. Li Feng shook his head and smiled, No, no, they are your enemies. Naturally, you have the final say. It doesn't matter. You can rest assured and boldly say that as long as you speak out, I will help you. At this moment, Li Feng is like a good man who spoils his girlfriend. If there are other women here, he will definitely be envious. However, Luo Tianzheng and the others were confused. This Xiao Linjia almost put a hat on the sect master and was expelled from Huaxia in the sect master's anger. Why did he hook up with the sect master now? Heroes sad for beauty off? This. Xiao Linjia couldn't figure out Li Feng's intentions, and hesitated for a while. Li Feng raised his eyebrows and said mockingly, Xiao Linjia, you are not an indecisive person. Xiao Linjia's face changed slightly and then gritted her teeth and said, I want them to die. She was worried that Li Feng would use this to judge her character, personality, or character, but when she thought about it carefully, she didn't leave a good impression in Li Feng's heart, and her venomous behavior was nothing at all. If you tell lies, it will deepen Li Feng's impression of her green tea. Li Feng nodded in satisfaction, that's right, be yourself, don't act in front of me. Being cruel to the enemy is not a disadvantage, on the contrary, being kind to the enemy is a disadvantage, so he doesn't mind Xiao Linjia wanting these people to die. Xiao, we were wrong. We shouldn't treat you like that. Please don't let Mr. Li kill us. I beg you. Xiao, don't you want to join our circle? From now on you will be the eldest sister in our circle, we all listen to you. Yes. We are willing to treat you as a princess, don't kill us, okay? Xiao, I will give you money, a lot of money, one hundred million dollars, okay? The four of Jack begged for mercy. Why did you know this before? Xiao Linjia teased her ears and said, When you drugged me, I wished to kill you. No, no, that's a misunderstanding, misunderstanding, ah. Jack hadn't finished speaking yet. Suddenly a burst of true energy surged from the front, directly piercing through his heavenly spirit cover, bringing up a canopy of blood. After a scream, Jack died. John, Kevin, and David directly scared to pee. I will give you one billion dollars. Don't kill us. Old Kevin knew that he couldn't resist, so he hurriedly said most of his wealth. I said, I'm not short of money. Li Feng shook his head and smiled. After counting his fingers, Kevin, John, and David were directly headshot. Damn Waxia, I won't let you go as a ghost. Old Kevin fell directly into a state of madness. Okay, I'm waiting for you to come and find me. Li Feng shook his head and smiled, and then pointed out. Old Kevin died. Okay, the next step is up to you. Li Feng waved his hand, Luo Tianzheng, and the others gave a grinning grin chopping melons and vegetables to get the rest of the people done. After doing this, Li Feng set a fire in the store and led the crowd out of the nightclub. Mr. Li, are things done? Hunter Bray came up and asked. Well, the fire was too big, we could not put it out. Li Feng shook his head and sighed. Mr. Li, don't feel guilty, no one wants such a thing to happen, just do your best. In view of Mr. Li's efforts to fight the fire, I will suggest to LSJSZF that Mr. Li be awarded the Honorary Citizen Medal. Hunter Bray comforted. Al Landor. Members of Ivy by AI. Are Al Landor and the other members of Ivy by AI confused? What kind of fire? Fight the fire. Why didn't they see a fire? Just as everyone was bewildered, a fire suddenly broke out from the nightclub and the heat wave rolled and shattered the glass. What, is it really on fire? Oh my god, what a big fire, call the fire alarm. Wait, Congressman Jack is still inside. 
it's not just Congressman Jack. After the fire broke out, Al Landor and others panicked. Hey, Congressman Jack and Boss Kevin are both real warriors. They didn't retreat in the face of the raging fire. They also covered our retreat. Hunter, I think the LSJ Honorary Citizen Medal should be awarded to them. Li Feng sighed and said in a complicated tone. Mr. Li's words are very reasonable, but I think Mr. Li's spirit is also worthy of our study. Well, I will propose to LSJSCF to give you all honorary citizen medals. Hunter Bray sighed. Li Feng waved his hand and said modestly, I just did a little trivial thing. Honorary citizen is really shameful. Of course, if Mr. Hunt insists on applying for this honor for me, I will do my best to cooperate. Al Landor's mouth twitched, and he whispered, He is really not humble at all. Although she deliberately lowered her voice, Li Feng still heard it. But Li Feng just glanced at her, and then said to everyone, OK, it's too early, we are going back to the hotel, you all go home too. While speaking, he used the system to modify the memories of the members of Ivy by AI and the crew on the set. It's very simple, just to let them forget about him pushing down old Kevin and others. As for Al Landor, Li Feng didn't take any action against her. He couldn't say how much he trusted, but her identity was not that sensitive. Uh, don't you need to report the fire? Al Landor was a little confused. Ah, uh, if you don't tell me, I almost forgot. Li Feng patted his forehead, then said to Al Landor, then you stay here to call the police. Al Landor looked at the empty street, shrank his neck and said, the same goes for the police on the way back, as long as I can tell the exact location. All right, then I don't care, goodbye everyone. Li Feng waved his hands and led the professional team and Xiao Linjia, the oil bottle, on the bus parked on the side of the road. When you get to the hotel, you can take a taxi home by yourself. After the bus started, Li Feng said to Xiao Linjia. Xiao Linjia's face changed slightly, you, don't you want to take me back to the hotel? Li Feng glanced at her and said with a faint smile, You forgot what I said before? When did you change to my satisfaction, let's talk about this topic again. Okay, I understand. Xiao Linjia nodded, and said nothing. On the side, Luo Tianzheng and the others looked at each other. Don't send them to the door, sect master is too capable of pretending, right? Half an hour later, the bus drove to the door of the hotel. After Xiao Linjia watched Li Feng and others enter the hotel, she drove home. While there is still time, you all come to my room for a meeting. After taking the elevator to the floor where the room was located, Li Feng deliberately found a location that could be photographed by the monitoring system, and said to Luo Tianzheng and others. Although Luo Tianzheng and the others were puzzled, they followed Li Feng into his suite. Fuck, what's the situation? Why do they look exactly like you? Tu Lao Zhang, Tu Lao Wang, Tu, are you all twins? As soon as he entered the room, Luo Tianzheng and the others saw Emma Wenchen and others sitting on the sofa, and they were suddenly shocked. Because on the way here, Li Feng disguised Emma Wenchen and the others, so that they would be the same as the professional team of eleven people. Luo Tianzheng and others who had no knowledge of Li Feng's plan were naturally taken aback. Look at you guys, what are you doing so surprised? Li Feng snorted, dissatisfied. Fortunately, after he came in, he put up the infuriating barrier. Otherwise, wouldn't they make a fuss about life? No. Boss, this is too frightening for Nima, right? Boss, what's the situation? My curiosity is about to explode now. Although Luo Tianzheng and others are all half-length peak powerhouses, they are also very daunted in the face of such an unprecedented situation. It's exploding now? Haha, <laughs> you all underestimated me. Li Feng smiled slightly, and then waved at the eleven professional team. Ka Ka sounded, and in a blink of an eye, the eleven-person professional team turned into eleven fist-sized metal balls. Fuck. 
Luo Tianzheng and the others shrank their pupils and burst out a swear word. Fuck. Mo Wenchen and the others also stood up from the sofa in fright, and directly stunned on the spot. However, everyone is uneducated, and one sentence is in the world. Eleven big living people suddenly turned into metal spheres. Would you believe it if you didn't see it with your own eyes? If someone else comes over, facing this situation, I can only say something damned. Li Feng smiled slightly, put the eleven biochemical compressed pills into the system backpack, turned around and said to Emma Wenchen, Emissary Ching Long, you can introduce yourself first. Emma Wenchen settled down, and then said his identity. Fuck, Dragon Soul Azure Dragon Envoy. Luo Tianzheng and others didn't expect that the person who would meet the Dragon Soul here was the Azure Dragon Envoy, one of the four Dragon Envoys. Then who are you? Emma Wenchen asked doubtfully. Hey, who are we? Then you have to clean your ears and listen. You have to prepare quick-acting heart relief pills. It's best to prepare another piece of diapers, so don't be scared by us. Luo Tianzheng and the others looked at each other with a smile and teased one after another. Emma Wenchen was taken aback for a moment, then raised his hand and said, Then you guys don't say anything. Want to act like me? I just don't give you a chance, so I'll ask if you can block it. Luo Tianzheng and the others only felt that their throats were blocked in one breath, and they almost held back. It was so uncomfortable for them to be able to pretend to be thirteen in front of a powerful dragon-like dragon, but not to give them a chance. But having said that, their identities are still quite sensitive, even if Emma Wenchen asked them to speak, they would not dare to speak. Perhaps seeing their worries, Li Feng smiled beside him, Okay, there is nothing to conceal their identities until now, I'll just say it straight. Emma Wenchen and the others pricked their ears as soon as he said this. Let's talk about myself first, I'm Sect Master Julu, Li Feng. While speaking, Li Feng took out Julu Ling. Emma Wenchen was stunned on the spot. Li Feng turned out to be the notorious Sect Master of Julu Sect? Damn it, no way. Although the Nine Yu Sect was no longer there when the Dragon Soul was established, the Dragon Soul still knew the Nine Yu Sect very well, because the Nine Yu Sect was synonymous with the villain in China. Now Li Feng has suddenly become the Sect Master of Julu Sect, doesn't it mean that Li Feng is the biggest villain boss? It's over, I can feel that he is wary of the Sect Master. The story of Mr. Donguo and the Wolf. There are farmers and snakes. Hey, don't be a good person these years, good people are not rewarded. Luo Tianzheng and others read a lot of information from the changes in Emma Wenchen's expression, and they all began to mock. God, farmer, and snake, I'm shocked and puzzled. Emma Wenchen rolled his eyes and looked at Li Feng and asked, Are you really the sect master Julu? Replace it like a fake. Li Feng shrugged. Then who are they? Emma Wenchen asked Luo Tianzheng and the others. Nine elders of Julu sect. Great Elder Luo Tianzheng, a demigod peak powerhouse. Second Elder Liang Yuxin, a demigod peak powerhouse. Following Li Feng's introduction, Luo Tianzheng and others stood up one by one and clasped their fists with Emma Wenchen. After Li Feng introduced the last nine Elder Baisualian, Emma Wenchen and the members of the Dragon Soul had all fallen into a daze. The nine elders of the Julu sect, all of them are demigod pinnacle powerhouses. What is this concept? If you count Li Feng, wouldn't the Julu sect have the strength to dominate the world? This information content is too big, you let me slow down, let me slow down. Emma Wenchen was weak at first, and he couldn't even stand still in shock, rubbing his forehead while sitting on the sofa. The situation of the other Dragon Soul members is similar, all of them are in the cloud and fog that are impacted by this information, and they are all unsteady. Just then, a knock on the door sounded. Li Feng raised his eyebrows, made a silent gesture, and then said, Remember the main points of disguise I told you, and don't show any flaws. When the voice fell to the ground, Li Feng came to the door and glanced through the cat's eyes and found a hotel staff standing outside the door. 
Then Li Feng swept through his eyes again, only to find that there were several big men in blue uniforms standing on either side of the door. Who is knocking at the door so late? Li Feng took a deep breath and asked pretending to be dissatisfied. Sir, the hotel system shows that there is a problem with the fire alarm system in your room. For your safety, please open the door and I will go in and check it. The staff at the door said in a deep voice. Li Feng raised his eyebrows, just check the fire alarm system? I thought you came to check the water meter. Only members of the Dragon Soul understand this talk, and even Luo Tianzheng and the others are confused, let alone the hotel staff. There is no water meter in our hotel room, sir. The hotel staff replied solemnly. Okay, okay, although I think it's nothing, but you are so serious and responsible, I am still very pleased. When the voice fell, Li Feng opened the door. In the next moment, the sturdy guys on both sides of the door rushed over and aimed their guns at Li Feng, don't move, raise your hands. Hey, one thief, one thief. Li Feng raised his hand in the air in cooperation, and said confusedly, who are you? Why are you pointing your gun at me? We are members of the Super Power Bureau. Now we suspect that you are related to a criminal case. Please come back to the Bureau to assist in the investigation. One of the big bald guys took out a certificate and shook it in front of Li Feng, and said coldly. Li Feng suddenly looked strange, man, did you make a mistake? I just arrived in the US today, and I have always been with friends. Originally, he thought that these people came to the door because of the bombing of the Super Power Bureau headquarters, but the strength of these people was not even A grade and the Super Power Bureau would not be stupid enough to send these people to death. Didn't these people come to him for this matter? Don't worry, if it turns out that you did nothing, we will send you back. The bald man put away his credentials and said coldly. Head, those Chinese people are here. At this time, another big guy with a tattoo on his face saw Luo Tianzheng and others in the house and reported. The bald man nodded, you all stand at the door. Hurry up. Luo Tianzheng and the others looked at each other. Damn it, a B-class guy, dare to point fingers at them? The United States is really a magical country. Ziat, are you all deaf? Stupid Chinese people. The bald man saw Luo Tianzheng and the others standing still, and immediately shouted angrily. Hey buddy, you're racist, understand. Li Feng put down his hand and said with a gloomy expression. The bald man was originally upset because he was called up to perform the task in the middle of the night, and he met Li Feng and others who were ignorant, and his temper was directly agitated, Jimmy, Murray, handcuff them to me. Following his order, the rest of the Super Bureau members took out their handcuffs and prepared to handcuff Li Feng and others. At this moment, Li Feng suddenly said, I am friends with Hunter Bray, do you know Hunter Bray? The bald man was taken aback for a moment, then his complexion changed slightly and said, Hunter Bray? Somewhat familiar. Li Feng shrugged, his father's name should be more familiar to you. The bald man's face changed slightly, what is his father's name? Li Feng smiled and said word by word, Kevin Bray. The bald man shook his body and said in horror, K. Vice Commander Kevin. The other Super Bureau members were also taken aback, and stood still not daring to move. Among the five giants of the Super Bureau, none of them can provoke such a small role. If Li Feng is really a friend of Kevin's deputy eldest son, then their action is extremely stupid. I know you don't believe me, so I can call Hunter and ask him to come here in person. Li Feng took out his cell phone while talking. This. The bald man hesitated a little. Don't worry, Hunter is very generous. You won't be angry with you for this kind of thing. You are also for work. Li Feng saw the worries of the bald man and said to comfort him. Okay, thank you. The bald man said with gratitude and almost nodded and bowed. Luo Tianzheng and others. Mo Wenchen and others. Nima. The man who was going to handcuff them just now was fierce, 
suddenly nodded and bowed to Li Feng, just Nima was too much. Hey, Hunter, there are a few people from the Super Bureau here, well, come and explain for me. Li Feng hung up the phone and said to the bald man, it will take some time for Hunter to come over. How about a few people come into my room and let us drink some wine and wait for him to come? Is this, convenient? The bald man asked somewhat restrainedly. It's all my own brothers, if there is any inconvenience, please come in. Li Feng stepped aside. Really okay. The bald man was a little tangled. What's wrong, I said we are my own brothers, come in. Li Feng grabbed the bald man and dragged him into the room. The hotel staff has been completely confused. Not long after entering the door, the bald man and his super bureau colleagues drank with Li Feng and others. Let me tell you, just this action tonight, it is absolutely high profile, and the people in our LSJ branch are dispatched. Ah, I can't disclose the specific situation too much. I can only say that the situation is more serious. You are also out of luck and hit the gun. The bald man drank a little wine and talked freely. Li Feng raised his eyebrows, why did we hit the gunpoint? Because you are Chinese, there are a lot of people, and you returned to the hotel very late, there are too many doubts. The bald man smiled and explained. Li Feng's eyes lit up and he suddenly realized. Because he had produced a lot of alibi for himself, he dared to return to the hotel with a swagger, instead of returning to China for the first time. But this does not mean that he has no doubts, because the Super Power Bureau does not have a god's perspective, they will definitely suspect Li Feng and others first, and then catch them and conduct an investigation. Although they will be released because of Li Feng's alibi in the end, it is unavoidable to come to check. It's okay, I understand, brother, I really understand. When Hunter arrives, I will explain to him, and I won't blame you. Li Feng clinked glasses with the bald man and smiled. The bald man nodded gratefully, Thank you, Mr. Li, if I had known that you were Mr. Bray's friend, I would never talk to you in such a blunt manner. Hey, what are you talking about? They are all my own brothers, drinking and drinking. Li Feng patted the bald man on the shoulder and smiled. Mo Wenchen, Luo Tianzheng and others gave Li Feng a thumbs up in their hearts. This trick to penetrate into the enemy is too awkward, and most people really can't do it. Finally, Hunter Bray arrived, and when he entered the house he shouted, Let me see who is so awesome to catch Mr. Lee and them? Stand up for me. The bald man and others shook their hands, almost spilling their drinks. Ah, Hunter, don't be so excited, it's just a misunderstanding, a misunderstanding. Li Feng stood up poured a glass of wine and brought it to Hunter, come on, let me introduce to you, this is the only son of Mr. Kevin Bray, Mr. Hunter Bray, let us applaud. Wow! There was a burst of enthusiastic applause, especially the bald man and others applauded most hard. I know you may not believe it, so I am going to video link with my dad. Hunter Bray took out his cell phone and made a video call. Soon, the call was connected and Kevin Bray's old face appeared on the phone screen, Hunter, send me a video so late, is there anything urgent? Hunter Bray took his cell phone and walked to the bald man and the others, and said with a smile, there is nothing urgent, I just want to confirm with you whether these people are from the Super Bureau. The bald man and others hurriedly stood up and greeted Kevin Bray cautiously and respectfully. They. Kevin Bray frowned slightly, I don't know. Oh, I see, are you pretending to be members of the Super Bureau? Hunter Bray looked at the bald man and the others, and said coldly. No, no, we don't, absolutely nothing. The bald man quickly took out his ID, this is my ID. I really am a member of the Super Bureau. Kevin Bray looked at it and nodded, this is indeed a certificate from the Super Bureau, and it's normal that I don't know them. It is normal for the deputy chief of the general administration to not know an ordinary member of the LSJ branch, but it is not normal to know it. The bald man and the others immediately breathed a sigh of relief. 
This would be a lot of fun if the deputy chief of Kevin treated them as fakes. Well, it seems that this matter is indeed a misunderstanding. Hunter Bray nodded, and then asked why the bald man wanted to catch Li Feng and others. After clarifying the cause and effect, Hunter Bray helped Li Feng testify, from the evening until Mr. Li returned to the hotel, I have been with him. Not only Mr. Li, but these twenty Chinese friends are also with me. Not only I can testify about this, but the people from HN Pictures and my Ivy by AI players can testify. If you still don't believe it, you can call up surveillance video, it's all right. Hearing this, Li Feng knew that their suspicions were completely cleared. Hunter Bray is the son of Kevin Bray, and it is impossible for Kevin Bray to believe his son's words. And he is also the deputy chief of the Superpower Bureau, with a high position. He ruled out Li Feng and others from suspicion, and then Li Feng and others would be able to pass unimpeded in the U.S. I believe you Hunter, the investigation of Mr. Li will end here. Kevin Bray said with a smile. Thank you Kevin for your understanding. Kevin has a good night and good dreams. Li Feng came over and said. Kevin Bray smiled and nodded, ending the video call. Now what do you have to say? Hunter Bray put away the phone, looked at the bald man and the others and asked. Sorry Mr. Hunter, we know we were wrong. The bald man and others are like elementary school students who have done something wrong, bowing their heads in front of the teacher and admitting their mistakes, clever and pitiful. Well Hunter, they are all my own brothers, there is no need to go online. And they are also for work, I think you can suggest your dad to set them up as advanced models, so that people in the All Super League can learn this spirit of defying power. Li Feng helped the bald man with some kind words. At this moment, the bald man and others really regarded Li Feng as their second parent, and they were indebted to Li Feng. All right, since Mr. Li has said so, then I can't criticize you anymore. I will propose to Dad to give you rewards, so go back first. Hunter Bray nodded and said to the bald man and others. The bald-headed man and the others thanked him again and again, and then left the hotel suite. After Hunter Bray also left, a system prompt sounded in Li Feng's mind. Ding, congratulations to the host, the limited time rescue mission is completed, and the mission rewards are being issued. Ding, congratulations to the host, for getting 5 million experience points and 10 million system points rewards. The task is completed, does that mean that the danger is also eliminated? Li Feng pondered for a while, then clicked into the personal attribute interface to check it. Host, Li Feng. Level, Demigod. Experience value, 98.02 million slash 100 million. System points, 220 million. Conquer points, 3,235. Skills, Shenwei, Void God, Seven Steps to the Sky, Swordsmanship of the Sky, Void Flash, Between Square Inches, Guardian of Ching Shan, 36 Forms of Tian Gang, Rage, Cloud Explorer. Task to be completed, The Birth of Titanic. There are still 2 million experience upgrades. The mission of the birth of Titanic can be completed, but it will take a long time. During this time, the system should release new missions. I just don't know if I will enter the Divine Realm directly after upgrading. After looking forward to it, Li Feng said to Emma Wenchen, Envoy Ching Long, please rest assured that the Juyu sect now is not the Juyu sect 50 years ago. Emma Wenchen was taken aback for a moment, and then fell into deep thought. After walking for about ten minutes, Li Feng and his party saw a large group of people in front of him forming a circle, blocking the road. At this time, boom, 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 boom. Hearing the familiar sound of gongs and drums, Li Feng knew that it was either a dragon dance or a lion dance. Sure enough, when Li Feng thought of this, two red lions flew up in the crowd. The two lions stepped on the wooden stakes that had been erected a long time ago, flying up and down extremely wonderfully, arousing cheers. 
The martial arts hall that opened today is the property of Ma Yinghui, the chairman of LSJ Chinese Chamber of Commerce. His net worth is more than 1 billion US dollars. He has great prestige among LSJ Chinese. Many Chinese businessmen who come to LSJ for the first time will come to visit him. Not only that, he also has good attainments in martial arts. It is said that he is an extraordinary peak level powerhouse, only half a step away from entering the saint. While watching the lion dance performance, Xiao Linja whispered in Li Feng's ear. Li Feng nodded without commenting. Whether it is worth 1 billion US dollars, or the realm of extraordinary peaks, it is not in the eyes of Li Feng. This lion dance is pretty good, it looks very exciting. China's traditional culture, no matter how long it takes, you can't get tired of it. I also learned lion dance when I was young. I really have to work hard. Luo Tianzheng and others are all the older generation. Seeing that lion dance can most evoke childhood memories, I was very emotional for a while. When the lion dance performance was over and the crowd dispersed on both sides of the road, Li Feng saw some young men wearing exercise uniforms with the Magia Martial Arts logo printed with firecrackers walking out of the martial arts gym. They placed one after another of firecrackers on the ground, and there were 88 in total. This was not over yet, these people brought out some salutes, no more, no less, exactly 66. Chinese people are the most auspicious ethnic group. The celebrations and celebrations depend on the auspicious days. The license plate, phone number, and even the start time of the banquet are related to 8 or 6. A pair of 5 8 or 5 6 license plates and phone numbers can be sold at sky-high prices. The martial arts hall opened with 88 firecrackers and 66 salutes, which made sense. After the salute was placed, Ma Yinghui, wearing a white exercise suit and a safflower on his chest, walked out of the martial arts hall, and then the guests watching the crowd began to greet each other one by one. Mr. Huang Wenbin, chairman of MLKS Company, congratulated me with a gift of 1 million US dollars. Mr. Zhou Wen, chairman of the Belle Epoque Company, congratulated me with a gift of US dollar 88,800. Mr. Cheng Nan, chairman of Last's Company, presents a pair of gold ingots to congratulate. After the guests followed the ceremony, the MC sang the votes. The guests attending the ceremony were full of red faces, and Ma Yinghui who received the gift was even more energetic. People watching the excitement around will also burst into a burst of enthusiastic cheers and applause. Do you still have to go in? Li Feng said strangely. Well, whatever you want, but don't worry, I'm all ready. Xiao Linjia took out a red envelope from Kun Bag and smiled. Hey, isn't this the eldest of the Xiao family? Why, you really brought your male partner over. Turn your head and show us, who is your male partner? At this moment, a mocking voice sounded from a distance. Xiao Linjia followed the sound, but saw that the speaker was a fashionable Chinese beauty. She looked like she was in her early twenties, dressed in luxury brand clothes, with heavy makeup on her beautiful face, a Hermes platinum bag in one hand, and a white man's arm in one hand, and she looked at Xiao Linjia mockingly. A few young men and women were standing beside them, all of them all dressed in luxury goods, looking at Xiao Linjia with covetous and mocking expressions. Who am I supposed to talk to me like this, it turns out to be Miss Sun Lusun, why, you changed your male partner again. If I remember correctly, this is your third boyfriend this month, right? You are really like a man like clothes, you can change it casually. Xiao Lin just sneered, and the satirical words were like a shotgun. Sun Lu smiled proudly, love always comes in a hurry, I can't help it, but this time I really found true love. Come on, let me introduce to you. His name is Thompson. He is a quarterback for the Red Hat team. He will be a superstar in the NFL in the future. Thompson, this is Xiao Linjia, a young lady who has just arrived in the United States. Thompson's eyes lit up, and he stretched out his hand and said, Hello, nice to meet you. 
He just entered the NFL league and is currently still playing on the bench. By chance, he met Sun Liu who came to watch their training. It was Sun Liu who pursued him, and the two soon got together. According to Sun Liu, I think he can become a superstar in the NFL. Xiao Linjia glanced at him, shook her head and said, Sorry, my boyfriend doesn't like me shaking hands with other men. While speaking, she took Li Feng's arm and leaned sweetly on Li Feng's shoulder. In this process, Li Feng has not turned around. Thompson's eyes were cold, and he glanced at Sun Liu with an ugly expression. Sun Liu was angry, damn, Xiao Linjia, you won't be willing to shake hands with my boyfriend. Are you shameless? Sun Liu, you are a pretty lady, isn't it appropriate to scold the street in front of so many people? Xiao Linjia mocked. You. Sun Lu's face changed several times, and finally sneered, You have a great mouth, I can't tell you, but we have both been talking for so long, and your boyfriend hasn't turned around yet. You look ugly and faceless, right? Sun Lu's Chinese friends nodded in agreement, it's either ugly or low social status, so I dare not say hello to us. Haha, <laughs> ugly? Low social status? Are you talking about yourself? Xiao Linjia laughed mockingly and shook Li Feng's arm and said, My boyfriend doesn't say the most handsome in the world, at least he can be ranked in the top three. As for her social status? Having said that, she looked at Thompson up and down for a while, mocking, in the United States, at least N levels higher than him. Sun Liu almost laughed, Xiao Linjia, anyone can say big things, but you are not afraid that the wind will flash your tongue? If you have the ability, let him turn around and let us see who he is and can bear it. Can afford such an evaluation. If he doesn't dare, take him away, don't be embarrassed here. Xiao Linjia's face changed slightly, and then she shook Li Feng's arm, complaining, Li Feng, people have said that, don't you turn around. Luo Tianzheng and the others looked at each other. They had long heard that women quarreled very badly, and they never had a chance to see each other. Now they see that the rumors are true. Li Feng shook his head and smiled, and finally turned around. Okay, so handsome. One of Sun Lu's best friends covered her mouth and exclaimed. Other friends suddenly became suspicious, why do I think he is a little familiar? It's a bit familiar, I remember, he is Li Feng, Li Feng of the Storm Team. My God, it's really him. Even Thompson changed his face drastically and said, Oh no, it's Li Feng, my God, I actually saw Li Feng, oh you Mika. Am I dreaming? Sun Liu. Sun Liu is stupid, all right. This person is Li Feng, Li Feng, the most popular man in the American Chinese circle. Although Li Feng did not have any contact with the Chinese settled in the United States after he came to the United States, this could not stop him from becoming popular in the Chinese circle and the Chinese circle's worship of Li Feng. This is the one who played in the final quarter of the Tornado and Laker game and turned the tide. The basketball skills he showed are enough to drive basketball fans all over the world crazy. Even countless whites and blacks are clamoring that Li Feng is his idol, and these Chinese are naturally even worse. So Sun Liu is now a bit melancholy. Her new boyfriend is just a rookie who just joined the NFL League. Whether she can become a superstar in the future is unknown. On the other hand, Li Feng, debut is the peak, peak is retirement, and retirement is legend. Only in the sports circle, Thompson and Li Feng are not at the same level. Not to mention that Li Feng is the owner of Asville, and he also owns Shengtang Entertainment, the top three entertainment company in China, with assets of tens of billions of Chinese currency. She has been fighting with Xiao Linjia for a long time, because Xiao Linjia has just come to the United States not long ago, and her foundation is unstable and her connections are not deep. In addition, Xiao Linjia's eyes are above the top, she has high requirements for finding a boyfriend, and has always been single, so she used to have the upper hand. As a result, Xiao Linjia directly threw out Wang Zhang this time, 
leaving her with a tender outside and tender inside, with all the dregs of abuse left. Numa is aggrieved. It seems that everyone is familiar with me, so I won't introduce myself. Li Feng was very satisfied with everyone's reaction, shrugged and smiled. Oh Kamyuan, did you know that you are my idol? Thompson put his head in his hands and walked to Li Feng and said. Although Thompson plays rugby, his real favorite sport is basketball. It's just that his rugby talent surpasses his basketball talent, so he chose rugby as a last resort. Really? Li Feng spread his hands together, I didn't know before, but I know now. Why, do I need my signature? Also, Shuo, of course. Thompson hurriedly went around and said helplessly after searching for a long time, Oh it, I didn't bring paper when I went out. Mind if I sign on your clothes? Li Feng pointed to Thompson's t-shirt and smiled. Oh of course I don't mind, it's my honor. Thompson pulled up his t-shirt excitedly and said. That's good. Li Feng smiled, took a marker from his jacket pocket, and signed his name on Thompson's t-shirt. Li Feng. Huaxia characters right? Cool. Thompson looked at Li Feng's signature, quite a feeling of love. Sun Liu saw a black line on her forehead. Your sister, you are my boyfriend, but you have turned into Xiao Linjia's boyfriend's sweet dog. Are you deliberately making this lady ugly? At this moment, Sun Lu's friends also rubbed their hands and walked to Li Feng, that. Mr. Li, I am also your fan, can you sign me? Me too, I love watching you play basketball too much. Li Feng, you are really the pride of our Huaxia people. We are now walking outside and encountering crooked nuts who are looking for trouble. As long as we say that we are your fans, they will take the initiative to give in. Really? Li Feng didn't expect that his name could be used in this way, and he was a little surprised. Yeah, it really works. Sun Lu's friends nodded. Well, where do you want me to sign in? Li Feng takes good care of his compatriots, and he can be said to be responsive when he has plenty of time. Check it out on your clothes. Is a hat okay? Backpack, I can keep it forever. Everyone took out something for Li Feng to sign and said expectantly. Li Feng nodded, signing them one by one. Aside, Xiao Linjia raised her eyebrows proudly at Sun Liu, and she turned her head away with a cold snort of anger. When the autographs were over, Li Feng was familiar with them, and then Xiao Linjia said, Almost all the guests have gone in, shall we go in too? Yet. Yeah. Li Feng nodded and took Xiao Linjia's hand and walked towards the gate of the martial arts hall. Because there were a lot of people gathered here, Ma Yinghui had noticed Li Feng and the others a long time ago. When he saw Li Feng walking here, Ma Yinghui suddenly turned his head to exhort the MC, and then turned into the martial arts hall. Xiao Linjia raised her eyebrows and whispered, How did President Ma leave? Maybe there is something he needs to deal with. Li Feng said with a smile. Although he was more than 10 meters away from Ma Yinghui and the surroundings were relatively noisy, he still heard the conversation between Ma Yinghui and the MC. Do you want to get him off the ground? There seems to be no hatred between him and Ma Yinghui, right? When Li Feng and others came to the door, Xiao Linjia took out a red envelope and handed it to the MC, Xiao Linjia from the Xiao family. 100,000 US dollars as a gift. The MC smiled and took the red envelope, and put it into the box. She smiled and said without a smile, Thank you Miss Xiao for your appreciation, please come in. Xiao Linjia raised her eyebrows, and a sullen color appeared on her face. Why did the previous guests follow the ceremony, the master of ceremonies all voted the tickets, but it was her turn to show nothing and despise her. Thinking of this, Xiao Linjia felt aggrieved in her heart. When did the Xiao family, who was famous in China, dare to humiliate even the president of the LSJ Chinese Chamber of Commerce? Don't be angry, they shouldn't be directed at you, so be safe and not irritable. Everything is mine. At this moment, Li Feng's voice reached Xiao Linjia's mind. 
Xiao Linjia was taken aback for a moment, then nodded, suppressing the anger in her heart. Just when Xiao Linjia was about to pull Li Feng in, the MC suddenly stopped Li Feng, Ah, who are you, have you received the invitation letter? Li Feng raised his eyebrows, I'm Ling Ye's boyfriend. Only one person is allowed in your invitation letter, right? The MC's face changed slightly, and then he smiled, of course not. Today is the day when our president has a good business. I'm afraid there will be people waiting to get in and make trouble. Since you are Miss Xiao's boyfriend, you can naturally go in together. Of. But. VIP seats are limited. You and Miss Xiao will sit in the lobby. Xiao Linjia's complexion changed again, and only ordinary guests sat in the lobby. For example, the residents of Chinatown who came to the ceremony, like the bosses who went in before, all sat in private rooms. She, the dignified Xiao family eldest, accompanied the 100,000 VIP, and let her sit in the lobby? Too much deception. Haha, <laughs> Xiao Linjia, you didn't expect you to be treated like this. Sun Lu laughed, took out a red envelope and handed it to the MC, $100,000. Miss Sun Lu from the Sun family in Chinatown, with a gift of 100,000 US dollars as a congratulation. The MC respectfully took the red envelope and sang the votes loudly. Xiao Linjia. I went, the MC didn't respond when this lady gave the gift of 100,000 US dollars. The Sun Lu followed the gift of 100,000, and the MC sang the votes loudly. Is it so obvious for this lady? Shao and Wusha, don't worry, I have said that they are not against you. Of course, this is also related to your Xiao family's first arrival in the United States. If they knew that the Xiao family was one of the four top ancient martial arts families in China, they wouldn't dare to treat you this way. Don't talk, let's go in and sit down. Li Feng's transmission sounded in Xiao Linjia's mind again. Xiao Linjia nodded and was about to enter the martial arts gym with Li Feng. At this moment, the MC suddenly reached out and stopped Luo Tianzheng and the others who were following Li Feng, Hey, who are you? Luo Tian at the forefront was glaring with his hands upside down. Hey, what shall I ask you, are you dumb? The MC laughed angrily. Luo Tianzheng raised his eyebrows, and he was about to teach this master of ceremonies who didn't know the height of the sky. At this moment, Li Feng's voice came into his mind, let him be arrogant for a while. Luo Tian's face changed slightly, and he snorted Wei Bin to him. Thunder monkey, this boss, we are all following our boss. Wei Bin pointed at Li Feng in front of him and said. The MC took a look at Li Feng, and then mocked, you can't enter after him, he didn't give money. Wei Bin was taken aback for a moment then rubbed his hands and said, then how much money should we give to get in? The MC didn't expect Wei Bin to ask that. After hesitating for a while, he raised a finger, this number. 100? Not much, I will give it myself. While talking, Wei Bin was going to dig out his pockets. Hey, hey, who told you 100, I said $10,000. The MC quickly stopped him and laughed angrily. Ten thousand dollars, just go in for a meal. Wei Bin couldn't believe his ears. Why, you can't afford it. Don't go in if you can't afford it. Our president's friends are all over the world. There are more of you, but less of you. The MC looked at Wei Bin mockingly and sneered. Hey, me. Wei Bin almost exploded rolling up his sleeves and preparing to do it. Suppress anger. Li Feng's voice came into Wei Bin's mind again. Wei Bin immediately calmed down and sneered, since you don't welcome us, then we won't go in. I wish you all a good business and close down soon. Hey, how do you guys talk? The MC was also angry, and he was about to send someone to drive Wei Bin and others away. It's just that Wei Bin would give him a chance and S.A. Yazi ran away after putting down these words, slipped into the crowd, and quickly disappeared from the MC's sight. This scene was dumbfounded by the MC, 
but also by Sun Lu and others. Nima, speak louder than anyone else, run faster than anyone else, are they talking about Wei Bin? Li Feng shook his head and smiled, no longer paying attention to the situation here, and walked into the martial arts hall with Xiao Linjia. In the martial arts hall, the red carpet was spread out with tables, chairs and benches on it, gathering many guests. At the end of the martial arts hall, a half-meter high platform was temporarily built. On the platform is a lecture table and behind it is a huge projection screen. At this moment, the projection screen was playing the scene of teacher Ma Yinghui when he was practicing martial arts, and the people in the hall watched it with gusto. Li Feng wasn't so particular, he just found a table with a few people and leaned over. As for Sun Lu and others, they entered the side hall under the guidance of the martial arts apprentice. When they entered the door, Sun Lu gave Xiao Linjia a provocative look. It's just that Xiao Linjia's entire attention was on Li Feng, and she didn't see Sun Lu's provocation at all, which made Sun Lu a little unhappy. At the door, after seeing Li Feng really sitting in the hall, the MC's expression changed slightly, and then he took out the intercom and said, Chairman, Li Feng didn't take the bait. Okay, I understand. At 11.58 noon, firecrackers were blasted outside and the salute was blasted. When the firecrackers and salutes were set off, there was a burst of exciting music in the hall. Then, Ma Yinghui, wearing a white exercise suit and a red flower on his chest, walked out of the side hall and onto the high platform. At this time, the doors of the Pian Hall were all opened, and the VIPs who came here walked out from the inside with their wine glasses and looked towards the high platform. Dear family, friends, and folks, thank you all for attending the opening ceremony of Majia Wuguan. I, Ma Yinghui, bow to everyone here. When the voice fell to the ground, Ma Yinghui bowed deeply towards where the guests were sitting. There was a burst of warm applause in the room, which lasted forever. Huaxia martial arts has a long history and is one of China's most important treasures. As descendants of Yan and Huang, each of us has the responsibility to pass on the Chinese martial arts. The opening of the Majia Wushu Museum is a key step in expanding the influence of Huaxia Wushu in the United States. I hope that people of insight can help a lot of publicity. I also hope that the Majia Wushu Museum can live up to everyone's expectations and become famous in the United States. The United States is prosperous. Wow! There was another round of warm applause. At this moment, a ridiculous voice sounded at the door, Huaxia Kung Fu is all about fist and embroidered legs. Actual combat depends on our Dong Ying Karate. Although there were constant applause and noisy in the hall, this sentence still clearly fell into the ears of the guests present. Suddenly, the applause stopped, and all the guests looked towards the door, but they saw a group of people standing at the door. The group on the left was wearing Dongying Karate uniforms, and the group on the right was wearing Korean Taekwondo uniforms. These are menacing and sneered, and they seem to be unkind. Wada Toritaro, did you forget our Goraiyo Taekwondo? The middle-aged man leading the right sneered. In Hejun, our common goal today is Chinese Kung Fu. This kind of unnecessary verbal controversy doesn't have to be carried out, right? Hishan Hudarang said with a smile. Don't change the subject, I need you to say what you just said again. Li Zhe said coldly. His face changed slightly, then he shook his head and smiled, OK, OK, J Hejun. Huaxia Kung Fu is about an embroidering legs. Actual combat still depends on our Dong Ying Karate and Goraiyo Taekwondo. Are you satisfied with what I said, Zhe Jun? Li Zhe nodded in satisfaction, very well, I am very satisfied. Enough. Ma Yinghui burst out and pointed at the two of them and said, You guys came to make trouble when my martial arts gym was opened, but are you going to kick the gym? To open a martial arts gym, you must be prepared to be kicked. If the opponent succeeds in kicking the gym, then you don't need to open the martial arts gym anymore. People learn from the strong, and I never heard of anyone who will learn from the weak. Therefore, Ma Yinghui was already ready to be kicked out of the hall, 
but he didn't expect that the people who came would be Toro Tarawada and Li Zehi. Both of these two are S-end level powerhouses, and they are not as good as his strength, and he is not sure of winning in a real fight. Ha ha, ha ha ha. Toro Tarawada burst out laughing suddenly. Li Zehi was a few seconds late and started to laugh up to the sky. The laughter of the two men hit the roof, making everyone's eardrums hum. Some guests felt uncomfortable and even covered their ears. Enough. Ma Yinghui let out a loud shout again, interrupting the laughter of the two. President Ma is not curious about why we laugh. Wada Toritaro said in a dark voice. Ma Yinghui sneered, Humph, I'm not interested in knowing. If you are not interested, I have to tell you. The reason I laugh is because you are so stupid. Wada Toritaro backs down with both hands, proudly said, If we weren't here to kick the pavilion, wouldn't it be our wedding drink with you? President Ma gets married today. Li Zehi asked beside him. No, it's just opening. Wada Toritaro smiled. Since it's not a marriage, where is the wedding wine? Li Zehi asked. Opening liquor is also considered a happy bar, otherwise we will help Chairman Ma find a concubine. Hishin Toritaro said teasingly. This is a good idea, ha 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 ha. Li Zehi laughed as he talked. Wada Toritaro also began to laugh. For a moment, only two people laughed wildly in the huge hall. Ma Yinghui was so angry that the blue veins on his arm were exposed. In his martial arts hall, in front of so many relatives and friends, a man from Dongying and a Koryo ridiculed him, it was too arrogant and presumptuous. What is the origin of these two goods? At the banquet, Li Feng looked at the two middle-aged people who were laughing wildly and asked. Wada Toritaro, Toyo Karate Master, has opened five karate gyms in LSJ, and his strength is unfathomable. Li Jiho, the Goraiyo Taekwondo Master, has opened three taekwondo gyms in LSJ, and his strength is equally unfathomable. Xiao Linjia didn't mean to give a brief introduction. She really didn't know more about these two goods, and only so much information. Unfathomable. Li Feng's mouth evoked a mocking smile, in my eyes, the realm of these two goods can be seen through at a glance. Although the two did not show their respective auras, their techniques were obviously unable to completely hide the realm, so Li Feng could see that Li Zehi was at the S-end level, and Wada Toritaro was at the SS level. Xiao Linjia nodded, of course, no matter how unfathomable their strengths are, they are not comparable to you. Li Feng smiled slightly, I have no objection to these two goods coming to play in the gym. I am very upset by opening and shutting down Chinese martial arts. But it's not time for me to take action, let's watch the show first. Ma Yinghui is at the S-end level. If he fights with Li Zehi, he may win, but he will lose against Wada Tataro. If it hadn't been for Ma Yinghui to play Li Feng off, Li Feng would not sit by and ignore him in public. Xiao Linjia nodded and entered the state of watching a theater. Since the two are here to play, don't waste time, do you come one by one? or two together. Ma Yinghui let out a suffocating breath and said in a deep voice. Two people go together. Wada Toritaro and Li Zehi looked at each other and laughed again. Ma Yinghui is almost mad, these two people are crazy, smile your sister. Do you think that with your abilities, you can be an opponent when we two go together? Toritaro Wada stopped laughing and said mockingly. Frankly speaking, let alone two people go together, even if I shoot alone, I can sweep the Magia Martial Arts Hall. Li Zehi sneered. Hugh is crazy. Ma Yinghui yelled and pointed at the two of them and said, If you want to fight, come here, let's decide the outcome, don't chatter there, it is annoying. Wada Toritaro smiled slightly, it is natural to fight. We came here to kick the gym. But we have to make a rule and we have to play a lottery, otherwise it will be boring. Li Zehi echoed, yes, it is not difficult for us to kick the stadium. We just want to make the kicking process a little more exciting. Maybe this plot can be adapted into a TV series or a movie, 
and landed on the North American big screen. That's a good story. In the hall, all the guests were very angry. Most of the people present were Huaxia people, and Ma Yinghui's personality was put aside for the first time. Listening to Dongying people and Koreans belittling Huaxia martial arts here would make them very unhappy. Not to mention the crit that their arrogant attitude caused to everyone. President Ma, show them some color. Chairman Ma, these two people are too arrogant, defeat them and rectify the name of Chinese Wushu. Karate and Taekwondo are younger brothers in front of Chinese Wushu. Fuck, why are my warriors afraid of a fight? You fight if you want. Amidst the enthusiasm of the crowd, Ma Yinghui raised his hand and pressed down, Don't worry, everyone, since they are here to kick the gym, I will naturally make them pay. President Ma is good. Chairman Ma is mighty and domineering. Come on, President Ma. Ma Yinghui's words resulted in a burst of applause. Wada Toritaro and Li Zehi, please tell me how to fight? I will continue. Ma Yinghui said proudly behind her back with both hands. It seems that President Ma is still a bit spine. Wada Toritaro smiled slightly, and then said in a deep voice, It's very simple. For fairness in the competition, we will each have ten players. We will fight in pairs and win six games in ten games. How about? Ma Yinghui's expression changed drastically as soon as he said this. If he is the only one to play, then his probability of winning is 50 to 50, if 10 people play 6 games in 10 games, then he has almost no chance of winning. Because there are only 2 A-level apprentices and 7 B-level apprentices. On the other hand, Wada Toritaro and Li Zehi have at least 5 A-level apprentices, plus these 2 S and levels. The gap is too big. Why, President Ma doesn't agree with this style of play. It doesn't matter. If you are scared, you can bring it up and let's discuss it. Hishin Tiger Taro said without a smile. Yes, we never make it difficult for others. If President Ma feels that he can't get ten people who can play, you can also find foreign aid. Of course, there is a prerequisite here, that is, the foreign aid you are looking for must be Chinese. If you look for whites, blacks, or our Koreans and Dongying people, it is not allowed. Li Zehi said with a smile. Humph, there is no word fear in my Ma's dictionary. Jieu, come first. Ma Yinghui waved his hand, and a young man wearing Majia martial arts training uniform rushed from a distance, and jumped onto the high platform. This person is Ma Yinghui's eldest son, Ma Jieu, and one of the only two master level powerhouses in the Majia Wushu. In Shi, the first game is up to you. My brother wishes you a victory. Li Zehi said to a middle-aged man beside him. After hearing this, Ma Yinghui's face changed drastically. It is said that Li Jae-sok is Li Jae-ho's own younger brother. He opened a martial arts gym in Korea and is also an S-class powerhouse. Unexpectedly, Li Jae-shik came to LSJ, and came to play with Li Jae-he. Don't worry, brother, I will definitely win this game. Li Zhe Yin laughed and jumped to the high platform after several ups and downs. This scene caused an exclamation from the guests in the hall. Fast speed. He's jumping so high. Is this the strength of a Taekwondo master? Before the sparring started, Li Zhe took the lead. Please. After standing on the high platform, Li Zhe said coldly. Ma Jieu's complexion changed slightly. Just about to challenge, Ma Yinghui let out a loud roar, wait a minute. Everyone looked at him puzzled. President Ma is going to regret it. Li Zehi asked mockingly. It's not going back, I just want to confirm one thing first. Ma Yinghui took a deep breath and pointed at Li Jae-sok and asked, This Li Jae-sok is your brother who stayed in Korea to open the Taekwondo gym? Yes. Li Zehi nodded smiling playfully. Ma Yinghui's complexion changed several times, and finally gritted his teeth and said, We give up in this round. What? Dad, I don't admit defeat. I haven't beaten, so I can't admit defeat. Ma Jieu couldn't believe her ears, 
why did he make him surrender before playing? Give me down. Ma Yinghui glanced at him and said in a deep voice. I won't go down. Ma Jiao was also stubborn, and said with a stubborn neck, My warriors are not afraid of a battle, even if I have no possibility of winning, I will fight to the end. Master Ma is right. This is the backbone we Chinese people should have. Okay, I support Master Ma. The guests in the audience cheered loudly and the atmosphere was warm. You rebellious son, I said we will admit defeat in this round, and you will let me down. Ma Yinghui is almost crying. You are only an A-level player, but the opposite is an S-level player. Why are you afraid of a fight? Are you going to die? My knees are not that soft. Ma Jiao snorted and gave Li Zixi a salute, let's start. Li raised his eyebrows in Shishi and laughed loudly, well, you let me see the backbone of Huaxia people, and also let me realize the stupidity of Huaxia people. When the voice fell, Li flickered at the foot of the stone and came to Ma Jiao in the blink of an eye. Ma Jiao's heart jumped, raising his hand was a punch. At the same time, Li Zixi raised his foot and kicked. Boom! With a muffled sound, Ma Jiao's fist struck Li Zixi's right foot. Kaka! There was a crisp sound, Ma Jiao only felt a sharp pain in his right arm, and then a huge force pushed him out. While in midair, Ma Jiao vomited a mouthful of blood. This scene made the hall quiet. They are all Chinese, and watching their compatriots be beaten by the Koreans, it feels aggrieved and uncomfortable for anyone to see. Jiao. Ma Yinghui let out a scream, chased him a little bit, and hugged Ma Jiao before landing. The whole process was smooth and flowing, and the movements were chic and neat, and the guests who watched the scene cheered again and again. Ah, President Ma is so fast. Is this the real Chinese martial arts? It seems that Master Ma still hasn't gotten home. If Chairman Ma took the shot himself, he would definitely not lose. Originally, the momentum of the guest had fallen to the bottom. After Ma Yinghui revealed this hand, the momentum immediately recovered. Can't even catch my punch? Haha, <laughs> although courage is gained, it is still a waste. Seeing Ma Jiao who had passed out into a coma, Li Zixi opened a mocking cannon. Li Jiaishi, you are too much. Ma Yinghui glared at Li Zixi, killing intent everywhere. Li Zixi's punch broke Ma Jiao's arm, and even if he could connect the broken bones, he would be disabled for life. Not only that, Jiao also suffered a very serious internal injury. If one is not handled properly, Jiao may fall. The top of the ring is divided into high and low, life and death, it is impossible for President Ma to understand this. Since you are in the ring, you must be prepared to lose yourself in the fight. Li Zixi laughed darkly behind his back with both hands. A strong S level hits an A level, and he still feels that he is quite honorable, so shameless. In the audience, Li Feng couldn't stand it anymore and whispered. Are you going to make a move? Xiao Linjia's eyes were clear. Li Feng is her male companion, if he makes a move to turn the tide, then her face will be bright. The thought of Sun Liu and others looking at her at that time made Xiao Linjia excited. Li Feng shook his head, not yet time. Xiao Linjia nodded slightly disappointed, and then glanced at Sun Liu who was standing at the door of the side hall. Women's instincts have always been accurate, Sun Liu immediately noticed that someone was looking at herself, and then met Xiao Linjia's gaze. Eyes met, sparks flew everywhere. After a while, Sun Liu curled her lips, pointed her position, and then shook her little finger. Xiao Linjia snorted, took Li Feng's arm, and leaned against his shoulder. Sun Lu's pupil shrank, then turned her head away with a cold snort. President Ma, who are you going to send next? Wada Toritaro said with a smile. Ma Yinghui handed Ma Jiao to his apprentice, and then looked at Wada Toritaro coldly, I chose the first person in the last game. It's your turn to choose the first person in this game, right? That's right. Hishin Toritaro smiled slightly, 
turned his head and said to a middle-aged man next to him, Junior brother, I'll leave this to you, how about? The middle-aged man smiled, please rest assured, brother, I will definitely win this round. Okay, then there will be brother Lao. Wada Toritaro bowed his hand and watched him step onto the ring. Ma Yinghui's pupil shrank. Although he didn't know this middle-aged man, he knew that this man was not easy to deal with when he Tian Toro Taro called him a junior. Father, let me play this game. Ma Yinghui's second son Ma Jiaji said anxiously. Ma Yinghui turned his head and glared at him, then said to a disciple, Chen Gang, you are here. Now that he knew that the other party was difficult to deal with, he used Tian Ji's horse racing method to let go of this race. Chen Gang is just a player who has just reached the B level. He looked a little ugly after hearing Ma Yinghui's call, but he still replied in a deep voice, Yes, Master. Obviously, he also knew that he had become cannon fodder. But the Master said one thing in the martial arts hall, even if he knows he can't beat the opponent, he will bite the bullet. Hishin Tortoro raised his eyebrows, then shook his head and sneered, Huaxia people always like to be clever. Who said no? Li Zhe sneered and echoed, everyone knows the truth about Tianji horse racing, but he did this to let his apprentice go to death. Doesn't this make others feel cold? If I were his apprentice, I would definitely be cold-hearted. The blame is that they have a bad life and found a despicable and shameless person to be the master. Wada Toritaro shook his head and said. Ma Yinghui's face was blue and his fists were clenched. Behind him, all the disciples' faces appeared thoughtful. Li Feng, what realm is this Dong Ying person? Off the stage, Xiao Linjia looked at the middle-aged man walking into the ring and asked in a low voice. S level. Li Feng said casually. What about Chen Gang? Xiao Linjia asked again. He, just stepped into the B level. Li Feng smiled playfully. Just stepping into the B level, isn't he a B? B and S, it's a complete death. One level higher is crushing, and two levels higher. Xiao Linjia didn't dare to think about it. You can't die if you die. Now it's a society ruled by law, and Dong Ying people don't want to get involved in murder cases. But Chen Gang will most likely be beaten to death. Li Feng sighed and said in a complicated tone. Then you are going to save him. Xiao Linjia asked expectantly. What do you think? Li Feng asked playfully. Xiao Linjia blinked before saying, no. It depends on the definition if I can save him. Li Feng smiled mysteriously and pointed to the high platform and said, the fight has begun. Xiao Linjia turned her head and looked around and happened to see Chen Gang jumping into the ring. Chen Gang of Majiaogwen, you can teach you a brilliant trick. Chen Gang clasped his fists and said after taking the stage. You don't deserve to know my name, let's make a move, I can let you three moves. Hashimoto Ichiro embraced his shoulders and said contemptuously. Arrogant. The embarrassed Chen Gang strode to Hashimoto Ichiro shaking his right shoulder and punching. This punch is heavy, if it hits the face of an ordinary person, it must be a headshot. It was just that Hashimoto Ichiro escaped the punch as soon as he tilted his head and didn't even move his foot. Chen Gang sneered and suddenly changed his skills. He should rush to sweep, and his right arm swept across Hashimoto's head. Hashimoto Ichiro's mouth evoked a mocking smile, his body suddenly raised, and he jumped into the air in a blink of an eye. So tall. This is more than two meters tall, right? It's more than two meters high in one place. What kind of jumping power is this? The guests present kept exclaiming. Chen Gang didn't expect Hashimoto Ichiro to use this method to avoid his attack, and he was a little dazed for a while. There's another trick. Hashimoto Ichiro landed and smiled contemptuously. He said that he wanted Chen Gang to use three moves, and he would definitely use three moves. Chen Gang's eyes are splitting. If he can hit Hashimoto Ichiro, this feeling of humiliation will not be too strong. But he can't even touch the corner of Hashimoto Ichiro's clothes, 
just like being played by Hashimoto Ichiro as a monkey, letting him three tricks is to humiliate him three times, it is better to just knock him off the stage. I'm fighting with you. Chen Gang roared, and after jumping into the air with his toes, his right leg swept towards Hashimoto Ichiro. Well, it looks powerful, but there is no threat to me. Hashimoto Ichiro sneered, and when he moved under his feet, he stepped back more than one meter, avoiding Chen Gang's leg. Haha. <laughs> After three consecutive fierce moves, Chen Gang's physical strength dropped quickly and he gasped. On the other hand, Hashimoto Ichiro, the breathing rate has not changed, and it is better than walking in a leisurely courtyard, three tricks have passed, you can go down. Chen Gang only felt a flower in front of him, and he felt a pain in his chest, and then he flew out. Puff. Being in mid-air, Chen Gang opened his mouth and spit out blood. Chen Gang. Ma Yinghui let out a mournful cry, rushed to the direction where Chen Gang was flying, and stopped him with a catch with his right hand. While retreating, he made three consecutive turns and finally relieved Chen Gang's strength. Master. I'm sorry, I let you down, puff. Chen Gang spit out another mouthful of blood and fainted with his head tilted. The audience was silent, and the atmosphere was suppressed to the extreme. Everyone came to congratulate the opening of the Majia Martial Arts Hall. As a result, Dongying people and Korean people came to face each other, and they were beaten twice. Even if they have confidence in Huaxia Wushu, they can't say anything at this moment. In two consecutive rounds, President Ma lost at a huge disadvantage. What else can they say? Ma Yinghui tested Chen Gang's breath, and after confirming that he was still alive, he gave him a gloomy expression to the apprentice next to him, call an ambulance. It's master. It's 2 colon 0, President Ma. Toritaro Wada laughed with arms akimbo. This is just the beginning. It will soon be 3 colon 0. 4 colon 0 and 10 colon 0. Don't doubt, this is the real gap between Taekwondo and Chinese Wushu. Li Zhe also said triumphantly. In He Kun, I think you need to reorganize what you just said. Wada Toritaro said dissatisfiedly. Li Zhe slapped his forehead, I was negligent, so I will say it again, cough, this is the real gap between Taekwondo, Karate and Chinese Wushu. Hey. It's almost the same. Wada Toritaro coldly snorted and said to Ma Yinghui, who is President Ma going to send in the third round? Ma Yinghui thought for a while with an ugly face, and finally walked to the ring by himself, I'll come for this round. It's already 2 colon 0, and all the guests are disappointed in the Majia Wugwan. All he needs to do at this time is to revive his momentum with a hearty victory. You come. Wada Toritaro raised his eyebrows, and then said with a weird expression, If you lose this, there is no need to play the next seven games, right? Hey, what he said, what we want is 10 colon 0, not 3 colon 0. Even if we defeat Ma Yinghui this time, we will continue to fight next. Li Zhe said mockingly. Then the question is, who should we let this happen? Wada Toritaro looked a little distressed. Li Zhe smiled and said, Naturally, I am here. We Koreans are the best at fighting tough battles. Wada Toritaro curled his lips, Zhe Kun, for the sake of our friendship, let's not say such things for now. Li Zhe raised his eyebrows, then smiled freely, OK, then I'll go up. When the voice fell, Li Zhe was about to jump into the ring. Unexpectedly, Wada Toritaro held him down and jumped into the ring first. Damn, it's very uncomfortable to be one step ahead. Li Zhe said angrily. Chairman Ma, I'll give you a chance to surrender, lest you be knocked out by me later and embarrassed in front of your relatives and friends. Wada Toritaro looked at Ma Yinghui opposite with a smile and mocked. Ma Yinghui snorted coldly, Hishin Tortoro, I know how many kilograms you have. Want to beat me? Dreaming. You won't cry if you don't see the coffin. Toritaro Wada smiled contemptuously, and hooked his finger at Ma Yinghui, Go ahead, don't waste time. 
Ma Yinghui's complexion condensed, and the next instant he rushed to Wada Tataro. In the blink of an eye, Ma Yinghui came to Hishin Torotaro, and then blasted out with a punch, Majiaquan 7th Form Sky Cannon. The Hung Dianbao is the most powerful punch in the Majia boxing, and it is difficult for people of the same level to resist it. Wada Torotaro didn't seem to react, he didn't evade, and he didn't mean to attack. Just as Ma Yinghui's fist was about to hit Wada Torotaro's body, a sneer appeared on Wada's face. Snapped. A powerful hand squeezed Ma Yinghui's fist. How can that be? Ma Yinghui's complexion changed drastically and exclaimed. Idiot. Wada Torotaro sneered, his hands exploded. Boom. Ma Yinghui only felt an irresistible force hit, and after a sharp pain in his arm, his body flew upside down. The audience was in an uproar. President Ma also lost. My God, why is that Dong Ying person so strong? After losing three games in a row, is Huaxia Wusher really inferior to Taekwondo and Karate? The moment Ma Yinghui was knocked into the air, the self-confidence of the guests in the stadium was also knocked to pieces. Ma Yinghui flew more than 10 meters before smashing it down, and it happened to hit the table where Li Feng was. With a click, the table made of solid wood was smashed to pieces by Ma Yinghui, and the top plate fell to the ground with a click sound. The soup splashed all the guests around. What? Xiao Linjia exclaimed and hurriedly plunged into Li Feng's arms. Li Feng hooked his mouth, hugged her and waved his right hand to block the soup splashing here. Puff. In the mess, Ma Yinghui opened his mouth and spit out blood. Dad. Master. Ma Jiaji and a group of seniors exclaimed and rushed here together. SS grade, he is SS grade. Ma Yinghui looked at the sky with both eyes, and murmured in a dull eyes. Wada Toritaro shot him out with only one move and interrupted several of his meridians. Even if he recovers his injuries, his realm will drop a lot. This time he lost his wife and broke down again, and lost his head. What? Ma Jiaji and others were horrified. They were still wondering why they were both at the S end level, but the master was defeated so easily. It turns out that Toritaro Wada is SS level. This is a battle of crushing at a higher level. Tisk Tusk, Chairman Ma, I heard that you are also a master of the same name as me, why are you so vulnerable? It seems that the rumors are unbelievable. On the high platform, Hishin Toritaro turned his back with his hands, looked condescendingly at Ma Yinghui in the distance, and said mockingly. You, Puff. In shame, Ma Yinghui spit out blood again. Chairman Ma, don't you want to be so excited, I just kept your hands, if you lose too much blood and die, am I going to get into a murder lawsuit? You don't want to harm me. Wada Toritaro continued to ridicule. Hishin Jun, I think your worry is not unreasonable. Chairman Ma is also a well-known hero. He must have the desire to die when he suffers such humiliation. What's more, he knows that Ma's martial arts hall will be ruined after today, and it must be meaningless to live. Li Zhe also shook his head and mocked. If I were him, I would hit myself to death. Wada Toritaro laughed loudly. Me too, just don't know if President Ma has such courage. Li Zhe mocked. When the two sang and got together, their mocking power was doubled, and it was really possible to commit suicide at this time when they were thin-skinned. However, Ma Yinghui is an old fried dough stick, and he knows the truth that it is impossible to commit suicide if you leave the green hills without worrying about firewood. Suicide is impossible in this life. You can only pretend that you can't hear the two farting on the sidelines, and maintain your final dignity. Seeing Ma Yinghui not speaking, Hishin Toritaro coldly snorted, it is now 3 colon 0, and there are still 7 games to be played. President Ma, don't let the guests here disappointed. Don't deceive people too much. Ma Yinghui adjusted his breath and said angrily. Even if he failed, who else can play in the Majia Wugwan? This is what we said in advance, you can at least let us make a 6 colon 0. Otherwise, afterwards, 
you went outside and announced that you had a 6-3 fight with us. Who should we talk to to make sense? Wada Toritaro said mockingly. Li Zahi smiled and said, Hishan Jun, you misunderstood what President Ma meant. The last game was President Ma's selection. This time it's our turn. Wada Toritaro patted his forehead and said annoyedly, Look at my mind, how can I forget about this? Okay, since we choose people, then. Nakata kun, leave this to you. Hi. Nakata Jiro separated the crowd and walked slowly onto the platform. Then. President Ma, it's up to you to choose someone next. Wada Toritaro said with a smile. Ma Yinghui's face sank without saying a word. Dad, let me play this game. Ma Jiaji offered to fight. He is the only master of the Majia Martial Arts Hall. When his father and eldest brother are defeated, he is the only one who can rise to the top. No, Jiayu and I are both injured. You can't get hurt anymore. Ma Yinghui exhaled and said with an ugly face. Ma Jiaji was not convinced, but... It's nothing, we surrender this time. Ma Yinghui shouted loudly. There was an uproar in the room. Ma Yinghui conceded once in the first game and had to give up again in the fourth game. This made the guests who felt their self-esteem hurt more and more. If it weren't for Ma Yinghui's prestige in Chinatown, there would definitely be guests yelling. If you want to admit defeat, you can, as long as you publicly admit that Huaxia Wushu is inferior to Dongying Karate and Goraiyo Taekwondo, I will allow you to admit defeat. Toro Taro Wada had long anticipated that Ma Yinghui would surrender, and immediately put forward the conditions. As soon as these words were made, the anger of the guests on the scene could no longer be suppressed, can't admit defeat. Chinese martial arts are broad and profound, how can Dongying Karate and Goraiyo Taekwondo compare? President Ma, you must never agree to him, this is a shame, a shame. Anyone from Huaxia is not qualified to say such things, President Ma, you must never be Huaxia's sinner. You are teaching me how to do things. Ma Yinghui was holding fire in his heart, listening to the chatter of the guests around him, his anger became more intense, and immediately let out a loud roar. The place was quiet, but everyone was filled with anger. If Ma Yinghui's answer can't satisfy them, then they don't care about Ma Yinghui's prestige, so they just swear. Under the attention of everyone, Ma Yinghui stood up with the help of Ma Jiaji, and said proudly, Chinese martial arts are profound and profound. I can't beat you. It only shows that my academic skills are not good. What does it have to do with Chinese martial arts? Hishan Tortoro's pupil shrank, and he said coldly, Baga. You won't cry without seeing the coffin. Ha ha ha. Ma Yinghui looked up to the sky and laughed. The laughter affected the wound and made him cough quickly. After a while, Ma Yinghui smoothed his breath, and then said, Wada Tataro, Li Zahi, don't you just want to take the opportunity to humiliate our Chinese martial arts? Go ahead and dream of your horse's spring and autumn. Although I am not a pure warrior, Ma Yinghui, my knees are still hard. Do you want me to kneel? Impossible. Good. President Ma said well. Huaxia people want to have this kind of courage. Ma Yinghui's answer turned out to be full of colors, and the frustrations in everyone's hearts disappeared a lot. Want to stand and don't want to kneel? Yes, then continue to fight. If you dare not continue to fight, swallow these words back for me. Wada Toritaro sneered, Cheng Zhu was holding it. There are so many Chinese people present, don't anyone have the courage to come up? Li Zhe scanned the audience and mocked. The rumors are true. The Chinese people are all fools. I come. Li Feng let out a loud shout and stood up. The audience is silent. Who are you? Li Zhe looked at Li Feng with lightning. Everyone in the venue also looked at Li Feng following the sound. Li Feng shrugged, You only need to know that I am from Huaxia. Li Zhe glanced coldly, You mean I don't deserve to know your name? You said it yourself, I didn't say it. 
Li Feng couldn't help laughing. This buddy is quite self-aware, and even knows what he wants to say, which is kind of interesting. Arrogant. Li Zhe was about to take action to teach Li Feng when he was furious. At this moment, Toritaro Hishan on the stage suddenly stunned, why do I think he is a bit familiar? Li Zhe was taken aback, stared at Li Feng for a while, and then said with a weird expression, I think he is a bit familiar when you say that. I also feel familiar, ah, I remember, he is Li Feng. Li Feng of the Tornado Team. My god, it's really Li Feng, I read it right. Joy's teammate Li Feng? My god, is Li Feng here? The other guests also recognized Li Feng, and they cried out for a while. Li Feng. Li Zhehe's face changed slightly, and he hesitated for a while. This is in the United States. Li Feng is in the limelight in the NBA. There are countless fans. If he teaches Li Feng in public, his Taekwondo gym will be closed the next day. Maybe he will get involved in a lawsuit. Numa is aggrieved. On the side, Ma Yinghui's face changed several times before he said, it turns out that it was Mr. Li who came here personally. How come this Li Zhong didn't make a notification, so I didn't go out to meet him personally? It's really rude. Li Feng raised his eyebrows and said, Li Zhong is the MC at the door. Ma Yinghui raised his eyebrows, yes, Li Zhong is the MC at the door, why, Mr. Li knows. I can't talk about acquaintance, but his attitude towards me is not very good. Li Feng said playfully with a smile. Even so. Ma Yinghui's face changed slightly, and then he sneered, This Li Zhong has not grown much after having been with me for so many years. Mr. Li, please rest assured, when the opening is over, I will make Li Zhong and Mr. Li apologize personally. There is no need to apologize, he also did what he ordered, and he was not at fault. Li Feng said with deep meaning. Ma Yinghui's face changed again, I don't quite understand what Mr. Li meant. No, you understand better than anyone else, because I'm talking about you. Li Feng sneered and mocked, but I'm very curious, we have never met before, why are you giving me power? As soon as these words came out, the room became silent again. No. Didn't Li Feng stand up to help Ma Yinghui? How could it seem that he was looking for Ma Yinghui in trouble? Ma Yinghui set off a terrible storm in his heart. He just whispered a few words to Li Zhong at the door, why did Li Feng know that Li Zhong betrayed him? After a while, Ma Yinghui took a deep breath and smiled bitterly, Mr. Li, did you misunderstand something? It turns out that you blamed me for not coming to visit you the first time. Li Feng raised his eyebrows, then shook his head and laughed, President Ma, you really have enough small belly. Ma Yinghui once again set off a terrible storm in his heart. It was for this reason that he disarmed Li Feng, but this was just his careful thought, no one knew, how did Li Feng know? Guests present. Wada Toritaro. Li Zhe No. Just because Li Feng didn't come to visit him in the first time, he wanted to give someone a chance? Fuck. Ma Yinghui is so domineering. Haha, <laughs> President Ma, are you serious? Mr. Li is a celebrity in the world. You are a small president who is also worthy of posing with Mr. Li. Li Zhe couldn't help but ridicule. Tisk Tusk, LSJ Chinese Chamber of Commerce Chairman, that's it. Hishan Toritaro also mocked. Ma Yinghui's face blushed, and he was very embarrassed. The guests also felt ashamed. They were all Chinese, and they gave people their prestige in order to save face. This is really unreasonable. What's more, in terms of social status, Li Feng is much higher than Ma Yinghui, so why should people come to visit you first? How big is this person's face to do this? At this moment, Li Feng suddenly sneered and said, We Huaxia people's internal contradictions, what are you two outsiders mingling with, do you have your share of it? Hey! Hishan Toritaro and Li Zhehe were stunned. Damn it, is this Li Feng speaking so aggressively? 
so awesome, so scared. Do you think that you are a celebrity, you can be unscrupulous in front of us? Wada Toritaro said with a dark smile. It must be the case. Hwaxia people always like to be arrogant, and don't even know how much they are. Li Zhe sneered, and his words showed contempt for Li Feng. Li Feng also smiled, I said if you two like to play for yourself, I have a few kilograms and you are not qualified to know. Then you are going to come up and have a trick with us. Hishin Toritaro asked coldly with a serious expression. It doesn't take me personally to deal with you. Li Feng mocked, took out his phone and said, Dare you let me call and shake people? Wada Toritaro. Li Zhe Other people. No. You have to shake people when you fight. Doesn't this spread out to make people laugh? It can be, but the premise is that you have to find Hwaxia people. This is a war between Hwaxia Wushu and Dongying Karate and Goraiyo Taekwondo. Wada Toritaro sneered. Yes, if you use your contacts in the US to find a master in the US, that will definitely not work. Li Zhe also said mockingly. Li Feng shrugged, don't worry, what I am looking for is my bodyguard, not some American. Your bodyguard? Toritaro Wada was taken aback for a moment, and then laughed, who are you fooling around here, will your bodyguard not be with you? This excuse is indeed a bit lame. Li Zhe nodded in agreement. The guests also felt embarrassed. If you said you want to fool people, you have to find a reasonable reason, hey? Hey, I don't want to either, but the master of ceremonies at the door wouldn't let them in. Li Feng sighed and gave Ma Yinghui a bitterly. All the guests looked at Ma Yinghui with complex expressions. What does it mean to be self-inflicted? That's Ma Yinghui. Ma Yinghui. No. He still wants him to bear the feelings? This is too embarrassing and embarrassing, right? Ma Yinghui can't wait to find a hole in the ground now. Wada Toritaro and Li Zhe looked at each other, and then they both couldn't help laughing out, interesting, it's so interesting, okay, you call your bodyguard to come in, as long as they are all Chinese, then you you can get them on stage to fight. Well. Li Feng nodded, picked up the phone and dialed Wei Bin's call, hey, come to me, I have work to do. A few minutes later, Wei Bin and others returned to the gate of the martial arts hall. The MC Li Zhong also stood at the door loyally and turned his face to the side when he saw them coming. Luo Tianzheng originally wanted to take people in directly, but was held back by Wei Bin. Oh, it's no one, let's meet again. Wei Bin came to Li Zhong and said with a smile. Li Zhong turned his head and said blankly, Since you are Mr. Li's bodyguards, please come in. Hey, listening to your tone, how did you still want us to enter? Wei Bin said mockingly. Li Zhong's expression changed slightly, this gentleman, now we are facing a common enemy, so let's put aside the grievances before, how about? At this time, you are still showing off with us, you are pretty awesome. Wei Bin laughed angrily. The boss said on the phone that the Dong Ying people and the Korean people formed a group to hit the place. Ma Yinghui and the others are no longer able to find the place. Now they have to find the place. As long as he has a bit of a brain, Li Zhong should know that it is the most correct way to respectfully invite them in now. As a result, not only did he not invite them in, but he kept holding the air. Niubi, awesome. Li Zhong's face sank, and he said displeased, This gentleman, we are all Chinese, are you a bit too much to say that? Okay, don't you think we are too much? Then we won't go in. Wei Bin smiled and sat cross-legged on the spot, as if he was not walking here. This scene stunned Luo Tianzheng and others as well as Li Zhong. Sir, Mr. Li called you just now. Li Zhong said with a guilty conscience. He also knows what happened inside. If Wei Bin and others don't get in as soon as possible because of his reasons, then he wouldn't be able to explain to the president. Don't worry, we have a very strong relationship with the boss, he won't blame us. Wei Bin said indifferently. 
Luo Tianzheng and others were also very upset with Li Zhong, and sat cross-legged on the ground like Wei Bin. Li Zhong suddenly sat on wax. At this moment, Ma Jiaji ran out in a panic, and was taken aback when he saw Wei Bin and others sitting on the ground, and then asked, Li Zhong, where is Mr. Li's bodyguard, haven't he come? Li Zhong's heart jumped, and he quickly pointed to Wei Bin and others and said, He, they are. Ma Jiaji was stunned for a moment, and then asked, Then why don't they go in? Wada Toritaro and others are impatient. This. Li Zhong's face changed slightly, then he slapped Wei Bin and said, Sorry, everyone, I used to have eyes but no knowledge of Taishan. I offended you, and I ask all the adults not to remember the villain. Do you mean to apologize to us? Wei Bin raised his eyes and asked without a smile. Right, 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 I just apologize to you, I was wrong, please forgive me this time. Li Zhong said with a cry. There is a saying that Li Zhong dares to do so because he is Ma Yinghui's confidant. Now Ma Yinghui wants to ask Wei Bin and others, he Li Zhong is nothing, there is no other way to go besides admitting counseling. Then we still use ten thousand dollars worth of elements. Wei Bin mocked. Li Zhong's face collapsed, and he waved his hands again and again, no need, you are VIPs, just go in directly. Aside, Ma Jiaji's face was painful. Obviously, this matter was done by their Ma family, and he, the son, also felt that he couldn't live up to his face. Okay, since you said that, then we can hold the boat in the Prime Minister's belly and let you go as a fart. Wei Bin laughed got up and walked into the martial arts gym. Emma Wenchen, who followed, was full of black lines. These goods are damaged enough, and the mouth is a little bit poisonous, did you learn from Li Feng? Hey, what is the situation, why are you looking at us? After entering the martial arts hall, Wei Bin and others met many expectations. This is treating us as the savior. Don't say it, this feeling is very exciting. You must be energetic. The enemies are Dongying people and Goraiyo people. Even if I don't look forward to these expectations, I will be full of energy. Luo Tianzheng and others whispered, walked to Li Feng and stood still, Boss, give orders. Li Feng glanced at them and said with a smile, Very good, the momentum is very good. Hearing the boss complimenting himself, Luo Tianzheng and others already straight chests became even straighter. It's very simple. Seven people will go up later and beat them with random punches. Li Feng said with a smile. Luo Tianzheng and others. Dragon Soul Member. No. What is the method of punching the master to death, I have never heard of it. It means it literally. Li Feng coughed dryly, and then transmitted to them, Don't show your breath so as not to cause unnecessary trouble. There were too many ordinary people at the scene. Once Wei Bin and others showed a demigod aura, it would cause panic and at the same time arouse suspicion. Understood. Luo Tianzheng and the others nodded, and then his straight chest collapsed and became silly. On the high platform, Toritaro Wada said impatiently, Mr. Li, are your people ready? Okay, okay. I'll be over right away. Li Feng smiled and looked at Wei Bin and others and said, You can send someone up here. Okay, then I'll come first. Wei Bin stepped up unwillingly and swaggered to the high platform, and then he stood there thinking about life. Wada Toritaro was going to go down, and couldn't help but ask, Why didn't you come up? There is no ladder, how can I go up? Wei Bin rolled his eyes and said bitterly, Wada Toritaro. Everyone at Majiahu Hall. A crowd of guests. No. You can't even jump on a half-meter high platform. Are you sure you are here to fight, not to be funny? My next time. Li Feng also stared blankly. I just let you punch the master indiscriminately, not let you pretend to be a weak chicken. Ha ha, ha ha ha. Toro Taro Wada laughed out loud and looked at Li Feng in the distance, Mr. Li, this is the bodyguard who makes you confident? It's funny, 
it's so funny. Li Feng rolled his eyes, this is my bodyguard, you are not qualified to comment. Wei Bin, don't waste time, find a way to climb up. Yes, boss. Wei Bin's expression was bitter. After rolling up his sleeves, he made ba and ba twice. After rubbing his hands, he placed his hands on the high platform. Then Wei Bin lifted his right foot, he didn't reach the table, then he lifted it again, still not enough. Finally, Wei Bin shouted get up and finally reached the table with his right foot, and then he squeezed with both hands before he climbed up. Seeing this, the guests present had no eyes to look anymore. The last stage was so strenuous, so I'm just a fart, just give in. Ma Yinghui regretted listening to Li Feng. He had known so, so it was better to admit defeat just now. But this is fine, at least it is Li Feng who is ashamed, not him. When everyone was shocked, Li Feng got up and said, Ah, Wei Bin, as the strongest player on our side, it is natural for you to win. Don't be proud, guard against arrogance and impetuosity, understand. Upon hearing this, Wei Bin became more proud, and immediately he glanced proudly at Luo Tianzheng and the others. Even the suzerain said he was the strongest player, who would dare not accept it. Luo Tianzheng rolled his eyes while waiting for the popularity. It's just that the sect master said this, if another person said this, they can punch him out. Wada Toritaro and Li Zhe looked at each other, their eyes flickering. Was Wei Bin the strongest player on their side? Then they will still fight in the next fight. Ah, our side was lucky enough to win, let it go, let it go. Li Feng rushed to Wada Toritaro and arched his hands. Hishan Tortoro snorted coldly and said, Li Feng, don't be happy too early. The big score now is 3 colon 1. If we win three more games, we will win. Well, you are right, then who do you plan to send to fight next? Li Feng said in agreement. We are ready to. Just as he was about to pick up some generals, Hishan Toritaro suddenly reacted and said, Mr. Li, you are mistaken, this is your choice first. Ah, is that the case? Li Feng said with a dazed expression, and then said with a worried expression, we have already sent the strongest players on our side, who should we send to win the game? M.O. Wenchen. He said how Wei Bin can act like this, because he learned from Li Feng. If he didn't know what level of players these goods are, he would really believe Li Feng's words. Upon seeing this, Ma Yinghui became worried. On the other hand, Wada Toritaro, Li Zhe and others returned to the look of old gods. Cheng Zhu is holding it. Boss, why don't you let me go up and try, my strength is just like that, if you win, you are lucky, but it doesn't matter if you lose. Luo Tianzheng rubbed his hands and said. Chu Biao and the others twitched their mouths and almost burst out laughing. When did Luo Tianzheng with thick eyebrows and eyes learn to fool people? Still the strength is like that, you have been stabilizing our head, okay? You? Can it work? Li Feng hesitated. Hey, if you can go up and try it, you'll know, I'm watching it all here, I can't persuade you. Luo Tianzheng said with a generous expression of going to death. Li Feng's expression changed several times, and finally he sighed, well, I'll send you on. But let me remind you first, you are so old, you can go up a little bit, if you fall, you can't fracture. I have to pay you for medical expenses. Don't worry, boss, I know it in my heart. Luo Tianzheng nodded and walked to the high platform tremblingly. Ma Yinghui. A crowd of guests. Wada Toritaro and others. No. This uncle looks like he is very old, he seems to be struggling to walk, and he still wants to go up to the fight? Whoever faces him shouldn't be careful, if he hits him with a punch he will have to face a life lawsuit. What annoying. Mr. Li, why don't you change someone? Hishan Toritaro said with a weird expression. Li Feng let out a sneer, why, are you scared? The corner of Wada Toritaro's mouth twitched, 
I'm afraid my man will go up and beat him to death with a punch. You think too much, don't look at Lao Luo's old age, but he is super good at fighting, don't believe me, let him show it. Li Feng gave a dry cough and shouted at Luo Tianzheng, Lao Luo, be more handsome when he is in the ring. Hey, that's great. Luo Tianzheng turned his head and walked to the high platform tremblingly. After taking a deep breath, he squatted down. Everyone held their breath, wanting to see how handsome he came on stage. Call. Luo Tianzheng stood up, let out a suffocating breath, A and D. Baba. Luo Tianzheng spit on his hand twice, pressing the high platform with both hands and supporting it hard. Not moving at all. No, I can't get up, old way, you give me a hand. Luo Tianzheng smiled dryly and stretched out his hand and said. Everyone is black. I am Nima, this is not as handsome as the way Wei Bin came to power just now. Hey, Lao Luo, it's really bad for me to look at your bones. Wei Bin shook his head and sighed, knelt down and pulled Luo Tianzheng onto the platform. Okay, now I leave the stage to you, look after you. Wei Bin smiled at Luo Tianzheng, then jumped off the platform. Hey, I'm getting older, and my body is really useless. Luo Tianzheng shook his head and looked at Hishin Toritaro, I'm ready, where are your people? Hishin Toritaro let out a suffocating breath and glanced at Li Zhe Jin Mins, this is up to you, fight steadily, don't advance like Nakata Jiro, understand? Li Zhe turned his head and urged his disciple. Understood, master. Jin Mins nodded, and then strode towards the ring. When he came to a place three meters away from the ring, Jin Min suddenly jumped up and turned 720 degrees in the air before landing on the high platform. The guests present closed their eyes together. Look at the posture of others on stage, so handsome, then look at Luo Tianzheng, it's almost blind. If it hadn't been for Wei Bin's experience in pretending to be a pig and eating a tiger, they would all want to leave the show immediately. Brother. You think I'm getting older, do you want me to do three tricks later? Luo Tianzheng arched his hands at Jin Min's and asked with a smile. Jin Min sneered, the lion fights the rabbit with all its strength. Although you are a little vulnerable in my eyes, I will never make another mistake like Nakata Jiro. Toro Taro Wada was very upset with Nima. Who are these Koreans in that dis, overtly and secretly? He now hopes that Luo Tianzheng is also pretending to be a pig and eating a tiger, and can effectively knock Jin Min's out of the ring. No, don't the Koreans even have the traditional virtue of respecting the old and loving the young? Luo Tianzheng shook his head in disappointment, but a cold light flashed in his eyes. I dare to say that he is vulnerable, and still use the lion to fight the rabbit to describe him. When I murdered, you weren't born yet. Enough. I won't be fooled, let's get started. Jin Min's let out a low cry, and then hit the ground with his left foot and rose into the air, rushing to Luo Tianzheng. In the next instant, Jin Min's lifted his right foot high and slashed at Luo Tianzhen's head. What? The guests exclaimed. In their eyes, Luo Tianzheng is an old man who can't walk easily, so he can't cut his head into his stomach when he steps down? At the moment when the exclamation sounded, Luo Tianzheng took a step forward, and while avoiding Jin Min's kick, his right fist slammed into Jin Min's lower abdomen. Boom! A muffled sound. Jin Min's flew upside down at a faster speed than before, vomiting blood in mid-air. After falling to the ground with a bang, he passed out directly. The audience is silent. Everyone is stunned. Walking tremblingly, the upper half-meter high platform had to be pulled by someone. As a result, the combat effectiveness was so strong that he vomited blood with one punch. He is also acting in this CO author? Nima, who are Li Feng's bodyguards, Oscar actor? Hey, why don't you play so infrequently, I haven't performed well yet. Luo Tianzheng said distressedly. Wei Bin played so well just now, and has more lines than him. Comparing the two, it seems that his performance is too pale. 
it's all because of this Jin Min's talking too wildly, which aroused his killing intent, otherwise he could play for a while. Why don't you find a place where no one can do Jin Min's? Luo Tianzheng felt his chin and thought. Li. Mr. Li, are they really your bodyguards? Ma Yinghui swallowed and asked with a trembling voice. Whether Nakata Jiro or Jin Min's, they are both A-level powerhouses, he can see this. As a result, Wei Bin and Luo Tianzheng usually cut melons and vegetables into the air, so what level of power are they? At least it is S-grade, right? The person who can make two S-level strong guys willing to be bodyguards, hey, Ma Yinghui no longer dared to think about it anymore. Yet, yeah, people are afraid of being famous and afraid of being strong. I am so famous in the world. It's not too much to find a few better bodyguards. Li Feng said with a smile. Not too much, too much. Ma Yinghui secretly wiped away the cold sweat. Nima, the Li Feng he had offended before was not a minor one. If Li Feng is just a pure star or businessman, then the problem is not big. However, Li Feng has two super strong bodyguards, so he has to carefully consider what posture he should use to apologize to Li Feng. My God, this old man is so strong. It's a bit strong and outrageous, the real turtle fairy is this. It's too wretched, it's really too wretched, I couldn't help being weak at first, but it turned out to be so fierce. This is called showing that the enemy is weak, it is a tactic, understand. After the guests came back to their senses, they whispered to each other. On the other hand, Wada Toritaro and the others, all face sinking, without saying a word. Why did I win without applause? It's not fair. Luo Tian was waiting on the stage for a while, and found that no one was cheering him, there was no applause, and he was a little dissatisfied. As soon as this was said, the guests present applauded. Cough cough, don't sit on all six GJO. Luo Tianzheng stepped down and said with a smile. Wei Bin rolled his eyes, cut, steal my lines, shameless. Others can't listen anymore, I said Lao Wei, you have been swaying so much recently, this is obviously the boss's line, okay. That's it, you didn't pay the boss the royalties. You also said that Lao Luo is not authentic. Old Wei Bin blushed and forcefully defended, I know this is the line of the boss. I just said the problem. It's Lao Luo who doesn't understand innovation and copied me. Ah. At this time, Li Feng coughed dryly, and said to Luo Tianzheng on stage, Lao Luo, as the strongest player on our side, it is natural for you to win. Don't be proud. Guard against arrogance and rashness, understand? Ma Yinghui and others. Guests present. Wada Toritaro and others. No. Why does this sound a bit familiar? It seems that Li Feng said of Wei Bin before, right? So, of Wei Bin and Luo Tianzheng, who is the strongest player on their side. When everyone was bewildered, Li Feng Chong and Tian Toro Taro handed his hands together. Our side is lucky enough to win, let's accept it. Hishan Tiger Taro's face sank and coldly snorted, Li Feng, the current score is 3 2. We are still in the lead. Don't be happy too soon. Li Feng nodded and said in agreement, Yes, yes, I have already sent the two strongest players here, and then I don't know who to send to win. I am distressed. Wada Toritero's forehead blue veins jump. My sister. You said just now that you have sent the strongest player, and now you say that again, are we really fooling? I think they are arguing. Maybe these two people are really the strongest players on their side. Li Zhe put a circle of infuriating barriers around and said in a deep voice. Hishan Tortoro raised his eyebrows, what does Zhe Kun mean? Li Zhe analyzed, in the next game, they should want to redeem our center horse with a dismount, so we should send one of the weakest players up. I'm not saying that I want to give up this game, but that the opponent sent by the player is estimated to be a real ordinary person. We can win by going up here. In this case, we can send the weakest player up to win and save our strength. 
Toritaro Wada pondered for a while, and felt that Li Zhehe had something to say, so he nodded and agreed, OK, I will let Gang Mura play. Gang Kanjian, a C-level player, is the weakest one on their side. Okamura, please. Hishin Toritaro turned his head and said to a young disciple. Hi. I promise not to disappoint Master. Gankan Sword bowed and saluted, and then strode towards the high platform. This is too weak, right? Li Feng directly fry the pot, demigod pinnacle A level is enough to bully people, now A level is changed to C level, it is like an adult beating a newborn baby. Chu Biao, you can do it this time. Li Feng didn't bother to let them decide for himself, so he directly called. No, boss, I don't need me for such a weak player, just let Xiao Bai do it. Chu Biao said unhappily. Bai Swalian trimmed her eyebrows upside down, Chu Biao, what do you mean? You are ranked ninth, what do you mean by that? Chu Biao said nonchalantly. Look at me, right? Then let's fight a game, and whoever loses will play. Bai Swalian said with a pretty face. You can hit it, who is afraid of who? Chu Biao sneered without giving in. Okay, the quarrel is endless, right? Go up quickly and make a quick decision. Li Feng couldn't stand it anymore. Yes, boss. Chu Biao stood up angrily, and stepped onto the high platform listlessly. This time, he didn't perform like Wei Bin and Luo Tianzheng to climb the high platform but jumped directly on the platform, his movements were clean and neat, and he won a lot of money. Upon seeing this, Toritaro Wada and Li Zhehe were relieved. The previous two cargoes were so weak that they could not help but they were able to fight. This guy is cool and handsome, and he should be the kind that can't fight. Come on, boy, let's make a quick fight. Chu Biao cocked his finger at Chong Gang village and mocked. Gang Kanjian's face sank, and he sneered, the initiative is in my hands, you can make a move. Speaking so hungry. Chu Baia raised his eyebrows, and then mocked, for the sake of your confidence in yourself, I can give you three tricks. You can do it. Gang Kanjian was taken aback for a moment, then grinned and said, this is what you said, look at the trick. When the voice fell to the ground, he deceived Chu Biao with a stride, raised his hand and punched Chu Biao in the forehead. Chu Biao was frightened and stupefied, standing still and not moving. Gang Kanjian's face became more grimacious, and his hand was strengthened, and a punch hit Chu Biao's forehead. Hit. Good job. Wada Toritaro and others shouted in surprise. Boom. With a loud noise, Gang Kan Sword's arm suddenly burst into blood and at the same time his body flew out. The color of surprise instantly solidified on the faces of Wada Toritaro and others. My god, what's the situation? It's okay to be beaten, but the beater flew out. Surely I am dazzled. So amazing. The guests present look stupid. This is the counter shock force. Ma Yinghui let out a foul breath, and muttered solemnly. Master. What is the counter shock force? All the disciples in the Magia Wuguan didn't quite understand. A strong person above the A level will automatically form a barrier of infuriating energy. This barrier can resist some damage, such as bullets shot by a pistol. A stronger person at a higher level can use this barrier to counterattack. Just like just now, it seems that the Dong Ying man is on the offensive side, and his fist hit Mr. Chu's forehead. Actually, his punch did not hurt Mr. Chu at all. Instead, Mr. Chu used the infuriating barrier to shake back. Ma Yinghui did not hesitate to say what he understood. After listening to his narration, the eyes of all the disciples in Majia Wuguan were fascinated. What Ma Yinghui can see can naturally also be seen by Toro Taro Wada and Li Zhehe. Damn, this Chu Biao is at least a strong person above S rank. Toro Taro Wada looked at Li Zhehe with a gloomy expression. Li Zhehe was suddenly a little embarrassed. Before, he said that Chu Biao should be an ordinary person, but he was at least an S-rank strong person. This is so smashing, 
it is so swollen. I'm going to the next game, and I have to save my weakness anyway. Li Zhe exhaled and said in a deep voice. Hishan Tortoro raised his eyebrows and nodded, Okay, I believe you are in harmony with you, you must keep the glory of the Korean people, you know. Li Zhe No. Should I keep the glory of the Korean people and put it aside, what qualifications do you from Dong Ying have to say? Besides, it was Gankin Sword who got out of the shock. It was you from Dong Ying. Don't you blush? Toro Taro Wada looked at Li Zhe without fear, and sneered to himself. Fuck, if I didn't believe in your evil, this one wouldn't lose so ugly. There is a saying that China and East friendship look at Korea, East and Gao friendship look at China, and China and Gao friendship look at Dong Ying. If it weren't for the two men's top priority to defeat Li Feng's bodyguard, they might be able to fight now. The relationship between China, Dong Ying, and Korea is so delicate. Lao Wei, Lao Luo, see if you don't see it, that's the basic trick, you two learn something. Chu Biao looked at Wei Bin and Luo Tianzhang triumphantly. Oh, is the opponent too weak? Wei Bin looked upset. Being a C-level player will make you so proud. Isn't it ashamed? I'm ashamed for you. Luo Tianzheng sneered. Cough. Li Feng coughed dryly and said, Chu Biao, you. As the strongest player on our side, winning is a matter of course. Don't be proud. Guard against arrogance and rashness, understand. Before Li Feng could finish speaking, Luo Tianzheng and the others said in unison. Everyone's faces were jokes, the pitch was quite high, and the sound shook the roof together, and the others who were watching were dumbfounded. Even Li Feng was happy, hey, I'll go, you can, you all learn to answer. After having been with the boss for so long, this skill can still be learned. Luo Tianzheng and the others smiled, not modest. Li Feng rolled his eyes, turned his head and rushed to Toro Taro Wada, and said, Ah, our side was lucky to win, let's accept, let's accept. Wada Toro Taro only felt that his throat was blocked by a breath of bad breath. Just the back shock caused Gankin Jian to break his arm. Is this still a fluke? What do you tell me is not a fluke? Hey. We were convinced that we lost this time, Mr. Li, you should send someone to the stage first. Hishan Toritaro let out a suffocating breath and said in a deep voice. Well. Li Feng touched his chin, and said with some distress, our side. The strongest player has been sent, who should be sent next to win. The disciples of Majia Wuguan whispered. Li Feng's mouth twitched, and he smiled awkwardly at them. Nima. Is Xiao's acting so bad, even they can see what I have to say? The rush of the disciples in Majiahu Hall made all the guests laugh. It is now 3 3 level, the situation is very good, the dark clouds covering my heart have been dispersed, my mood is different, it is naturally easier to laugh. Ah, since everyone knows it, then I won't say much, Lao Feng, this will take you on. Li Feng ordered Feng Dihei. Feng Dihe had long been impatient to wait, and jumped three feet high when he heard this. Then he limped to the high platform. Everyone. No. Just now I jumped three feet high, how come I limped while walking, who fooled? Li Zhe's mouth twitched and shouted angrily, you are deceiving too much. When the voice fell, Li Zhe hit the ground on his toes, and one jumped over the crowd and flew to the high platform. Wow. The guests present were all shocked by Li Zhe's hand. The place where he stood before was more than 10 meters away from the high platform, right? He jumped more than 10 meters in the same place? The standing long jump world champion is a younger brother here. Boss, he looks so strong, why don't you change someone? Feng Dihe looked bitter and shouted at Li Feng. Li Feng sighed, hey, I didn't expect him to be so strong but now that the candidate has been determined, there is no way to change it. Or else you will give up as soon as you go up. Everyone. No. It seems that the expressions of the two are serious, can it be said that Feng Dihe is really not good? 
Oops, I won. Li Zhe's heart sank, and his face also became gloomy. It seems that this time Li Feng is going to get off the horse to exchange it for the horse, but they really got it. Hishan Tortoro also thought of this, and for a while, he thought angrily, damn, Li Zhe had known that the other party was inadequate, so he took the initiative to fight, right? Coward. Shame. Despicable. No. It's embarrassing to admit defeat. Feng Dihe's face was bitter and hatred, and he sighed after a long while, forget it, go up and fight for it. When the voice fell, Feng Dihe came to the front of the high platform, ba and ba twice, then he supported the edge of the table and climbed up with great effort. My dear Feng Dihe, I have the honor to fight with you. Please wait a while and don't make any trouble. Feng Dihe arched his hands at Li Zhe and said flatly. Li Zhe sneered, I have never seen anyone in the ring begging the opponent to take a leisurely shot. Are Chinese people so spineless in the ring? Have you misunderstood something? What I said is not to arouse my murderous intent, and what's wrong with you? Since you are so bad, don't blame me for being rude. Feng Dihe had a violent temper, so he was so angry that he stopped acting. He wants to hit, hit hard, making this Korean fat guy so arrogant. Ma Yinghui almost laughed, Li Feng was arrogant enough, he didn't even pay attention to SSS level, and even said something like SSSS level. SSS level is over. The ignorant is fearless. Ma Yinghui shook his head and sighed secretly. Boss, why am I the weakest? Bai Sualian asked aggrievedly. You are ranked ninth. Li Feng said winking. Bai Sualian opened her mouth, and finally nodded and said, I am indeed the weakest in this calculation. In fact, she understood what Li Feng meant, didn't she just want to use this method to discuss Toritaro Wada? But she was just a little upset. But then she thought, Wada Toritaro was the strongest player in the opposing camp. As long as she defeated him, wouldn't it prove that she was the strongest? This way, Bai Sualian felt more balanced. Why can't Wada Toritaro see Li Feng's careful thinking? Suddenly angry, you humiliated me. Li Feng shook his head and smiled, Mr. Hishan's words are wrong. I sent Xiao Bai to the battle to respect you. Maybe you still can't understand it, but you will understand it soon. It's a good one I still can't understand. Wada Toritaro let out a sigh of breath and grinned. Since Mr. Lee said so, let's see the truth in the ring. When the voice hits the ground, he will jump onto the platform. Mr. Ho Tan, you really don't plan to call more people together. Li Feng suddenly stopped him. Wada Toritaro sneered, I am enough. He is the only SS level powerhouse in his camp, and even if the rest of the people go up, he can't help much, but it will make him unable to let go. Well, Mr. Ho Tan is really domineering. Li Feng gave a thumbs up, and then said to Sualian Bai, Remember what I just said? Bai Sualian was taken aback for a moment, then nodded, I understand. When the voice fell to the ground, Bai Sualian lightly tapped her toes, and her body floated slowly and gracefully toward the high platform like a feather. Wow! Is this light work? My god, it's so amazing and beautiful. Goddess, this is the goddess of my dreams, my god, I'm in love. This scene made the guests directly stare blankly, and all exclaimed. Bai Sualian looks good, looks more than 30 years old, mature, and charming, ordinary young people can't resist her charm. In addition, when she came with such a hand, she directly suppressed everyone. The young people only felt that their hearts were beating fast, and they were about to jump out. Hishan Hudaro's face sank, and he snorted coldly, get the axe. When the voice fell to the ground, Hishan Tortoro stomped his right foot, and his body flew forward like lightning, rushing to the high platform before Bai Sualian. Pretty. Master is mighty. This is the real master. All the disciples of Wada Toritaro cheered. Bai Sualian sneered, and fluttered down on the stage, posed and stretched out her right hand and said softly, please. 
Hishan Toritaro looked at Bai Swalian up and down for a while, and said with a smile, I didn't look carefully before, but now, you are still in good shape, and your face is charming enough. Do you have a boyfriend? Bai Swalian's face changed slightly, what do you mean? It doesn't mean anything, it's just that I won you in a while, can I have a meal with me at night? Hishan Torotaro smiled. Haha. Bai Swalian raised her head and smiled, mocking, just because you want to beat me? In the next life, no more. Hishan Torotaro was taken aback for a moment, and then he played with the taste, it's very spicy, but I like it. For your enchanting sake, I won't be able to make a heavy hand later, but you must eat with me, how about? Bai Swalian smiled charmingly, want to eat with me? Yes, as long as you can move later, I will eat with you. To be able to move, to be able to move. Wada Toritaro smiled, raising his hands to show off his lower biceps, did you see it, these are all muscles, they are very powerful. Guests in the audience. No. Isn't this a car heading towards the kindergarten? Why did it suddenly make a sharp turn to Dongying? Is it too late to get off now? Damn, isn't Xiaobai thinking about this Dongying guy? Wei Bin said with an unhappy expression. Probably not, no matter how bad her taste is, she won't be able to follow him. Chu Biao echoed. Although I am not interested in Xiaobai, she is our Juyu, company woman, absolutely can't get this Dongying guy together. Feng Dihe also said coldly. If Xiao Bai keeps his hand for a while, let's help her and interrupt all three of Hishan Tortoro's legs. Luo Tianzheng said coldly. Mo Wenchen could hear a black line. Fuck, these goods are too cruel, but think about it, if Xiao Xian Xian wants to be with a Dongying, then they are not just interrupting each other's three legs. Let's destroy it directly. It looks good, so what are you waiting for, come here. The enchanting color on Bai Swalian's face was even stronger, and he hooked his finger at Toro Taro Wada. Hishan Toro Taro only felt that his lower abdomen was hot, he smiled and killed Bai Swalian. Perhaps because he was really afraid of hurting Bai Swalian, Wada Toro Taro did not use a killer move when he came to Bai Swalian, but swept down with one leg. This action is very clever, it can achieve the purpose of knocking down Bai Swalian without causing her particularly serious injuries. The key, once Snow Lotus is knocked down, he can bully him and directly suppress Snow Lotus to win the game. It's just that although Hishan Tortoro's abacus sounded, Bai Swalian did not follow his routine. When Hishan Tortoro swept Bai Swalian's leg, he suddenly realized that he seemed to have swept a big iron pillar. Boom! A muffled sound. The high platform is shaking for a while. Bai Swalian didn't move, but Toro Taro Wada pulled his leg back like an electric shock, and then grinned. Hi. Why is it so hard? Wada Toro Taro felt that his leg was about to be broken, and the pain was so severe. This is your strength. Bai Swalian sneered and said contemptuously, too weak, right? What realm are you? Hishan Tortoro realized that he had underestimated Bai Swalian. This woman's strength must be above him. You don't deserve to know my realm. Bai Swalian sneered and rushed forward. Toro Taro Wada only felt a flower in front of him, and saw Snow White standing in front of him. Wada Torotaro's scared souls all rushed, and quickly avoided. Where to hide? Dead ghost. Bai Swalian smiled shyly raised her pink fist and patted Wada Totoru on the chest. It's like a fight between a couple, it looks flirty and makes the guests a bit fascinated. But the next moment... Boom! After Bai Swalian's pink fist hit Wada Toritaro's chest, there was a loud noise. Hishan Toritaro flew upside down like a cannonball, vomiting blood in mid-air, and flew to the gate of the martial arts hall before smashing to the ground. The audience is silent. How is this possible? Ma Yinghui exclaimed in shock. Hishan Toritaro is an SS level powerhouse, so he was beaten out by Swalian so easily, what level of powerhouse is Swalian by, SSS level? 
no way. Whether it is or not, at least his previous evaluation of Li Feng's ignorant person is fearless is completely wrong. When I think of this, Ma Yinghui's face is hot. 1. Pretty. Chinese martial arts is awesome. We won. After the initial shock, the guests cheered. According to the agreement between Li Feng and Wada Torotaro, whoever wins this game will be the final winner today. Now Bai Sualian has won, Huaxia Wushu has won in the frontal confrontation with Dong Ying Karate and Goraio Taekwondo. From 0 3 at the beginning to 5 3 now, everyone felt like a roller coaster, and finally rushed into the sky. Master. What's wrong with you, Master? Master passed out. His disciples rushed to the entrance of the martial arts hall and quickly checked his situation. Their shouts didn't get Wada Torotero's response, and Bai Swalian's punch directly knocked him out. Now that he said, Wada Totero will be able to move, and then he will eat with him, then Bai Swalian will naturally not give him a chance to move. Wonderful, really wonderful. Li Feng clapped his hands and stood up, and gave Swalian a thumbs up, Xiao Bai. Your chest is really wonderful. Bai Sualian smiled shyly, the boss said and laughed, I just played super normally. Ma Yinghui and others couldn't help but twitch their mouths slightly. God is so extraordinary, you didn't use all your strength, okay? They understood, Li Feng and this group are just a group of dramatists. If anyone believes them, they will fall into the ditch in the next second. Ah! Supernormal performance is also based on having strength. Too self-effacing is not good. Then Li Feng turned his head and looked at Wada Torotaro, Mr. Wada, the situation is already clear. We won. Can you give up? Mr. Hotan? Don't keep talking, I'm still waiting for your answer. Wada Torotaro's disciples looked at each other for a while. No. Our master has been knocked out. How can we answer your question? Hey, Dongying people really don't talk about credibility, but everyone's eyes are sharp. They all know who won the final victory. Even if you want to go wrong, you can't rely on it. Li Feng said to himself. The guests couldn't help laughing, yes, Dongying people are really unreliable. Don't forget those Koreans, they are quite unreliable. Hishin Tortoro does not speak. Li Zhe does not speak, hey, they just can't afford to lose. Listening to the ridicule of the guests, the disciples of Toritaro Wada and Li Zhe were all flushed with anger, and clenched their fists. Only strength is the confidence for a person to speak. With Li Feng's bodyguard town, they have long lost the initial arrogance, and their anger can only be held in their stomachs. Okay, if you lose, leave as soon as possible. Don't be ashamed of staying here. Li Feng waved his hand like catching flies. The Dongying people and the Koreans were amnesty, and hurriedly fled the place with their wounded. Ma Yinghui was taken aback for a moment, and then said anxiously, Mr. Li, they haven't publicly admitted that karate and taekwondo are inferior to Chinese martial arts. This is what they said before the start of the fight. Whoever wins proves that the country's skill is awesome. It doesn't matter whether they admit it or not, what matters is whether we can defeat it. Speaking a hundred times is not as effective as brightening the muscles once. Li Feng said with deep meaning. Ma Yinghui looked down, clasped his fist and said, Mr. Li said, I have been taught. Li Feng smiled slightly and said, Okay, bring the wounded from your side here, and I'll treat them. Heal. Ma Yinghui's complexion changed slightly and he exclaimed, Mr. Li knows how to heal. Fuck, what do you mean by that, do you look down on our boss? Our boss knows a lot, how else can we follow so faithfully? You'd better show respect to our boss, otherwise we will demolish your broken martial arts gym if we are unhappy. Luo Tianzheng and others reprimanded one after another. Ma Yinghui twitched his mouth and quickly denied, predecessors, please don't get me wrong. I definitely didn't question Mr. Li's meaning. I was just curious, just curious. Among these number 20 people,
there are at least three S-level powerhouses, one SS-level powerhouse, and one SSS-level powerhouse, which is not something he can provoke. Just like Li Feng said, some words are not as effective as brightening the muscles once a hundred times. Ma Yinghui now hates why he had to pretend to be forceful in the first place and disarm Li Feng. Without this, he might be able to establish a good friendship with Li Feng. Count you acquaintance. Luo Tianzheng and the others gave a cold snort, but didn't say a word. The guests looked at each other, and at the same time they were amused. As the president of the LSJ Chinese Chamber of Commerce, Ma Yinghui loves to carry a shelf, and a large part of the guests here are not willing. It's all right now, and Li Feng let Ma Yinghui collapse, which makes everyone feel very happy. Soon, Ma Yinghui asked people to carry Ma Jiayu and Chen Gang over. Li Feng glanced at the two of them, took out two pills, and took them down. This is... Ma Yinghui had learned the lesson before, and just about to ask what it was, he closed his mouth. The holy medicine for healing, within a month, their injuries will be completely recovered, and there will be no sequelae. Li Feng gave the two a repair pill with 5,000 system points and serious injuries can be recovered within one month. So amazing! Ma Yinghui and others were shocked. Ma Jiayu and Chen Gang suffered serious internal injuries. It is a miracle that ordinary medical treatment can recover them within three months, and there is a high possibility of sequelae. Li Feng just gave them a pill and healed them within a month without any sequelae? Is it so amazing? Our boss's methods are beyond your understanding. Luo Tianzheng sneered and said proudly. Ma Yinghui's complexion changed, and he said, Mr. Li, your great kindness is unforgettable. Ma Yinghui is unforgettable. I was wrong before. I apologize to you. Please do not remember the villain. Forgive me this time. When the voice fell, Ma Yinghui bowed deeply to Li Feng. The guests could not help but exclaim. What a proud person Ma Yinghui is, now he took the initiative to apologize to Li Feng and bow to Li Feng. Unimaginable. However, this is not over yet, Ma Yinghui picked up another bottle of whiskey and said, to express my apology, I will find myself a bottle. When the voice fell to the ground, Ma Yinghui drank a bottle of whiskey. Perhaps because drinking too quickly affected the internal injuries, Ma Yinghui coughed quickly. Li Feng shook his head and smiled, then took out another repair pill and gave Ma Yinghui down. The repair pill melted in his mouth, and suddenly a coolness was generated in his body, and the injury had a tendency to be suppressed really works. Ma Yinghui's eyes flashed, and he looked at Li Feng in shock. Li Feng shrugged, playing with the taste, since President Ma is so aware of current affairs, our previous grievances have been wiped out. There is a saying that it is good to be forgiving and forgiving, Li Feng does not need to kill people for a little thing. What's more, Ma Yinghui's level is too low, and it can't attract Li Feng to kill him. Ma Yinghui breathed a sigh of relief, half delighted and half moved, and said, Mr. Li, your heart is as broad as the sea. Ma admires and is grateful. If it weren't for Li Feng to let the bodyguards take action in time, the signboard of Majiaguan would be kicked away by Toro Taro Wada, hey, use it. Well, since then, Ma Yinghui can't hold his head up in Chinatown. The key point is that he has offended Li Feng before but Li Feng can let go of his personal grievances and help. What kind of feelings is this? All the guests nodded again and again. Ma Yinghui's narrow-minded side is vividly displayed, while Li Feng does not care about personal grievances and helps Ma Yinghui deal with foreign enemies. This may not have risen to the level of national justice, but Li Feng is very convinced by everyone. It's easy to talk. Li Feng waved his hand and smiled without paying attention. Call. Ma Yinghui breathed a sigh of relief, and then stretched out his hand and said, Mr. Li, the banquet will begin immediately. Please enter the VIP room for dinner with your bodyguard. Li Feng glanced at Luo Tianzheng and the others, and said with a smile, We are too many, just stay outside. Mr. Li, 
you are all VIPs among the VIPs, so let me go to the VIP room, otherwise I will feel uneasy. Ma Yinghui said with a wry smile. How courageous is Ma Yinghui to let a group of strong men above S rank eat in the hall? Xiao Linjia pulled Li Feng quietly, attached to Li Feng's ear and said, I want to go to Sun Lu's. Miss Xiao was wronged and always retaliated on the spot. It was only after Li Feng drove her to the United States that she restrained a little. Now that she has Li Feng as her backer, she doesn't seize the opportunity to retaliate back, so she is not Miss Xiao family. Xiao Linjia's heat blew onto Li Feng's earlobe, causing Li Feng's lower abdomen to become a little hot. Ah, so. Li Feng's eyes flashed and nodded, well, then I will go to the VIP room with Lingya and let Lao Luo and the others stay outside. Ma Yinghui wanted to persuade him again, and Luo Tianzheng and the others said impatiently, our boss has decided, what else do you want to say? Hurry up, don't disturb us drinking. What's wrong with the VIP room? When you go to the VIP room, you will be superior. How can you drop it? I just like to stay outside. Don't persuade me. Lao Luo and the others were all talking about this, Ma Yinghui naturally did not dare to say more, and could only lead Li Feng and Xiao Linjia to the VIP room. Everyone, let me give you a grand introduction. This is Mr. Li Feng Li, the owner of Asville and Shengtang Entertainment. Coming to the door of the VIP room, Ma Yinghui introduced Li Feng to the VIPs gathered at the door. Mr. Li, Huang Wenbin, Chairman of MLKS, I am glad to meet you. Mr. Li, I am Cheng Nan, Chairman of Lasts. Your heroism on the court deeply shocked me. I am your super fan. Mr. Li, I am Zhou Wen, Chairman of the Bel A Poke Company. I have heard of your name a long time ago. It is really fortunate for Sans Hung to see it today. Mr. Li. A crowd of guests greeted Li Feng one after another, all of them placed very low and low, which made Sun Lu and the crowd look very unhappy, but helpless. Asvili and Shengtang Entertainment are both big companies in China. It is said that Li Feng's assets have reached a scale of more than 100 billion Chinese currency. Such a super rich can kill everyone here. After all, Ma Yinghui, the richest person, is only a billionaire man. Li Feng smiled and greeted everyone one by one, then took Xiao Linjia's small hand, walked into the VIP room surrounded by everyone, and finally took a seat at the main seat. It stands to reason that this position belongs to Ma Yinghui. He is the protagonist of the banquet and the owner of the Majia Wushu Hall. It is unacceptable to sit in the main seat. Only the appearance of Li Feng made Ma Yinghui not have the courage to continue sitting in the main seat. Moreover, Ma Yinghui was very perceptive and added a temporary chair next to the main seat for Xiao Linjia to sit on. After Xiao Linjia sat down, she proudly raised the tip of her eyebrows at Sun Lu, so angry that Sun Lu almost crushed her silver teeth. In order to welcome Mr. Li's presence, let us toast together. Ma Yinghui picked up the wine glass and spoke of a toast. The guests swept up the wine glasses and faced Li Feng. Li Feng waved his hand. You are too polite. We are all Chinese and compatriots. There is no need to make such a living. What did Mr. Li say, you are now a big red man in the United States, and you have earned the face of our Chinese people. You are our great hero. We should be like this. Zozo is right. You are now our Chinese flag in the United States. We also express our respect and gratitude to you. The guests gave Li Feng flattery one after another. Li Feng smiled, holding up his wine glass and said, Since everyone has already talked to this point, then I don't know how to do it anymore if I don't drink it, do it. When the voice fell, Li Feng drank dry. All the guests smiled, and then they finished drinking. Xiao Linjia took out a square scarf from her arms and thoughtfully wiped the corners of Li Feng's mouth. This scene made all the guests envious. Now who doesn't know that Li Feng has a fiancé in China, but after he comes to the United States, he can be accompanied by another beautiful woman and wipe the corners of his mouth. A winner in life. 
shameless. Sun Lu cursed in a low voice, and then took care of it, taking out the phone to take the scene. She was too jealous of Xiao Linjia, and she was madly jealous. Since Xiao Linjia makes her feel bad, then she must make Xiao Linjia feel bad too. Li Feng is now a world-class celebrity. What a celebrity cares about most is his reputation. As long as you post a photo of the two together on the internet, you can make Li Feng's reputation bad. Incidentally, Xiao Linjia has become a junior, what right does she have to be proud of in front of her? Thinking of this, Sun Lu pressed the shutter button. Crack! Because Sun Lu forgot to cancel the sound, she made a shutter sound when she pressed the shutter button. Suddenly there was silence in the field, and everyone looked towards Sun Lu. Sun Lu's face changed slightly, and she was about to put her phone away quickly. At this moment, Li Feng glanced here. Bang! The latest fruit machine exploded in Sun Lu's hands. Everyone is stunned. What? Sun Lu let out a scream, then cried bitterly, clutching her bleeding right hand. The power of the phone explosion is still terrifying, at least Sun Lu's delicate fingers cannot withstand such an impact. But it's strange to say that the explosion of the mobile phone looked terrible, and in fact the damage to her was very limited. It was just that the fragments of the mobile phone caused a few scratches on her fingers, and did not make her tender hands become bloody. As long as you go back and recuperate for a few days, the injury will be restored to the original condition, and even the scar will not be left behind. It's just that the guests present didn't know. Looking at her tragic situation, they thought she had suffered much injury. Everyone can't understand why a good mobile phone explodes suddenly, and it explodes after the photo is taken. Does the latest fruit machine have a self-explosion function? Ah, the phone exploded? How terrible! Xiao Linjia covered her mouth with her hand, and said with horror on the surface but joy in her heart. She knew that this must be Li Feng's masterpiece, otherwise it would be almost impossible for the mobile phone not to explode if it was not in the charging state. What's more, Sun Lu just took the phone and took a picture of her and Li Feng and it exploded. If it wasn't for Li Feng's deception, she would dare to eat these mobile phone fragments. This reminds us that we must never play with our mobile phones while eating. Li Feng sighed, and said in fear. As soon as this was said, everyone's expressions became weird. What does this have to do with not playing with your mobile phone when you are eating? If your mobile phone explodes, whether you are eating or not. Don't be stunned, and quickly send Miss Sun to the hospital for a look. In case of another disability, it won't be ruined. Li Feng said again. Everyone realized this, and immediately sent Sun Lu to the hospital. At this moment, Thompson said, Hey guys, Sun Lu's hand just scratched and bleeds a little. There is no need to go to the hospital, just give her a few band-aids. He was panicked just now, but soon calmed down and helped Sun Lu check his injuries. After all, he is a professional athlete. Facing such things, he is more determined than the average person. Is it so amazing? Li Feng pretended to be surprised. Yeah, I also think it's amazing. Thompson nodded straightforwardly. The guests breathed a sigh of relief, and the atmosphere instantly relaxed. In the next time, Ma Yinghui asked someone to take a few band-aids and Yunnan Biao to help Sun Lu simply treat the wound, and then the banquet continued. Sun Lu naturally lost the mood of continuing to take pictures of Li Feng and Xiao Linjia, and sat down in a gloomy position, wanting to leave here quickly. At this moment, Li Zhong's voting sounded outside, Mr. Phyllis Daniel, a gift of 100,000 US dollars. All the guests who heard the sound were taken aback. Why are there still guests here at this time? Don't you think the name Phyllis Daniel is familiar? Daniel? Isn't it the legendary Daniel family? No, what is the existence of the Daniel family, how can it be? Ah, I didn't mean that President Ma is not good, I just... Forget it, I won't say it. A guest wanted to talk about the gap between Ma Yinghui and the Daniel family, but when he reached his lips, 
he felt that it was inappropriate to say so, so he closed his mouth awkwardly. Ma Yinghui shook his head and smiled, Mr. Wang, I understand what you mean, this kind of thing is universally recognized, and there is no need to avoid it. Zhou Wen nodded, yes, the Daniel family can be said to be one of the strongest families in the United States. All of us here are far from the Daniel family. At this time, Huang Wenbin quietly touched Zhou Wen's arm. Zhou Wen was taken aback for a moment. He realized it only after seeing Huang Wenbin's gaze, and quickly apologized to Li Feng, Mr. Li, I didn't. No need to explain, I understand. Li Feng waved his hand and smiled. Ah! Zhou Wen smiled awkwardly, and then said, Chairman Ma, although the possibility of the other party being a member of the Daniel family is very low, I think we need to go out to meet him. I just meant it. Ma Yinghui smiled slightly and turned to Li Feng and said, Mr. Li, go out together. Li Feng shook his head and smiled, No, just go. Others may not dare to determine the identity of the other party, but Li Feng is very clear that the other party is Phyllis Daniel, the patriarch of the Daniel family, and it is obvious that the other party is coming towards him. In that case, there is no need for him to go out. Well, then Mr. Li, please wait a moment, we will go back. Ma Yinghui smiled, got up and took a group of guests out of the side hall to greet him at the gate of the martial arts hall. Before they got to the entrance of the martial arts hall, they saw Li Zhong respectfully leading the three white elderly people in. Will, President, Daniel family, it is Daniel family. Li Zhong quickly walked a few steps to Ma Yinghui and said excitedly. Ma Yinghui was stunned for a moment, then flushed and said, which Daniel family? Even if he had guessed it, he still couldn't believe it. This is the famous Daniel family in the United States. It is a godlike existence, unexpectedly came to the ceremony when his martial arts hall opened. Who can believe it? That's the Daniel family. Li Zhong pointed to the sky and said excitedly. What? All the guests were dumbfounded. They were still discussing this issue just now, no one thought that this Phyllis Daniel would be a member of the Daniel family, never thought that the other party was really a member of the Daniel family. My goodness, when did President Ma get in touch with the Daniel family? It's awesome this time. Ma Yinghui was stunned for two seconds, and then trot all the way to meet him. Maybe it was because the injury had not recovered, or maybe he was too excited. When he ran in front of Phyllis Daniel, Ma Yinghui staggered and almost fell to the ground. However, Ma Yinghui was not embarrassed at all. After adjusting his posture, Ma Yinghui bent down deeply and said, Junior Ma Yinghui, welcome Mr. Daniel. The old man walking in the front raised his eyes and did not speak. Phyllis Daniel, who was standing behind him, gave a dry cough and said coldly, You are Ma Yinghui. It's me, you are. Ma Yinghui asked cautiously. President, he is Phyllis Daniel, the patriarch of the Daniel family. Li Zhong whispered in Ma Yinghui's ear. Ah! Ma Yinghui was a little dazed. Why was the patriarch walking behind, and who was the white old man in front? Phyllis Daniel did not explain, and asked directly, Is Li Feng with you? Mr. Ma Yinghui was taken aback, and then nodded, Yes. Mr. Li is sitting in the VIP room. Zhou Wen and others suddenly realized. No wonder people from the Daniel family came here in person, originally to meet Mr. Li. It seems that Mr. Li's influence is still above their imagination. Phyllis Daniel snorted coldly, and said murderously, when he heard me coming, he still dared to sit inside and not come out? Really arrogant. Everyone. No. Listening to Phyllis Daniel, he is not dealing with Li Feng? Came to trouble Li Feng on purpose? No way. Sun Liu, who was still depressed, suddenly became energetic when she heard this, Mr. Daniel, are there any conflicts between you and Li Feng? Phyllis Daniel glanced at her, then brightened his eyes and said, What a beautiful Chinese woman. As soon as this was said, the faces of the guests present became weird. 
This sentence does not sound like a compliment, but rather like a self-talk. Just like people who go to the clubhouse, they will say this when they see a beautiful princess, and what to do next is a matter of course. So Phyllis Daniel is interested in Sun L.U.? Are you enough to be someone's grandfather? Thompson naturally understood the meaning and said angrily, Mr. Daniel, please be gentlemen, Sun is my girlfriend. Phyllis Daniel glanced at Thompson and sneered, Who are you and what qualifications do you have to talk to me like this? Thompson's face changed slightly, and he muttered, I am Thompson, the quarterback of the NFL Red Hat team. Quarterback. Phyllis Daniel shook his head and laughed, taunting, From now on, her boyfriend has changed. When he reached his level, he could almost ask for what he wanted. The things he liked were either smashed with money, or deterred by status, or grabbed by force. No one could resist. The only time he was flat in these years was when he faced Li Feng. A sports star like Thompson, in his eyes, is a little flea that can be crushed to death at will. What do you mean? There is almost no counseling among professional athletes, and they can fight with people because of a contradiction in the competition. There are also examples of professional athletes using swords and guns with people in life. Although Thompson knew who Phyllis Daniel was, he wouldn't admit it because of someone being digging a wall. Before Phyllis Daniel could say anything, Sun L.U. let go of her hand holding Thompson, Thompson, we are over. Thank you for taking care of me these days. Sun, are you going to break up with me? Thompson couldn't believe his ears. The guests couldn't help but stare at each other. Sun L.U., the eldest daughter of the Sun family, was also a wolf killer. Seeing that Phyllis Daniel was interested in her, she kicked Thompson on the spot. But the question is Phyllis Daniel can be her grandfather, she doesn't mind at all? Besides, Phyllis Daniel must have an original match. Sun L.U. will be a junior at most, even a fourth, a fifth, or a sixth. Her family is not short of money. What does she want? Sister. Okay, okay, Miss Sun has a straightforward character, I like it. This is my business card, remember to contact me when things are over here, and I will take you to a place. Phyllis Daniel's eyes lit up, and he took out a business card made of pure gold from his jacket pocket. With a flick of it, the business card flew into Sun Lu's hand. Sun L.U. was overjoyed and said shyly, Good Mr. Daniel. No, you can't do this to me. Thompson was angry and wanted to make it clear to Sun L.U. Thompson, we were very happy together, didn't we? Now I don't want to be with you anymore, just let us get together well and leave a good memory for each other, okay? Sun L.U. was still betting that Thompson was the only blue chip stock. After Li Feng appeared, she was disappointed with Thompson. Now Phyllis Daniel has appeared. Although he is too old, his status far exceeds Li Feng. As long as she can crush Li Feng and let Xiao Linjia deflate, she will be satisfied. Anyway, men are like clothes to her, and they usually change every one or two weeks. Occasionally changing a boyfriend of the uncle level is also a wonderful experience in life. You broke up with me because of this old man. Thompson suffocated his stomach and asked. Mr. Thompson, you'd better take back this sentence, or you might be unemployed. Phyllis Daniel said with a cold look. The Daniel family's industries cover all industries in the country, and the NFL also has shares. As long as he says a word, the NFL will not give Thompson any contract. This is for sure. Thompson's face changed slightly. Just about to say something, a sneer came from behind everyone, Phyllis, Thompson is my friend. Have you ever talked to him like this and asked my opinion? Phyllis Daniel's complexion changed slightly, his eyes passed through the crowd and looked at Li Feng. There was an invisible spark flickering between the eyes. Ma Yinghui, Zhou Wen, and others couldn't help taking a breath. Fuck, Li Feng actually used this tone to talk to Phyllis Daniel, screaming. In the eyes of the guests, surprised or puzzled, Li Feng took Xiao Linjia's little hand and squeezed through the crowd, 
and walked to the front of the crowd. He is Li Feng. The silver-haired old man standing in the front of the three finally spoke, his voice was old, as if he had come from ancient times. Yes, grandfather, he is Li Feng. Phyllis Daniel replied respectfully. Ma Yinghui and others. No. This old man turned out to be Phyllis Daniel's grandfather? Fuck, Phyllis Daniel seems to be in his seventies, right? How old is his grandfather? How many? But he seems to have a strong body, walks calmly and powerfully, and looks like he is in his seventies or eighties. It's hard to understand. Oh. Li Feng raised his eyebrows, playing with the taste, no wonder you dare to come to the door, it turns out that you have found a helper. The last time Phyllis Daniel and August Daniel came together, they didn't dare to do anything with him until the end, which made Li Feng quite disappointed. Never thought that the nine elders of the Juyu sect gathered around him today, and the people of the Daniel family are here again. Is this a special fate? Li Feng I heard Phyllis say you are arrogant. Ulysses Daniel asked coldly. Li Feng shrugged, whether I am arrogant depends on who I am right. I generally don't give a good face to people who are self-righteous. Of course, you gave me a bronze statue of the preface of the orchid pavilion and the dragon head last time. I remember this friendship. If you don't have other incidents, I believe that our friendship will continue. What? All the guests suddenly exclaimed. The preface to the Lanting Pavilion and the bronze statue of the dragon head were actually given to Li Feng by Phyllis Daniel? What is the reason that Phyllis Daniel is willing to give Li Feng these two treasures? Li Feng, you are so handsome, I really love you. Xiao Linjia took Li Feng's hand and took a sip on his face, with little stars in his eyes. With her toes, she could guess that Li Feng threatened Phyllis Daniel with a means so that they had to take out the Lanting Collection preface and the bronze statue of the dragon head. This kind of man is someone who is born to touch her extremes. Ulysses Daniel's complexion sank, and he said coldly, The idlers will leave me here, hurry. To give Li Feng the preface to the Lanting Pavilion and the bronze statue of the dragon head the shame of the Daniel family, Li Feng told the matter in public by slamming the face of the Daniel family on the ground. This completely angered Ulysses Daniel, and he could not help but crush Li Feng. But Ulysses Daniel is still sane, knowing that killing one person in front of so many people will have a bad effect. Although the Daniel family's strength can completely suppress this influence, why not do it if you can clear the field? Yes, yes, people who have nothing to do with this matter should leave first. My conversation with the three Mr. Daniels will be a bit more intense and it will inevitably scare everyone. Li Feng turned his head and said with a gentle smile. At first, everyone's emotions were still a little nervous, but after seeing Li Feng's smile, they suddenly calmed down. Ah, Mr. Daniel, what is the contradiction between you and Mr. Li, can you tell me a bit, let us come up with a plan to help solve it. As the host, Ma Yinghui wants to be a mediator, that is, the legendary mediator. Although this possibility is relatively low, but if he really wants to succeed, he will blow it up in the future. I won't say how awesome Li Feng is. If a single Daniel family is willing to give him face, then he will be in LSJ. Oh no, the entire United States can be famous. Li Feng's eyes flashed and he glanced at Ma Yinghui with a smile. What are you worthy to inquire about our Daniel family? Ulysses Daniel directly criticized Ma Yinghui. A poor ghost worth one billion dollar or a Chinese descent, what right does he have to act as his mediator? Ma Yinghui's face suddenly became ugly, but he didn't dare to get angry, so he could only hold the anger in his heart, and said with a smile, Yes, you are right, I really don't have the right to inquire about you and Mr. Li Thing. The other guests also knew each other well, said hello to Ma Yinghui, and left here in a hurry. Although the ordinary guests in the hall didn't know how awesome Ulysses Daniel was, the VIPs from Zhou Wen had gone, and they did not dare to stay here. Only a few minutes later, the crowded martial arts hall became deserted, 
leaving only Luo Tianzheng, Emma Wenchen, and others who were sitting at the table drinking, as well as Ma Yinghui and Sun Liu. The rest of the Majiahu Hall, including a group of guests, all left here. The reason why Ma Yinghui stayed was naturally because he was the host, and it was hard to justify his departure. The reason why Sun Liu stayed is even simpler. She is now Phyllis Daniel's person, and there is definitely no danger. And she hasn't slapped Xiao Linjia in her face yet. Isn't it a pity to leave now? Looking at Luo Tianzheng and the others who were still sitting at the dining table, Ulysses Daniel frowned and said, Why are you still not leaving? Look at what you said, we are here to have a drink, and now the wine hasn't been finished, shall we go fart? That is, when we entered the door, one person accompanied us with one hundred dollars. Can't we eat the money back? Old way, you remembered wrong, we didn't follow the courtesy when we came in. That's right, it was supposed to follow, but the MC was too small, so we didn't follow. Oh, I remembered it when you said that. I really didn't follow it, but it doesn't affect our drinking. Come on, brothers will go one more time. When the voice fell to the ground, Wei Bin picked up the wine glass and signaled to drink. Luo Tianzheng and the others laughed, and had another drink with Wei Bin. Ulysses Daniel isn't it, these people are so insightful, don't know what will happen here, and just drink? Grandfather, these people are the staff who came to the United States with Li Feng. At this time, Phyllis Daniel approached Ulysses Daniel and reminded in a low voice. In fact, when Li Feng announced his arrival in the United States, they received the news that when Li Feng's A380 landed at LSJ International Airport, it was monitored by the Daniel family. However, Li Feng and his party have been active in the rich area yesterday, and the impact of doing something there would be too great. Today, Li Feng was taken to Chinatown by Xiao Linjia to participate in the opening of the Majiahu Pavilion, which became the best time for Daniel's family to start. To put it bluntly, even if they blow up Chinatown, it will not cause any negative impact in the United States. Perhaps the US can use this to throw the pot over the KB members. So that's the case. Ulysses Daniel's eyes were cold, and he sneered, if that's the case, then you don't have to go. Let's stay here to accompany Li Feng. It's up to you. We are the boss's most loyal subordinates. If the boss doesn't speak, we won't go anywhere. Wei Bin curled his lips and said mockingly. Ulysses Daniel's complexion changed slightly, and his murderous aura was overwhelming. He was about to act on Wei Bin and others. Ma Yinghui quickly said, Mr. Daniel, you don't know, they are actually martial arts experts. Although he was reprimanded by Ulysses just now, he did not dispel his ambition to mediate the conflict between the two sides, because he has a whole card that has not been used, and this sentence is his whole card. Ulysses Daniel was taken aback for a moment, and then he looked weird and said, You mean... A martial artist. Yes, martial arts expert. Ma Yinghui nodded solemnly, you should also be a martial arts expert. Ulysses Daniel can live so long and his body is so good. Apart from being a martial artist, Ma Yinghui could not think of the second possibility. Ulysses Daniel raised an eyebrow, what do you want to say? That's right, Mr. Wei has a few S level strong, and a few SS level and the strongest one is even SSS level. Since you are also a martial artist, you should understand how powerful this is. We in China have an old saying that the enemy should be settled and not settled. Mr. Daniel might as well sit down and talk frankly with Mr. Li. It would be best if it can be resolved peacefully. Ma Yinghui tried to slow down as much as possible, and said temptingly. Ulysses Daniel was taken aback for a moment, and then he looked weird and said, You mean, SSS class powerhouse? Yes, SSS level powerhouses. They are all Mr. Li's bodyguards and are very loyal to Mr. Li. Ma Yinghui said with a smile. Ha 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 ha. Ulysses Daniel looked up and laughed. August and Phyllis also laughed, and the laughter of the three went straight into the sky, shaking the roof. 
Ma Yinghui's complexion became a little ugly, and he had said everything to this point. The three old Daniels still dared to laugh at him. Do you think he was lying and deceiving? Although very upset, Ma Yinghui explained, Mr. Daniel, I really didn't lie to you, they really are. Boom. At this moment, a powerful and unmatched breath erupted from Ulysses Daniel. Ma Yinghui couldn't help but exclaimed, What kind of breath is this? The moment Ulysses Daniel's breath was released, Ma Yinghui had an urge to kneel down. What frightened Ma Yinghui even more was that a ghost appeared behind Ulysses Daniel. This phantom can only see the two lower legs, because the part above the lower legs has passed through the roof, maybe you can walk out of the martial arts hall to see it all. With Ma Yinghui's vision, naturally he didn't know that this was a virtual created by a half-god powerhouse when he fully revealed his breath. The unknown is more fearful. Oh my god! Sun Lu covered her mouth with her hand, her face full of horror. Sun Lu naturally couldn't understand things that even Ma Yinghui couldn't understand. This kind of sight that can only be seen in movies and cartoons appeared in front of her, and the impact it brought to her can be imagined. Li Feng raised his eyebrows and said in surprise, it turned out to be a demigod peak powerhouse. Ma Yinghui. He knows the pinnacle, what is a demigod? But looking at Li Feng's expression, it should be a realm stronger than the supreme grade, right? What level of power do you think they are coming? Ulysses Daniel was very satisfied with Ma Yinghui's reaction and asked contemptuously. S, SSS grade. Ma Yinghui wiped away his cold sweat and replied cautiously. Yes, yes, you said SSS, but do you know what SSS is in front of me? Ulysses Daniel asked mockingly. Ma Yinghui shook his head, Mr. Daniel, forgive me for my shallow knowledge, I really don't know how much difference there is between demigod and SSS. I don't know it's okay, I can tell you. Ulysses Daniel smiled slightly and said proudly, Above the SSS level is the demigod level. To the demigod level powerhouse, the SSS level is like an ant. It can be crushed with one hand, now do you understand what I mean? Ma Yinghui shook her body and kept muttering to herself, there is actually a demigod above the SSS level. After understanding the meaning of the demigod powerhouse, Ma Yinghui only felt embarrassed. He just wanted to use Wei Bin and others to threaten Ulysses Daniel, but they didn't take the SSS level powerhouse seriously. It's not an exaggeration to say that he is a gangster. Mr. Daniel, you are so handsome. Sun Lu put her hands on her chin and said with starlight. Little girl, you are the woman that Phyllis is fond of. Even if you want to worship, you must worship Phyllis. Ulysses Daniel joked. Grandfather, if you are attracted to this Chinese woman, I naturally dare not it with you, ha ha ha. Phyllis Daniel said with a smile. To him, women are like clothes, not to mention changing them every day, it doesn't make much difference. He is interested in Sun Lu, just want to change his taste, nothing more. Ha ha, of course I know you dare not rob me, but I am really not interested in this woman, I am interested in her. While speaking, Ulysses Daniel pointed at Xiao Linjia. Xiao Linjia's face changed slightly, and she held Li Feng's arm tightly. Sun Lu's face changed slightly, and then turned to look at Xiao Linjia, Miss Xiao, it's your pleasure to be interested in Mr. Daniel. Don't know what it is. Xiao Linjia showed a disgusting look on her face, Bah, I am not like some people who are hungry and even this kind of person who is enough to be his grandfather can be a boyfriend. Ulysses Daniel looked cold, and said coldly, Are you humiliating me? Sun Lu was delighted and fanned the flames beside him, Mr. Daniel, this woman is too ignorant. If it is me, I will send her to the black market and sell her to the Middle East as a slave. Li Feng's eyes were cold, and he glanced at Sun Lu faintly, do you know that you and Lingya are compatriots? What's wrong with my compatriots? She provokes me first. The person who provokes me is the enemy. You have to be cruel to treat the enemy. Don't you understand such a simple truth? 
Sun Liu sneered and mocked. Li Feng shook his head and sighed, Some people really just have a nice skin, but their hearts are more dirty than anyone else. Who are you dirty? I'm telling you Li Feng, don't think that you can be arrogant when you are famous in the US. There are more people than you are. Sun Liu is like a cat whose tail is stepped on, almost jump up in place. Well said, ha ha ha. Ulysses Daniel smiled up to the sky, then looked at Li Feng coldly and said, I will give you a chance to hand over the formula of Tong Yan Shui, and then obediently deliver this woman to me. Here, I can forgive you to die. Li Feng raised his eyebrows, and said with a smile, Do you think it's taking me? Upon seeing this, Ma Yinghui hurriedly came to mediate and said, Mr. Li, Mr. Daniel is a demigod pinnacle powerhouse, we can't resist, think twice. Li Feng glanced at him, playing with the taste, then what level of power do you think I am? Ma Yinghui was stunned for a moment, and then asked blankly, Mr. Li is also a martial artist. Haha, <laughs> President Ma is really funny. This kid actually thought the boss was an ordinary person, which is interesting. Wei Bin and others couldn't help but laugh out loud. Ma Yinghui's heart sank, and he became more and more suspicious. Humph, he is also a demigod powerhouse. At this moment, Ulysses Daniel said coldly. What? Ma Yinghui and Sun Liu exclaimed together. Li Feng is so young, he is also a demigod powerhouse? No way. Li Feng smiled slightly, don't be surprised. If I were not a demigod powerhouse, I wouldn't have asked for the preface of the Lanting Pavilion and the bronze statue of the dragon head from them. Ma Yinghui understood this completely. The weak in this world have no right to speak. Let alone asking for things from others, whether one's good things can be kept depends on the mood of others. But Li Feng was able to get the priceless Lanting Preface and the bronze statue of the dragon head from the Daniel family. The Danielle family is not doing charity, so why give it to Li Feng for nothing? Then there is only one reason left Li Feng made them feel threatened. Since you know that I am a demigod powerhouse and dare to trouble me, do you really think I'm going to eat me? Li Feng looked at Ulysses Daniel again and asked playfully. That's natural. Ulysses Daniel gave August and Phyllis a wink, and then the two released their breath. Boom boom. A virtual appeared behind each of them. Li Feng raised his eyebrows, and said in surprise, Demigod late stage and demigod mid stage. Ulysses Daniel laughed, Yes, this is our confidence. Even if you are also the pinnacle of a demigod, you can't be the opponent of the three of us. So you want more people to bully fewer people. Li Feng sighed, a little helpless. The three Daniels laughed and said jokingly, this is strength. If you have the ability, go find a few demigod powerhouses to help out. Li Feng was taken aback for a moment, and then said with a weird expression, If you want to say that, then I will really scream. Daniel's grandparents looked at each other, then burst into laughter. Not to mention whether Li Feng knew other demigod level powerhouses, he just said that it was this time, and he would not have time to call again. When the reinforcements requested by Li Feng arrived, it was estimated that his bones were also cold. When the laughter stopped, Ulysses Daniel sneered, it's a bit late to think about asking for help at this time. Neither too late nor too late, I can master spiritism, and they can gather here with a snap of a finger. Li Feng said with a smile. Daniel's grandparents. It's not. The woolen spirits, do you think this is anime? In the distance, Wei Bin's mouth twitched, why do I suddenly have an ominous premonition? It's not just you, I also have an ominous hunch. Luo Tianzheng and others also nodded in agreement. Don't believe me. Li Feng raised his eyebrows and said with a smile, then I will snap my fingers to show you. When the voice fell, Li Feng snapped his fingers and said, come out, big toad Wenta, eight ninja dog. Luo Tianzheng jumped over first, Gaku. Luo Tianzheng and the others looked at each other, then stood up reluctantly, Wow, woof. Daniel's grandparents. Ma Yinghui. 
Sun Liu. No. This is what Li Feng called the Great Spiritism? Who are you fooling here? There are also these nine goods, so willing to be a toad and a ninja dog? Fuck it. Uh, you guys are too cooperative, I just made them play. Li Feng turned his head to look at Wei Bin and the others, and said with a weird expression. Wei Bin and others sneered silently. Okay, okay, I was wrong, I shouldn't let you play animals. To apologize, I also sacrificed. Li Feng sighed and said with some guilt. He was just out of fun, just like playing animals with his friends when he was a kid. But when things really happened, he discovered that perhaps doing so would hurt the self-esteem of Lao Wei and others, and it was indeed a little lacking consideration. Wei Bin and others panicked and quickly explained, No, boss, we are really not angry. We have been with you for so long, don't you know who you are? Yes, we are just joking with you, pretending to be angry, don't take it seriously. After this time of getting along, they knew who Li Feng was, and they wouldn't be angry with Li Feng because of this little thing. Besides, Li Feng controls their life and death, and it's useless for them to be angry. A real man has to say something, you wait. Li Feng's voice fell, his own breath was released, and a towering phantom appeared behind him. Then, Li Feng took a step back and overlapped with the phantom behind him. Then, there is no more. Wei Bin and others? No. What is this? Daniel's grandparents were also confused. What is this Nima and what did Li Feng sacrifice? At the same time, the three of them were a little surprised, because the breath that Li Feng showed was the pinnacle of a demigod. At such a young age, he is already a demigod peak powerhouse. If he is not contained, how far will he develop in the future? Ma Yinghui and Sun Liu were directly shocked on the spot. Li Feng turned out to be a demigod level powerhouse, which is incredible. Suzuo can be okay. Li Feng said with a serious expression. The atmosphere is a bit awkward at this moment. After a while, Wei Bin and others exclaimed, Fuck, it really looks like Suzuo Nangu. Void God can still play like this? Gain knowledge. Fuck, why didn't I think of this? Enough. Ulysses Daniel couldn't stand it anymore. He came here for revenge not to watch the clown perform. Li Feng, I didn't expect you to use this lame trick to procrastinate. You really disappointed me. Phyllis Daniel sneered. Don't look at him with a sneer on the surface, but he still feels a little afraid. At that time, he went to find Li Feng with his dad, and almost couldn't help but do it with Li Feng, or his dad was forbearing enough and didn't choose to do it. Now it seems that Dad's decision is really too wise. Don't you understand? I am delaying time for your good. Li Feng sighed, then snapped his fingers and said, Children, let's practice. When the words fell, Wei Bin and others completely released their own breath. Boom, 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 boom. The breath of Nine Dao belonging to the peak powerhouse of the demigod burst out. Nine imaginary gods appeared behind Wei Bin and others. The three Daniel's grandparents opened their mouths and they were all stupid. Nine demigod peak level powerhouses, plus Li Feng, that's ten. Three vs one zero, isn't this a special offer? As for Ma Yinghui and Sun Liu, they no longer know what language to use to express their shock at the moment. Earlier, Ma Yinghui guessed that Wei Bin and others might be in the realm of S level to SSS level, but they turned out to be a demigod, there is no such slap in the face. Do you still think it's taking me down now? Li Feng asked with a smile. Ulysses Daniel took a deep breath and said, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. After speaking, he was going to leave here with August and Phyllis. Don't go in a hurry, I haven't finished speaking yet. While Li Feng was speaking, Luo Tianzheng, Wei Bin, and Chu Biao came behind the three, blocking their retreat. Mr. Li, this is really a misunderstanding. Ulysses Daniel was almost crying. He came here aggressively, intending to show off his abilities and gratitude, 
but after installing 13, he found that the other party was n times stronger than them, so who would be the reason? With a move of Li Feng's right hand, a chair flew over. After sitting down, he said in a leisurely manner, What a misunderstanding, let me hear it. Xiao Linjia giggled, came behind Li Feng, and helped him pinch his shoulders. We have no eyes and shouldn't run into you. We are willing to apologize. Ulysses Daniel knew that in this situation, they couldn't be better without a little blood, so he simply admitted it. So. Li Feng touched his chin for a while, then smiled slightly, tell me how you plan to make amends. Ulysses Daniel groaned for a moment, then gritted his teeth and said, ten billion dollars in cash. What? Sun Liu covered her mouth and exclaimed. Ten billion US dollars in cash, whoever has this money can directly enter the top 200 of the global rich list. This is an astronomical figure for the vast majority of people in the world, but Ulysses Daniel was able to say the sentence of compensating Li Feng for ten billion dollar in cash without any pressure. Why is the gap between people so big? Ten billion dollars in cash, sounds tempting. Li Feng touched his chin and considered for a while, then shook his head, it's a pity that this little money is not enough to buy the lives of the three of you. Ulysses Daniel's face changed slightly, Mr. Li, our Daniel family can only put out so much cash at the moment. So you don't want to go out here alive, right? Li Feng sneered. Perhaps feeling Li Feng's killing intent, Ulysses Daniel groaned a little, gritted his teeth and said, 30 billion US dollars, this is the greatest sincerity I can show. Oh my god! Sun Liu shuddered all over. 30 billion US dollars, this money can turn a pauper into the top 30 richest people in the world. As long as Li Feng nodded and agreed, he would immediately get the 30 billion US dollars in cash. Unimaginable! Ma Yinghui was also shocked almost out of his body. He has worked hard in the United States for so many years before earning a net worth of $1 billion, most of which are still fixed assets. On the other hand, Daniel, in order to save his life, was able to offer a sky-high price of $30 billion US dollars. How much assets does a person who can give out $30 billion US dollars in cash, $100 billion or $200 billion, or more? Unimaginable. Fuck. This old boy is so rich. Thirty billion dollars, my god, I have never seen so much money in my life. Boss, can you calculate how much thirty billion dollars is for me? I'm a little too much. Wei Bin and others were not calm. The longer they stay in the world, the more they feel that money is a good thing. Of course, there are also reasons why they are restrained by Li Feng. If they are not restrained by Li Feng, they can act recklessly and just grab whatever they want. Who can stop them? Because of Li Feng's constraints, they can only buy what they want with money, and at this time the charm of money is reflected. Therefore, as soon as 30 billion US dollars shouted out, Wei Bin and others halted all over the place. 30 billion dollars. Li Feng's eyes lit up, and he touched his chin and thought for a while and said, it's a good deal to buy your life at this price. Ulysses Daniel was overjoyed, but said calmly on his face, Yes, Mr. Lee, $30 billion is really the highest price I can offer. August and Phyllis nodded in agreement, an expression that the landlord's house had no surplus. Okay, since you can't give more money, let's do it at $30 billion. Anyway, money is just a number to me. Li Feng sighed and reluctantly agreed. The three Daniel's grandparents' mouths twitched. Since money is just a number to you, how good would it be for you to let us go without receiving the money? You have to collect money and you have to act as if you are not interested in money. Although they were complaining, the three of them looked grateful on the surface. After all, $30 billion would not hurt the Daniel family's muscles and bones. As long as the three of them returned safely, the greatest victory would be. Next, Li Feng provided a bank card number, and Phyllis Daniel quickly transferred $30 billion to Li Feng's account. Mr. Li, have you received the money? Ulysses Daniel asked cautiously. 
Yeah, I received it. Li Feng nodded. Then we can go. Ulysses Daniel asked tentatively. What to go, what to go? I didn't say let you go. Li Feng looked blank. Daniel's grandparents. Sun Liu. Ma Yinghui. No. People have beaten the money as agreed, and you don't let people go. Are you going back? Mr. Li, are you kidding us? Ulysses Daniel asked with an ugly face. That is to say, you know that you can't beat Li Feng and the others, otherwise, with Ulysses Daniel's temper, Li Feng will be beaten to death on the spot. Li Feng frowned slightly, what are you kidding? I'm serious. Haha, <laughs> our boss just said that 30 billion US dollars is enough to buy your life, he didn't say that he would let you go back like this. That is, if you want to go back intact, 30 billion dollars is not enough, at least 100 billion dollars will do. Old boy, just because you want to play tricks with our boss? You are still a little tender. Wei Bin and others sneered and mocked mercilessly. Mr. Li, what do you mean? Ulysses Daniel's face became more ugly. Literally. Li Feng spread his hands together, playing with the taste, the money only buys your life. If you want to go back, you have to cultivate your body and stay. Repair. Ulysses Daniel was confused. It's state, skill, or energy. Li Feng explained patiently. This time Ulysses Daniel finally understood, and his expression changed drastically, impossible. This is the foundation of our world. We can't abandon our martial arts. Mr. Li, I think you are embarrassing us, unless you kill us, otherwise we will not leave the cultivation base here. Yes, cultivation is a part of our body, are you going to smash our energy core? August and Phyllis also hurriedly refuted. That's not necessary, I will let people out all of your skills without hurting you. Li Feng said with a smile. Mo Wenchen's face changed slightly, and he glanced at Wei Bin and the others in surprise. Why is Nine Yu sect called the Demon Sect? Just because Nine Nether Art is too evil, it can absorb the skill of others to strengthen oneself. So as soon as Li Feng said that he wanted to absorb all the skills of Daniel's grandparents, he understood what Li Feng meant. Ulysses Daniel's complexion changed several times, and finally he said in a deep voice, Mr. Li, although we are not your opponents, if you push us in a hurry, we have the determination to die with you. Oh. Li Feng raised his eyebrows, playing with a taste, it seems that Mr. Daniel intends to unilaterally tear up the agreement. Yes, but I will not refund you 30 billion US dollars. Ulysses Daniel only felt that his throat was blocked by a breath of malice. My Nima, he has never seen such a shameless person. Call. After a while, Ulysses Daniel let out a sigh of breath and said coldly, Mr. Lee, in fact, I talked to Mr. Raphael on the phone before I came here. He knows that I am here to avenge you. If something happens to me here, he will know you did it, and then, hey. Although he didn't finish his words, the threats in the words were indeed very clear. Li Feng pondered for two seconds, who is Raphael? Ulysses Daniel. This is like a fight between A and B. B was already going to be beaten, and suddenly he took out a pistol. As a result, someone who had never seen a pistol came and said, What is this iron bump in your hand? The punch hit the cotton with energy. Raphael is the chief veteran of the God's Heaven, he is a demigod pinnacle powerhouse. Ulysses Daniel let out a sigh of breath and said in a deep voice. Oh. Li Feng nodded, and then asked, How many demigod level elders are there in God's paradise? As soon as this was said, Ulysses Daniel stopped speaking. Yes, there are a total of nine elders in the heavens of the gods and these nine are not all the peaks of the demigods. Even if Raphael led a group of elders out of the nest, it can't help Li Feng and the others. At this time, Li Feng sneered, Forget it, I think it is difficult for you to make up your mind. Let us help you. Children, do it. 
Following Li Feng's order, Luo Tianzheng and others took out the guys one after another, rushed to the three of Daniel's grandparents and grandchildren. August, Phyllis, fight to the death. Ulysses Daniel looked decisive, took out a knight's sword, and said angrily. The brave wins when they meet on a narrow road. Although the three of them are at an absolute disadvantage, their hope of winning is extremely slim. But if they don't fight hard, they have no hope of winning. In the battle of father and son, their grandparents and grandchildren join forces to fight the enemy, maybe they can create miracles? Yes, father. Understood, grandfather. August and Phyllis looked down, took out the knight's great sword from the space storage equipment, and formed a triangle formation with Ulysses. There are two taboos in gang fights, one is rushing, and the other is being surrounded. The best way is to lean two or three people together, form a three-legged formation like Ulysses, and give the back to someone you trust. If it is one VSN, then find a wall to lean against, at least not to give your back to the enemy. Of course, if personal strength crushes the opponent, these two taboos are not taboos. From this point of view, the Ulysses three are still a bit tactical. Hey, these three old guys are a bit spineless, they didn't even kneel down to beg for mercy, which is a bit interesting. Wei Bin sneered, and with a wave of the Juyu spear, countless shadows of the spear penetrated the void and killed the three Ulysses grandchildren from all directions. Gun rain everywhere. Stop talking nonsense, make a quick deal. Luo Tianzheng sneered, swinging the Juyu axe down hard. Boom. An open sky axe appeared from the void and smashed it at the three Ulysses grandparents. You two moved too fast, right? Want to take credit for it? Feng Dihei laughed and swung his hammers down. Not to be outdone, Wang Zideo, Huang Wei and others blasted at the three with their weapons. In an instant, several violent energies appeared on the heads of Ulysses' grandparents. The trio's complexion changed drastically and they each took out their ability to resist. It's just that August and Phyllis were already inferior to Luo Tianzheng and the others, and there were too many fewer than them. Only after the first round, the two were severely injured and vomited blood. At the same time, the energy fluctuations caused by everyone's fight instantly raised Majia Hall to the ground. Fortunately, the Majia Martial Arts Hall covers a large area, and the two sides dispersed the guests gathered here before the war, otherwise it will affect the surrounding residents. Ma Yinghui suddenly wanted to cry without tears. This is the family business he has worked so hard to buy, so it's destroyed? The key point is that he still dare not demand compensation from both sides of the war, so he can only kill his teeth and swallow blood. Is this a battle between martial arts powerhouses? Sun Liu looked pale and her mind trembled. Before Wei Bin and others fought against Wada Toritaro, it looked like watching a Chinese martial arts movie. Although shocked, it did not exceed her imagination. Now the abilities shown by Wei Bin, Ulysses and others are like destroying the world, completely beyond her imagination. Although the energy shock wave destroyed Ma Jia Wu Hall, Emma Wenchen, Xiao Linjia, and others were not affected in any way under Li Feng's protection. Hey, the rain of guns worth 100 million US dollars just now was carried down by them? Then take another trick of Jiu Yu Zinjiao worth 200 million US dollars. Wei Bin gave a grinning grin, and Jiu Yu spear shot forward, a little star gathered at the tip of the spear and the next moment it exploded in front of the three Ulysses. My $100 million sky-opening giant axe didn't work. It really blows me up. Appear, the thunder from heaven worth 300 million US dollars. Luo Tianzheng roared, picking up the Juyu axe and slashing down, a dazzling thunder was born in the void, banging down. Fuck, can you still have a face? What kind of trick is worth 200 million dollars and 300 million dollars? Look at my trick, which is worth 500 million dollars, blooming. Wang Zideo sneered, and waved his right hand, a black secluded lotus appeared out of thin air, and in a flash, it came to Ulysses and swallowed all the moves of the three. Li Feng, why do their moves still have a price? 
does it mean that they need to pay so much cost for one move? Xiao Linjia asked with a puzzled face. Mo Wenchen and the others are also at a loss. Are demigod level powerhouse fights so expensive, starting with at least $100 million in a move? Who consumes this so much? Ma Yinghui and Sun Liu are even more stunned. Fighting also costs money. I have never heard of it. The corner of Li Feng's mouth twitched, and he said angrily, They are consuming money, they are asking me for money. Hey! Xiao Linjia was puzzled. They think I received 30 billion US dollars, they feel unbalanced, and they want to divide the money and spend it. Li Feng scolded with a smile. As soon as he said this, Xiao Linjia and others immediately understood, and then they couldn't help but get up. These guys are really good enough to ask for money from the boss. This way of asking for money is really, don't make any sense. Perhaps it was the charm of money that made Luo Tianzheng and the others explode with stronger combat power. After this round of attacks, August and Phyllis had been beaten and vomited blood into a coma. Looking at Ulysses again, although he is still barely supporting, he is obviously at the end of the force. There is no need to do another round, and he can be beaten to the ground in half a round. You guys are too inked. Nine to three can still be like this bear. Give me back all of them and leave the rest to me. The other person deducts one billion dollars in salary. Li Feng sneered, and walked into the air, then lifted his foot and stepped on it. Luo Tianzheng and others. No. They were so hard at the price. They thought they could earn hundreds of millions of dollars after the fight, but in the end they owed the boss one billion dollars? Fuck, you can't be too shameless. Puff Xiao Linjia was amused and laughed directly. Even Emma Wenchen and others shook their heads and laughed. This kid Li Feng is really not a master who is willing to suffer, so you really have to pay attention to him in the future. Just as everyone was bewildered, the first step of the seven steps to the sky had been stepped on. Ulysses flushed his face and raised his hand to resist, vomiting blood under the shock. Followed by the second and third steps. When the second step was taken, Ulysses had reached the limit. When the third step was stepped on, Ulysses was stepped directly into the bottom of the pit and lost consciousness. From when Li Feng shouted hands to when Ulysses was stepped on to faint, less than one minute passed, a demigod at the pinnacle, a demigod at a late stage, and a demigod at a mid-stage, was led by Li Feng's violent day Tuan got down on the ground. Such combat power can really be called invincible in the world. After getting Ulysses, Li Feng landed, turned his head and said to Emma Wenchen, Azure Dragon, are you interested in becoming a disciple of Juyu sect? Emma Wenchen was taken aback for a moment, and then he was surprised and wondered, you mean, let me learn nine nether magic art. How is it possible, you think too much? That is, what is nine nether magical technique? The world's number one magical technique. Such a precious technique can only be obtained after many tests. Do you want to learn it? Dreaming. We learned the nine nether god art through many tests at the beginning. Do you want to learn it so easily? What an international joke. Luo Tianzheng and others ridiculed. Nine Yushan art is the foundation of Juyu sect, and only disciples who have passed many tests can practice. Who is Emma Wenchen? Dragon Soul Azure Dragon Envoy. To put it bluntly, if the Dragon Soul had appeared 50 years earlier, he would definitely regard Juyu sect as a thorn in his eyes. Even now, Emma Wenchen must be wary of Juyu sect, let him learn Nine Yushan art? Unless the Sovereign's head is kicked by a donkey. Lao Mo is right, I really want him to learn nine nether god art. Dot. Li Feng glanced at Luo Tianzheng and the others, and said quietly. Luo Tianzheng and others. No. The head of the suzerain was really kicked by the donkey? No way. Mo Wenchen. Before, it was called the Azure Dragon Envoy, but now it is also called Lao Mo, man, rich, ah no, it will go bad if you have strength. Ma Yinghui and Sun Liu were at a loss as to what Nine Yu Song sect and Nine Yushan art sounded like very hanging. 
Xiao Linjia was eager to try. Although Nine Nether Divine Art is a bit evil, it can indeed be called Divine Art. After practicing this skill, you will be able to ignore the barrier of realm, and you can break through all the way as long as you have a suitable furnace. If she can learn. How about old Emo, are you interested? Li Feng looked at Emo Wenchen and asked with a smile. Emo Wenchen's complexion changed several times, and finally shook his head and said, Forget it, I'm already a useless person, I can't learn. His danchen was crushed, and he also learned a woolen nine nether god art, and he would be satisfied after the rest of his life can be safely and steadily passed. It doesn't matter to him to fight and kill. As soon as this remark came out, the eyes of Luo Tianzheng and others became much dim. After two days of getting along, they still admire Emma Wenchen better, and they couldn't bear to see him so disappointed. The other ten Dragon Soul members also bowed their heads dejectedly. They are all genius figures who have been lurking abroad for the benefit of China for many years. Now that Dan Tian has been abolished by the Super Power Bureau and has become a disuse, I can imagine the unwillingness in my heart. What if I can restore your Danchen? Li Feng said with a smile. Emma Wenchen was taken aback for a moment, then shook his head and said, It's impossible. If the meridians are broken and there is still a possibility to connect them, there is absolutely no possibility that the Danchen will be restored. Luo Tianzheng and others just nodded in agreement, and then shook their heads together. If someone else said this, I would definitely not believe it. The boss said so, I believe it 100%. Dot. Wei Bin was the first to stand up and say. He wasn't trying to flatter Li Feng on purpose, but Li Feng's ability had completely convinced him. Not to mention anything else, just say that Li Feng resurrected him with Chu Biao and Feng Dihe. Is this something that people can do? I believe in the boss too. I have to trust the boss, this is absolutely nothing to say. Luo Tianzheng and others also supported Li Feng. Emma Wenchen looked at Luo Tianzheng and the others with his mouth slightly open, and the power of spitting in his heart could no longer be restrained. This group of people are too good at flattering, right? What's the matter, stand Li Feng? To be honest, he hopes that Li Feng has the ability to restore his Danchen more than anyone, but this kind of thing is not possible with hope, this is unheard of in the ancient Chinese martial arts world. Although Li Feng was a wicked evildoer, he was only a wicked evildoer in his personal martial arts cultivation base, restoring his Danchen, he he, just dreaming. Don't you believe it either? Li Feng looked at the other ten Dragon Soul members and asked. The ten people shook their heads together, their eyes still gloomy. Then it is time to witness the miracle. Li Feng smiled slightly and spent one million system points in the system to exchange for a Danchen repair pill, and took it in his hand. Looking at the brown pill that appeared out of nowhere in Li Feng's hands, Emma Wenchen asked in confusion, What is this? Danchen repair pill your Danchen will be restored after taking it. Li Feng handed the pill to Emma Wenchen and said with a smile, Would you like to try it? Emma Wenchen took a breath, and then said nervously, Li Feng, this kind of joke is not a good idea. His current mood is both excited and anxious. He hopes that this pill can really restore his Danchen as Li Feng said, and he is worried that Li Feng is playing with him and making him happy. The rest of the Ten Dragon Soul members were in the same mood, and they felt like their hearts jumped out of their throats. Does it make sense for me to joke with you? You are not a beauty. Try it quickly, and be sure to surprise you. Li Feng stuffed the pill into Emma Wenchen's hands and smiled. Emma Wenchen took the pill and turned to look at Luo Tianzheng and the others, you explain to me, what is a surprise? Luo Tianzheng and the others looked at each other. Yes, what is a surprise? Why do you eat or not, and if you don't, give it back to me? Li Feng was unhappy, and after learning a few lines, he would show off to him, right? Hey, I just said casually, active and active. Emma Wenchen held the pill tightly and said with a smile. He is active in an active atmosphere, but more is to decompress himself. Now that his goal has been achieved, 
he can have no psychological burden. Ah yeah, there is no psychological burden on wool, so who can be without psychological burden? Forget it, a dead horse is a living horse doctor, what if it works? Thinking about this, Emma Wenchen swallowed the pill. The pill melted in his mouth, a coolness was produced in his body, and then he felt a warm air in the Danchen part. Effective. Feeling this change, Emma Wenchen couldn't help but smiled and exclaimed. The Ten Dragon Soul members shocked, and the look on their faces became more intense. After the heat appeared, Emma Wenchen felt that the pubic area was a little itchy, just like the feeling when the wound was healing. When the itching disappeared, Emma Wenchen discovered that his danchen had really recovered. Really effective. I recovered. I can practice again. At this moment, Emma Wenchen cried with joy. Since his danchen was abolished, not only was his body older than a dozen years old, but his mind was also much older, and his lofty ambitions turned into flying ashes. Originally, he had already convinced himself that after returning to China, he would be an ordinary person steadily. He never thought. Li Feng could recover his danchen. The big ups and downs in life are so exciting. Really. The Azure Dragon Envoy has recovered. My God, I can't believe all this. The other ten Dragon Soul members all looked at Li Feng in shock, their eyes hot. Li Feng sighed and said helplessly, Don't look at me like that. Danchen repair pills are very precious. If you want it, you must join Zhuyu sect. Ten Dragon Soul members. Listening to what Li Feng said just now, they thought they had no hope of getting it, so they were so desperate to cry. I never thought that Li Feng's conversation turned out to be asking them to join the Nine Yu sect. The car going to Dongying doesn't take such a rush, right? Now the problem is coming. They really want to restore their Danchen very urgently, but the matter of joining the Zhuyu sect. They can't be the master. They are members of the Dragon Soul, and all orders must be listened to by the Dragon Soul. If any member can leave the Dragon Soul at will, then the Dragon Soul will not be called the Dragon Soul. Li Feng, why did you let us join the Nine Yu sect, with the current strength of the Nine Yu sect, even if we join in, it won't have any effect, right? Emma Wenchen had a clear view of his own position, knowing that with his ability, entering the Nine Yu sect was just a mess. Nine Demigod Pinnacle Elders, can they still make him a leader? Li Feng smiled playfully, only when you enter Zhuyu sect, I can teach you Nine Yushan art, because there are three great furnace tripods at the scene, don't you want to restore your strength as soon as possible? Emma Wenchen and others. Luo Tianzheng and others. No. Li Feng actually wanted to give the three of Daniel's grandparents to Emma Wenchen? I will go, no, these are three semi-god level powerhouses. Li Feng, you, are you kidding? Emma Wenchen's breathing was so fast. If he really does what Li Feng said, then he is likely to become a demigod powerhouse, so how can Ren Kang Sheng rob Xiao Xian Xian from him? Hey Rong. Xiao Xian Xian is now Li Feng's, even if he becomes a demigod powerhouse, it seems that he can't beat Li Feng? Okay, think about it first, let me deal with the scene first. It has been almost five minutes since the three Daniel's grandparents were knocked out, and there must have been a lot of people's attention. If no one continues to stay here, the words are a bit too arrogant. President Ma, how much does your martial arts gym cost? Li Feng looked at Ma Yinghui and asked. Ma Yinghui was taken aback for a moment, then waved his hand and said, It's worthless and worthless, Mr. Li, hurry up and take someone away. When the police ask me, I will say that the natural gas exploded. He understood that Li Feng wanted to compensate him, but could he ask for the money? I can or dare not want it. This is a demigod boss. Li Feng shook his head and smiled. Chairman Ma has seen you, and we are compatriots. You did speak for me just now. The destruction of the martial arts hall is indeed related to us. I should pay for this money. Furthermore, didn't I just receive 30 billion in compensation, 
the money for your martial arts training hall is just a drop in the bucket to me. Although Ma Yinghui's actions made him uncomfortable, one yard went to one yard. If he hadn't come here, Ma Yinghui's martial arts hall would not be raised to the ground, and the money that should be lost would still be lost. This. Ma Yinghui hesitated, he was not sure whether Li Feng was sincere or fake. Just tell me how much the martial arts hall is. Li Feng used mind reading to Ma Yinghui. Ma Yinghui looked bitter, Mr. Li, this. The cost is one million dollars? I'll give you two million and give me the card number. Li Feng was too lazy to follow Ma Yinghui's ink. Ma Yinghui was stunned, ah, how do you know? Card number, hurry up. Li Feng said impatiently. Ma Yinghui did not hesitate to tell Li Feng the card number. Li Feng took out his mobile phone and swiftly transferred two million US dollars to Ma Yinghui. After seeing the received text message, Ma Yinghui was still wondering if he was dreaming. Li Feng actually gave him money, and it was twice the cost? But the question is how did Li Feng know that his martial arts gym cost 1 million US dollars? System, how many system points are needed to completely eliminate this impact? Li Feng has taken his attention back and started communicating with the system. 100 million system points. The systematic answer directly surprised Li Feng. Damn it, 100 million system points are enough for him to buy 10 resurrection pills in any situation. Why so much, did you hack me on purpose? Li Feng let out a suffocating breath and asked. Please trust the system's calculations. The system's answer is as steady as an old dog. Is it Raphael's influence? Li Feng touched his chin and thought about it. Only the guests who came to the opening ceremony knew about this. Most of these guests were ordinary people, and it wouldn't take too many points to change their memories. Since the system gives a response of 100 million system points it shows that there are circumstances that Li Feng does not know. Reminiscent of what Ulysses Daniel said before, they came to find their own thing and told Raphael, then the sky-high value of 100 million points is likely to be related to Raphael. Only Raphael would not have so many words. Did he tell this to the other elders of God's paradise? Li Feng considered it for a while, and finally gave up to completely eliminate the impact of this matter. He now holds 220 million points and 100 million is too ruinous, and what if Raphael knows, it will be a team fight. Anyway, this is the United States, and he doesn't feel sorry for the landslides. How many points does it take to modify the memories of the residents of Chinatown and the guests of the Majia Wuguan? Li Feng changed his mind. Since the impact cannot be completely eliminated, only part of it will be eliminated. This incident is too amazing, letting these ordinary people know is not good for them. 100,000 system points. The answer from the system made Li Feng breathe a sigh of relief. If the system gets more than 10 million system points he really has to think about whether the system thinks he is rich and can kill it hard. At the moment Li Feng did not hesitate anymore. After consuming 100,000 system points, the system began to intervene. At the same time, he asked Luo Tianzheng, Wei Bin and Chu Biao to take Daniel's grandson and grandson to a distant bus. After a while, Ma Yinghui's complexion changed and then he glanced at the ruins behind him, smiled bitterly, the power of the natural gas explosion is too great and it has destroyed my martial arts gym. Fortunately, Mr. Lee evacuated the guests in time, otherwise. In short, on behalf of my relatives, friends and neighbors, I would like to express my gratitude to Mr. Lee. Although Sun Lu on the side did not speak, the grateful eyes she looked at Li Feng were enough to explain her mood at the moment. Mo Wenchen and others. Xiao Linjia. No. Ma Yinghui is acting with them here, it's kind of like that. And what does Sun Lu's grateful look mean? It's nothing more than a hand, it's okay, we still have something to do, so we will leave first, Chairman Ma take care. Li Feng arched his hands, turned and took Mo Wenchen and Xiao Linjia onto the bus far away. Li Feng, what's going on? I don't think Ma Yinghui is like acting. 
After getting in the car and sitting down, Xiao Linjia couldn't help asking. Emma Wenchen and the others also looked at Li Feng curiously. It was obvious that Xiao Linjia had just expressed their doubts. Li Feng was taken aback for a moment, and then naturally said, Isn't it what the acting is, is this unclear? All right, let's not say much, let's go back to the hotel. Everyone looked at each other, Li Feng was obviously guilty of conscience, but he couldn't make him admit it if he didn't admit it, so he could only suppress doubts in his heart. Li Feng bought three large suitcases from the system mall, and packed all three of Daniel's grandparents into them. When the bus drove to the door, Luo Tianzheng, Wei Bin, and Chu Biao pulled their suitcases and followed Li Feng into the elevator. Back in the room, Li Feng placed a layer of infuriating energy barrier, and then said, How are you thinking about it? Do you want to join the Juyu sect? The Ten Dragon Soul members looked at each other. To be honest, they really wanted to join the Nine Yu sect, after all, only when they joined the Nine Yu sect, Li Feng would give them Danchen repair pills. But this is not something they can add if they want, it has to be approved by the organization. Okay, I'll call the shots for you, join. With a big wave of his hand, Emma Wenchen regained his domineering spirit as a dragon soul and blue dragon envoy. He could understand it. Li Feng wanted to give them a great opportunity. If you don't grasp this opportunity well, isn't it a flood in your mind? and he believed that even if the leader knew about this, he would not object to it. It is the tradition of the dragon soul to protect the calf. Things that are of great benefit to the opponents, and there is no harm to the dragon soul, no leader will refuse. Emissary Ching Long, you didn't joke with us. This is a big deal, you can't regret it in the future. Yes, as your dragon envoy, if we enter the Nine Yu sect, we will have nothing to do with the Dragon Soul. Ten Dragon Soul members pressed their excitement and asked nervously. When did I ask the sky to lie to you? If you don't believe me, I will call Xiang Tianya now and tell him this personally. Emma Wenchen hesitated after taking out his phone. This is the United States. If he calls Xiang Tianya, will he be bugged by Lao Mi? After all, when it comes to eavesdropping methods, Lao Mi is more powerful and wretched than any other country. Li Feng shrugged, don't worry about being tapped, you can just hit it. Although the United States has developed eavesdropping technology, it is only a younger brother in the face of system intervention. It is good. Emma Wenchen nodded, dialed Xiang Tianya's cell phone, and pressed the hands-free button. Hey, Dragon Head, this is Emma Wenchen. Old Emma. You were rescued by Li Feng. Otherwise, is it the Super Bureau that asked me to call you? Emma Wenchen rolled his eyes and said uncomfortably. I knew that this kid Li Feng could do it, I knew it. At this time, Shen Zixuan's voice came from the phone. Emma Wenchen. No. Why is Xiao Xian Xian here? Having said that, Xiao Suang Suan's words are also heartbreaking, praise Li Feng in front of him too much. That is necessary, I have said that Li Feng, this kid is not immortal, no one in this life can convince me Luo Tebe completely, Li Feng is the first. Luo Tebe's voice also came over. Lao Luo, I don't like to hear what you said. I know Li Feng is awesome, but Brother Xiang is not awesome anymore. Why are you still not convinced with Brother Xiang? Ren Kang Sheng sneered. Emma Wenchen. Ten Dragon Soul Members Fuck, the Dragon Head and the three big Dragon Envoys gathered together, did the Dragon Soul encounter a huge crisis and need the four of them to be dispatched collectively? But listening to their tone does not seem like a crisis. Fuck, old Ren, are you here to provoke my relationship with Brother Xiang? Luo Tebe was unhappy. Xiang Tianya chuckled and didn't persuade him to fight. Just as the two were about to fall into endless quarrels, Shen Zixuan sneered and said, Can you shut up for the old lady? Uh. Shen Zixuan's words were so powerful that they immediately closed their mouths. Then Shen Zixuan asked, Old Emmo, you let Li Feng answer the phone. Emmo Wenchen curled his lips, 
Li Feng is on the side, you can just say it, he can hear it. Yes, I can hear it. Li Feng Chiang said with a smile. Li Feng, you are really amazing, I will reward you when you come back, you know. Shen Zixuan's enchanting voice came, and the atmosphere in the room suddenly became weird. The corner of Li Feng's mouth twitched, Zixuan, there are more than twenty people in the room now, please pay attention to influence when you speak. Bah, it's an old husband and wife, pay attention to any influence, I don't care, you come back quickly, I miss you, would and would. Shen Zixuan didn't care about this, she just said something out of her mind. As for what others think of her? What is her business? Emma Wenchen clutched his chest, in grief and anger. Ren Kangshen's melancholy voice also came from the phone. This way of spreading dog food is outrageous. Ah, get back to business, when will you come back? Xiang Tianya pulled back his style and time, turning the romantic idol drama into a spy movie. I don't know yet. Emma Wenchen sighed. His thoughts still stuck on Shen Zixuan's would ah uh, wouldn't ah. Uh. Don't hurry back as soon as possible. Xiang Tianya asked doubtfully. What are you going to do? I'm not from Dragon Soul anymore. Emma Wenchen said angrily. Xiang Tianya. Ah, uh, Xiang Longtu, this is the situation. Li Feng took the mobile phone and briefly explained the situation of Emma Wenchen and others. When Xiang Tianya and the others heard that Emma Wenchen and their Danchen were abolished by the Super Power Bureau, a sound of broken things came from the phone. They should have smashed things in the room. When Li Feng said that he helped Emma Wenchen restore his Danchen, he shouted OK. To Tianya and the others. When Li Feng said he wanted Emma Wenchen and others to join Zhu sect, Xiang Tianya and others were silent. I don't know how long it has passed and he spit out a murky breath to Tianye, since joining the Nine Yu sect can restore their strength, it is naturally fine, we have no objection. Furthermore, you also walked out of our Dragon Soul. Dragon Soul and Zhu Yu sect are brothers, and there is no need to distinguish between you and me. Yes, in the future, if Zhu Yu sect encounters any trouble, you will scream, our Dragon Soul will definitely help. Ren Kang Sheng shouted on the phone. The two ribs are piercing the sword and the sword is in flames, brothers will put the words here, and the leverage. Luo Tebei also agreed. Li Feng. No. I wonder if the dragon soul doesn't even have a demigod powerhouse, right? If the Nine Yu sect with ten demigods with peak combat power is in trouble that can't be solved, then what is the use of the dragon soul, giving food? Fuck. We are shameless enough with my feet. I didn't expect that there is something more shameless than us, with a long experience. Don't you just want to tie the Nine Yu sect to the Dragon Soul Chariot, talking so convoluted, when we are all fools? Hey, it's just because of the Master's face, otherwise I will definitely know these goods after returning to China. Luo Tianzheng and the others sneered. Li Feng, these goods are all yours? You let them come to me, I think they dare not touch my hair. Shen Zixuan sneered on the phone. The corner of Li Feng's mouth twitched, and he turned to look at Luo Tianzheng and the others with an expression of good luck. Luo Tianzheng and others. Luo Tianzheng and the others are crying so fast. Sect Master, we are speaking for Zhu Yu Sect, how can you let it go? Are you worthy of the title of suzerain? The more Luo Tianzheng and others thought about it, the more resentful they became, and their eyes were so red. Li Feng shuddered, and smiled dryly, Ah, Zi Xian, we are brothers. Any contradiction can't be solved by a hot pot. Haha, <laughs> I want to turn this over after a hot pot meal? No way. Shen Zixuan sneered. Luo Tianzheng and the others twitched. This woman is overbearing enough even dare not to give the sovereign's face? The key suzerain has no temper. Sweet dog, sweet to nothing at the end. Then how do you solve it? Li Feng was a little helpless. At least two meals, you must go to Hei Lao. Shen Zixuan said angrily. The corner of Li Feng's mouth hooked, 
don't say two meals, two hundred meals are no problem. Xiaolinjia curled her mouth, feeling very uncomfortable in her heart. Why is Li Feng so gentle to other women, but cold to her? Is she not pretty enough? Or is she unflattering? Humph, wait, he will be so gentle to me one day. Xiaolinjia secretly made up her mind. Okay, we have no problem with Lao Mo and the others joining Juyu sect. You can do it yourself. Come back early. Shen Zixuan hung up after speaking. Li Feng touched the tip of his nose, turned his head to look at Luo Tianzheng and the others, and they quickly bowed their heads and dared not look at him. Okay, don't worry about hot pot. Don't be too restrictive if you encounter a dragon soul. Except for Shen Zixuan, no one else needs to worry about it. Of course, if you don't have a valid reason, don't do anything with the dragon soul members. After all, the two parties have a long history and it's not good for anyone to suffer. Li Feng shook his head and smiled, and exhorted. Luo Tianzheng and the others suddenly became more balanced, Hey, I said that the Lord is not the kind of fearful person. Hi, the sect master is our sect master, he must be towards us. In short, the Lord is awesome. Mo Wenchen looked at each other with the other ten dragon soul members. Have you made a decision now? Li Feng asked. It's done, I will join Zhuyu sect. I will join too. Telling the leader that the two parties are brothers, then they hesitate to join in. Very good, these are ten Danchen repair pills, you can eat them separately. Li Feng put ten porcelain bottles on the coffee table, and soon the ten dragon soul members took one each, poured out the Danchen repair pills inside and swallowed it. After a few minutes, my Danchen really recovered. I can practice again. This is a rebirth. The ten dragon soul members cried with joy. Mo Wenchen's eye sockets were also a little moist, and he wiped his eye sockets shortly afterwards, and shouted, Will you come to see the Lord with me? Meet the sect master. Under the leadership of Mo Wenchen, ten members of the dragon soul knelt towards Li Feng on one knee and knocked heavily. This time not only worshipped the Lord, but also thanked Li Feng for repairing their danchen and giving them the grace of rebirth. Li Feng accepted their worship frankly, and then he waved them up and lifted them up, a man-man, he only worships heaven and earth parents throughout his life. There is no such rule of kneeling suzerain in Juyu sect, understand. Mo Wenchen and others were relieved, understood, sovereign. They don't have any psychological burden on this kneeling, and if you let them kneel later, they might have ideas. Even if the others didn't, Emma Wenchen would definitely have it in his heart. He used to be Li Feng's immediate boss. Although Li Feng has grown to be someone who needs him to look up, he really can't accept letting him kneel to Li Feng, except for the moment. Li Feng looked at Luo Tianzheng and the others, Lao Luo. You first the three of Daniel's grandparents into the supreme state, and then teach them the nine serenities to help them absorb the remaining energy. Even if you learn the nine nether god art, some of the energy is not just as you want. Without the help of Luo Tianzheng and others, Emma Wenchen and others who had just recovered their Danchen would not even be able to absorb an A-level powerhouse. Even with the help of Luo Tianzheng and others, the furnace cauldron must be lower than their realm to be able to control it. Understood, boss, just look forward to it. Wei Bin smiled and hooked his finger at Emma Wenchen. Emma Wenchen rolled his eyes and raised his foot to Luo Tianzheng and walked over, Elder Luo, please teach me the nine nether magic art, please. He just thinks that Wei Bin is too serious, or Luo Tianzheng is more serious. Luo Tianzheng smiled turned his head and looked at Wei Bin provocatively. Hey, I said you are old Mo, why are you still picky, do you think I can't teach you? Wei Bin said uncomfortably. Mo Wenchen watched his nose and nose without saying a word. Okay, hurry up, this is in the United States. Li Feng was afraid that Wei Bin's ink will be endless, and reminded him. As expected, Wei Bin didn't bother with this anymore and turned his head away with a cold snort. Li Feng, I, can I learn? 
Xiao Linjia walked to Li Feng and asked in a low voice. Li Feng glanced at her, shook his head and said, No. Xiao Linjia's complexion collapsed and she asked aggrievedly, Why not? I'm very sincere. It's not good if you have sincerity. If you are not righteous, once you learn the Nine Nether Divine Art, you will inevitably do bad things. Li Feng did not save Xiao Linjia's face, and directly expressed his concerns. Xiao Linjia. No. I have shown so much sincerity, and Li Feng still feels that her heart is not right? If you really change the evil and return to righteousness, I will naturally have a better technique to teach you. Li Feng blinked and said with deep meaning. What better exercise? Not only Xiao Linjia was interested, but Luo Tianzheng, Emma Wenchen, and others also pricked their ears. They have always been curious about how Li Feng let his realm fly upwards like riding a rocket, and now it seems that it should be because of the cultivation technique. If they can also learn Li Feng's exercises. This exercise is passed on from female to male. Li Feng said angrily when he saw Luo Tianzheng and the others' ears raised. Although Luo Tianzheng and the others did not believe it, Li Feng had no choice but to turn his head back angrily if he didn't admit it. Passing females but not males. Xiao Linjia was taken aback for a moment, then thoughtfully. Half an hour later, Luo Tianzheng and the others attracted the three of Daniel's grandparents to the supreme peak. Unfortunately, they did not break through the realm by absorbing the abilities of the three Daniel's grandparents, but their true energy was stronger than before. After another two hours, Emma Wenchen and others completely mastered the Nine Nether Magic Art. With the help of Luo Tianzheng and others, they began to absorb the energy of Daniel's grandparents. One hour later, Emma Wenchen's realm reached the Supreme Peak Realm like a rocket soaring. The remaining ten Dragon Soul members have also attracted themselves to become the peak level powerhouses. Xiao Linjia's beautiful eyes are full of colors. Zhu Yuzong's Nine Yushan art is so terrifying. I, have I reached the highest peak? Emma Wenchen felt the power in his body that was several times stronger than before, and his face was incredulous. When he was abolished from his danshan, he was only in the midterm of the Supreme. As a result, he became the peak of the Supreme after his danshan was restored. The big ups and downs in life are so exciting. The other ten Dragon Soul members were even more excited, because the strongest one of them before was only a transcendent level, and the realm had progressed by leaps and bounds into a holy realm. This joy was beyond words. Ding, congratulations to the host, the helping others task is completed, and the task rewards are being issued. Ding, congratulations to the host, gain 1 million experience points 2 million system points and 20 conquest points as rewards. Just when Emma Wenchen and others were excited about their breakthrough, Li Feng also received a reminder of the task completion. Host, Li Feng. Level, Demigod. Experience value, 99.02 million slash 100 million. System points, 210 million. Conquer points, 3,255. Skills, Shenwei, Void God, 7 steps in the sky, Sword of Slashing the Sky. Void Flash, Between Square Inches, Guardian of the Green Mountain, 36 Forms of Tian Gang, Rage, Cloud Explorer. Task to be completed, The Birth of Titanic. After reading his personal attributes, Li Feng whispered to himself, There is still a gap of 980,000 to be upgraded. I will die and live. This kind of feeling is like playing Drop City and Weak Warriors. It's about to be upgraded and the fatigue is gone. It's crazy, okay? More importantly, if you play the game, the fatigue point will be restored the next day, and Li Feng doesn't know when he wants to upgrade. It hurts. In the next time, Li Feng led the crowd out of the hotel and found a Chinese restaurant for dinner. Because Emma Wenchen and the others not only recovered their danshan, their realm was also greatly improved than before and they all joined the 9U sect, so everyone's mood was very high. There was a lot of enthusiasm during the dinner. At this moment, 
Li Feng suddenly received a call from Joey. Hey, Li Feng, what's going on? Why are your shares in the tornado team frozen? Joey asked urgently on the phone. Li Feng? No. Why didn't he know that the shares of the were frozen? Joy, don't worry, speak slowly, what the is going on, I'm at a loss now. Li Feng let out a suffocating breath and said in a deep voice. You don't know yet? Okay, okay, I get it. Joey took a few deep breaths and adjusted his emotions. Then he said, that's right, I just received a call from a friend who is very well connected on Wall Street. He told me that if by AI applied to freeze your tornado shares and asked me what happened, so I called you. Li, what have you done recently? Have you offended someone? Li Feng's face changed several times, and he smiled, Joy, I am a serious businessman, how can I offend people? Don't worry, this should be just a misunderstanding, don't think too much. But... Joey wanted to say something, but was interrupted by Li Feng, Joy, even if I really offend someone, it won't be a drag on you, will it? Drink some whiskey then take a good night's sleep, maybe tomorrow is there a turnaround. Lee, I'm not afraid of being involved by you, I'm worried about you, anyway. I will use my relationship to help you inquire about the news, don't worry. Joey's voice was a bit solemn and determined. He could hear that he really wanted to help Lee Feng, not afraid of being involved by Lee Feng. Of course, I believe you, but I can handle this matter well as long as you play well in the game. Li Feng said with a smile. The next two said a few more words, and then ended the call. Boss, what's the situation? Wei Bin asked first. Li Feng frowned slightly, my tornado shares were frozen. According to Joey, Ivy B did it. Ivy by AI. Everyone was taken aback for a moment, and then they all thought of one person, could it be Hunter Bray? The only person they knew was Hunter Bray as Ivy B, and he also forged a beam with Li Feng. If if Beery wanted to trouble Li Feng, it must be Hunter Bray. It's definitely not him. Li Feng directly shook his head and denied that Hunter Bray was his servant and it was impossible to betray him. Just when everyone was thinking about who was going to engage in Li Feng, Li Feng received another call. Hey boss, the big event is not good. Your HN Pictures shares are frozen. Schneider, the director of the operation department of HN Pictures, said anxiously on the phone. Li Feng raised his eyebrows, Okay, I see, this is a misunderstanding, don't panic. Even the shares of HN Pictures have been frozen, and it seems that someone is really eyeing him. Who is the one? After comforting Schneider, Li Feng hung up the phone. It was just not long before Li Feng received another call from the manager of the Massa Casino, Boss, it's not good, the Massa Casino has been blocked by Ivy by AI. Li Feng raised his eyebrows and let out a sulky breath, Okay, I know, don't panic. This is just a misunderstanding and it will be resolved soon. Go home and wait for news. The salary during this period will be issued. I will call. After finishing the call, Li Feng rubbed his eyebrows and said with a gloomy face, the other party is coming so aggressively, it is probably our actions that have been exposed. He did three things this time when he came to the United States. One was to rescue Emma Wenchen and others from the Super Power Bureau headquarters, the other was to smash the Kigwan Yangmu of Toro Taro and Li Zhehe, and the third was to defeat Daniel's grandson. Three people. Any one of these three things can cause the current result. So now it doesn't make much sense to consider how it is exposed, the key is how to solve it. At this moment, Xiao Linjia picked up the phone and said, Li Feng, look at this news. Li Feng didn't ask much, took a look at the phone, and then he looked weird, my little master is so awesome now. Does it threaten Lao Mi's national security? Emma Wenchen and others came to be interested, what news? Here, take a look. Li Feng gave the phone to Emma Wenchen amused. Wow. Luo Tianzheng and others leaned forward, staring at the phone. Li Feng, 
a Chinese citizen, is now included in the world's most wanted list for suspected of engaging in KB activities in the United States. The Massa Casino under its name is now closed in accordance with the law because it threatens national security. In addition, some of the shares of the two companies, the Tornado Club and HN Pictures held by Li Feng, were frozen in accordance with the law. Asvil Group Co., Ltd., which it operates in China, is included in the list of unreliable entities. Any individual or company that has business dealings with this company will be sanctioned accordingly. Release Unit, if by AI. After reading this news, Luo Tianzheng and others fell into a state of bewilderment. Nima, how dare I treat my boss like this? It's over. It's the end, it's really the end, I've by A has a big deal. I'm really fucking, who is the person in charge of this IVB? Even our boss dares to be wanted? Why doesn't he go to heaven? He doesn't go to heaven, let's send him to heaven, boss, give an order, let us send him to heaven. Yes, boss, give the order, the great power in my brothers is almost out of control. Originally, the style of painting was quite serious. Everyone couldn't hold back Chu Biao's uncontrollable. God can't hold it, you can't hold it. How come it can't hold it, let me ask you. Can you speak? That, did I say something wrong? Seeing everyone looking at him with bad eyes, Chu Biao was panicked. Come and translate for me, what is uncontrollable, what is special uncontrollable, translate and translate. Yes, translate. Luo Tianzheng and others glared at Chu Biao and said coldly. Chu Biao groaned for two seconds. Ah, the translation means, I can't hold it. Luo Tianzheng and others. Xiao Linjia. Okay, shut up, so many people are watching. Li Feng rolled his eyes and said angrily. Li Feng, you are the one they looked at. Mo Wenchen sighed and said helplessly. Although the diners in the restaurant peeped at Li Feng from time to time, they also took the initiative to find Li Feng for autographs and group photos. But then they were curious eyes, but now they are frightened. From his years of anti-tracking experience, it can be seen that Li Feng has been exposed. These diners have already read this news. Li Feng also saw that the eyes of those people were wrong, and he was a little surprised. Just now he glanced at the news release time, which was five minutes ago, and the diners in the restaurant knew it. It's a bit faster, right? Boss. You are watching TV. Wei Bin pointed to the TV hanging on the wall in the distance and said in surprise. When everyone turned their heads and looked, they saw an emergency news broadcast on the TV. The host was introducing the situation in English, and the picture of Li Feng appeared on the big screen behind the host. After about 10 seconds, the screen changed, and pictures of Luo Tianzheng, Emma Wenchen, and others began to be displayed in turn. Fuck. Lao Luo, have you seen it, I'm on TV. Wei Bin excitedly pointed to his picture on TV and said. Luo Tianzheng curled his lips and said with a smug look, I'm on TV too, did I say anything? That is, everyone is on TV, what's so exciting? Chu Biao said with a trembling tone. Although the others didn't say anything, the excitement on their faces could not be hidden. Li Feng Mo Wenchen and others. No. Is it honorable to be wanted on TV? Besides, they are all demigod pinnacle powerhouses, and can't control it on TV? Can you be more reserved? Ah, Miss Xiao is on TV too. At this moment, Xiao Linja's photo appeared on the TV screen. A closer look reveals that this photo is of Xiao Linja in the hotel corridor, with Li Feng's body next to it. Xiao Linja's face changed slightly, why am I even wanted? Only Li Feng was written in the news. Are you full? If you are full, let's leave here as soon as possible. Emma Wenchen said solemnly. What's the hurry, the food is only half eaten. Li Feng picked up his chopsticks again, put a piece of beef into his mouth, and said with a smile. Luo Tianzheng smiled, old Emma. Since you have joined the Nine Yu sect, 
you should learn to be a little tougher. That's it, these are all trivial matters, and it doesn't affect our meals at all. Wei Bin picked up the wine glass and motioned to Mo Wenchen to clink it. Mo Wenchen twitched the corners of his mouth, saying that he was all wanted by Lao Mi, and it was a trivial matter. Why are these people so big? But he changed his mind. There are ten demigod pinnacle powerhouses here, and even if Lao Mi sends an army over, they can't be helped. Unless they use nuclear bombing directly, they may be able to keep Li Feng and others here, but then LSJ will be gone. To put it bluntly, wherever there is strength, it is safe, and if there is no strength, it can be found underground. Understood, drink. Mo Wenchen no longer struggled and started to work with Wei Bin when he picked up his wine glass. The restaurant owner who has been paying attention to the situation here is stupid. Damn it, he still thought about how Li Feng and others hurriedly flashed after they saw the news, why are they still drinking here like a okay person? Now the question is, does he want to call the police? At the same time, other diners put down their chopsticks, put their money on the table and fled here in a hurry. Don't eat anything special at this time. Maybe the next moment this will be the scene of the gun battle. If you continue to stay here, you can't take a gun? Boss, don't worry, just call the police. When all the guests were gone, Li Feng said with a smile. Hey, you are slow, what? Report, report to the police. The boss thought Li Feng was leaving, but he never thought that Li Feng would call him the police. He thought he had auditory hallucinations. Yes, you heard it right, call the police, otherwise you are harboring criminals and you will be jointly and severally liable. Li Feng said with a gentle smile. No. No, don't report it, you can leave as soon as possible. The restaurant owner wiped off his cold sweat and said with a smile. Li Feng shook his head and smiled. He took out his cell phone and dialed 119, Hey, this is Li Feng. At XX Chinese Restaurant, we have half an hour to finish dinner. You can send someone to catch me. Operator. Restaurant owner. He took the initiative to call the police to expose his position. Is he going to surrender? At the same time, China. Early in the morning, the Weibo server almost went down. Fuck, Li Feng is so hungry, using his own power to make the United States initiate sanctions. Fuck, what the did Li Feng do to make Lao Mi move so hard? I have limited knowledge. Has anyone been treated this way by Lao Mi before Li Feng? Yes, there are quite a few, but each one is a ruthless person from a certain country. Li Feng was sanctioned by the US. Became the number one hot search and broke the entire network. People don't understand, why Li Feng was suddenly sanctioned by Lao Mi when he had been making trouble in the United States before. So what did he do? Don't just order somewhere, it will be awesome. But no matter what, in the current international situation, the more sanctioned Lao Mi is, the better the understanding and support of Huaxia people will be gained. Soon, a backup team supporting Li Feng appeared on the internet and the number of people rose linearly. Not only that, the relevant departments also urgently held a press conference to condemn Lao Mi's behavior. At the same time, related news spread to other parts of the world, and Li Feng's fans condemned Lao Mi's hegemony. For a time, Li Feng once again became a hot news worldwide. At this time, Li Feng was still eating dinner calmly in the Chinese restaurant. It's been more than ten minutes. Why haven't the police come? Damn, this LSJ police found that the efficiency is too low, right? Is this the number one power? Li Feng, you are also a well-known taxpayer in LSJ. Why are you so underestimated? I think you have to reflect on it. Luo Tianzheng and the others drank the wine graciously without any tension. Of course, it was not Luo Tianzheng and the others who made fun of Li Feng but Emma Wenchen. Among them, Emma Wenchen would dare to tease Li Feng, after all, he was once Li Feng's leader. Li Feng rolled his eyes, although I called the police, 
I am not the victim. I surrendered. Maybe they think I am a big taxpayer, so they are embarrassed to arrest me. Mo Wenchen was taken aback for a moment, and then he touched his chin and muttered, What you said is so reasonable, why can't I refute it? That is necessary, in terms of logical ability, I am not targeting anyone, I mean everyone in this room is scumbag in front of the boss. Wei Bin smiled proudly and said. Everyone. No. They really haven't seen anyone who still looks proud when they say they are scumbags. It's the end brother. Lee. Mr. Lee, the food, the food is ready, do you have any other needs? At this time the boss came over with a sweet and sour carp and asked cautiously. No, do you want to leave? Li Feng raised his eyelids and said with a smile. The boss trembled and almost threw the tray away, no. No, I am the boss here, where am I, going? Leave here and go to the other side of the ocean, where is your hometown, where you have your roots? Chu Biao said in a low tone, like a traveler who had been away from home for many years. Li Feng. Other people. No. Since he couldn't control it, Chu Biao's artistic atmosphere is a bit overwhelming. Wen Qing has possessed him, right? Isn't it that serious? The restaurant owner was frightened. This is just to persuade him to leave the United States and return to China. He didn't do anything too outrageous. Why was he going to be deported? Okay, this guy Wen Qing is in possession, don't listen to him nonsense. If you leave now, this matter has nothing to do with you. It will be troublesome for you to stay here, so you can take someone away quickly. Li Feng put down his chopsticks and said with a smile. There will be a fierce battle later, the restaurant owner is just an ordinary person, and the aftermath of the battle can kill him. Okay, I see, thank you Mr. Li. The restaurant owner breathed a sigh of relief, and left the restaurant as if fleeing immediately. Boss, did you find it's quiet outside? After the restaurant owner left, Wei Bin pricked his ears to listen to the movement outside, and then said with a weird expression. I found out. From five minutes ago, there were no cars on the streets outside, and pedestrians disappeared two minutes ago. Li Feng took a sip from the wine glass and said with a smile. Although he did not go out of the restaurant to observe the situation outside, his ears could clearly detect the situation within a kilometer. In other words, within one kilometer, Li Feng can hear anyone's breathing. Therefore, no one can avoid Li Feng's deliberate exploration, unless the opponent's realm is the same as or above him. This is the clearing? It's thorough enough. No. I don't understand. There is a dense flow of people here. How did Lao Mi clear them away? I didn't hear the alarm. Yeah, I can't figure it out, can old M.O. figure it out? Cut, we, the superpowers of the demigod pinnacle do not understand things, can he, the supreme pinnacle, figure it out? Wei Bin curled his lips and said with a look of disdain. M.O. Wenchen clicked the corner of his mouth and knocked on the table and said, I really want to understand this. Cut, it's impossible. Wei Bin curled his lips, then Zhuangruo said inadvertently, Hey, I also thought of it. In this way, you first say what you think of, and then compare it with me to see if we are I didn't think of a piece. Li Feng. Other people. Was Wei Bin so shameless? He even thought of this way? That's it. Mo Wenchen touched his chin and smiled, How about you say it first, and then let me see if we thought of one. Wei Bin's face blushed and coldly snorted, I proposed this method first. I have to do what I said. Don't ask, because I have a big fist. Mo Wenchen almost laughed, ready to play tricks when he is wrong. You two should write all your thoughts on paper and give it to me, or you can send it to me and let me be the judge. Li Feng said angrily and funny. That's a great idea, Li Feng is great. Xiao Linjia slapped her face and said proudly. Wei Bin suddenly complained, Sect Master, Lao Mo is a rookie, you can't favor him. Old and new is the tradition of the Juyu sect. You, 
an elder, can't bully the newcomer. Li Feng said angrily. Wei Bin's tone was stagnant and stopped speaking. If other people are here, they must think that Li Feng and others are crazy. In the case of being wanted by Ivy by AI around the world, it is incredible that they can still talk and laugh like no one else here. Well, old Mo, tell me your opinion. Li Feng knocked on the table and smiled. It's very simple. Now is the information age. As long as you use the communication base station to send emergency escape text messages to the people near the restaurant, people will soon leave here. Mo Wenchen said intently. Damn, we are here, why haven't we received any information? Wei Bin caught the flaw in Mo Wenchen's words and sneered. Mo Wenchen smiled mysteriously, have you heard of the blacklist? Wei Bin pondered for two seconds. Do you mean that we all pulled the other party's number into the blacklist? Li Feng. Other people. Three black lines appeared on Emma Wenchen's forehead, and said depressed, it was the other party who blocked our number, that is to say, our mobile phone numbers are under the control of the other party. Had it not been for him to know that he was not Wei Bin's opponent, then an idiot would have already been scolded. Sweeping to death. Wei Bin touched his chin and nodded you thought of going with me. It's really the same as a hero. Everyone. I, Nima, Wei Bin is becoming more and more shameless now, even saying such things. Ah, I think we are already surrounded. It won't be long before the enemy will appear here. Mo Wenchen gave a dry cough and continued. Yes, I think so too. Wei Bin nodded, pretending to be profound. Everyone ignored him directly. Old Mo, you will be our nine you sex dog headed general from now on. Yes, Lao Mo's brain is indeed better than Wei Bin. Wei Bin, you should ask Lao Mo's opinion more when you encounter problems in the future, don't just bluff there alone. Hey shit! Just as Wei Bin was about to refute, he heard an alarm bell ringing outside. Everyone's complexion changed slightly, knowing that the enemy had finally arrived. There are a lot of people here, and there are still some old acquaintances in it. Li Feng's eyes flashed and he felt a few familiar breaths. Mo Wenchen nodded, I feel it too. Luo Tianzheng and the others looked at each other. Fuck, let alone, they also felt two familiar breaths. The defeated generals dare to come to the door, do you find a helper and think you can take them? Soon, the sirens disappeared and then a puffy voice came from outside, Li Feng, you are already surrounded, put down your weapons, raise your hands to surrender, and walk out of the restaurant honestly. It's the voice of Leighton Baines. Mo Wenchen exhaled a suffocating breath and said murderously. He was captured by Leighton Baines himself, and his pubic area was also destroyed by Leighton Baines. Hey shit, this guy is so arrogant, how dare he make the boss surrender. Give him a face. Boss, give an order, let us kill him. Yeah, boss, give an order. Luo Tianzheng and others have a strong willingness to call for battle. After arriving in the United States, they had a serious fight with Daniel's grandparents and grandchildren. There were still too many people and a few bullies, and it was over without fighting. This is unacceptable to Luo Tianzheng and others who want to show their talents. Now there are arrogant people who don't know their surnames come to the door, they naturally can't hold back their fighting spirit. Go, let's go out and have a look together. Li Feng smiled slightly, put a stack of dollar bills on the table, then got up and walked out. A group of people walked out of the restaurant and saw a dozen bulletproof off-road vehicles sprayed with the Ivy by AI logo parked on the street. Around the vehicle, Fully armed members of Ivy by AI lay behind the vehicle and aimed at Li Feng and others with various heavy weapons. In front of these vehicles, six powerful men led by Leighton Baines stood proudly. Crack crack crack. The moment Li Feng walked out of the restaurant, the fully armed 4 by A members were ready to open fire. Hey, hey, one thief, one thief, I am Li Feng, Li Feng a point guard with a 100% win rate in the NBA regular season, don't you know me? Li Feng said with a playful smile at the corner of his mouth. 
Of course we know you, otherwise why are we here? Leighton Baines sneered. Hey buddy, are you the head of Ivy by AI? Li Feng asked, pretending not to know him. That's right. Leighton Baines smiled slightly, raised his eyebrows and asked, Why, do you want to talk to me? Of course, buddy, do you know that I am still at a loss? Li Feng sighed and said with some distress, I don't know why I was wanted by you all over the world. Can you tell me why? Boss, I think they must be jealous of your talent. No, I think they are jealous of the boss's handsomeness. Hey, the boss is handsome and talented, it's hard not to be jealous. Wei Bin and the others, you talk to me, flatter one by one, and if you change someone else, you will be stunned by them. Noisy. Leighton Baines yelled, overwhelming the voices of Wei Bin and others, and then said, Li Feng. I suspect that you are related to an HSD bombing case. Now you are to be arrested and brought to justice. What can you say? Want to say? HSD bombing. Li Feng raised his eyebrows and said with a weird expression, If you investigate me, you will find that I have never been to HSD. I have an alibi. Leighton Baines sneered, Humph, I investigated you. You really didn't have an alibi but you still have a lot of suspicion. Why? Li Feng was a little puzzled. Since he knew that he had an alibi and still suspected him, is this a bit unreasonable? Who can prove that you were the real you at the time? Leighton Baines sneered. Li Feng. Dimple? This buddy is okay, even thought of this possibility? Did he guess or did he have any evidence? After a long while, Li Feng let out a foul breath, it's true that no one can prove that I was the real me at that time, so I also have a question for you. Leighton Baines raised his eyebrows, you said. How do you prove that your mother is your mother? Li Feng asked. Leighton Baines. Luo Tianzheng and others. Xiao Linjia. Damn it. Li Feng even moved this question out, so how to answer it? It's okay to kill directly. Can't prove it. Because this question is inherently idiotic. Like the question you just mentioned, how to prove that a person is the real person. Is it necessary to do a DNA test for him? Even if the identification is the same, who can prove that the person is not a clone? After all, the technology is so advanced now. Even if there is no clone, who can prove that the authentication result is true and reliable, what if the staff is bought, what if there is a problem with the authentication machine? It's like sending a killer to assassinate someone. In order not to let things be revealed, do you send another killer to kill him after the killer completes the task? After you get rid of him, do you have to send another assassin to kill the assassin who killed the assassin? Endless Descendants Li Feng's mouth was like a Gatling machine gun, babbling and babbling non-stop, directly confuse everyone. Fuck, what the Lord said is so reasonable, I really feel like I have OCD now. Wei Bin grabbed his hair, his expression looked a bit painful. My brain hurts so much now. Mo Wenchen rubbed his forehead and smiled bitterly. He was a dragon envoy and sent his men to perform many secret missions. According to Li Feng's statement, wouldn't he have to kill all his men before committing suicide? This question is terrible when you think about it. Fortunately, he has no obsessive compulsive disorder. At this time, Li Feng said again, So, your question is a false proposition. What you want is only psychological evidence, not real evidence. Leighton Baines let out a sigh of foul breath and nodded, Yes, what I want is true evidence. As long as you have enough doubts, it is enough. As for the evidence, not important. Strength is everything, what if there is evidence, as long as you can crush the opponent in strength? Then I'm very curious, why do you doubt me, I am a serious businessman, there should be no doubts. Li Feng asked. Leighton Baines sneered, Hey, your bodyguards are all strong men above the S rank. Is this the biggest doubt? Li Feng raised his eyebrows, so. This is what Wada Toritaro and Li Zehi told you? 
they still have a relationship with Ivy by AI. At this moment, Toritaro Wada and Li Zahi walked out from behind the members of Ivy by AI and sneered, I didn't expect it to be Li Feng. Humph, you make us humiliated, then we will never make you feel better. Li Feng was aware of the breath of the two in the restaurant, so he was not surprised to see them appear. But he was still a little strange, how can you have anything to do with Ivy Bia? Wada Toritaro and Li Zahi one from Dongying and the other from Korea, although both opened martial arts centers in the U.S., how did they collude with Ivy by AI? Wada Toritaro and Li Zahi looked at each other, and then laughed up to the sky, mocking Max. Li Feng frowned slightly, turned his head to look at Luo Tianzheng and the others and asked, Are they smiling Baron? Yes, they are just laughing. Having said that, Wei Bin was clever, and changed the front of the conversation, yes, they laughed barrenly, what's so funny? Luo Tianzheng and the others almost burst out laughing. Wei Bin, an old scumbag, almost flattered his legs. The corner of Li Feng's mouth twitched, and he whispered, is there any common sense in it that I don't know? Have you ever made a record when you came to the United States? Mo Wenchen asked suddenly. For the record, what for the record? Li Feng was a little confused. For the strong from other countries to go to China, he must submit an application to Dragon Soul, and after the review is approved, he will be filed, and then he can move freely in China. Any strong man from another country who has not been filed with the Dragon Soul, once discovered, the Dragon Soul can kill him on the spot. This is the rules of the Dragon Soul. Presumably the rules of the Super Bureau are similar. Mo Wenchen said slowly. Some superpowers are like a nuclear bomb that can walk on. The home countries is okay. Under normal circumstances, it won't cause any big troubles, but the powerhouses of other countries are different. Therefore, Dragon Soul has a big task to prevent the strong from other countries from sneaking into China. Or when they want to come to China for proper conduct they will send someone to monitor him throughout the process after filing. Leighton Baines's pupil shrank, do you know that we are in super game? They appeared here in the image of Ivy by AI, and they had never revealed the identity of the Super Bureau, but the other party broke their identity as a member of the Super Bureau, which is very fascinating. That's what you call no tricks. Mo Wenchen sneered and mocked, I said that the rules of the Super Bureau are similar. I didn't say that you are from the Super Bureau. Also, the point of my sentence is Dragon Soul, don't you wonder why I know Dragon Soul? Leighton Bane's face changed again, damn, you are from the Dragon Soul. The corner of Li Feng's mouth twitched, and he said to his heart how this buddy became the leader of the Super Power Bureau, and his nerves are too much, right? Such important clues can be missed. Ah. We are really not from Dragon Soul, so, let's break it down, don't you suspect us because we didn't apply for the record? Li Feng spread his hands and said helplessly. In Li Feng's plan, he wanted to return to China in a safe and stable manner, just like when he came. If you cannot do it, try not to do it. That's right. Leighton Baines nodded, it was Mr. Hishan and Mr. Li Zahi who made a joint report. Only then did we know that a group of strong men above the S level sneaked into the US, which is a serious threat to our national security. A very serious threat. Mr. Hishan, Mr. Li Zahi, you are the heroes of the United States, and I will reward you as appropriate. This is like the police offering a reward to the wanted person. Whoever can give the wanted person effective information will get the reward. There is such a fund in Super Power Bureau which is specially used to reward whistleblowers. Wada Toritaro and Li Zahi are like puppies who have been rewarded with meat and bones from their owners, nodding and bowing their heads and said, Director Layton is serious, this is what we should do as Americans. Yes, when we joined the United States, we declared that we must be loyal to the United States for a lifetime. This is our business and does not require rewards. As we all know, any adult must declare allegiance to the United States in front of the star flag when he joins the United States, 
and Toro Taro and Li Zehi are no exception. Of course, both of them grew up in East Asian cultural circles, so it's not that they really don't want rewards, but just be humble. Well, well, I will keep the reward for you, but I will send you an LSJ Honorary Citizen Medal to inspire your contributions to this city. Leighton Baines patted the two on the shoulders and said approvingly. Wada Torotaro. Li Zehi. No. Let's be humble, why don't you really give it? An LSJ Honorary Citizen Medal is a fart, can it be eaten? Cleverness is wronged by cleverness. Li Feng shook his head and laughed, laughing. Baga. Wada Torotaro was angry, and pointed to Li Feng and said, You are now wanted by the Super Bureau worldwide. You are smart but you are mistaken. Yes, you entered the US without filing. You must have an ulterior secret. Director Layton, I suspect that the bombing in Chinatown today is also related to Li Feng. Please take someone to take them down and interrogate them. Fan, maybe there will be a windfall. Li Zehi also said angrily. Soon after Li Feng and others left Chinatown, the explosion and collapse of the Majia Wu Hall were reported. Of course, Ma Yinghui, whose memory was modified by the system, insisted that it was a natural gas explosion. After interviewing other residents of Chinatown, the answer was also a natural gas explosion. The bombing has spread all over the internet, but the influence of Li Feng has been reduced by many levels due to the news that Li Feng was listed as a most wanted person worldwide. Without Li Feng, the Chinatown bombing would surely detonate public opinion all over the world. Of course, this is what I will do next. Leighton Bain smiled proudly, looked at Li Feng and said, Li Feng, I am now officially arresting you for endangering national security. Do you have anything else to say? I think, let's try our best to discuss this matter, there is no need to do it, right? Li Feng sighed and said helplessly. Haha, do you think it is possible for me to discuss with you at this time? Leighton Baines sneered, his tone very disdainful. Li Feng, your bodyguards are indeed very strong, but Director Leighton is even stronger. I advise you to obediently catch it and cooperate with the investigation. Wada Toritaro sneered. That's right, there are countless superpowers. You have been completely surrounded. It is impossible to escape. Kneeling and begging for mercy is the only option. Li Feng, you made us all insulted today. I didn't expect the retribution to come so quickly. Ha 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 ha. When Li Zehi reached the end, he looked up to the sky again and laughed wildly. Hey, why do you think you are? Li Feng sighed, and said blankly, leave the supreme level powerhouse and kill all the others. Yes, sovereign. Luo Tianzheng and the others clasped their fists in response and then released his breath with a grinning grin. At this moment, the expressions of Leighton Baines and others changed drastically. In the United States, there is a large villa on a small island in the XWY archipelago that occupies almost two-thirds of the island's area. This villa has three floors, built magnificently, and extremely luxurious. Because of the unique geographical conditions, nearly 10 million tourists visit here every year and tourism income accounts for more than 60% of XWY GDP. However, no tourists can set foot on this small island, because this is a private domain, and no one is allowed to set foot on this small island without the permission of the owner. At this moment, by the swimming pool in front of the island villa, an old man with a white beard wearing an aloha shirt is lying on a lounger, basking in the sun, drinking lemonade, looking at a dozen beautiful girls in bikinis in the pool frolicking. Enjoy the great elder, the second elder and the third elder are here. At this moment, a bodyguard dressed in a black suit came over, bent down, and said respectfully. The white-bearded old man raised his eyebrows, I see, let them come. In fact, as early as when the bodyguard came to report, he felt the breath of the two. It's just that he is the head of the nine veterans, and it is impossible to go out to meet him. Yes, great elder. The bodyguard bowed back, then walked to the gate of the villa, 
respectfully inviting the two old men to come in. Ha ha ha, old veteran, you still feel so elegant after months of not seeing you. Elder, the quality of these women has improved again today, where did you find them? The two old men greeted each other far away. The white-bearded old man smiled, without getting up, he kept lying on the recliner and smiled, I just set up a model agency, and there are specialized personnel to select models for me from all over the world. Tisk tusk, I am convinced by the veteran in terms of enjoying life alone. Ha <laughs> ha, Benjamin, you should learn more from the veteran. Lucas, shouldn't you learn from the veteran? No, no, you know, I have greater hobbies. Benjamin Frank shrugged, playing with taste. Oh it, your hobby of researching medicine is greater than looking for women, I really doubt whether you have a problem with your orientation. Lucas Deere spread his hands and looked puzzled. Well, Lucas, Benjamin will go crazy if you continue. The white-bearded old man smiled and finally got up from the couch. Pop pop. Hey, darlings. I have something important to discuss with the two old buddies. Can you avoid it? The white-bearded old man clapped his hands and said to the bikini girls frolicking in the swimming pool. Oh no, Mr. Raphael, we haven't played enough yet. Mr. Raphael, you can come down and play together, giggle. Let's play with water guns, how about who will become a rookie first? The bikini girls not only did not plan to leave, but wanted to drag the white-bearded old man into the water. If Li Feng were here, I would definitely feel that Raphael's name is a bit familiar. Raphael's eyes were cold, and he said coldly, Don't be shameless, just give me back to the room. Originally, he looked like a kind old grandfather, but when he pulled his face down, he suddenly became a black-faced evil star, and the group of bikini girls frightened as if they were dumbfounded, and then they strayed. After they crawled out of the pool in a panic, Raphael changed his expression again, Hey girls, you are all my little darlings, as long as you are obedient, I will never treat you badly. After tonight, people who perform well will get a reward of $100,000, plus a chance to play in a big show. Take the opportunity. As soon as this was said, a smile appeared on the bikini girl's face again, and she returned to the villa with a smile. Master, your trick is to give a mallet and another sweet jujube, right? As expected to be the elder, this kind of imperial means is really extraordinary. Benjamin and Lucas gave a flattering. Raphael smiled, what to drink? Benjamin shrugged, whatever. Lucas shook his head and smiled, I drink a cocktail. Raphael rolled his eyes, if you want to drink a cocktail, make it yourself. I only have brandy, whiskey, rum, champagne. Then I drink brandy. I also drink brandy. Lucas and Benjamin said one after another. Raphael didn't say more, with a move with his right hand, the wine cabinet in the distance opened automatically, and then a bottle of brandy and two wine glasses flew out. The wine glass flew to a foot in front of Lucas and Benjamin and stopped steadily. Then the wine bottle was slowly in front of Lucas, the bottle cap turned and unscrewed by itself, floating aside, the wine bottle was slowly lifted, and the wine was poured into the wine glass in front. The bottle flew up to Benjamin again, and poured wine into the glass in front of him. Then, the bottle cap suspended on the side flew to the mouth of the bottle and slowly tightened, and then the wine bottle flew back to the wine cabinet, and the wine cabinet door slowly closed. This this is. Lucas and Benjamin's face changed slightly. They can also do the trick of pouring wine in the air, but there is absolutely no such thing as Raphael, who is so stable. In their memory, Raphael could not do this level before. Could it be that he has made a breakthrough recently? Guess it. Raphael smiled slightly, with his hands folded behind him, and smiled proudly, yes. I broke into the pseudo-god state yesterday. What? Lucas and Benjamin's complexion changed drastically, and then they exulted, congratulations to the great elder for breaking through the false gods. Ha 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 ha. Raphael looked up to the sky and smiled. Lucas sighed, 
and said depressedly, Great Elder, I just don't understand it. You said that you can break through with a group of beautiful girls every day. Is there any reason for this? Although Benjamin did not speak, he also nodded and followed. Raphael smiled triumphantly, touched the white beard on his chin, and smiled, I don't understand why this is, maybe this is talent. Well, this talent. Lucas rolled his eyes, and then said with a weird expression, Great Elder, you called us over, shouldn't you just show off your breakthrough to the false realm? Raphael waved his hand, of course not. It is a certainty for me to break into the pseudo-god state, but sooner or later, where will you be called over for this matter? The reason why I invite you to come is because I don't understand something, so I want Benjamin to show the past eyes of the black witches to find out a truth. What? Lucas's face changed slightly, then he looked at Benjamin solemnly. Benjamin raised his eyebrows, the great elder, every time I use the eye of the past, I have a period of weakness for a week, so I want to know, what is it that requires me to use the eye of the past? Raphael's eyes flashed, and his face solemnly said, Garfield Webster has not heard from him for a long time, and Ulysses Daniel has also disconnected from me. I suspect that a super strong has entered. America. Lucas and Benjamin looked at each other, then took a cold breath and said, This is the case. Garfield Webster is the white glove of the God's Heaven, and the strength of the SSS and level is nothing at all. But Ulysses Daniel is different. He is a demigod peak powerhouse. If he also has an accident, it means that the enemy's strength is at least the demigod peak. Such enemies can already threaten the God's Heaven. Yet, if it's just a trivial matter, I naturally don't need Benjamin to use the eye of the past. Raphael said with a turbid expression on his face. Grand Elder, didn't Ulysses Daniel have been in retreat? Losing contact with him doesn't mean anything. Benjamin said with some confusion. Lucas nodded in agreement, yes, I heard that Ulysses Daniel has been seeking to break into the pseudo-god, for this reason he began to retreat and attack five years ago. The two of them didn't question Raphael or wanted to make things clear. Raphael did not mind, and immediately explained patiently, the Daniel family met Li Feng some time ago and Li Feng blackmailed two treasures. In order to find the place, Ulysses Daniel ended the retreat and went to Chinatown to look for Li Feng with August and Phyllis at 12 a.m. New York Time Before going to Chinatown, Ulysses Daniel specially notified me. After that, there was an explosion in Chinatown, and I couldn't get through when I called Ulysses. You mean, they might be killed by Li Feng? Including Garfield Webster was also killed by Li Feng. Lucas and Benjamin realized the seriousness of the matter at this time. The fighting power of the three Daniels grandparents is already very strong. It can be said that in the entire by me, except for the heavens of the gods to suppress them, no organization can check them. Such a trio might be defeated by Li Feng, how strong is Li Feng's strength, is he also in a false god? By the way, I read a piece of news today, saying that Li Feng has been wanted by Ivy by AI worldwide. Is this incident related to the disappearance of Ulysses Daniel? Lucas said in a deep voice. Impossible. Benjamin categorically rejected, for by A is behind the Super Power Bureau. If they knew that Daniel's grandparents were defeated by Li Feng, it would be impossible for him to be wanted worldwide. Lucas laughed at himself, yes, how can the people in the Super Bureau have the courage to find trouble with the demigod powerhouse? I was negligent. There is another thing that caught my attention. I haven't heard from Aaron Russell for a long time. Raphael said worriedly. What? Lucas and Benjamin changed slightly again. Although the Council of Light and Heaven of the Gods are two different organizations, fundamentally speaking, the two organizations are still inextricably linked. The main members of both grew up on the European continent and knew each other. Some were good friends, such as Raphael and Aaron Russell. Because of their different ideas, Raphael and others came to the U.S. and established the Heaven of the Gods in North Rice. Since then, 
by me has been the back garden of the God's Paradise, and Europe belongs to the Bright Council. The two organizations are independent and inextricably linked, and sometimes cooperate. So Lucas and Benjamin both knew what Aaron Russell's loss of contact meant. Don't look at me that way, I took the initiative to call him, but I couldn't connect. At first I didn't think there was anything. After all, he was busy with his business and often retreats, but today I suddenly discovered that maybe he has also encountered an accident. Raphael's face was gloomy, and he said solemnly. Call. Benjamin let out a suffocating breath, and said in a deep voice, The Great Elder, I'm getting worried when you say that. Whether Aaron Russell or Ulysses Daniel, they have nothing to do with him. Even the death of Aaron Russell made him feel a little happy. After all, Aaron Russell is the elder of the Council of Light, and he is a family of black witches, and the two sides have been in a state of hostility. But their loss of contact gave Benjamin a sense of insecurity. The person who can make these two strong men disappear is also fully capable of making him disappear from this world, which Benjamin cannot accept. Then what are you waiting for? Quickly check with the eyes of the past, what is going on? Lucas also felt the crisis and said anxiously. Benjamin nodded, I'll prepare. When the voice fell, Benjamin took out some materials from the space storage equipment. A black porcelain bottle, a brush made of black feathers, and a glass bottle containing black liquid. At the same time, Raphael placed an energy barrier around him. This barrier not only cuts off the sound, but also refracts the light so that people outside can't see what's going on inside. Lucas was not idle either. He leaped into the air and looked around. He landed after nothing unusual and nodded to Raphael. At this moment, Benjamin opened the black porcelain bottle and dipped the paintbrush in it. Then Benjamin took a deep breath with the brush dipped in black paint, and began to draw lines on the ground with a solemn expression. Benjamin's line drawing was very slow, and each stroke seemed to be exhausting. It took a minute for him to draw three straight lines. These three straight lines formed an equilateral triangle. Then, Benjamin took another deep breath and took a brush to draw the outline of an eye in the equilateral triangle. It took Benjamin five minutes just to draw this outline. He was already sweating profusely and his complexion was a little paler than before the painting. On the side, Raphael and Lucas looked solemn, and there was a vague expectation in their eyes. The next step is the last step. Benjamin let out a foul breath, put away the paintbrush, picked up the glass bottle containing the black liquid, opened it, and poured the black liquid into the contours of his eyes. After the liquid dripped, it quickly filled the outline and became a black eyeball. The moment the eyeball is formed, a cloud of chaos is projected into the air by it, just like a holographic projection in science fiction. The time when the Chinatown bombing occurred. Benjamin's voice trembled because of too much physical exertion. 1 p.m. New York time. Raphael said in a deep voice. Benjamin nodded and whispered to himself, then the chaotic picture in midair changed revealing the picture of Luo Tianzheng and the others fighting against Daniel's grandparents. When the scene of Daniel's grandfather and grandson being easily suppressed by Luo Tianzheng and others appeared, the complexion of the three Raphael suddenly became very ugly. At this moment, Li Feng turned his head in the projection screen and glanced at Benjamin. Benjamin's complexion changed drastically, a mouth full of blood was spit out, and the projection screen disappeared. Benjamin. What's wrong with you? Raphael rushed to Benjamin and asked with concern. Horrible, terrible, Li Feng can actually see me through time and space. Benjamin said with lingering fears, clutching his chest. Raphael's face changed slightly, no, what you see is the past. How could he see you in the past? Can he predict the future? Even if he can predict the future, he can't see you through time and space. This kind of ability is not something that people can master. Lucas analyzed solemnly. Since it cannot be controlled by humans, naturally only God can control it. Is there a in this world? Oh, at least Lucas had never heard of it. So this should be just a coincidence, 
he just happened to glance in this direction at the time. Raphael said in a final word. Benjamin nodded with an ugly face, and said with lingering fear, but his eyes were so terrible, at that moment I was as if he had seen everything through. Lucas shook his head and smiled, patted him on the shoulder and said, It is too exhausting to cast the past eye, and it is reasonable for you to have an illusion. Benjamin nodded and finally recovered his composure. Did you see anything? Raphael asked solemnly in German. It was only Li Feng's nine subordinates who shot, and they don't seem to be under Ulysses Daniel's strength. Lucas said with a solemn expression. Their martial arts are also a bit wicked. If I meet them one on one, it will be hard to predict who will die. Benjamin's face was also ugly. The peak of the nine demigods, what kind of combat power is this? Before Raphael broke through to the realm of the false gods, even the heavens of the gods could hardly contend. What's even more frightening is that Li Feng and the other twelve people haven't taken any action yet. Raphael let out a sullen breath, his face almost dripping with gloomy expression. There is a good saying, when you find a cockroach, there are already tens of thousands of cockroaches in the house. All of Li Feng's nine subordinates are the pinnacles of demigods, so will the others also be pinnacles of demigods? Even his subordinates are so strong, what kind of power is Li Feng himself? Lucas and Benjamin also guessed this possibility, and their faces became more difficult to look at for a while. After a while, Raphael sighed, it is now certain that Ulysses and the others were indeed killed by Li Feng, and most of Garfield was also killed by Li Feng. As for Aaron, if I remember correctly, a Chinese genius doctor appeared in the Chinatown of Country Y some time ago, and that genius doctor is also called Li Feng. Raphael is not old and stubborn. He has access to software that young people like, and he can play it pretty smoothly. Some time ago, Li Feng exploded on the tubing, which naturally attracted Raphael's attention, but he did not take Li Feng to heart at the time. Is that Li Feng still in Country Y's Chinatown? Benjamin asked. It's been a long time since I heard from him. Raphael shook his head and said with a sullen look, if I guessed correctly, they are the same person. Doesn't that mean that Aaron Russell's disappearance is really related to Li Feng? Lucas gasped. Oh, Blake. Benjamin's expression changed slightly and he took out his cell phone and called Blake Solomon. He and Blake Solomon belong to the Black Witch clan the same clan and more friends. It's just that he was tired of the endless battle with the Council of Light, and followed Raphael to the United States. He and Blake Solomon have not been in contact for several months, which is nothing at all. They used to be out of touch for many days. Now Benjamin feels that things are not that simple. When he heard the call that the call you dialed could not be reached temporarily, the feeling of anxiety grew stronger, oh. Blake's call can't be reached. Raphael's face changed slightly, damn it, did the Dark Council also encounter Li Feng? Great Elder, what do you do now? Do you want to summon all the other elders and dispatch Li Feng together? Lucas asked in a deep voice. Raphael groaned for a while, shook his head and said, no, Li Feng's strength is unknown. Let's not act rashly. Do we have to wait forever? What if he comes to the door first? Benjamin asked unwillingly. Raphael groaned a little, notify the other elders, come to my meeting, let's get together first, so as not to be defeated by him, and then discuss the countermeasures together. Benjamin and Lucas looked at each other, nodded and agreed to the plan. A few minutes ago, in a hotel in LSJ, United States. Suddenly, Li Feng turned his head and took a look. Although there was no one there, Li Feng always felt as if he was being spied on. Immediately after this feeling disappeared, Li Feng couldn't help frowning and muttered, Why do you have this feeling? What happened? Xiao Linjia had been following Li Feng curiously and asked. Nothing. Li Feng shook his head and said to Emma Wenchen, Get out of Leyden Baines. Emma Wenchen and the others nodded, opened the suitcase, and brought out the fainted laden banes and others with green eyes. It's a pity that their realm is too low, 
we are not blessed to suffer. Wei Bin shook his head and said with emotion. When Li Feng said to take people back to the hotel, they knew what to do next. It's just that Leighton Baines, who is the highest in realm, is only the supreme pinnacle, and is useless to Wei Bin and others at the peak of the demigod. Mo Wenchen and the others got even more excited when they heard this, obviously they also knew what to do next. At this moment, Li Feng said, Lao Mo, you are the supreme pinnacle. It doesn't matter if you in their energy, so I want Wang Jun and the others to suck. Wang Jun is one of the ten dragon soul members. All ten of them are at the peak of sainthood. After absorbing the energy of Leighton Banes and others, they can almost enter the supreme realm. Upon hearing this, Emma Wenchen's eyes darkened, but he still nodded and said, Of course, I have no opinion. The Dragon Soul members have a quality that the members of the Nine Yu sect do not have, that is, absolute obedience. Although Luo Tianzheng and others said they would obey Li Feng's orders, it was hard to say what they thought in their hearts, and they might even complain. But Emma Wenchen wouldn't, he said that he had no opinion, so he definitely had no opinion. Wang Jun and others were grateful. Don't look at me like this, only if you all break through to the Supreme Realm. Can you live up to the expectations of the sect master? Mo Wenchen said in a deep voice. We understand. Wang Jun and the others nodded, then with the help of Luo Tianzheng and others, they absorbed the energy of Leighton Banes and others, and broke through to the Supreme Realm one after another. In this way, the eleven Dragon Soul members rescued by Li Feng have all stepped into the Supreme Realm, among which Mo Wenchen has the highest realm, the Supreme Pinnacle. Li Feng, I am very curious now what is the better technique you said. Xiao Linjia's eyes were enthusiastic, and she asked in a side tap. Li Feng raised his eyebrows, do you really want to know? Xiao Linjia nodded expectantly. Li Feng smiled slightly and passed the mutual benefit to Xiao Linjia. Xiao Linjia. Xiao Linjia was confused at the time. There is such a shameless exercise in this world? Li Feng must be joking with her. But having said that, if what Li Feng said is true, wouldn't she have a chance to become a supreme peak level powerhouse? You didn't lie to me. Xiao Linjia asked after hesitating for a while. Do I have to lie to you? Li Feng asked rhetorically. Xiao Linjia's face was stagnant, and she stopped talking. Indeed, there is no need for Li Feng to lie to her at all. Now it is she who wants to be recognized by Li Feng, not Li Feng is trying his best to pursue her. Now the question is, when will she be able to practice with Li Feng? Okay, keep Leighton Banes and kill everyone else. Li Feng turned his head to look at Luo Tianzheng and the others, and ordered. Luo Tianzheng and the others didn't ask too much, and with a grinning laugh, they beat Kevin Bray and others into fly ash. Then. Li Feng awoke Leighton Baines. What? Leighton Baines let out a scream, and then he woke up. When he found out that he was surrounded by Luo Tianzheng and others, he couldn't even make a scream, leaving only despair in his heart. Leighton Commander, I'm sorry to bring you here, I hope you don't get angry. Li Feng squatted down and said, looking up at Leighton Baines. No. Not angry, how could I be angry? This is a misunderstanding, yes, a misunderstanding. Leighton Baines said with a strong smile. Yes, misunderstanding, but your colleague was accidentally killed by us, you won't be angry, will you? Li Feng sighed and said with some embarrassment. Leighton Baines, both? All. Li Feng nodded, yes, your three deputies, plus two unknown supreme powerhouses, were all killed by us. Leighton Baines almost fainted without coming up. Fuck, there are seven supreme powerhouses in the Super Bureau. Donald Silas' whereabouts are unknown, and the other five were killed by Li Feng's people. He directly became a polished tier order? Wait, why is the breath in my body not right? This, this is the SS level peak. Leighton Baines discovered the fact that his realm had fallen, and he was stupid in place as if struck by lightning. Ah, that's the case. 
several of my subordinates are still SS+. Plus. They have wanted to enter the SSS level for a long time, and they happen to meet you. Then I let them absorb part of your energy, and now they have all reached the SSS level. Leighton Commander, you are all good people, you are great people. If we change it to our Chinese language, it means thousands of miles to send warmth, right? Li Feng looked back at Wang Jun and the others, and smiled. Yes, it's a thousand miles to send warmth properly. Oh, we are all so moved. There are such good people in the world. I never believed it before. What is self-sacrificing? This is what the leader of Leighton has done. Puff. Leighton Bane spit out a mouthful of black blood. Of course, there is also a reason for his serious injury, and anger is just a cause. Do not get excited about the Commander Leighton. Maybe they have acted too exaggeratedly, but it's all true feelings and no falsehood. Come on, brothers, let us thank the Chief Leighton again and bow. Li Feng made a gesture, and Wang Jun and others bowed towards Leighton Baines, thank you Leighton Chief. Second bow. Thank you Leighton Chief. Three bows. Thank you Leighton Chief. The family members return the gift the ceremony is over. When Li Feng finished shouting this sentence, Luo Tianzheng and the others were so confused, okay? After all this is done, is Leighton Baines dead or how? There is no such thing as a joke. Leighton Baines, who didn't know the Chinese etiquette, always felt something was wrong, but couldn't think of what was wrong for a while, so he could only stand there with a black face and silence. Okay, Chief Leighton, I think you need to clarify the misunderstanding for me. Li Feng said with a smile. Leighton Baines was taken aback for a moment, and then asked. Mr. Li means. Let the people of Ivy by AI issue an announcement to restore my reputation and lift the freezing of all shares and industries under my name. Li Feng put away his smile and said in a deep voice. Leighton Baines's complexion changed several times, and finally gritted his teeth and said, No problem, but I need to go to the Ivy by AI headquarters in person. Hey! Li Feng frowned slightly and sneered, Do you want to play tricks with me? No, no, how dare I? That's the case. Ivy Bia is suspicious. If I just inform by phone, he may not believe it. Leighton Baines explained quickly. Is there no video call in the United States? Emma Wenchen sneered. Yes, but video calls can also be faked. Leighton Baines said helplessly. Okay, if you want to go back, I will let you go back. You are the one who sent us warmth for thousands of miles. I don't believe who you believe in. Li Feng said in a final word. Although Emma Wenchen and others felt that this was a bit inappropriate, Li Feng naturally had his considerations when he spoke, and he did not persuade him at the moment. Leighton Baines was overjoyed and hurriedly clasped his fists and said, Thank you Mr. Li for understanding. Of course, I understand you very well. Li Feng patted Leighton Baines on the shoulder, and Slave Seal started. Leighton Baines' eyes were dull, and he quickly returned to normal. At this moment, he has become Li Feng's servant. At 10 p.m., Baron Albert and Marcus Sapir participated in a celebrity talk show on LSJ. The ratings of this show are very high, and many big-name entertainment stars have participated in this show. Because this program is broadcast live, there is no editing, and the host's questions are always unexpected. They often make big news and are deeply loved by the audience. Mr. Albert, Mr. Sapir, welcome both of you to the A Date Tonight show. After some opening remarks, the host said to the camera, Dear audience friends, I must be very puzzled. The guest tonight is obviously Ms. Scarlett. Why is it replaced by Mr. Albert and Mr. Sapir temporarily? Yes. This is where I am puzzled. So. Two gentlemen, can you answer our doubts? Of course. Baron Albert shrugged and said solemnly, because I want to use this show to accuse Li Feng of the bad things done to me. Ah, Li Feng, is that Li Feng that we all know? The host asked with a look of surprise. Yes, 
it's Li Feng who played in the NBA for a quarter. Baron Eber nodded his head, and then said angrily, he used force to coerce me to sell all the shares of HN Pictures at a low price. Give him, he is a robber. And my Massa Casino was also snatched by Li Feng in this way. He is a bastard. Sapir also said angrily beside him. Suddenly, the audience watching this show exploded. I'll go, no, Li Feng actually did this kind of thing. Forced to force others to sell shares at a low price? God this is a crime. It's no wonder that Li Feng became a super rich man at a young age. It turns out that he is a man of force. Soon, the news spread across the internet through the hands of the viewers who watched the show. Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, the most popular social software at the moment, this matter is in the top 10 of the hot list. Scolding. He turned out to be a Huaxia native. Oh my god, it really shames us Hwaxia. I can hardly imagine that this was done by a Hwaxia people. After this incident, the living space of our Hwaxia people abroad will definitely be further compressed. He is simply a rat in a pot of porridge. Dear friends, I am sorry for Li Feng's behavior. There are several scum in every country. I hope that everyone will not think that we are all bad people because of Li Feng. Some Chinese people directly denounced Li Feng's behavior. There are also some sane Huaxia people who have voiced doubts, this is just their own words, and I have reservations about this. They are all local bosses of LSJ, but Li Feng is a foreigner. Not long after he arrived in the United States, he threatened them by force and has not restricted their freedom of life? I don't think it can be trusted. Yes. If Li Feng can threaten Baron Albert and Marcus Sapir, then he must not bring a special brigade over there. The key point is that they only said that Li Feng threatened them by force, but did not say the specific process. I don't think it is credible. It's just that Sane Huaxia people are a minority after all, and soon their comments were captured by those who heard the news. Mr. Albert and Mr. Sapir both appeared on a date tonight and said that there were some people washing the ground for Li Feng. How much did Li Feng give you? Li Feng is now Ivy by AI's most wanted man in the world. If there is no definite evidence, would Ivy by AI want him? Mr. Albert and Mr. Sapir are both gentlemen. They will not slander a person with their reputation, I can guarantee it. There are also people from other countries who watch the excitement and leave comments below. Baga Road The quality of Huaxia people is very low, and Li Feng is just a representative figure. Li Feng? A point guard with a 100% winning percentage in the NBA? Oh, just for a reputation. A C. For a despicable and shameless person like Li Feng, we should use our Ganges water to purify their hearts. All Chinese people should use Ganges water to purify their hearts. Some people who went out over the wall in China almost exploded after seeing these messages. What about regeneration gas? Li Feng was wrong first, and when there was no strong evidence to prove Li Feng's innocence, it was impossible for them to refute it. Can only hold back. Oh my god, did Li Feng do such a bad thing? It's just shocking. The host shook his head repeatedly with exaggerated expression. Yes, his hands are stained with blood. He is an executioner. He just took away the property I earned for half my life. Baron Albert said bitterly. The Massa Casino is like my son. Now that Li Feng has taken him away from me, I can hardly sleep almost every day and can only take sleeping pills. Marcus Sapir said angrily. I understand the feelings of the two. If I encounter something like this, I definitely can't do better than the two. The host first comforted the two of them, and then asked, then the two planned to use legal weapons to take back the lost things from Li Feng. Of course, we have found a lawyer. As long as Li Feng is arrested and brought to justice, we will bring a lawsuit against him. Yes, that's right, we are ready to wait for Li Feng to be arrested. Baron Albert nodded to Marcus Sapir. The two are very confident in Ivy by AI's arrest. The host asked. 
Baron Albert shrugged, of course, if by AI is the world's first in action. Yes, that's right, and more importantly, this action is not just Ivy by AI, but also. Before Marcus Sapir finished speaking, Baron Albert kicked him with his toe, and then he closed his mouth. The host heard something was wrong, frowned slightly and said, What else is Mr. Sapir? And well, nothing, it's a secret, I can't tell. Marcus Sapir groaned a little and said, O oh Camuan, Mr. Sapir, this is a date tonight. You won't disappoint the audience in front of the TV, right? The host felt that this might be big news, and of course he would not let Marcus Sapir go just like that. Hey, listen buddy, this is really a secret, a super secret, once I tell it, this show will disappear, and you and I will disappear with it, do you understand? Marcus Sapir was a little unhappy. The host broke the casserole and asked, somewhat annoyed. Is it so serious? The host was taken aback for a moment, and then his heart became more heated, let me guess, could it be, um. At this moment, the host received an instruction from the director, and he closed his mouth immediately and did not ask the question again. This can make the audience watching this program unhappy. Oh shit. What the is it, why don't you make it clear? Damn it, if they don't make things clear, I will have insomnia tonight. Will the half-talker please explode in place? It's just that the host who received the instruction did not hear the audience's scolding, and even if he did, he would not ask any more under the instruction of the director. Right now, he changed the subject and said, Okay, friends in front of the TV. Let us pray together that 4 by a can arrest the evil Li Feng as soon as possible. The voice fell, the host folded his hands, closed his eyes and began to pray. Marcus Sapir and Baron Albert also began to pray. When the three of them had finished praying, the host would ask some other questions, but at this moment, the director sent him another instruction. The host was taken aback for a moment, and then said with a weird expression, Are you sure? What? Baron Albert and Marcus Sapir thought the host was talking to them, and they were taken aback. It's nothing, now I want to broadcast a breaking news. The host looked at the two with a weird face, and then looked at the camera and said solemnly, I just received the news that 4 by a issued the latest statement. The statement pointed out that Ivy by AI's previous accusations against Li Feng were wrong, and Ivy by AI has cancelled the global wanted for Li Feng. What? Baron Albert and Marcus Sapir stood up with a chorus of disbelief. Impossible, this is absolutely impossible, Ivy Bia can't be mistaken. This must be fake news. Li Feng is wanted all over the world. It shows that 4 by A has real evidence. How can it be cancelled suddenly? Baron Albert and Marcus Sapir are going crazy. Li Feng's strength has long been rooted in their hearts. If they hadn't received the news, Li Feng was wanted by the Super Power Bureau around the world, and they would not ask for a poll to come to a date tonight to break the news. When they thought about it, the Super Bureau had all shot, and Li Feng would definitely be arrested quickly. Although they were forced to take the Jun Chukhang pill by Li Feng, there would be life-threatening if there is no antidote, but since the Super Power Bureau can capture Li Feng, they can naturally get the antidote from Li Feng. Even if the Super Power Bureau can't handle it, and without Li Feng's restrictions, they can still seek medical advice everywhere, and they don't believe that the poison of Jun Chuan Chong pill cannot be solved. In the final analysis, the two did not feel the pain during the attack of Jun Chuan Chong pill. Their superficial knowledge limited their imagination and made them feel no respect for Jun Chuan Chong pill. It's just that 4 by A actually revoked Li Feng's global wanted. So what would they do? It can't be wrong, this information has already appeared on Ivy by AI's official website. Not only that, Ivy by AI will restore Li Feng's reputation and compensate him accordingly. The host said with a weird face. The audience in front of the TV was also dumbfounded. Fuck, they used to scold Li Feng for being shameless and arrogant. Suddenly Li Feng was whitewashed by the government and 4 by A would still pay Li Feng compensation? 
should we change so quickly? What if they scolded before? Do you slap yourself in the face? Wait. The host's eyes lit up and turned to look at Baron Albert and Marcus Sapir, you have evidence of Li Feng's crime, right? What? The two were still in shock, and they didn't recover for a while. I mean, maybe if Bai didn't find the exact evidence of Li Feng's crimes, so he was revoked the global wanted. If you two have evidence, you can submit it to Ivybia, so Ivybia has evidence that Li Feng is wanted. The more the host talked, the more excited he became, and finally boasted, I'm such a genius. Baron Albert and Marcus Sapir's eyes lit up. Yes, this is a good idea. As long as they give evidence, I F U by A. Oh no, can the Super Bureau capture Li Feng? The audience in front of the TV couldn't help but stare. Fuck, the host Noah is really a clever ghost, even this way can be imagined. In this way, they don't have to be ashamed of what they called Li Feng before. Ah, this is Noah. In fact, I was slandering Mr. Li just now. I am guilty. At this moment, Baron Albert said with shame. What? Noah couldn't believe her ears. Baron Albert actually admitted that he slandered Li Feng? Why does this sound so ironic? Marcus Sapir was also dumbfounded, but then his expression changed slightly, and he said guiltily, Yes, that's right, I mean. Well, all my accusations against Mr. Li are also slander. Both of them were old fried dough sticks, and soon understood that the method Noah said would not work. The Superpower Bureau has done it, which shows that Li Feng must have threatened national security. Now that 4 Baie has revoked the global wanted for Li Feng, it means that the Superpower Bureau behind him is cancelled. The Superpower Bureau was so scared. What evidence and accusation did the two of them say on the show? It will only die faster. It's better to be honest, even if you lose face in front of the world, at least you can save your life. Do you two know what they are talking about? This is a live broadcast, not a recorded broadcast. Noah frowned slightly, kindly reminded. Yes, I know, I was wrong, I shouldn't slander Mr. Lee in the live show. I am sorry for what I did before, please forgive me, Mr. Lee, and also ask the audience friends to forgive me. Baron Albert stood up and bowed to the camera. Marcus Sapir also stood up and bowed to the camera, I'm sorry Mr. Lee, I shouldn't slander you, please forgive me, and the audience friends also forgive me for being rude. In a five-star hotel suite in LSJ, Li Feng is also watching this show. When he saw the two directly confessing and apologizing in the live broadcast, he couldn't help but a sneer at the corner of his mouth, they are not stupid. It is best to know what choice to make at this time. But. I'm sorry to put out my anger. What's the use of police investigation? At this moment, the door of the bathroom was opened from inside, and Xiao Linjia, who was wrapped in a bath towel, walked out of it with bare feet. Li Feng turned his head and took a look, his eyes lit up and said, Is it finished? Yet. Yeah. Xiao Linjia nodded shyly and stood at the door without moving. Go home early after washing. After speaking, Li Feng turned around and continued watching TV. Xiao Linjia. No. What does it mean to go home early after washing? If my lady wants to go home, will she stay here to take a bath? Li Feng, it's late, I'll go back alone, scared. Xiao Linjia bit her lip and whispered. You are a martial arts master, ordinary robbers can't threaten you at all. Of course, America is messy at night. I can send Lao Wei and them to take you home. Who do you want to take you? Li Feng asked with a smile. Xiao Linjia's face was stagnant, and the corners of her mouth said bitterly, Am I so unattractive to you? Li Feng shook his head and smiled, It's not that there is a problem of attraction, but that I and you have no relationship basis before. There is no emotional foundation. Well, in short, it is not the time yet. You still need to continue to change yourself. Xiao Linjia's expression changed several times 
and finally gritted her teeth and said, OK, I understand. After speaking, she walked to the bedroom, changed her clothes, said goodbye to Li Feng, and left the hotel. At the same time, a date tonight is over, and the statements of Baron Albert and Marcus Sapir have spread throughout the internet. I'll go, it turns out that the two of them are slandering Li Feng, how can there be such shameless people in the world? Who said before that they would not use their reputation to slander others? What do you say now? Facts have proved that reputation and personality are worthless to some people. I see, what I said just now, there is no real evidence, it is better to let the bullet fly for a while and then draw a conclusion, so as not to be beaten in the face. Dongying people, Korean people, and Asan, didn't you just scold it very fiercely? Let's scold again, damn, do you think we Chinese people are as shameless as you? Those who had been spilled in their sensible speeches before, as well as the netizens who came out of China over the wall, finally exulted. Li Feng also took advantage of this incident to expand his reputation in the world. Marcus, I always have a bad feeling. After leaving the studio, Baron Albert said with a gloomy expression. Baron, cheer up, we have finally apologized to Mr. Li, haven't we? Marcus Sapir is comforting Baron Albert and himself. They knew better than anyone how cruel they had offended Li Feng on TV, even if they admitted to apologizing afterwards, but no one can guarantee that Li Sheng Feng will not bear his grudge. Once Li Feng comes to the door for this, what will happen to them? Yes, we have recognized the mistake and apologized to Mr. Li. It's just. Marcus, should we go to the Ivy by AI headquarters to avoid the limelight? Baron Albert said hesitantly. Now the only places that can make him feel safe are the Superpower Bureau headquarters and Ivy by AI headquarters. It's just that he doesn't know the leader of the Superpower Bureau, but has a lot to do with Ivy by AI's head. This can be. Marcus Sapir nodded and agreed to the proposal. Then let's go together. Baron Albert said when he came to the elevator. Okay, let's go together. Marcus Sapir nodded after a moment of hesitation. It's not that he was afraid of being defeated by Li Feng after he separated from Baron Albert, but that he was courageous together. If Li Feng really came to the door, he would be able to back it up. Similarly, Baron Albert thought so. The two took the elevator to the underground parking lot and boarded an extended phantom under the protection of bodyguards. When the door closed, the two men breathed a sigh of relief. Just now on the road, they were all worried, for fear that Li Feng would suddenly jump out of which corner. However, it is not the time to completely relax. Although the extended phantom is bulletproof, to the powerhouse of Li Feng's level, the bulletproof car is just a thin layer of iron. Until the extended phantom got on the high speed, the two people settled down. Hey, the psychological pressure is too great. Baron Albert said with a wry smile. Yeah, I'm really afraid of Li Feng's sudden appearance. He is like a sharp sword hanging over our heads. It feels too bad. Marcus Sapir also shook his head and smiled bitterly. Boss, I don't think he is that scary. Besides, if we are all on the highway, can he still find us? On the seat not far in front of the two, a bodyguard analyzed. Yeah, our speed is so fast, and it is night again, he must not be able to find us, ah, uh, ghost. As soon as the other bodyguard said this, his pupils suddenly shrank, pointing to the position between Baron Albert and Marcus Sapir, screaming in shock. Baron Albert and Marcus Sapir's complexion changed slightly, and they looked back, but they saw nothing and nothing outside the window. At that time the two were angry, do you want to have an active atmosphere? Is there such an active atmosphere like you? Zayat, I'm under a lot of psychological pressure, you are so shocked, if I didn't have a heart attack, you must be scared to death by you. No. No boss. There was someone outside the window just now, ah, he has appeared again. The bodyguard continued to point his finger at the position of the rear window, his panic was overwhelming. The other bodyguard also nodded with a pale face, 
yes, yes, I saw it too, he, he is Li Feng. Baron Albert and Marcus Sapir turned their heads again, and the window was still empty. At that time, the two of them were fascinated, fucking, now the bodyguards dare to molested the boss, right? Are you special? Baron Albert turned around abruptly to teach the two bodyguards. But at this moment, he realized that when he looked back, he seemed to see a person sitting between him and Marcus Sapir. Just when he was about to turn his head to check whether he was dazzling, a hand was placed on his shoulder. Baron Albert suddenly stiffened and did not dare to move. On the other side, Marcus Sapir looked at Li Feng, who was sitting between him and Baron Albert, and fell into a daze. Fuck, how did Li Feng get into a high-speed car? This is so unscientific. Boss, Li Feng is here, he really came, and he appeared with a slam. Oh Micah, oh shit, oh no. I can't believe my eyes, I can't believe my eyes. The two bodyguards saw the whole process of Li Feng getting into the car from the outside, and they were frightened. Just one second before he was lying on the rear window and looking in, and the next second he sat between Baron Albert and Marcus Sapir. It was beyond their imagination. Baron, Marcus, you don't seem very happy to see me. When the atmosphere was almost frozen, Li Feng's voice rang in everyone's ears. Baron Albert screamed, crying, and said, Li, Mr. Li, I am happy, of course I am happy, you know, when I heard that you were wanted by Ivy by AI Worldwide, I it's almost anxious. Yes, Mr. Li, Baron and I ran a lot of relationships in order to clear your suspicion. It's not like we just rectified your name on TV. Marcus Sapir said with a smile. Oh. Li Feng raised his eyebrows, playing with the taste, but how did I hear that you accused me of forcible taking and taking on TV? The two shook their bodies, almost out of their bodies in shock. After that, Li Feng also watched an appointment tonight, and he really came to trouble them. This. Baron Albert's face was stagnant, and he quickly explained, This is Mr. Li, we, we are, well. Forced. Marcus Sapir said. Yes, forced, we were, well. Baron Albert kept winking at Marcus Sapir. It was forced by Ivy Bia, Marcus Sapir said. Yes, that's it, we were forced by Ivy by AI. Baron Albert agreed. Li Feng raised his eyebrows, IFU by A is so hateful. Yeah, Ivy by AI is really horrible. Yes. We hate this shameless act that does not conform to the facts and fabricates other people's crimes out of thin air. The two nodded frantically. But how did I hear that this incident was not done by Ivy B, but by the Super Bureau? Li Feng muttered, touching his chin. Uh. Baron Albert and Marcus Sapir looked at each other, and then said in unison, Who did you hear? Leighton Baines, oh, you may not know his identity directly by name but if I want to say that he is the head of the Super Bureau, you will understand. Li Feng smiled. Baron Albert. Marcus Sapir. No. Li Feng has already seen the chief of Superpower Bureau? Wasn't their lie just exposed? No way. Damn it, what the does Leighton Baines think, why do we suddenly revoke the wanted for Li Feng, and ask us to apologize to Li Feng and restore his reputation? Shit. In the headquarters of Ivy by AI, the head of the government, Kenneth Meg, angrily smashed everything he could see. Opposite, his secretary, a beautiful blonde woman in professional attire, was silent in shock. After a while, Kenneth Meg finished smashing things, his anger dissipated a lot, and then it stopped. Kenneth is long, you calm down, it's not worth it to be angry about such a small thing. The blonde secretary dared to walk over and said softly. Fake, is this a trivial matter? Ah? This is such a big deal to lose face to Ivy by AI. Thirty minutes ago, Leighton Baines came here and ordered him to withdraw his wanted for Li Feng. Although the Super Bureau and Ivy Bia are not an institution, and Leighton Baines is not Kenneth Meg's direct boss, Leighton Baines is a supreme peak powerhouse. 
On the other hand, Kenneth Meg, he was just an A-level strong, and he couldn't hold his head up in front of Leighton Baines. What's more, Leighton Baines is more influential than him. For Leighton Baines's orders, Kenneth Meg can only obey even if he is dissatisfied with it. It's just that this is an innocent disaster, okay? It was Ivy by AI who announced that Li Feng was wanted, and it was Ivy by AI who revoked the wanted of Li Feng. It was Ivy B who was ashamed, but the mastermind behind the scenes, Leighton Baines, did nothing. Isn't this really disgusting? It's shameful, but for Bai A has no actual loss. The blonde secretary whispered. Kenneth Meg. No. What the beauty secretary said seems to make sense. If you lose your face, you will lose face. Anyway, it's not the first time IFU by A has been back, so there is no actual loss. Wait, it's not right. I will hold a press conference tomorrow. I must go live on TV to apologize to Li Feng. This is so embarrassing to be lost to Grandma's house. Kenneth Meg cursed again, and finally let out a sulky breath. Go contact the major news media and tell us about the news conference. Although reluctant in his heart, Leighton Baines has already said that if he does not listen, it is not a loss of face, and it is possible to lose his position. Yes, according to the length. The blonde secretary turned around to deal with the matter. Wait. Kenneth Meg stopped her suddenly. The blonde secretary turned around with a puzzled look, what's the matter? according to the chief. Go and lock the door, Kenneth Meg said playfully. The blonde secretary suddenly understood, and immediately smiled coquettishly, yes, my sir. Early the next morning, Kenneth Meg was in the press conference hall of IVB's headquarters, in front of major media all over the world, and made a profound review of IVB's mistake. At the same time, Kenneth Meg expressed his utmost apologies for the damage caused to Li Feng by Ivy B's wrong action. In the United States alone, the number of viewers watching this live broadcast exceeded 20 million. The number of viewers who watched the broadcast through the internet in the world exceeded the 100 million mark. Hundreds of millions of people watch the same show. Only major sports events have such charm. Fuck, Li Feng is so awesome. He even asked Ivy by AI's chief executive to hold a press conference to express his apologies. Walda Day. I can't believe my ears, Li Feng is so awesome this time, okay. As far as I know, this is the first time for Bai A has held a press conference in order to apologize to the person involved. It is also the first time that the head of the party appeared in person to express his apologies to someone. I don't think things are as simple as it seems. Li Feng must have done something to get 4 by A into such a big fight. Won't Li Summit capture if by AI's handle? Like the Kenneth Meg scandal. Because Kenneth Meg personally appeared on the camera to apologize, suspicion was everywhere on the internet, and the enthusiasm remained high. At this moment, Li Feng registered and verified his Twitter account, and posted the first tweet, Hello everyone, I am Li Feng. The simple seven Chinese characters with punctuation marks only nine, but they rushed to the hot search list for the first time. Countless netizens who had heard the news paid attention to him and left a message below. Oh my god, are you really Li Feng? See you are officially certified, should it be true? Anyway. I am very excited because I am your fan, a super fan. Li, I am your fan in the United States, I love you. If you are interested in me, please send me a private message. Below is a photo of a beautiful blonde woman in a bikini. I have to say that this blonde beauty is very good looking and has a good body, but the marks of plastic surgery are slightly more obvious. If an average man sees this message, he may not be able to resist the temptation to send her a private message, but Li Feng is a man who has experienced strong winds and waves and this kind of rotten peach does not attract his interest. In addition to netizens who have heard the news, some celebrities in the arts and sports circles have also come to pay attention to Li Feng Neng and leave messages. Sister Yu Scarlet, the world's first supermodel Tiffany Elsie, the newly popular actress Al Landor, 
and even Xueqing, who is certified as the Duke of HL, are paying attention to Li Feng. In addition, many stars under HN Pictures, NBA celebrities, popular superstars, ordinary players and celebrities who have never met Li Feng, all forwarded their messages. Driven by these celebrities, after only 10 minutes, there were tens of thousands of comments on this Twitter, which were reposted over 2,000, and nearly 100,000 liked. The number of Li Feng's fans also rose rapidly, and soon exceeded 1 million. One hour later, the number of Li Feng's fans exceeded 10 million. Someone did statistics afterwards, and Li Feng was the shortest public figure with the number of Twitter followers breaking 1 million and breaking 10 million. When the number of fans exceeded 10 million, Li Feng posted a new tweet, I feel everyone's enthusiasm. Thank you for your love. Tomorrow I will hold a new film briefing at HN Pictures headquarters. Welcome everyone to pay attention. New film conference? Is it the film that Li Feng said before he went to the United States to CO produce with HN Pictures? It should be, there can be nothing wrong. I strongly hope that Li Feng will play the male number one. If Li Feng crosses the field as the male number one, this movie will definitely be a big hit at the box office. Taking advantage of this hot spot, Titanic, which is still in preparation, has been on the internet without revealing its title. Many popular Hollywood stars entrusted an agent to contact Li Feng, hoping to appear in this movie. This has never happened before in Hollywood history. Li Feng's influence in the United States is beginning to take shape. Upon seeing this, Li Feng raised his eyebrows and said, No, why are you looking at me with this kind of eyes? Oh I see, you don't believe this will be an excellent movie, right? The reporters nodded subconsciously, and then shook their heads. To be honest, they really don't believe that this will be an excellent movie, because there are too many elements of a bad movie. They just thought of being able to take a copy of Confetti to go home later, and they had no choice but to give Li Feng face, so they could only shake their heads against their will. The 300 people who hadn't rehearsed in advance, were able to nod so neatly and then shake their heads. Most people have never seen such a scene. So much so that all the executives of HN Films on the stage were confused. Then do you know who the screenwriter of this movie is? Li Feng then asked. The reporters suddenly had a bad feeling. It was the beautiful reporter of China TV station who asked, Mr. Li, wouldn't it be you the screenwriter? Li Feng snapped his fingers, bingo. You're right, the screenwriter of this show is me, how about it, is it surprise or surprise or excitement? Beauty reporter. Other reporters. Surprises are hard to talk about. Surprises and excitement are real. Producers, directors, and screenwriters grabbed the attention. If this is a male character again, it would be a proper rhythm of a bad film. When thinking that a big production film that started at $1 billion is about to be made into a bad film, the reporters don't know what to say. Mr. Lee, is the starring role of this movie determined? A reporter from BBC raised his hand and asked. You asked this question very well. Li Feng nodded and smiled, the heroes and heroines have not been determined yet. The reporters on the scene breathed a sigh of relief as soon as he said this. They were really afraid that Li Feng said from his mouth that the male lead was also the star of him, and that would be the end. But one thing I can be sure of is that the female lead is white and the male lead is Chinese. This is a poignant love story between a Chinese man and a white woman. Li Feng said with a smile. A group of reporters only felt that their eyes were dark and almost fainted. Fuck, the poignant love story between a Chinese man and a white woman? Are you sure that someone will see this kind of movie? In the US and even the entire Western world, men can find Asian women, but women find Asian men will encounter considerable resistance. Before, there was a female internet celebrity who was rioted by netizens because she found an Asian man to be her boyfriend. There is no other reason. To put it bluntly, it is discrimination. If Li Feng is really shooting a poignant love story between a white woman and a Chinese man, not to mention other places, at least in the Western world, 
this movie will definitely hit the street. It's better to switch to white men and Chinese women. It would be more perfect if the male and female leaders were white. How can Li Feng fail to understand what these reporters are thinking? Don't you think no one will watch this filming? He just wanted to shoot like this. Why can't Chinese men find white beauties, and why should they be insulted after finding them? People just have different skin colors, and their personalities are equal. He just wanted to break Westerners' prejudice against Chinese people through this movie. It seems that my statement scared everyone, but it doesn't matter. Good things can stand the test. I believe that when this movie starts to show, it will get a fair evaluation. Having said that, Li Feng is ready to end this press conference. At this time, all the reporters raised their hands to ask questions. Li Feng glanced at the beauty reporter of China TV with his hands high, and smiled, let's ask the last question. Upon hearing this, other reporters were unhappy. Why do you always ask her to ask questions, because you are all from China? But when I thought of the red face water that I was about to get, my dissatisfaction disappeared. This shows how important it is to prepare gifts for the reporters present at the press conference. Mr. Li, can you tell me what happened yesterday? The beauty reporter of Huaxia TV quickly asked. Li Feng raised his eyebrows and shook his head, Sorry, I have nothing to say about this. The beauty reporter looked disappointed, and then asked, After the press conference, can I interview you? Li Feng pondered a little, nodded and said, Yes. There was an uproar. A group of reporters raised their hands to ask for an interview with Li Feng, but Li Feng shook his head and refused. When a group of reporters expressed their dissatisfaction, the staff of HN Films with gifts walked in and began to hand out red face water. Upon seeing this, these reporters closed their mouths. When the gifts were distributed, Li Feng smiled and said, I hope everyone can make more positive comments when reporting on this press conference. I will prepare gifts for you when HN Pictures holds a press conference next time. Li Feng had said so, and the reporters naturally wouldn't refute his face, and they all agreed to it now. When the reporter left the scene, the beauty reporter of China TV got up and asked, Mr. Li, when is it convenient for you to be interviewed? You can go to the office with me now. After speaking, Li Feng got up and walked out. Just five minutes after the press conference ended, detailed reports on this conference have been reported by major news media, and soon rushed to the hot lists of major social platforms. Oh no! Mr. Li must be crazy, he wants the producer, screenwriter and director to catch it. This is crazy. In other words, didn't Mr. Li play basketball? How could he still be a director and screenwriter? When a person is far better than others in one aspect, most of his energy must be devoted to this aspect, and it is difficult for him to be better than others in other aspects, because one's energy is limited. What's even more frightening is that this movie is actually a catastrophic romance, my goodness, I think this movie is very likely to be a bad movie. It's a pity that a big production started with a billion dollars. If you use this money to make a superhero movie, it would be great. Although the reports of the reporters were relatively positive, they still caused complaints from the majority of netizens. Reasonable netizens are discussing the main creations and themes, while irrational netizens focus on the skin color of the male and female principles. Oh shit, Chinese male lead, white female lead, what is shit CP? Don't say anything else. If this movie is really a Chinese male and a white female CP, I would never go to the cinema to watch it. I'm not going either, it's so disgusting. I strongly hope that Li Feng will change the male and female protagonists to whites. It can also be a white male protagonist and a Chinese female protagonist. There is a saying that Chinese beautiful women are still very attractive. My dream is to marry a Chinese beautiful woman as a wife. Hey buddy. You are not alone. I have the same idea. I think you can go to China as a foreign teacher. You will have wonderful love. Trust me. Public opinion on the internet is raging, but Li Feng, who is at the center of the whirlpool, 
is enjoying coffee in his office. Opposite, the beauty reporter of China Satellite TV introduced herself, I am Wang Binjiun, a reporter of China Satellite TV based in the United States, Mr. Li, can the interview begin? No hurry, get a cup of coffee to refresh yourself. Li Feng motioned to the secretary to also give Wang Binjiun and the camera teacher a drink. The guest was as good as the host, and Wang Binjiun and the camera teacher were not polite. After expressing their gratitude, they held a coffee cup and tasted it. How long have you been in the United States? Li Feng looked at Wang Binjiun and smiled. Before, Li Feng had seen that Wang Binjiun was a big beauty, but before that, he was so far away and there were so many people that it was difficult for Li Feng to examine her carefully. Now that I was close, I realized that Wang Binjiun was not only a beauty, but also a top beauty. Wang Binjiun is a cute girl, she seems to be full of girlish aura, just by looking at her appearance, she is said to be believed by people in 16 or 17 years. She has long hair in a shawl, curled slightly inward at the tips of her hair, and a few oblique bangs on her forehead. With a small face like a porcelain doll, big and twinkling eyes, wearing a white chiffon long-sleeved pointed collar top and washed jeans, she looks like a second element beautiful girl from Dongying Comics. In addition to the two major advantages of childlike appearance and cuteness, Wang Binjiun also has a figure that makes most women jealous. The height of 160, but it has the general body curve of the golden ratio division, the fat place is fat, the thin place is thin, it can't be better. Li Feng's peach blossom luck has always been very prosperous, but he has never encountered a beautiful girl like Wang Binjiun, and Wang Binjiun is still quite attractive to him. It's been over a year. Wang Binjiun smiled. Are you accustomed to staying here? Li Feng asked as usual. I didn't get used to it at first. After a long time, I think it's okay, but it's not as good as being at home in China. Wang Binjiun didn't feel embarrassed either. Perhaps because the two were both Chinese, they felt that the conversation was kind of kind. Well, I will discover how good she is when I leave the motherland. Li Feng said with a sigh. Yes, I will be more patriotic after going abroad, I really feel it. Wang Binjiun nodded and said. Then Li Feng asked some more questions, and Wang Binjiun answered them one by one. After Li Feng finished his coffee and closed his mouth, Wang Binjiun realized that he had become the subject of an interview. Almost everything except three-dimensional, household registration and other privacy issues was taken by Li Feng. Then Wang Binjiun opened his mouth wide, looked at Li Feng silly and said, Why do you feel that you are more like a reporter than me? The camera teacher covered his eyes with his hands and couldn't laugh or cry. Is this silly girl only realizing this now? Ah, no, I'm not a media major, maybe it's because I speak more affinity. Li Feng explained with a dry smile. The fact is that Li Feng is more interested in Wang Binjiun, so he used a little hypnotic trick, otherwise Wang Binjiun would not be so cooperative. It seems like this. Wang Binjiun nodded, accepting Li Feng's explanation, and then her conversation changed. Then can I start interviewing you? Of course. Li Feng shrugged, and then asked, By the way, will this interview be broadcast on China TV? Yes. Wang Binjiun nodded directly and admitted. Then do I need to put on makeup or something? Li Feng smiled. No, you are pretty photogenic. Wang Binjiun blushed a little when he said this. Li Feng's handsome is the kind of handsome that hits the soul directly, which makes Wang Binjiao look at him with a feeling of shock. Perhaps before Li Feng became famous, he did not have such a charm, but when his wealth and fame reached world class, his charm was a bit unstoppable for most girls. After all, an ordinary looking person who becomes a rich man will be sought after by many girls. That's good. Li Feng nodded and corrected his sitting posture which signaled the start of Wang Binjiu's interview. Mr. Li, why did If Bai A suddenly issue you a global warrant? This is a misunderstanding, they made a mistake. 
why is if by a I misunderstanding? Then you are going to ask for by a. Well, Mr. Lee, when did you start to like basketball? I was still in elementary school and watched Slam Dunk for the first time. This interview went smoothly. Except for some questions that Li Feng didn't want to answer, he could say that he knew everything without saying anything. Wang Binjiun was very satisfied with the results of this interview. After Li Feng became famous, apart from Yang Jia and director Zhang who interviewed him on the NBA court, no other media reporter had this opportunity. Wang Binjiun believes that once this interview draft is issued, it will surely arouse great repercussions. Thank you Mr. Li for accepting my interview, can I leave you a contact information? After the interview, Wang Binjiun whispered. The cameraman's face changed slightly, and then he gave Wang Binjiun a thoughtful look. Wang Binjiun looks 16 or 7 years old, but he is actually 25. He has been on China Satellite TV for three years, but he has never had a scandal. This time she took the initiative to leave Li Feng on the phone. Isn't it interesting to Li Feng? Of course. Li Feng took out his cell phone and called Wang Binjiun directly. After keeping each other, Li Feng added Wang Binjiun's WeChat. After doing this, Li Feng sent the two of them out of the office. Shortly after Li Feng sent the two away, his secretary walked into the office and reported, Mr. Li, Miss Ayer wants to see you. Al Landor. Li Feng raised his eyebrows and asked in confusion. Yes. The secretary nodded. Let her in. Yes. Soon, Al Landor walked in under the leadership of the secretary. Li Feng waved his hand to let the secretary leave. Then he asked, Al, you have my mobile phone number. Why don't you call me directly if you want to see me? I think this is a little more formal. Al Landor said with a serious expression. Li Feng raised his eyebrows, it seems that you have something to ask me for. Let's talk, what's the matter? I want to play the female number one of Titanic. Al Landor took a deep breath and said. She saw relevant reports on the set. After filming today's scene, she rushed back to the HN Films headquarters without stopping. Although most netizens on the internet say that this movie will be a bad film that will last forever in history, Al Landor doesn't think so because she believes in Li Feng. If Li Feng dared to say a $1 billion start, it shows that he has confidence in this movie. Since Li Feng has confidence in the movie, then this movie will have a high probability of word of mouth and high box office. Even if this movie really hits the street and has been promoted in the early stage, if she is fortunate enough to play the female number one, it will be of great help to her acting career. Li Feng stared at her for a while, then shook his head and smiled after a long while, you are not suitable. Al Landor was taken aback for a moment, and then puzzled, am I not in line with the heroine of this show? Almost, your temperament is different from the temperament of the heroine in the play. Li Feng was not afraid of hurting Al Landor's self-esteem and explained directly. Al Landuo frowned slightly and nodded, Well, I understand. Then. President Li, do you have time tonight? Li Feng. Li Feng was stunned at that time. What does Al Landor mean, is she trying to play the unspoken rules with him in order to get the chance to play the heroine of Titanic? No way. Al Landor doesn't seem to be that kind of silver. Mr. Li. Seeing Li Feng not speaking, Al Landor couldn't help but remind him. Ah! Ao! Li Feng came back to his senses and asked curiously, What do you want to do to me? No, you want to do to me at night. Nor, cough, just, what do you have at night? Thing! Al Landor! No! Looking at what Li Feng meant, did he misunderstand something? After a while, Al Landor said with a weird face, A friend asked me to go racing in the evening. Traffic. Li Feng was stunned, What car? Video game. No, it's racing, mountain racing, to be precise, it's, illegal drag racing. 
Al Landor said embarrassedly. Li Feng, no, do you still have this hobby? Yes, I like racing on mountain roads, and my biggest wish is to be able to appear in the speed series. When Al Landor talked about racing, his eyes began to flood. That, illegal drag racing is very dangerous, right? Li Feng said with a weird expression. In regular racing competitions, such as F1 and WRC, although collisions often occur in the competition, racers rarely suffer casualties. Because today's racing cars have a unified and standardized safety configuration, any professional racing car, from the frame to the seat belt, even to the driver's clothes, shoes and gloves, has detailed safety standards. Protect the personal safety of the riders. There was once a driver who drove a formula car and hit a concrete wall directly at a speed of 200 km per hour. The car disintegrated on the spot, and even the seat was broken. The driver himself was in shock and was rushed to the hospital, but he woke up without any serious problems. If you change to an ordinary private car, let alone a speed of 200 km per hour, what is the probability of surviving when a speed of 100 km per hour hits a concrete wall? It is important to know that when the Automobile Safety Appraisal Agency is doing the crash test, the frontal collision speed is 64 km slash hour, and the side collision speed is 50 km slash hour. Drag racing on mountain roads or illegal racing is full of uncertainties. Participants' vehicles are either ready-made supercars or private cars that have undergone various magic changes. In this case, there is a high probability of injury, and a small probability of hanging up directly. The risk factor is more than a hundred times higher than that of a regular racing game. Although Al Landor is not a delicate type, he doesn't need to be so wild, right? Fortunately, as long as the technology is at home, it will usually not happen. Al Landor whispered. She also knows that illegal drag racing is dangerous, but isn't the danger accompanied by excitement? Extreme sports are very dangerous. If you are not careful, you will say goodbye to the world. Isn't there many fans participating every year? Life is short, so we must have fun in time. Then why do you want me to go? Li Feng puzzled. There is a nasty guy who always bothers me. Al Landor said embarrassingly. The corner of Li Feng's mouth twitched, Uh, do you want me to pretend to be your boyfriend? Feelings, he is very suitable to start a company that specializes in fake boyfriends. There is business everywhere. Al Landor waved his hand, blushing and said, It's not pretending to be a boyfriend, it's, well, how to put it, just use all means to make him retreat. Li Feng isn't it, the affectionate master is passionate? At the same time, a system prompt sounded in Li Feng's mind. Ding, host, you have a new task, do you want to check it now? This time is coming to the mission. Isn't it related to Al Landor? Wait, I'm still short of one million to upgrade. As long as this mission experience is enough for one million, can I upgrade after completing it? Thinking of this, Li Feng's heart suddenly became very hot, and he quickly clicked on the task introduction to check it out. Task, save the goddess El Landor, 3. Task goal, to help the goddess El Landor completely get rid of the harassers, if the task fails, 5 million system points will be deducted from the host as punishment. Task reward, 1 million experience points 2 million system points 20 conquest points. Damn just one million, this task must be done. Li Feng is like a hungry wolf who hasn't eaten meat for several days, with green light in his eyes. Al Landor was taken aback by Li Feng's appearance. No, didn't I just want him to help deal with the people who often harass her? Why is he so excited? Isn't he misunderstanding something? Ah, Al, the boss should help his subordinates solve some life problems, when shall we leave? Li Feng said enthusiastically. Uh, it's okay now, but we can have dinner before leaving. The game starts at 8 p.m., so don't worry. The change in Li Feng's attitude made Al Landor a little frightened. Okay, 
let's go out for dinner first. When the voice fell, Li Feng got up and walked out. El Landor stayed in place for a few seconds, and finally gritted his teeth and followed. The two came to the underground parking lot. Li Feng asked, where is your car? It's over there. Al Landor took out the car key and pressed it. Chasing. The headlights of an Audi R8 flashed several times. Uh. Are you going to drive this car to drag racing? Li Feng pointed to the red R8 and asked with a weird expression. Yes, is there any problem? Al Landor looked puzzled. Have you modified it later? Li Feng asked. In his impression, the cars of the mountain road racing crowd are very good, various magic changes, and some of the performance can exceed the limit of supercars. Although the R8 is awesome, it is still a lot worse than the 10 million supercar, not to mention the sports cars that have undergone magical changes. No, I think it's can be used. Al Landor laughed. She is an amateur. This limited edition R8 has a 5.2 LV10 engine with a maximum horsepower of 525 horsepower and an acceleration of 3.5 s per 100 km with outstanding performance. With her technology, the performance of the R8 can't be fully utilized. Even if it is replaced with a more powerful supercar, it can't be controlled by her technology. Yes. Li Feng nodded, walked over and got in the co-pilot. Al Landor followed closely, stepping on his long legs to the driver's seat and boarding the car, starting the car and driving out of the HN Pictures headquarters. Half an hour later, the two came to a restaurant for dinner, and their appearance naturally caused a crowd of fans to watch. However, Li Feng refused the request to take photos with fans because he was afraid that after taking photos, there would be an affair with Al Landor. As for the sneak shots of him, don't blame him for destroying the other party's phone with system intervention. When the two of them finished their meal, they drove to Rocky Mountain. Rocky Mountain is the famous autumn mountain in the United States, and it is a resort in the hearts of countless racing enthusiasts. Here, there will be one or several racing games every night, and countless handsome men and beautiful women gather here. Just go there and you will feel the adrenaline rush. After an hour of driving, the Audi R8 drove up to the top of Rocky Mountain. In the process of going up the mountain, Li Feng inquired about the related information of Rocky Mountain. The Rocky Mountain is 312 meters above sea level. The mountain roads are winding and steep. Although they are all paved roads and there are guardrails on the outside, if a vehicle loses control and hits the guardrail, it is likely to fall. Even more exciting is that there is a six-in-one hairpin bend halfway up the mountain, one more than Chu Ming Shan. Li Feng can imagine what kind of screams will be caused when drivers drive through here. After arriving at the top of the mountain, Li Feng discovered that the area is very large, it must be half the size of a football field. Moreover, the ground was very flat, as if the tip of the mountain was cut off by the of war with a knight's sword. Although it was not made into a concrete ground, it was not awkward to walk on it. What surprised Li Feng even more is that someone has already built a high stage for performances here. There is a huge screen on the high stage with classic racing pictures on the screen. In front of the screen, two DJs in floral shirts are playing songs, and the dance music is superb. In front of the high platform, a group of handsome men and beautiful women gathered, they writhed wantonly swaying youthful vitality. Around the high platform, luxury cars stopped for a circle. In addition to Lamborghini, Ferrari, McLaren, and Porsche, there were also blasted BMW M Series, Mercedes AMG, and Audi Rs. In addition to these high-end luxury cars, there are also Bumblebee, Mustang, and Dodge Classic cars. Regardless of their retro appearance, there may be a V8 or even a V12 Big Heart installed inside, and a nitrogen acceleration system may also be equipped. None of the cars here are less than $100,000. When Al Landor's Audi R8 drove up, it immediately attracted some people's attention. Wow, look, our big star is here. Al, here. Wait, there seems to be a man sitting in Al's co-pilot. 
Oh shit, does she have a boyfriend? What the hell, isn't Al single? While everyone was whispering, a handsome blonde vulture who was standing in front of the crowd narrowed his eyes by the stars. Harrison, you have a competitor. She knew you were here, but she brought her male companion over, she must be demonstrating to you. Harrison, you must keep it away later. Women like gentlemen. Gentlemen a ghost, chasing a woman requires courage, do you understand? Defeating her male partner head on, let her know what a real man is, Harrison, I believe you have this ability. Listening to buddies or ridicules or serious opinions, Harrison Smedley showed a confident smile on his face, of course, I am the only heir to the Smedley family. Like the Daniel family, the Smedley family is also the top family in the United States, but the overall strength is a bit worse than the Daniel family. The Smedley family is mainly involved in energy and real estate. The family wealth is more than one trillion US dollars. The connections in the United States can only be described as terrible. Similarly, there are super martial arts powerhouses in the Smedley family, and Harrison Smedley is also an S-rank powerhouse himself, the genius of the Tian Jiao. It can be seen that they are very unfriendly to my arrival. Through the window glass, Li Feng could see the hostile gaze of Harrison Smedley and others. Uh, the situation should not be serious, they are still gentlemen. Al Landor comforted Li Feng, parked the car, then opened the door and stepped out of his long legs. Then a blonde girl came over, Hey Al, you are finally here. Selena, have you been here long ago? Al Landor asked after getting out of the car. She and Serena Joe are college classmates, and they both like racing. It was Serena who asked her over tonight. Yes, I arrived an hour ago. Serena smiled, then turned to look at Li Feng, who walked down from the co-pilot. When Li Feng turned her head, Serena's face appeared confused, as if she was wondering if she was dazzled. After a long while, Serena exclaimed, Li Feng, you are Li Feng. Others also saw Li Feng, and suddenly exclaimed. Dameka, he is Li Feng, he really is Li Feng. Ziat. Al's male partner turned out to be Li Feng, this is really crazy. Demu. Harrison, have you seen it, it's Li Feng. Fake. It turned out to be that Huaxia, this is really annoying. Harrison Smedley's eyes were cold, and he said in a gloomy tone, I didn't expect it to be him. But wouldn't it be more interesting? As soon as this was said, the expressions of other people became a little exciting. Before that, they had talked about Li Feng many times. Before today, their evaluation of Li Feng was still positive. After all, Li Feng's only performance in the NBA was too amazing. But starting today, their evaluation of Li Feng has taken a turn for the worse, because Li Feng announced that the male lead of the new movie Titanic is a Chinese. For this reason, they also discussed how to give Li Feng some color. They never thought that Li Feng would come to the top of Rocky Mountain tonight. Does this count as a pillow when someone gives you a pillow? Hi, hello Miss Serena. Li Feng waved and greeted. You, hello. Serena regained some composure, that, what are you and Al? Oh, I'm Al's boss. I talked to her about work matters before leaving work. After the end, she invited me to come here for a look, and then I followed along. Li Feng explained. Serena looked at Al, and Al shrugged that Li Feng was right. Well, I thought you and Al were. Couple. Yes, I misunderstood. Serena smiled bitterly. Li Feng smiled noncommittal. At this time Harrison Smedley brought people over, Hi Al, you really showed up, are you ready for failure? Al Landor frowned slightly, Mr. Harrison, I don't think I will lose to you tonight. Harrison Smedley's way of chasing women is very special. He will not be obedient to a woman like a sweet dog. Instead, he will use the way of an overbearing president, first overbearing women, and then occasionally showing tenderness. After learning that Al Landor likes to come to Rocky Mountain for drag racing, 
he deliberately brought people over, and every time he deliberately bet with Al Landor, he won a lot of money from Al Landor. Really, it seems you still don't have an intuitive understanding of your own strength. Harrison Smedley shook his head and smiled, then looked at Li Feng, or, did you hire a helper to help you race the car tonight? Let me see. Well, isn't this Mr. Li Feng Li, who is in the limelight recently? Hello, Mr. Li, this is Harrison Smedley, I am glad to meet you. While speaking, he stretched out his right hand towards Li Feng. Li Feng glanced at him, shook his head and smiled, Sorry, I don't like shaking hands with a sissy. Harrison Smedley Al Landor Other people Li Feng said that everyone was shocked. Fuck, Harrison Smedley is a sissy? What an international joke. Although Harrison Smedley looks like a custard niche, and the clothes he wears follow the fresh meat route, but he is very manly. When he was in college, Harrison Smedley was the captain of the school football team and led the team to a state championship. In the arena, he is a bull that no one can stop, unmatched in might. When racing, he is also more fierce than others, and often makes some seemingly thrilling but wonderful drifting moves. Is such a man a sissy? Stop teasing, okay. Lee, do you know what you are talking about? Harrison Smedley let out a sigh of relief and asked with a gloomy expression. Of course, I think people are always accurate, you are a sissy, and a sissy who only speaks ill of people behind his back. Li Feng looked at Harrison Smedley without fear, and sneered. Everyone couldn't help taking a breath of air. Fuck, Li Feng is going to tear his face with Harrison like this, and he tears his face at the first meeting. Will the two of them hit the earth with sparks next? But then again. Harrison did say bad things about Li Feng before, and Li Feng was right. El Landor didn't expect Li Feng to be so fierce when he came up, and suddenly said with some worry, Mr. Li, shall we go back? It's very interesting here, why go back? Li Feng smiled. But. Al Landor bit his lip and leaned close to Li Feng's ear and said, Harrison Smedley's family is very powerful. It is a large family in the U.S. state. Li Feng raised his eyebrows and said in a playful tone, Then why didn't you tell me earlier? I. Al Landor paused and said embarrassingly, I just think you will be better than him. The scenes of Li Feng fixing Hunter Bray often appeared in her mind. In her heart, Li Feng is a superhero in reality. You feel right, I'm just better than him so why should we leave? Li Feng blinked and smiled. Although the two people spoke very quietly and the room was very noisy, no one else heard what the two said. But seeing the two people whispering together like lovers, everyone's expressions still became a little weird. Nima, these two people came here to show their affection on purpose, right? On the contrary, Harrison Smedley of the S-Class heard the conversation between the two clearly, and suddenly became angry. Zayat, Al Landor actually said that Li Feng was more powerful than him, it was unbearable. Very well, Huaxia, you successfully aroused my anger, then are you ready to accept failure? Harrison Smedley resisted his anger and said coldly. Li Feng raised his eyebrows, what accept failure, you want to hit me? Hit you? I'm afraid you won't be able to withstand my punch. Harrison Smedley sneered, and pointed to Al Landor's R8 and said, Here is the racing car. You are going to let Al come on rando, or are you on? Uh. Li Feng turned his head to look at Al Landor, Do I still have this task? Al Landor twitched his mouth, shook his head and said, No. She always feels that Li Feng tonight is a little abnormal, too excited, or this is Li Feng's true face. It's just that the two people have had little contact with each other so they didn't notice it. In other words, you will play with me tonight, right? Harrison Smedley sneered. Al Landor nodded, if you want to challenge me, then I will go. Very well, it seems that your boss is a coward. Harrison Smedley gave Li Feng a contemptuous look and said. Li Feng Neng raised his eyebrows, wait a minute, 
what are you talking about, I don't quite understand the situation. Haha, <laughs> didn't Al tell you before coming here? Harrison Smedley sneered. This really isn't it. Li Feng frowned slightly and turned to look at Al Landor, what the is going on? He didn't like the feeling of being kept in the dark, it was like a deception, which made him a little unhappy. It's nothing, you have to pay an entrance fee for racing here, $100,000 per time. Everyone can choose an opponent at will to challenge, and those who succeed in the challenge can win the opponent's admission fee. Of course, both sides of the game can also increase their bets, with no upper limit. I have competed with Mr. Harrison twice before and both lost, but each time I only lost one body distance, so there is not much difference between me and him. Al Landor took a deep breath and explained. So as long as you come here and others challenge you, you have to challenge. Li Feng was a little puzzled. Couldn't the strong person be able to choose the weaker to compete at will and win money arbitrarily? Isn't this rule too nonsense? No, I can refuse, but there is no word weak in my dictionary. Al Landor had firm eyes and said in a deep voice. Li Feng frowned slightly, if someone who is far superior to you challenges you, won't you refuse? If a person can figure out Al Landor's temper and deliberately target her, wouldn't she keep losing? I will not refuse, but the other party is afraid that they won't even think about racing in Rocky Mountain in the future. Al Landor laughed. Matches with similar strength are wonderful. If the strength is far better than the opponent, and if you insist on challenging the opponent, then it will be shameless and will be pointed out by Kyun Fu. Therefore, knowing each other's strength, Rocky Mountain has never deliberately challenged an opponent whose strength is far inferior to his own. That's it. So you plan to play in person from the beginning, so you didn't mention it to me? Li Feng asked thoughtfully. Yes, racing is a very technically challenging sport. I think I am no worse than men. Al Landor said confidently. Although her driving skills are not as good as professional racers, she is also at an upper level among amateurs. The average man is really not as good as her skills. Although Li Feng is very good, but the car is not as good as her, right? Okay. Li Feng nodded and said nothing. Very well, it seems that Miss Air intends to find me revenge this time. Harrison Smedley looked cold and mocked, then we might as well take a big bet tonight, how? Al Landor's complexion changed slightly, no, I don't have that much money, so I still bet 100, 000. Although she did not admit defeat, she did not look like a gambler who was impatient. So. Harrison Smedley shook his head disappointedly, well, since you don't dare to bet big, let's continue to bet at $100,000. But I hope that after this loses you, this Mr. Lee can play with me once and let you place the bet. How about? Li Feng's eyes lit up, knowing that his opportunity was here. Boom boom boom. Koenig Sego Ne1 and Audi R8 parked side by side in front of the starting line, banging the throttle and making bursts of engine roar. Everyone stood on both sides, waving their arms in excitement and shouting loudly. Wow, everyone is very enthusiastic. Seeing the crowd yelling frantically outside the window, Li Feng said with an exaggerated expression. Yes, because many people have placed bets on this game. Al Landor said helplessly. Hey. Li Feng raised his eyebrows and said with a weird expression, can people outside also participate? Yeah, it's normal, isn't it? Al Landor shrugged, then smiled bitterly, but few people should bet on me to win. Although she didn't want to admit it, she had already lost to Harrison twice before. If she was an outsider, she would bet on Harrison to win. Then wait a minute, I'll make a bet first. When the voice fell, Li Feng pushed the door and got out of the car. The guides were about to walk over and wave their flags. They were stunned when they saw Li Feng getting out of the car, why did you get off? On ONE1, Harrison Smedley was also taken aback, lowered the window and asked, Li, are you afraid? I'm afraid of wool, I came down to bet. 
Li Feng sneered and shouted loudly, Who is the dealer? I will bet on Al Landor to win. A sturdy man wearing a big gold chain squeezed away from the crowd and walked over, Wow, Mr. Li, this is Mike Benjamin, the dealer here, I am glad to meet you. Most of the equipment on this hilltop platform was brought up by him, including this high platform. Of course, he is not doing good deeds, but making money through this. Those who come here to participate in the competition, as long as they bet against each other, he will have to pay 5%. Like the 200 million gambling game between Li Feng and Harrison Smedley, no matter who wins or loses, he can get a rake of $10 million. This is a good deal. So he is very excited now and respectful when facing Li Feng. Who makes Li Feng his big benefactor? How many bets on Al Landor to win now? Li Feng asked. Uh, there is only one for the time being, her good friend Miss Serena, she bet $10,000. Mike Benjamin said embarrassedly. Oh hell, then how do we make money? Zayat, how to divide 10,000 US dollars, it's not enough. Mike, you'd better not rake in this round, or I will lose money. Others were a little unhappy when they heard it although most of them were the sons and daughters of rich people, but the rich didn't want to make a loss-making business. Hey, guys, the rules have been set long ago. If you don't want to play, you cannot participate. If you participate, you must abide by the rules, okay? Mike Benjamin turned his head and glanced at everyone, then said in a deep voice. He is also a well-known ruthless person in LSJ and ordinary sons and young ladies are really not regarded by him. When the voice went down, the young ladies didn't shout. Hey, Mike, can you tell me how many people are betting on Harrison to win and how much is the total? Li Feng asked. Well, there are 102 people with a total amount of 10 million US dollars. Mike Benjamin answered truthfully. Very well, to be fair. I bet Miss Air 9.99 million US dollars. Li Feng took out his bank card, swiped the card, buddy. Mike Benjamin. Isn't it, is this person crazy, or there is nowhere to spend money, and want to throw money like this? Only 10,000 was bet on Al Landor, and even if Li Feng also bet 10,000, he would have 4.75 million dollar in his hand. If you bet 9.99 million, you won only 9.49 million. The betting has been doubled by 999 times, but the income has not even doubled. Talents with pitfalls in their minds will make this choice, right? But the person who had previously bet on Al Landor was so excited. Fuck, they thought it was going to lose money before. They never thought that Li Feng would be a savior for all staff and directly added 9.9 million. So wouldn't they make 90,000 by betting 100,000? Mr. Lee, you are such a wonderful person. Mr. Lee is a good person, and a good person lives in peace. Mr. Lee has worked hard. Lee Feng. It's not. God is so good that a good person is safe in life, you say that will make me feel like posting in some forums. As we all know, there is only one kind of forum post and all the replies are thanks to the original poster. Ahem, don't look at your smile now, be careful to pull the green. Well, forget it, since you are so grateful to me, I don't want to discourage your enthusiasm, so cherish this happy time. After swiping the card, Li Feng coughed a few times, and then turned to R8. What does he mean? I didn't understand, what is looking? Baffling. It's probably because of too much psychological pressure, so I'm talking nonsense. Everyone murmured a few words, and then focused their attention on the upcoming game. How much did you vote? After Li Feng got in the car, Al Landor asked. The car windows were closed just now, and it was very noisy outside. She didn't hear what Li Feng said. Not much, only ten million dollars. Li Feng said easily. Al Landor. No. Does Li Feng have any misunderstandings about the word not much? At this moment, 
the guide walked between the two cars and raised the small colored flag. Boom boom. ONE 1 and R8 made two roars in succession, and the tires rubbed against the ground, causing a lot of smoke. As the guide waved the colorful flags, ONE 1 and R8 were like two wild horses, rushing out with a bang. The Rocky Mountain track is 13 kilometers long, starting at the top of the mountain and ending at the foot of the mountain. The car will circle down the mountain. Downhill all the way. The first 300 meters of the track is a straight line, and the straight acceleration ability of the car in this section is reflected. I saw two cars roaring out and soon ONE 1 took the lead. In R8, Al Landor stepped on the accelerator fiercely, but could only helplessly watch ONE 1 run farther and farther. The Koenig Seg 11S 100 km acceleration time is 2 seconds and the R8S 100 km acceleration time is 3.5 seconds. Linear acceleration is really slagging in seconds. Let's go back and change the car. The co-pilot said, Li Feng playfully. In terms of Al Landor's annual income, he can fully afford supercars that start at millions of dollars. Even a car that accelerates from 100 km to less than 2.5 seconds will not be so passive when competing with people. Al Landor's attention was all on the Koenig Seg ONE 1 ahead, and he didn't even know what Li Feng had said, so he was fully engaged. After the 300 m straight section, Koenig Seg ONE 1 entered the first corner, Harrison gently stepped on the brakes, and ONE 1 made a beautiful drifting motion and passed the corner. Two seconds later, Al Landor's R8 came before the corner. When she controlled R8 to drift around the corner, ONE 1 had already led her by nearly 20 meters. Seeing this, Li Feng couldn't help but ridicule, is it only one body distance ahead? Al Landor heard what Li Feng had said this time. He felt a little bit ashamed. He stepped on the accelerator again and R8 roared and rushed forward. Soon, ONE 1 passed the second corner, and when Al Landor chased the second corner, she realized that she could not even see the taillight of ONE 1. In previous games, Harrison Smedley saved his strength. Wow, Harrison is so fierce tonight. He is now more than 100 meters ahead of Al. The two drifting corners just now were so beautiful, they are the level of professional racers. Zayat. He hides his strength. This guy is really insidious, but I like it. Hey, a $100 million bet, Harrison is finally getting serious. The crowd watching the battle from the sidelines, through the big screen on the high platform, saw the scene of Harrison turning clearly, and exclaimed for a moment. Hey, want to fight me? Dreaming. In ONE 1, Harrison Smedley looked at the loss of R8 in the rearview mirror and couldn't help but a sneer at the corner of his mouth. With the performance of ONE 1 and his racing skills comparable to those of professional racers, beating Al Landor is as simple as eating and drinking. Since Li Feng dared to bet 100 million US dollars against him, the lion fights the rabbit with all his strength to convince them to lose. After Mr. Li, I... I might lose. Looking at the empty track ahead, Al Landor was crying anxiously. She couldn't see Harrison Smedley's tail lights after only two corners and a total distance of about one kilometer. If she ran a full 13 kilometers, how would she be led by Harrison? If it were just her match with Harrison, even if she lost miserably, she would not be so uncomfortable, but the problem is that Li Feng and Harrison bet 100 million against each other. If Li Feng loses 100 million dollars because of her relationship, she can die of guilt. You didn't pass through leaning at the first glance. There is no impossibility in this world, because everything is possible through leaning. If you open your mind well, maybe there will be a miracle. Li Feng comforted. Originally, Li Feng's comfort was not very diligent, and this kind of thing could not be calmed down by a simple sentence or two, Al Landor still had an expression of crying. Li Feng didn't persuade him any more but looked at Al Landor with a smile, with an indifferent attitude. Perhaps it was Li Feng's attitude that infected Al Landor, and Al Landor slowly recovered his composure, and his expression became serious again. 
it's just that the difference in strength can be smoothed out without being serious. When Al Landor finished half of the track and still didn't see Harrison Smedley's tail lights, her emotions were on the verge of collapse. Forget it, help her once, also for myself. Li Feng shook his head and smiled, and spent time still. The yelling crowd in front of the high platform came to a halt, and the picture on the big screen became stagnant. On the winding road, Harrison's ONE1 and Al Landor's R8 also fell into a standstill from a galloping state, and the dust and pebbles from the tires were frozen in the air. Everything in this world has fallen into a state of stagnation. Then, Li Feng walked out of R8 with a wall piercing technique, got up and flew to ONE1 on the track below. Hidden strength to play Al, this is the first crime. If you want to win the little master $100 million, this is the second crime. Then don't blame the little master for smashing your tires. Anyway, you are an S-class powerhouse. It will be unharmed. Li Feng stood in front of the ONE1 car, looked at Harrison Smedley in the driving seat, and said mockingly. After speaking, Li Feng raised his hand to point at the two tires of ONE1, and suddenly there were two holes in the expensive tires purchased for the track. Li Feng clapped his hands, got up and flew back into R8, and at the same time released the time still. Oh shit! After the time stopped, Harrison Smedley heard two loud noises, and then ONE1 lost control and rolled and crashed into the mountain on the left. In front of the high platform, everyone who saw this scene couldn't help but exclaim. Oh my god! Harrison's car overturned. Damn it, why does this happen? I seem to see the two front tires of ONE1 burst. Sheet, the speed of ONE1 is 150 km per hour, Harrison will be killed by such an impact. As everyone exclaimed, ONE1 slammed into the mountain. Boom! With a loud noise, the body of ONE1 disintegrated, and Harrison Smedley rolled out from the inside and threw himself onto the track. Boom! There is another loud noise. After the disintegration of the ONE1 fuel tank exploded, part of the car body turned into a fireball, illuminating the night sky. In front of the high platform, everyone was clinging to their hair, or looking at Harrison Smedley on the screen in horror or dull eyes, the atmosphere was almost frozen. Especially Mike Benjamin, he is going crazy. This is Harrison Smedley, the young master of the Smedley family. If he died here, he would be torn to pieces by the crazy Smedley family. When the atmosphere was extremely frozen, Harrison Smedley, who was lying on the ground, got up, and after playing the dust off his body, he gave a thumbs up to the camera on the side of the road. Oh my god, he's still alive. He really is alive. Omega. This is a miracle, I saw a miracle. Oh, I'm almost crying, I can't believe my eyes. Everyone lived in an instant, and a burst of cheers burst into the sky. Fake. Fake fake. Mike Benjamin cursed fiercely to vent his excitement at the moment. Fuck hey, Harrison is not dead, fuck hey, Harrison got up by himself, this is simply the happiest moment in his life. I seem to hear an explosion. In R8, even if the roaring engine sound was covered, Al Landor still heard a huge explosion from below. Well, I heard it too, it's probably Harrison's car that exploded. Li Feng nodded. Al Landor. No. The car exploded? Why does the car explode? It's probably hit the mountain, Li Feng said to himself, touching his chin. It's a pity that Al Landor doesn't speak Chinese, otherwise he would say this sentence in Chinese, wouldn't it be a very interesting homophonics talk? While Al Landor was thinking about why Harrison would hit the mountain, R8 came to the road where the incident occurred and saw the wreckage of ONE1 on the side of the road, and Harrison SMO, who was standing beside the wreckage, with broken clothes and gloomy expression. Terai. Oh my god, he really hit the mountain, is he okay? Al Landor was a little confused. It was a miracle that Harrison could still stand here like no one else in such a tragic accident. Li Feng lowered the window and greeted Harrison in the wind, Hey, Harrison, 
are you okay? Do you need towing service? Harrison clenched his fists and said coldly, Li Feng, this time luck is on your side. Don't be too proud of you. Next time, I will definitely make it difficult for you to lose. When he finished speaking, R8 passed him like a gust of wind, and then he saw Li Feng poking his head out of the car window, trumpet-shaped hands on his mouth and shouting, What are you talking about? Inaudible, speak up. Harrison just felt that his throat was blocked by a breath of bad breath. When R8 crossed the finish line, Al Landor had a very unreality feeling, I... I won. Yes, you won, I sent it. Li Feng said with a smile. Al Landor was stunned for a moment, and said with a laugh, My God, I can't believe I should have such good luck. Li Feng smiled, but it did happen, which shows that Goddess of Luck lifted your skirt corners. Uh, no, you lifted the skirts of Goddess Luck. Puff. Al Landor was amused by Li Feng and laughed out loud. After she stopped laughing, her mood calmed down a lot. After ten minutes, the two returned to the top of the mountain, and then they found that the atmosphere was a little weird. The DJ stopped singing, and the youngsters stopped stumbling, just looking straight at Al Landor and Li Feng. After the two got off the car, everyone still stared at them. Li Feng was fascinated at the time, I have flowers or drips on my face, what do you always stare at me? As soon as these words came out, everyone was a little bit nervous. At this time, Mike Benjamin walked up to Li Feng in time and explained in a low voice, Ah, Mr. Li, you won, so they all lost. Oh, it's for this. Li Feng suddenly realized, and then smiled, Isn't it just a loss of money? As for that. Everyone finally couldn't stand it any longer, Sket. Harrison lost to luck, not to Al. If Harrison doesn't have a flat tire, Al will lose. Yes, Harrison was already more than 200 meters ahead of you at the time. If you continue with this rhythm, he will be at least 500 meters ahead of you at the end of the game. Among the crowd, Harrison Smedley looked at Li Feng with sullen eyes, and the anger in his eyes seemed to burn Li Feng. I'm going, right? Everyone is an adult. Don't even know that strength is luck, oh no, luck is also a part of strength. Please. Stand upright when you are beaten. If you lose, you lose. It's too bad to make excuses. Li Feng and Harrison looked at each other and mocked. Everyone directly let Li Feng be confused. Luck is also a part of strength, why is it out of taste, we are just stating a fact, okay? Some people began to refute Li Feng right now. At this moment, Harrison yelled, enough. The sound shook everywhere and there was no sound. You are right. If you lose, you lose. No matter if you have poor skills or bad luck, this is an established fact and no one can change it. Harrison let out a foul breath and said. Li Feng gave a thumbs up, you finally look like a man. Harrison. No. I didn't look like a man before feelings. No, Shen finally looks like a man. I have always been a man, okay. Well, since we won, then you guys are willing to bet and lose, Mike, make money. Li Feng hooked his finger at Mike Benjamin and smiled. Without saying anything, Mike Benjamin ran up to Li Feng and transferred 18.49 million US dollars to Li Feng's card. Now Li Feng is the god of wealth in Mike Benjamin's heart. This one earned him 1 million US dollars not counting Li Feng and Harrison's 200 million market. Serena was a little unhappy. She was originally betting on Al Landor alone to win. Without Li Feng, she would have won $9.5 million. Although her father is also a billionaire, he has just crossed the threshold of 100 million US dollars. You can imagine what 9.5 million US dollars means to her. Now that it's all right, Li Feng made a temporary kick, and after deducting the rake, she could only earn $9,000. To put it bluntly, why is $9,000 enough? After transferring the money, Mike Benjamin rubbed his hands and said, Mr. Li, 
do you and Mr. Harrison also settle your bet? Li Feng raised his eyebrows, ah, I almost forgot if you didn't tell me. Mike Benjamin. Other people. Damn it, you can forget about a hundred million dollars. How forgetful you are. Then don't say anything, let Harrison transfer the money, although the money is not much, but I don't like my money staying in the hands of others. Everyone couldn't help but twitch their mouths. Shent doesn't have much money, it's one hundred million dollars. Even Harrison was stunned, Nima, he felt that he was already a strong man in the pretending world, and he never thought that he would not even count his brother in front of Li Feng. Okay. I'm going to find Mr. Harrison now. When the voice fell, Mike Benjamin ran up to Harrison. Before he could speak, Harrison took out his bank card. Just when Mike thought he was going to swipe the card, he saw Li Feng and said, I have a request before I swipe the card. Li Feng raised his eyebrows, what's the requirement? Compare once again, bet 200 million US dollars, you or Al can play, dare you. Harrison said coldly. He lost this game really badly. He ran halfway ahead of N meters, but the tire burst. No one can accept it. So he wants revenge, and the best way to revenge is to play another game with Al Landor. Li Feng couldn't help but sneered, there is nothing I dare not, but now you don't even have a car, how can you compare with us? Harrison couldn't help but sneered. I still have a lot of sports cars in the garage of LSJ Villa. As long as you agree to race with me, I will call and have one air lifted over. For their level of wealthy people, it is impossible to have only a limited edition supercar, falling a Koenigsegg one he also has Porsche 918, McLaren P1, Lamborghini Poison, Hennessy Venom, Bugatti Chiron. In addition, he also has his own private helicopter, a phone can let people fly to the top of Rocky Mountain with a supercar. Super rich, that's so arrogant. Mr. Lee, don't promise him, we have already won, there is no need to play another round with him. Al Landor quickly persuaded. She has seen Harrison's true strength just now, and if he compares it again, unless Harrison has another accident, she will definitely lose. It's just that the probability of an accident is very small. It is impossible for her to pin her hopes on things with such a small probability. It is better not to compare. Anyway, she won. Li Feng shook his fingers and smiled, Al, you don't understand. Some people don't die if they don't reach the Yellow River. Uh. The Yellow River is the mother river of our Chinese people. You can also understand that they don't hit the South Wall. Turn around. So I think it is necessary to compare him again and convince him that he lost. Al Landor Although I did not understand the two proverbs that Li Feng said, the meaning of the latter sentence is quite easy to understand. So does Li Feng have confidence in her, or is he the best? Don't worry, it's not for you to compare with him, but for me to play in person. Speaking of this, Li Feng looked at Harrison Smedley, I'll compare with you. Let's decide the winner in one game. Wow! Li Feng's words made everyone present couldn't help but exclaim. Fuck, this Huaxia guy actually wants to personally play against Harrison, where is his confidence? Harrison's eyes lit up, are you sure? Li Feng shrugged, of course, I'm always the one to say the word, now you can transfer the money. Of course. Harrison sneered and swiped his card directly. Mike Benjamin ran up to Li Feng again and transferred 90 million US dollars to Li Feng's account. Hey Mike, your business is okay, did you make 11 million dollars in one night? Li Feng said playfully. Hey, small business, the initial investment is large, and the risk is also great. Mike Benjamin seemed embarrassed, but in fact he said somewhat proudly. That is to say, he can open up all aspects of the relationship in order to do this kind of business on the Rocky Mountain. If you are here, who can organize so many people to participate, and who can prevent the police from coming here to check the car at night? Of course, the Daniel family and the Smedley family can also do such things, 
but this kind of small business people simply look down on it. This is a game that the big guys look down on and the small characters can't play. Only Mike Benjamin is willing to do it better and better. Li Feng rolled his eyes, just your income is a small business, then how can other people live? Mike Benjamin touched the back of his head and smiled hee hee, but didn't answer Li Feng's words again. I'm really afraid that others will be jealous about this. What if a big man like Li Feng falls for this business? It's better to keep a low profile. Humph, short-sighted. Harrison sneered and took out his cell phone to make a call, Hey, I'm at the top of Rocky Mountain. Help me get the Hennessy Venom GT in the garage. Come on. He hung up after her speaking. The Hennessy Venom GT is limited to 10 units worldwide, and the current price is 70 million Chinese coins, which is also priceless. Although the price is a bit worse than ONE1, its performance is comparable to Koenigsegg ONE1, and the measured top speed is even faster than Koenigsegg 0 ONE1. Of course, both the Koenigsegg ONE1 and the Hennessy Venom GT are supercars far beyond the Audi R8. Coupled with the skills of Harrison's professional racers, the winning rate of this race is even greater. You heard what car I'm going to drive later? Would you like to change another one? Harrison turned to look at Li Feng, mocking. I don't need it, it's just an amateur game. You don't need to fight so hard. R8 is enough to win you. Li Feng shrugged. Everyone was taken aback for a moment, and then laughed out loud, Hey Waxia boy, do you know what you are talking about? This is the Rocky Mountain track, a highly dangerous track. You are facing the Hennessy Venom GT one of the fastest sports cars on the land. You have seen the strength of Harrison, so how can you say with confidence? Such words. Are Huaxia people all clowns who can only speak big words? Li Feng glanced at everyone and said with a sneer, then have you thought about it, since Harris is so awesome, why would I dare to agree to play against Harrison, and the bet is $200 million? As soon as this word came out, everyone was stunned. Yeah, why did Li Feng know that Harrison is awesome, so he dare to compare with Harrison? Is it because Li Feng thinks he is better than Harrison? Even Harrison fell into deep thought. Go, let's go to the car and rest for a while. Looking at the contemplative people, Li Feng shook his head and smiled, turning his head to speak to Al Landor. Good, good. Some absent-minded El Landor recovered and walked towards R8 with his long legs. Today El Landor wore a very textured one-step skirt with a pair of black high heels under her feet. Of course, this was put on after she finished the car. She didn't dare to wear high heels when driving, she would make mistakes. El Landor was originally known for his long legs. This time walking in front of Li Feng in a one-step skirt and high heels, it was a feast for Li Feng who was walking behind. After getting in the car, Al Landor asked, Mr. Li, do you really have the confidence to defeat Harrison? Otherwise, would I make a joke with $200 million? Li Feng asked rhetorically. Al Landor opened his mouth, $200 million is nothing to you, right? The corner of Li Feng's mouth twitched, whoever says it doesn't matter, I care a lot. Okay, no one's money came from the wind. That's right. Al Landor nodded, and then said excitedly, Then when I'm racing, can I sit in the co-pilot? Since Li Feng is so confident, he must be very skilled, and she just took this opportunity to observe and learn Li Feng's driving skills. Li Feng shrugged, Of course it can. Half an hour later, there was a buzzing sound from the distant sky. Everyone followed the sound and saw a heavy helicopter flying towards this side with a container. Wow, cool. Hey, Harrison, you are so awesome, you can even think of the idea of using a helicopter to transport a sports car. Hurry up and shoot this scene and post it online. The number of hits will definitely burst. As soon as this was said, everyone took out their phones and started shooting. For these wealthy children, Showing off their wealth is a daily routine. Food, beautiful scenery, supercars and yachts are all taken frequently by them. 
but it is the first time they have seen supercars directly transported by heavy helicopters like Harrison. Soon, the helicopter came to the top of Rocky Mountain, and the container landed after a steady decline. Then, Mike Benjamin led someone to untie the rope, and the helicopter pilot greeted Harrison before returning. After everyone opened the container hurriedly, a bright yellow Hennessy Venom GT appeared in front of everyone. Wow, cool. This streamlined body, this cool shape, looks so handsome. This is Hennessy Venom GT, I finally saw the real car. The crowd gathered in front of Hennessy Venom GT with excitement, like looking at a peerless beauty. Hennessy Venom GT? It's interesting. Li Feng shook his head and smiled. After getting out of the car, he went to the driver's seat, come on, let's change positions. Oh. Al Landor hurriedly got out of the car. Perhaps it was because the movement to get out of the car was too rush, Al Landor accidentally smashed his foot, and fell back towards Li Feng. Li Feng quickly hugged Al Landor around his waist, and then rotated 360 degrees on the spot. During the rotation, the two eyes faced each other, and an invisible spark flickered at the intersection of their sights. If it is accompanied by a soft BGM, a proper Chinese idol drama will have a sense of sight. Fake. Harrison Smedley who saw this scene almost crushed a silver tooth with jealousy. The others also looked at each other and became suspicious of the relationship between Li Feng and Al Landor. Selena, are you sure they are just a relationship between superiors and subordinates? Looking at the situation, the two of them must have a leg. Serena shook her head, and said with a weird expression, this is what Al said personally. As for the truth, only they know. What? I don't know how long it took, Al Landor let out an exclamation, and at the same time stepped back and got out of Li Feng's embrace. The corner of Li Feng's mouth twitched, such a big reaction. What? Al Landor was still immersed in the panic of being hugged by Li Feng, and did not react for a while. It's nothing, you didn't get it right. Li Feng asked concerned. No. No. Al Landor turned his ankle to try it, and felt no pain. Well, that's good, get in the car, don't let people wait for a long time. Li Feng smiled and took the driving seat. Al Landor then realized that everyone else was looking at herself with a weird look. She blushed immediately and waved her hands again and again, it's not what you think. Then what do we think? Serena asked jokingly. Uh. Al Landor's tone was stagnant, and he fled around the R8 and got into the co-pilot. After closing the car door, she sighed for a long time, and then touched her face, only to find that her little face was very hot like a fever. Anyway, she was moved by Li Feng at that moment, right? Ow, seat belt. Li Feng reminded. Wow. Al Landor hurried to pull the seat belt, but she was used to the main driver, and because her emotions had not stabilized, she did not find the co-pilot's seat belt interface for a long time. At this time, Li Feng stretched out his hand and held her little hand. Suddenly, Al Landor shrank back like an electric shock. It's just that Li Feng's strength is something she can resist, and she hasn't retracted at all under this shrinkage. You, what are you doing? Al Lando's voice trembled. Just now Li Feng stretched out his arm to hug her, and now he shook her hand. Isn't Li Feng trying to chase her? Thinking of this possibility, Al Landor's heart trembled. She and Li Feng have seen each other a few times, and the time spent together is not too much, but Li Feng's charm really attracts her. Not to mention wealth and status, Li Feng's powerful force, heroic posture on the court, and his personal charm deeply moved her. It's just that she heard that Li Feng has a fiancé in China, and she seems to be quite ambiguous with Scarlet and Tiffany, so she has never dared to think about Li Feng. Now that Li Feng showed the initiative, she couldn't hold it anymore. The game is about to start, you haven't worn your seat belt yet, so help you. While speaking, Li Feng held her hand and inserted the seat belt into the interface. All right. 
Li Feng pulled on the seat belt and released his hand after confirming that there was no problem. Only then did Al Landor realize that he had misunderstood Li Feng, and his pretty face flushed even more. Harrison, there must be a nasty relationship between Al Landor and that Chinese man. Isn't that obvious? Li Feng is a major shareholder of HN Pictures. Al Landor has just taken a superhero movie from HN Pictures. Think about it. Before that, Al Landor had Can You Get a Handy Work? Damn, you mean, the unspoken rules. It must be. Seeing how natural Li Feng hugs Al Landor, it's definitely not the first time I have done this kind of thing. Harrison, if I were you, I wouldn't just swallow it like that. Even Serena nodded and said, I don't like that Chinese man, Harrison, for Al's happiness, you have to defeat him, let Al know who is the real strong. She invited Al Landor here because she was instructed by Harrison. Just now, Li Feng made her earn 9.49 million US dollars. She was very unhappy with Li Feng. Harrison let out a foul breath and said in a gloomy tone, Don't worry, I will make him pay. After hearing this, everyone knew that Harrison was really angry, and for a while, he felt pity for Li Feng in his heart. Ah, a new round of exciting matches is about to begin. Are you interested in playing another round? Mike Benjamin looked at the timing and jumped out and said, There won't be anyone betting on Li Feng. Who are we playing with? That's, anyone wants to bet Li Feng, stand up and let us have a look. If not, we won't be able to play. The room was quiet, and no one stood up to bet Li Feng. Knowing that Harrison will win, who would be so stupid as to throw money out, and can listen to the sound of it? Mike Benjamin was very disappointed. You care about who loses and who wins. It's serious to let Lao Tzu draw water. Just when everyone thought that no one was betting on this hand, Li Feng suddenly walked out of R8, yes, I forgot one thing. I'm still betting on myself to win. Did you follow? Mike Benjamin almost jumped up excitedly. Fuck, he said Li Feng is his god of wealth, right? It really is. Harrison's forehead burst into blue veins, Li Feng, you are too arrogant. It's not arrogance. It's self-confidence. Li Feng laughed mockingly, Come here, it's a bet. I will follow as much as you bet on me. If you dare, speak quickly. Everyone looked at each other, then became angry and shouted, I bet 100, 000. I bet 200, 000. 300000. The crowd was excited and rushed to donate, Ah oh no, it was a bet. Fortunately, they all have Mike Benjamin's card number, so you don't need to swipe the card one by one, otherwise Mike Benjamin will have to work for a long time just to collect the money. After 10 minutes, Mike Benjamin calculated the result, with a total bet of 20 million. After taking a deep breath, his emotions calmed down, and Mike Benjamin walked up to Li Feng and said, a total of 20 million bet on Mr. Harrison to win. Do you think you are also with 20 million? Of course, this is exactly my plan. Li Feng nodded and took out his bank card and swiped it directly. Mike Benjamin was almost moved to tears at this moment. What is generosity, what is God of wealth, this is it. 440 million, he has only 22 million of achievements, plus 11 million before, he netted 33 million in one night, which is still US dollars. After finishing this ticket, he can wash his hands in a golden basin. Okay, since everyone is betting, I definitely hope that the game will start right away. I won't waste any time. Let's see you later. After putting down these words, Li Feng turned and returned to R8. Seeing Li Feng's back, Harrison's eyes became more sullen. A few minutes later, R8 and Hennessy Venom GT stopped side by side at the starting line. Serena turned into a flag-waving girl and came between the two cars. Buzzing. The two supercars roared, and the tires rubbed against the ground, causing billowing smoke. On both sides of the vehicle, everyone cheered and screamed, and the atmosphere was very warm. 
As Serena waved her jacket down, R8 rushed out like Hennessy like an arrow from the string. Similar to the situation at the beginning of the last race, Hennessy quickly led the R8 by several body distances under the crushing linear acceleration performance, and drifted into the first corner before the R8. In the rear, Li Feng holds the steering wheel in his right hand, rests his left elbow on the car window, and rests his chin with his left hand, his expression looks relaxed and free. Aside, Al Landor. Al Landor was so dumbfounded at that time, okay. No. It's all about driving with one hand, and showing such handsome moves, so Li Feng's confidence in winning the game is to drive more handsomely. God is so logical. Li Feng sensed Al Landor's attention, turned his head and gave her a handsome smile, and then said, Although I know I'm handsome, don't keep staring at me, but see how I am. By car. Al Landor. It depends on how you drive. Do you have any tricks that make your eyes shine from the beginning to now? Nothing good. Call. Al Landor let out a sulky breath and smiled forcefully, it's a curve ahead, please be more serious. Li Feng has been stepping on the accelerator, and the speed is now up to 210 km per hour. If the speed is not reduced, wouldn't it be the first corner to roll over? I'm serious now. I just want to finish the game as soon as possible, and then send Tofu. Li Feng still maintained the posture of driving with one hand and smiled. Al Landor looked dumbfounded, what Tofu do you give? Fujiwara Tofu. Li Feng said seriously. Al Landor covered his face with his hand, why is it such a critical juncture, can Li Feng still be silly? When the two were talking, R8 had come 50 meters before the curve. Only then did Al Landor reacted, and quickly exclaimed, Break fast. Is the brake left or right? Li Feng asked. Al Landor. No. Brother, you are joking with me, are you special? At this time, you ask me whether the brake is on the left or right. Duan. When Al Landor was stunned, Li Feng stepped on the accelerator again, and went straight at 300 km per hour. Al Landor subconsciously squeezed the seat, and said, Mr. Li, you used the accelerator as a brake by mistake. The people eating melons watching the big screen in front of the high platform are so surprised, okay. Each camera is equipped with a radar speed detector, and the speed of the vehicle will be displayed on the big screen in real time. Everyone was shocked when they saw the R8's speed reached more than 200 km per hour. Li Feng was not satisfied and started to accelerate again. He treated the curve as a straight line. Although this corner is about 120 degrees, it is not a sharp turn, but it is impossible to corner at this speed. Is he not a rookie? Even if you haven't been on the track, you should know that you will overturn your car when cornering at high speed. Damn. Has he never driven a car before? No, R8 was ejected before the start, which shows that he is a veteran. Then he drove so fast and was in a hurry to reincarnate. When everyone was shocked and puzzled, the Audi R8 came to the corner, and the front of the car was suddenly disguised. The friction between the rear two tires and the ground caused a large area of dust and smoke. The R8 crossed a beautiful arc. Corner Everyone looked so dumb. Oh my god. What did I see? Zayat. He actually passed this curve at a speed of 300 km per hour. Good cheetah. That is not an action that a racer can make at all, I have never seen such an action. Yes, that's not drifting, the front of the car almost didn't slide to the left. Yeah, I can see it too, it is incredible. The feeling of R8 cornering is like a rope tied to the front of the R8. This rope gives R8 a huge centripetal force, pulling it through the corner. But the problem is that there is no rope in front of the R8. Newton had to push the coffin board out to question Li Feng when he saw this scene. You, how did you do it just now? In the R8 compartment, Al Landor looked terrified. The moment she passed the corner just now, she really felt that she was going to crash the car. Unexpectedly, 
Li Feng clicked the brakes and did not even change his driving posture. He controlled the steering wheel with one hand to make R8 make a tail flicking motion and easily passed the corner. This is really incredible, thinking about it now is like dreaming. It's very simple. As long as you control the timing of applying the brakes, you can do what I just did. Of course, this kind of timing must be exactly right, 0.1 seconds late or 0.1 seconds early will cause car crashes. Li Feng put his chin on his left hand and said casually. Al Landor. How can God control the timing of braking? How come I don't believe it so much? Al Landor, who is obsessed with racing, has never seen a racer who can do this kind of action. In the Hennessy Venom GT compartment, Harrison looked at the empty track in the rearview mirror with a mocking smile. I want to compete with my Hennessy Venom GT when I start the R8. I can't help myself. Damn it. Halfway through talking, Harrison saw R8 rushing out of the corner, appearing in the rearview mirror of the Hennessy Venom GT, and approaching him at a very high speed. Harrison was shocked at the time. Fake. Was he turning at full speed just now? How is this possible? Just now he stepped on the brakes when he passed the first corner and controlled the Hennessy Venom GT to cross the corner at a speed of 150 km per hour. At this moment, the Venom GT is still accelerating, and the speed is just over 200, while the speed of R8 is obviously over 300 km per hour. Sieti, the 150 turn just now is close to his limit, Li Feng can actually make the R8 turn at 300 km per hour? You know the top speed of R8 is 316 km per hour. Just as Harrison was shocked, the R8 had caught up behind the Hennessy Venom GT's car market, and was about to overtake. Harrison grinned and blocked the R8's path as soon as he hit the steering wheel. The Rocky Mountain track can only allow two cars to pass side by side. Although there is still some gap, after the Hennessy Venom GT comes to the middle of the road, the R8 can only fly to overtake it. Since I have taken the lead, you can never surpass me. Harrison also knows part of Li Feng's strength. Since Li Feng is so vigorous, he must be conservative. Even if he uses some despicable means, he must win the game. Damn it. He deliberately blocked our way. Al Landor said angrily. Don't be angry, he can only block it for a while, and I will play stimulating later, and I will surely pass him. Li Feng smiled. Al Landor suddenly became a little nervous. It was already very exciting just now when he turned at 300 km per hour. How exciting would Li Feng want to play? In front of the high platform, Everyone watching the game was amused, good job Harrison. That's it. Block him, don't let him pass, I bet $300,000 on you. Harrison, come on. We must win this game. Perhaps after hearing everyone's cheering, Harrison kept in front of the R8. Even when cornering, he kept the Hennessy Venom GT in the middle of the road, not giving the R8 any possibility of overtaking in corners. Li Feng was not in a hurry, still keeping his right hand driving with his left hand supporting his chin. When there was only one third of the track left, Al Landor was anxious, Mr. Li, if we don't want to pass, we will lose. Li Feng finally put his left hand on the steering wheel, and said with a serious expression, One thief, one thief, I will pass him at the next corner. Next curve. Al Landuo frowned slightly then his face changed slightly and said, that's a six straight hairpin. Rocky Mountain is most famous for this six-in-one hairpin. Many riders who come here will have fun with the six-in-one hairpin. Yes, that's a six-in-one hairpin bend, which is very suitable for overtaking, isn't it? Li Feng asked. Al Landor nodded, yes, under normal circumstances, six consecutive hairpin bends are very suitable for overtaking, but. Li Feng continued, but Harrison has been driving in the middle of the road and deliberately slowed down. Even at the six straight hairpin turn, he can still stay in the middle of the road with his skills. I don't have any chance of overtaking, right? Yes, 
I think so. Al Landor nodded solemnly. Harrison's behavior is despicable and shameless. But his behavior is very effective and does not violate the rules. No one can help him except verbally condemn this behavior. But there is an upward at the third corner, isn't it? Li Feng smiled. Upward slope. Al Landor groaned a little, and finally remembered where the Li Feng said was. The Rocky Mountain Raceway was built artificially, and one side of the mountain is nearly 90 degrees vertical, except for the third bend with a small connecting the mountain. What if there is a small slope? Li Feng still wants to drive the car up. Impossible. The small is only over two meters long and less than half a meter high. Even if Li Feng drove the car diagonally, this distance would not be enough for you to overtake. After guessing what Li Feng was going to do, Al Landor quickly persuaded him to dispel the crazy idea. But then again, Li Feng's observation and memory are too strong, he just observed it on the way and she observed it again during the game with Harrison. I found the small just twice and wrote down its location. It's a monster. Al, I really strongly recommend that you wear Li Ning's clothes and shoes at ordinary times. Li Ning is a sports brand of our China. The styles of clothes recently released are very fashionable. You will definitely like it. Li Feng on Li said. Al Landor. No. What does this have to do with Li Ning? Oh, he wanted to tell Li Ning that everything is possible, right? But she thinks this is impossible. As Al Landor frowned, the Hennessy Venom GT took the lead to enter the first corner of the six straight hairpin. As Li Feng guessed, in order to maintain the lead, Harrison completely blocked Li Feng's path. When entering the corner, the speed was very slow, not even 80 and he kept firmly occupying the middle of the road. This kind of behavior is indeed shameful, but as Al Landor thought, what about shame, winning is the goal, and it's not against the rules anyway. Because of the slow speed, Harrison still has a leisure time when cornering. He looks at the Audi R8 in the rear view mirror, idiot, want to beat me? Go back and practice for a few more years. While mocking himself, Harrison lowered the car window and raised his after reaching out. In front of the high stage, everyone watching the game on the big screen saw this scene, and for a while everyone laughed. Harrison, what a good job, you should humiliate that Chinese man like this. Wow, Harrison can really play. I like to see Huaxia people upset and unable to do anything about it. It's so cool. Harrison's behavior is a bit unnatural, right? Others gave different opinions. It's just that someone soon argued for Harrison, why is it not authentic? I think it's very authentic. This is a big bet involving 400 million US dollars. If you can win, no one wants to lose. That is, as long as the game can be won within the rules, is it important to use what means? If it is you, you will be unscrupulous in order to win 200 million dollars, right? What you said seems to make sense. In R8, Al Landor on the co-pilot almost exploded when he saw this scene, damn it, Harrison is so damn. If she has the abilities of Li Feng, she really wants to rush over and knock the Hennessy Venom GT over. Don't get excited, the younger he is now, the more painful and crazier he will be later. Li Feng said with a mocking sneer at the corner of his mouth. Al Landor raised his eyebrows. What you said seems to make sense, but only if you can win the game. When the two spoke, Hennessy Venom GT had already passed the second corner. Looking at the Audi R8, I don't know when it has fallen behind by a short distance. Of course, sit firmly, it will be the moment to witness the miracle soon. Li Feng reminded him, his expression suddenly became serious. Al Landor's heart tightened and he couldn't help but grasp the seat tightly. Immediately afterwards, Li Feng slammed the accelerator, R8 speeded up suddenly, and passed the second corner with a clean drift. Immediately afterwards, Li Feng controlled R8 and came to the road near the side of the mountain. Hey, I haven't given up on overtaking plans yet. I'm really persistent. After seeing this scene through the rearview mirror, 
Harrison immediately turned the steering wheel to the right. The Hennessy Venom GT immediately moved to the right, but it was still in the middle of the road. Harrison will not be so stupid as to completely block Li Feng's car. He only needs to be in the middle position and adjust slightly to the left or right according to the position of R8, so as not to leave room for R8. If the two cars are in a straight line, it is difficult for him to guarantee that he can keep up with the R8's movements every time. Perhaps some negligence will allow R8 to overtake. After doing this, Harrison sneered and drove the Hennessy Venom GT through the third corner. During this process, he has also maintained a center-right position. After passing the corner, Harrison said triumphantly, Hey, what do I think about you, what? This is impossible. Before Harrison could finish speaking, he saw through the rear-view mirror that the Audi R8 behind was almost close to the mountain on the right, landing on two wheels and galloping at 60 degrees from the ground. O.M. Harrison only felt a roar from the right side, and the Audi R8 rushed to the front of the Hennessy Venom GT. My God, what did I just see? Oh Zayat! Li Feng actually drove the car to the mountain. Fake. Have you seen it? When the R8 rushed into the third corner, it used the ramp to erect the vehicle. This is crazy. In front of the high stage, all the people watching the game on the big screen were in a state of madness. The time went back to three seconds ago. After Harrison rushed through the third corner, Li Feng drove the R8 close to the side of the mountain road to the entrance of the corner. At the moment of entering the corner, the R8 slightly adjusted to the right, and the two right tires rushed up the mountain. 60 degrees below. After passing the slope, R8 still maintains a posture at a 60 degrees angle to the ground, and continues driving with two wheels on the ground. And the speed of R8 at the moment is, 120 km. Far surpassing the 80 km per hour of Hennessy Venom GT. When everyone was shocked, the R8 was able to wipe the body of the Hennessy Venom GT and overtook it, and then the right wheel fell to the ground. Li Feng, succeeded in overtaking. Omega. He passed, he actually passed. Oh shit. He must be a madman a madman through and through. Only a madman would make such an action in a mountain drag racing. This is incredible, this shot will become an eternal classic in the racing game. Damn it, is he going to win? No, I bet Harrison $4.300,000. Sheet, are you the only one who bet Harrison to win? Each of us bet Harrison. In front of the high platform, everyone held their heads in their hands, Shocked, puzzled, confused, regretted, all kinds of expressions appeared on their faces in turn. In the R8 carriage, Al Landor covered his mouth with his hand, with a look of disbelief. She was the person who watched Li Feng open the R8 almost upright, and this immersive feeling, was shocking. It is true that it is not difficult to stand the car almost upright with the help of the external environment, and then walk on only two wheels. Many stunt riders can do it. But that is all carefully designed. 